Hi guys, support me in Kofi. So I can upload more audiobooks regularly. God of Slaughter. Chapter 251 Arrogant Bluster. Deep in a Forest. Shi Yan's big hand laid on the stunningly round and firm breasts of the matriarch of the White Wings clan. After the terrible hair raising scream, he waited for the rage of the hurricane and thunderstorm to come. Unexpectedly, the brutal attack of Euro did not rise up yet. Shi Yan not only implemented the petrification process but also used the dark shield. At the same time, he quietly circulated profound chi, accumulated all the forces into his body to prevent himself from a murderous strike which could kill him dreadfully. However, after ten seconds of anxiously waiting for the violent repercussion attack that was supposed to happen after he had fondled her white, silky breasts, it, finally, did not come as expected. Shi Yan got bewildered, looked at the matriarch of the White Wings clan. He realized with a surprise that her skin had turned red, her eyes were dreamily infatuated, her breath was rushed. She stood still weirdly. Even her retracted snow white wings trembled slightly before stretching out again. He felt a warm and elastic feeling where his hand was placing. On top of the beautiful bosom perked a grape sized bead. It was gradually getting bigger. Oh! Boom! Tremendous lust was like a volcano exploded. The calmness in Shi Yan's eyes, which had been just recovered, became a burning flame all in sudden. The lusty flame in his body rose up non stop. In just a moment, Shi Yan lost his mind again. He was totally dominated by lust. His other hand also stretched out and placed upon the round bottom of the noble lady, and rubbed it unceremoniously for a cool while. Suddenly, Shi Yan embraced her tighter and bit her pink red lips. Fragrance struck to his nose. A mesmerizing feeling shook him as if there was an electronic current running inside of him. It was extremely pleasurable. Shi Yan was nibbling on the beautiful cherry blossom lips of the White Wing clan's matriarch. His two hands were not free, instead, they constantly caressed her body, freely disgracing this hebetated lady satisfactorily. UMM. Yu Ro gasped, hardly breathed when being compelled to kiss Shi Yan. She could not stand but moan. The matriarch of the White Wings clan had never been violated by any man before. After letting out a moan, her mind that was immersing in a deep valley recovered rapidly. Her beautiful dreamy eyes flashed up a cold threatening light. Right after that, a tremendous flow of power from her delicate body exploded gushingly out. Boom! It was as if Shi Yan was being compacted by a mountain. His body was like a kite with its broken string blew far away by the wind. He spat out a mouthful of blood while his body was still in the air. The dark shield in his body was broken, his skin and flesh were torn. After falling down, his whole body's energy was agitated and extremely messy. You dare! You dare! The face of the White Wings clan's matriarch was cold and grim. The murderous look in her eyes was like a real sharp sword shooting outwards. Shi Yan's entire body did not have any energy anymore. All kinds of forces were stirring up and about. He wanted to move but he could not use even a single beam of power, he could only stare at the dazzling sunbeam advancing without being able to do anything. His body got seriously injured just in a blink. The five devils in the sea of consciousness, on the contrary, were more restful, they no longer dared to revolt at this particularly critical moment. I can help the wings race get out of here. Shi Yan said through his clenched teeth, if I am dead you will have to stay here forever. The beautiful eyes of the White Wings clan's matriarch flared up a strange white light. Her gruff feeling started to cool down little by little. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. White lights which were advancing towards Shi Yan abruptly diverted, they zoomed over the two sides of Shi Yan's ears, and intensively shot into the ground. Shi Yan let out a sigh silently, wiped the blood off the corners of his mouth. He said without fear, you are so mesmerizing. Don't blame me, any man in front of you will not be able to control himself. Hmm, it is unbelievable that you have never been experienced in any relations between a man and a woman. Actually, I have earned a good bargain. In this situation, 
Shi Yan did not even try to be pitiable, instead, he also dared to say perverse words. Such a formidable lust indeed. Sharp backfire from Yu Ro struck out Shi Yan in a blink of an eye. Strange lights from her eyes shot out uncontrollably. If it wasn't for Shi Yan's timely scream, even if he could avoid it for one time, he would not be able to avoid it for the second time. Although his body was intensively firm, he would not have been able to bear it. You deserve to die. Yu Ro breathed hastily, her eyes sparked a cold light, her body was full of sharp, murderous look. She gritted her teeth fiercely while glaring at Shi Yan. She was so angry that her delicate body shivered slightly. Shi Yan slowly sat up. His skin and flesh were torn up, fresh blood ran freely all over his body. However, confronting Yu Ro's furious glare, he bloomed a bright smile, Haha, death is worth it. You are too mesmerizing. Even if I have to die to kiss you, I would still be happy to do it. Haha. <laughs> Yu Ro's snow white wings slightly wavered, her graceful body moved forward to Shi Yan. A white sword which was condensed and refined by profound qi emerged on her palm. She put it to Shi Yan's throat, looking at him with cold and dreary eyes. She said with an icy voice, You are really not scared of being dead. Yes, Shi Yan burst into laughing and calmly nodded. Of course, I am scared of being dead. But I know you will not kill me. Haha. <laughs> I am the first man who ever kissed you, aren't I? You still dare to say, Yu Ro was suddenly convulsive. She was so agitated that she burst into laughter. You really think I won't dare to kill you? Even if I didn't kill you now, wait and see after you break the shelter. Because of what you have done today, I will not only kill you but also make you die miserably. By that time, you will know that falling into my hands will be worse than Duo Long's. I believe it. Shi Yan nodded his head and said deliberately. I know that your cultivation stage is higher than Duo Long's. If you really want to kill me, I absolutely cannot die easily. Yu Ro's beautiful eyes were dazed in a short time. The more she looked at the boastful guy in front of her, the angrier she got. The little detestable rascal was really lusty and did not care about life or death while disgracing her. He freely did disgraceful things to her flawless, virgin body. She regretted not being able to cut Shi Yan into thousands of pieces, but she knew this was not the time to kill him. For the wings race to get the hell out of this damn place, she definitely had to be patient. You are really mesmerizing, Shi Yan softly mumbled. He slowly moved his neck out of the attacking area of the dazzling light sword in Yu Ro's hand while observing carefully her expression. After being safe from that dangerous sword, he stood up quickly. Yu Ro's arm, with the sword on her hand, stretched straight out while looking at him with a frigid smile. She withdrew the sword slowly after a little bit hesitation. After releasing a sigh of relief and silent, Shi Yan's eyes flared up. He suddenly moved one step forward, held the white, jade-like hand of this charming noble lady determinately, and said, As things have already happened, will you then be my girl? You. The matriarch of White Wings clan suddenly waved her arms strongly and glared at him furiously. You crazy little rascal. You want me to be your girl. I have never met any insanely dreamy man like you. What do you have? What can you give me? Based on what reasons do you dream to have me? Only because that you've kissed me. Yu Ro sickly smiled, her eyes were very cold. She constantly calmed herself down and pulled herself together because she could not kill him now. Your cultivation should be at the first sky of the spirit realm. Shi Yan smiled leisurely, and said, This is really a terrifying realm. I only have the earth realm cultivation. The gap between you and me is the nirvana realm and sky realm. It should take hundreds of years for an ordinary man to go through these two realms. Most people cannot reach these two levels in their entire life. Yu Ro got dazed, looked at Shi Yan astonishingly, then said, You are not stupid. You clearly know the difference between us two, yet still dare to say rubbish. Based on what? I can surely reach the spirit realm in fifty years maximum. 
Shi Yan shouted. I will surpass you in sixty years at most. Ha ha. Ha ha Yu Ro burst into laughter till she cried after hearing what he'd said. She pointed to Shi Yan with a mocking face. Fifty years to reach the spirit realm, sixty years to surpass me. Ha ha, that is so funny. I have never seen any dreamy, arrogant man like you. Nowadays, are all the guys in the outside world short-sighted like you? No, that's not it. Shi Yan shook his head. Ordinary men in front of you do not even dare to come close to you, not to mention daring to disgrace you regardless of being alive or dead. Yu Ro's mocking face loosened. Very good, you are more daring than the others indeed. But this doesn't mean anything. I think an ordinary Earth Realm warrior would totally explode to dead with one of your uncontrollable backfires. It is actually also hard for a Nirvana Realm warrior to still be alive. However, look, I am still standing in front of you. Yu Ro's beautiful eyes brightened. As she got stunned by Shi Yan's weird behavior, she had not noticed this. When Shi Yan reminded her of this fact, she realized the fact that Shi Yan was still alive was a miraculous magic itself. She trusted her strength completely. She knew how tremendous the power of her ruthless strike was. Exactly as what Shi Yan had said, not to mention an Earth Realm warrior. Even a Nirvana Realm warrior would be certainly dead under her strike. But, Shi Yan was still standing in front of her and boasting. You really are competent. Yu Ro had to admit. But your crazy aspirations do not match with your current capabilities. If you had the spirit realm now, I would have considered your proposal. Hmm. Shi Yan had a little headache. He knew that in this place, Neither the demonic sound clan nor the wings race had any good intentions for him. He did not believe in the previous promises that Dishan and Yu Ro had made. He knew that after he had broken the shelters, death surely awaited him. He had dared to disgrace and disturb Yu Ro was because he hoped this would remain as a special feeling in Yu Ro's heart. If Yu Ro had a little crush on him, his chances of survival would be a bit better. After having realized this experience with the beautiful lady who had never tasted such sexual affections, he was more confident in carrying on his plan. However, when having started his plan for real, he had realized that it was much too difficult. Regardless of how much he tried to convince her, she was still unchanged. How difficult it is, oh, you, your body, you Ro suddenly covered her mouth, shouted in surprise. Her beautiful eyes lit up a strange light as if she was witnessing a magical thing. As Shi Yan bowed his head down to see, he realized the immortal martial spirit was starting its efficiency. The wound's healing speed was fantastically remarkable. Immortal God King You are the descendant of the three God Kings as from the ancient time. The matriarch of White Wings clan was stunned for a while before screaming astonishingly. Her eyes flickered. Her beautiful face was totally frightened, and her graceful body slightly trembled. Chapter 252, God's Will Shi Yan stood still in front of her. Even though he was motionless, the wounds on his body were healing with a remarkable speed. After a moment, all the open wounds closed completely. There were only a few blood scars on his chest, and they were also gradually fading. After the immortal martial spirit had entered the third phase, the recovering speed of Shi Yan's body was much faster than of before. While fighting with other people, his wounds could heal immediately which could keep him immortal. The matriarch of White Wings clan was astonished, looked at him in a daze. She mumbled, Immortal God King, is it really the will of God? Shi Yan squinted, a big question mark appeared in his mind. He did not know why the matriarch of White Wings clan had such a drastic reaction. Did the god's blood of the three god kings in the ancient time possibly have anything related to the wings race? With that thought, he hesitated for a while before saying, I have the immortal martial spirit. The god's blood running inside of my body is indeed similar to the god's blood of the three god kings. Is this somehow also related to you? You rose eyes regained the calmness. She nodded after a little hesitation, demonic sound clan and wings race had great gratitude for the three god kings in the ancient time. 
without their help, our two races would not have been deported here, but exterminated instead. Shi Yan was agitated. Yu Ro raised her head up, looked at him with a strange face. She thought for a while, and said with some confusion, these occurrences had been mentioned in an ancient book which belonged to our ancestors. That year, the two races were deported to this place and could not get out of here until this very moment. The ancestors of the two races used to swear that if the three god kings or their descendants could help the two races get out of here, the two races would crown him, and obey him forever. What? Shi Yan's eyes brightened instantly. He said with a smile, as you said, if I can help your two races get out of this damn place, according to your ancestors' guidance, you will have to serve me like a master? Am I misunderstanding it? Yu Ro miserably smiled and nodded her head. According to ancestors' guidance, if you can really accomplish this feat, we will serve you as if you were our master, indeed. Just it has been such a very long time, many things have changed, our ancestors had been long gone. Because that time was much too long ago. I am not sure if everyone still follows the ancestors' guidance. Shi Yan was surprised, thought for a while. He then looked at Yu Ro with blazing eyes, and asked, First, disregard the other people, how about you? Will you follow the ancestors' guidance? I, I don't know. The matriarch of White Wings clan slightly shook her head, murmuring to herself, Is it really the will of gods? Is it because the ancestors had broken their oath for the first time that the crossing to the Three God King realm is happening now? If not, why does that little rascal have heaven flame, and how come he has the blood of the descendants of the God Kings in ancient time? Is it destiny? Some things have been soon defined. The matriarch of White Wings clan mumbled with a panicked face. She felt as if she was deeply immersed in a huge maze, struggling inside of her own mind. The three god kings in the ancient time, besides the immortal god king, who were the other two? Shi Yan suddenly asked. Before, although the ice cold flame had mentioned about the god's blood, it still had been very ambiguous. Anyway, it was a very long time ago, it was not easy to find a person who had information about the ancient times. He did not want to let this chance slip by easily. Besides the immortal god king, the other gods were the true dragon god king and the heaven poison god king. They had the true dragon god constitution and the heaven poison god constitution. The true dragon god king could take the form of the god dragon and possessed the strength of the god dragon who was extremely mighty. The blood of the heaven poison god king could poison any living creatures, a drop of his god's blood could poison the entire sea, eroding all creatures inside of it. When the matriarch of White Wings clan talked about the three god kings hidden information, she looked very serious, her voice was deliberately earnest, her face was full of respect. The three god kings were the summit of the existence in the ancient time. Without their defenses, our two races should have perished. Therefore, even though the two races have been deported here, we were still very thankful. Our gratitude towards them has been carried on throughout every generation in order to forever engrave their merits. That's good. Shi Yan smiled. If Di Shan, Duo Long, and the other leaders follow their ancestors' guidance, once I help you get out of this damn place, all of you will serve me as your master. Haha, <laughs> that is perfect. SSHHH, such a good dream. Yu Ro shook her head while scolding at him, those people have wicked intentions they will not be content with it. Their positions are high and noble, they absolutely will not lay eyes on you. Except if your stage and strengths are higher than theirs, only then, may they follow the ancestors' guidance reluctantly. But you are only at the earth realm, you are clearly a stupid dreamer if you want them to submit to you. You Ro stopped a bit, then continued, you'd better not show the immortal god king attributes otherwise you will bring death upon yourself much faster. Ah, I will first ask Dishan to see his attitude regarding the ancestors' guidance. If Dishan is willing to follow it, you may still have some hope. But if Dishan does not want to abide by the ancestors' guidance, you should not have any further thoughts. After her words, 
Yu Ro grabbed Shi Yan again and flew up towards the giant stone ancient city of the demonic sound clan without saying anything else. On the wall of the ancient city, the outstanding geniuses of the new generation of the Kaira Ccao Zhilan, Gu Linglong, Pan Zhe, and Chu Yanqing were all confined in a cage, wearing gloomy faces, and dreary eyes. In the Kaira Sea, these people were on the top of the combat list. Normally, their families often possessed noble statuses and had servants for everything. However, in this place, they were just common prisoners, could be killed at any single given moment by their jailers. The feelings of hopelessness made them lose their previous inherited arrogance. They were now a group of people with bowed heads and necks retracted, retreated to a single corner with fear more than ever. Yeji rubbed his chin, his dull eyes kept sweeping about Cao Zhilan's and Gu Ling Long's alluring bodies. It seemed he was considering a good time to take these two girls. Cao Zhilan and Gu Ling Long both had powerful martial spirit on their bodies, which was very useful for his cultivation. Although Chu Yanqing's appearance had nothing special, the energy in her body was very peculiar. Ye Ji felt that there should be some hidden secrets in her body, thus, he also planned to unclothe her to see if there was something hidden underneath her clothes. The two girls, Shui Fei and Si Yu Bai were on the other side talking to each other in a low tone, sometimes glancing at the people being confined in the cage. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. From the sky, some figures suddenly descended on the wall near Ye Ji. Besides Ka Bie, Ye Meng, Ye Tian Mo, there was also Di Shan of Black Wings Clan. Di Shan's arrival surprised Ye Ji, Ye Si Yu Bai, and Shui Fei greatly. They hastily kowtowed respectfully. As being the patriarch of Black Wings Clan, Di Shan had not only strong powers but also an unimaginably high cultivation. Whenever Demonic Sound Clan and Wings Race had a conflict, Di Shan's decision was always the most important and the final one. His utterance of a single sentence could turn the entire Demonic Sound Clan into a sea of blood. That was why Demonic Sound Clan's people were really scared of him. After Di Shan arrived, he squinted, glancing at Cao Zhilan, Gu Linglong, and Chu Yanqing, then frigidly asked, Are these the three female prisoners? Uh, these three female prisoners. Ye Meng nodded his head. Wait until that little rascal arrives, let him take them. Di Shan slightly nodded and coldly said, That little rascal really has good tastes. These three human grown up girls are actually beautiful. Such exceptional beauties. Cao Zhilan's beautiful face changed slightly. She sat up in silence, glanced at Chu Yanqing, and listened concentratedly. Chu Yanqing's and Gu Linglong's eyes also changed. Their faces were a little frightened, they turned their bodies to listen to the conversations of the pagans with an insecure feeling. Since these girls had been captured and confined, although they encountered many troubles, they still have each other's back. Therefore, they felt insecure but not too much terrified. However, this time was different. The targets of these wings races people were obviously themselves. Therefore the three girls started to be worried and felt frightened. They did not know how their lives would turn out after all. Father, this thing. Ye Ji spoke up after hesitating for a while. A little discontent appeared in his eyes. These three human prisoners have been captured by me. You see. Stop talking nonsense. Ye Meng coldly shouted. You will not dream of them any longer, everything is done. Father. Ye Ji shouted. Your son is not satisfied. Di Shan smirked, glanced at Ye Meng frigidly. You cannot even handle your own son. Ye Meng's face turned pale, he angrily looked at Ye Ji. Ye Ji's body suddenly calmed down nodded his head enduringly, bowed his head, and said, Father, I understand, I will listen to your direct order. We, Cao Zhilan looked at Di Shan and asked fearlessly, What have you arranged for us? Di Shan was a little astonished, looked at her weirdly, and said, You are brave. No worries. We will not kill you, we only need your bodies. The three female prisoners Cao Zhilan, Gu Linglong, 
and Chu Yanqing suddenly changed their facial expressions. Their gentle bodies trembled, their eyes were full of anger and disgrace. Compared to being killed, losing your virginity is extremely lucky. Di Shan's face was emotionless. It is not the Wings races or the demonic sound clan's men who will do the deed, instead, that guy is also of the same race as you all. This is your fortune. Same, same race. Gu Ling Long was astonished, asked urgently, Who? You will know soon. Di Shan smiled wickedly. He did not mention anything about Shi Yan. The three girls looked at each other. They seemed to know vaguely who it was but did not dare to continue asking. Zoom zoom zoom. The sound of flapping wings came up to the people's ears. Not long after that, a white lightning zoomed overhead. As the lightning zoomed over, the matriarch of the White Wings clan gently descended from the sky with Shi Yan in her hand. After throwing Shi Yan onto the floor without regarding his pain, Yu Ro sickly smiled, had a quick glance at the three female prisoners. She then laughed out loud, and said, His tastes are not bad. Every of these three girls is very beautiful. The girl with the mask is also charming. This little rascal is a lusty devil indeed. It, it is you. Ye Ji's body agitated again, his eyes were full of resentment. The three female prisoners Cao Zhilan, Gu Ling Long, and Chu Yan Ching could not help but tremble, looked at Shi Yan who had just fallen down to the ground. All of them goggled at him, not knowing what to do with the target that they had initially chased. Chapter 253, Desire Wealth in Shi Gaer Shi Yan fell down to the ground warmed up his arms and legs for a while and turned towards the others, sickly smiled, then looked at Cao Zhilan and others confined in the cage. The moment Shi Yan appeared, Cao Zhilan, Chu Yanqing, and Gu Linglong felt as if their world had collapsed. A long pursuing way from the Vault Sea area to here, before having entered the Abyss battlefield, in the combat with the Ying family, they had gone through many losses, it had not been easy to enter the abyss battlefield. Inside this collapsing castle, because of a sudden outbreak of Shi Yan's, they again suffered serious losses. Thinking again carefully, Cao Zhilan realized that since their initial confrontations with Shi Yan, their qi was constantly decreasing, and that they could never occupy anything from Shi Yan's body. Currently, they were being confined in this damn place. Shi Yan, on the contrary, became the distinguished guest of this pagan race, could not only talk but laugh freely with Di Shan, patriarch of the pagan race, and also be rewarded by them, what did happen? They were all human beings, why was there such a big difference between them and Shi Yan? Not only Cao Zhilan and the others wanted to vomit blood, but Ye Ji was also very angry, he had wanted to ask something but had been stopped by Ye Meng, very unhappily. She, Shi Yan. Ye see you by bewildered, her beautiful face turned red. Hey, these three female prisoners are for you. The faces of Cao Zhilan and the others slightly changed, everyone clenched their teeth and gums. Nodded smiling, Shi Yan coldly looked at Cao Zhilan. You did not expect that this could have ever happened, didn't you? Sooner or later, you will not die easily. Cao Zhilan's graceful body shivered a little. Angriness and panic flared up in her eyes. If you dare to disgrace us, even in being a ghost, I will never forgive you. Being a ghost. Shi Yan burst into laughter. I am afraid that you will not even have a chance to be a ghost. If I had wanted to kill you, I definitely would have made both your soul and spirit perish, never transmigrate. Thus, even in being a ghost, you cannot and will not take revenge on me. When speaking these sentences, Shi Yan's expression was cheerful, talking as if crushing people to ashes and perishing people's souls and spirits were just his common pleasures. Di Shan raised his eyebrows, and nodded his head, Little rascal, you are very cruel. No wonder why you have so many pursuers but you are still alive. That is obvious, if not, he would not have had the heaven flame. The patriarch of the Black Wings clan slowly stepped towards to the cage confining Cao Zhilan and the others and swung his arm. 
different currents of silver lights like a chain of clouds went into the cage, then alternately crept into the bodies of Cao Zhilan, Chu Yanqing, and Gu Linglong. The three of them were very frightened. Boom! The cage broke, leaving a hole. Three people, Cao Zhilan and the other two felt as if they were being grabbed by an invisible hand, floating out of the cage towards Xi Yan, and slowly descended in front of him. The three female prisoners stood up, their charming bodies slightly trembled, the brightness in their eyes faded. Their entire body's energy was gradually being sealed. Currently, these three girls have no more powers to use, and are like ordinary people so they cannot harm you. Yu Ro smiled, mildly looked at Shi Yan. From now on, you can freely violate them as you wish, haha, for the future of our two races, sacrificing these three girls was still a very good bargain. Ye Meng's expression was musing, there flashed up a god light between his eyebrows, three peculiar souls flew out and then crept into the point between the eyebrows of the three female prisoners. Cao Lan's face showed pain, she definitely could not stand it, and held her head moaning. I have put the death-binding thought into their heads. If they have suicidal intentions, that seal will spread out, and their bodies will be motionless. Ye Meng sickly smiled, speaking to Shi Yan. You can be comfortable with using their bodies freely, without having to worry about them committing suicide. Shi Yan was surprised, smiled, and nodded, thank you. Rotter. Cao Zhilan and other two simultaneously shouted, there was full of resentment in their eyes, they resented Shi Yan to the bone. If they could have gotten out of the constraint, they would perhaps have risked their lives in killing Shi Yan. No need, you just need to destroy the shelters well for our two races, not even mentioning these three female prisoners, even the demonic sound clan's girls can also be yours as easily as flipping your hand. Ye Meng harumphed coldly. But if you cannot help our two races, haha, I will make you feel as if it was better to die than to live. Don't waste more time Di Shan frowned showing his impatience. This little rascal's cultivation progress is related closely with our two races' future. I will temporarily stay here, watching his progress. The matriarch of White Wings clan gently smiled. I think everyone should try a little harder. I remember that our two races have some useful things for the progress of this human warrior's stage. Ah, because of everyone's benefit, I think we should be more generous. Shi Yan's face became excited, laughing out loud. Di Shan, Ka Bie, and the others looked at one another, everyone had a freakish face, their eyes kept moving. The White Wings clan has the White Jade Spirit Fruits which has a big effect on stabilizing one's mental state. The white jade spirit fruit has been refined for more than a thousand years, and produced only three fruits at a single time. I have commanded my people to bring one here. Eh, for the welfare of our two races, we've already given our fortune Yu Ro smiled and said. Upon her words, the faces of Di Shan and the others drastically changed. White jade spirit fruit Yiji De Si Yu Bai, Shue Fei, and the youths of the new generation of the demonic sound clan could not stand screaming terribly, Ye Ji's eyes showed a sense of conspicuous greed. The white jade spirit fruit was the pagan treasure of the White Wings clans. It could only have been produced in an abandoned area where the Sun Moon spirit was prevented. Each of the white jade spirit fruit was extremely precious. It was highly useful for stabilizing and nourishing the soul even though the Wings race had difficulty in soul cultivation, using one of the white jade spirit fruit could have made a great breakthrough in one's soul mental state. For the people of the demonic sound clan, the white jade spirit fruit was even more precious. They were natural experts in soul cultivation, thus, after using one white jade spirit fruit, their soul accomplishment would have grown tremendously. After baby of the demonic sound clan was born, and in using one of the white jade spirit fruit, their soul would be remodeled, directly reaching the strength of a warrior at the stage of disaster. This was a miraculous treasure which could make a soul mutate. In this abandoned land, the white jade spirit fruit of the White Wings clan was absolutely an extremely precious treasure, which had a great attraction to either the Wings race or the demonic sound clan. Yu Ro had gotten crazy? 
she dared to take one white jade spirit fruit just because of one human guy? Was she really public spirited and selfless like this? For the two races' future, she really devoted a fortune. Ye Ji breathed hastily, his face turned purple with rage, and glanced at Shi Yan abnormally fiercely. Regretting that he could not have put him in his mouth, and devoured him. Such a waste of a heavenly gift. Such a disgrace to a heavenly gift. What qualifications did that little human rascal have? How come is it that he could have a white jade spirit fruit? What is it that the matriarch of the White Wings clan want to do? Could it be that she has a crush on this little rascal? Hasn't it been said that the matriarch of the White Wings clan should always be pure, that she could not be married her entire life? Many thoughts glided in his mind, Yeji was angrily clenching his teeth and said to himself that if he had a white jade spirit fruit, he would efficiently make the most use of this fruit, in increasing his power to become one level higher. What a pity! Matriarch Yu Ro, you are not kidding! Ka Ba's face was extremely weird with wide-opened eyes. This little human rascal is worthy enough for you to use one of the treasures of the White Wings clan. Ye Ming, Yi Tian Mo and Di Shan were also astonished, looking at Yu Ro. At first, Shi Yan had not known about the wonder of this white jade spirit fruit, but after carefully observing Ye Ji, Ka Bie, and the others, he understood that the white jade spirit fruit was a marvelous treasure. If not, these people would not have been that surprised with such strange faces. What had Yu Ro wanted to do? Hadn't I just played with her just a little? And she already has a big crush on me? Did I really have such a big lustful attraction like that? Shi Yan thought to himself, but kept back all his astonished feelings with an indifferent face, and pretended not to know anything about the white jade spirit fruit. Didn't you see that the change of the sound beast mountain was really strange? Yu Ro's eyes were gradually getting severe, she spoke with a serious face. The control style outside the sound beast mountain has been bigger and bigger. The control style inside of it has been also getting stronger and stronger, do you not really think of anything? Shouldn't the ancestors of the two races have had already shared the same thoughts about this anomaly? Di Shan, Ye Meng, Yi Tian Mo, and Ka Bie were shocked, seeming to realize something in a sudden, their eyes were now full of fear. You are saying? Di Shan wanted to say something but stopped, glanced at others nearby and finally did not continue. I think it this should be it. Yu Ro smiled miserably. This is our only chance, but maybe, also a route towards our utter destruction. What to do specifically, I think everyone already had your plans. I will go back to the Black Wings clan, in five days max, I will come back with a black head lotus. I hope he will not disappoint me. Di Shan's face was a little confused. Staring at Shi Yan, he then swung his arm leaving. Huge black wings flapped a couple of times, and his shadow had completely disappeared. Black, black head lotus Ye Ji felt caught on outhed, and swallowed constantly, his eyes sparked peculiar lights, his facial expression was that of half smiling and the other half crying. On the city wall, the youths of the demonic sound clan including Shue Fei, and Yi Si Yu Bai were shocked, their eyes lit up bewilderedly looked at Shi Yan, their faces were as fierce as if they had wanted to devour him. Di Shan, stop by Duo Long, and convince him to offer a bottle of the Heaven Fountain concentrated water. Yu Ro looked towards Di Shan's leaving direction, and hastily said to him. Di Shan had disappeared out of sight, but his voice sent out from afar. Okay. What? Ye Ji, Shue Fei, and Yi Si Yu Bai could not stand any more loudly screaming like seeing ghosts in the daytime, and looked towards Shi Yan with a face which could not be any weirder. This, this is really, the youths of the demonic sound clan mumbled, extremely frightened and seemed to be violently shocked. Cough cough, we, Yi Tian Mo looking a little ashamed, turned towards Yu Ro awkwardly and said, You all know, the good places in this abandoned land have all been conquered by the Wings race, the three of us have nothing to offer, it is not that we don't want to participate, but only, only. Ye Meng and Ka Bie were also slightly embarrassed, constantly smiled miserably, 
showing their indigent gesture. I know, I know. You are a little poor indeed, but all the good things here exactly do not belong to you, but... Ye Meng and the other two were silent, waiting for her idea. The sole knowledge of the demonic sound clan is much better than that of the wings race. Yu Ro smiled, and deliberately said. Regarding soul cultivation, the demonic sound clan has many favorite comprehensions. To the wings race, they are useless, but to this little rascal, they are very useful. Ah, what I meant was for the three of you chieftains one to open up the secret scripture sources for this little rascal to perceive. You have already known that the stage progress cannot lack these soul comprehensions, haven't you now? The three chieftains' faces changed, and simultaneously said, This, how can it be? The favorite soul comprehension of demonic sound clan is our tribe's essence, how could we let a human being learn further about it? Ye Meng was shocked for a while, suddenly stood up, and said, If he knows the secrets of the demonic sound clan, and once he progresses, doesn't that mean that he will become the whole tribe's Shigeer? Yi Si Yubai and Shuefei were also incomprehensive and frightened. They understood the advantage of the demonic sound clan, although the demonic sound clan was in an unfavorable position, thanks to the sole accomplishment, they were a murderous attack on humankind, their sole secrets could have easily removed the protesting ability of the human warriors OT the same level. On Shi Yan's body, there was already the heaven flame which was the nemesis of the demonic sound clan. Once he knew about the secrets of the demonic sound clan, it would have became very difficult for them if and when they had wanted to use those soul secrets to control and kill him. If one day Shi Yan could have reached the heaven level stage, there would not be any top class warriors of the demonic sound clan who could be able to defeat him. If that day actually came, then Shi Yan could totally rely on his abilities to enslave the entire demonic sound clan. This was an extremely fearful thing. If he does not quickly progress, death will come even faster to demonic sound clan. It is not necessary to wait for him to reach the stage of which you are scared of, the demonic sound clan should have perished before that. Yu Ro coldly harumphed, her eyes suddenly became furious. Stupid little rascal, when we are talking, you better shut up. Ye Ji was terrified, quickly silent, and bowed his head without daring to look at Yu Ro. What did you say? The matriarch of White Wings clan was cheerful again, looked at Yi Tian Mo, and said, You can't, also not understand the situation. Okay, I will open my soul secret source for him. Yi Tian Mo hesitated a little, he was the first one to agree. Although in their hearts, Ye Meng and Ka Bia didn't want to do it, but thinking about the strange change of the Sound Beast Mountain made them felt chilled to the bones, they reluctantly agreed, followed Yi Tian Mo in giving a difficult decision, and nodded their heads. The expression of Cao Zhilan, Gu Ling Long, and Chu Yan Ching were very shocked, these consecutive upheavals made them feel as lost as the mists around them. They did not know what it was that Shi Yan had had done for them that made these two races voluntarily sacrificing their belongings, not only fulfilled in giving him whatever he had wanted but also offered him their most valuable treasures. In these pagan tribes' eyes, Shi Yan was even closer to them than that of their biological fathers. On the contrary, they were also from the outside but had become their prisoners, although they had not been killed, they were to be offered to Shi Yan, and became tools for him to give vent sexually, to do whatever it was that he pleased to his heart's content. Comparing between the two different conditions, Cao Zhilan felt so distressed that she had wanted to vomit out blood several times, and silently cursed that God was unfair. That's it, this thing can be easily solved. Yu Ro was deliberate. So it is, the three of you arrange a house for this little rascal to stay. I will choose to include the secret scriptures be a part of your scripture sources, of course, I will not see your secret scriptures, you will be with me while I select them. Is it okay? Ye Meng, Ka Bie and Yi Tian Mo did not want it at all, a thousand times over, but they could not do anything else but to agree. In the middle of the place where the three of us are staying, there is a house there, not far from us. Let's arrange for him to stay there. Yi Tian Mo was thoughtful for a while, 
then nodded talking to Yi Si Yu Bai. You bring Matriarch Yu Ro and Shi Yan to that house, let's arrange for him first, then we will see to them later. Yes, Father Yi Si Yu Bai nodded her head with a confused face. Whatever she could imagine, she would have never expected that Shi Yan had not only not have been killed by Duo Long, but was also escorted back by Yu Ro and Di Shan. Furthermore, Di Shan and Yu Ro, the patriarch and matriarch of the Wings race, their behavior towards Shi Yan was unusual, they did not even regret the treasures that they gave to Shi Yan. What was it all about? Si Yu Bai felt her head get heavier. She thought about the time when Shi Yan had timorously looked around in the forest, impossibly done anything, being controlled by her sole secret skill. But now, looking at all the treats, she did not know what was the best to say instantly. Little girl, you lead the way. The matriarch of the White Wings clan coolly smiled, pointed to the three girls Cao Zhilan, Gu Ling Long, and Chu Yan Ching. A long colored ribbon flew out of her sleeve, and tied up the three female prisoners. Yu Ro, on one hand, pulled the ribbon as if she was walking her pets, and brought these three female prisoners flying up to the sky. Her other hand held Shi Yan's arm. She was quick, but still deliberate joking with Shi Yan in a low tone. Little rascal, it is not that I am helping you, I am helping our two races. If you don't put effort, don't blame Di Shan and us for tearing off your skin. Aida, whatever, I have to thank you, haha, <laughs> it was so unexpected of you that you could have earned such a big benefit. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, I will be nice to you. Be nice to me? Little rascal, you really don't care about life or death. If you are not useful anymore now, I will instantly make you wish to die than to live. Don't be so serious. I know you treat me well, hi hi, don't worry, because of you, I will try to break through soon, have stronger forces to control Heaven Flame, and help you break the shelters of Sound Beast Mountain. I hope you really have that kind of power, if not, no one can protect you. Not long after that, a mighty stone castle 50 meters high appeared in front of Shi Yan. Yi Si Yu Bai was in front, after descending the castle, she waved towards Yu Ro. Yu Ro took Shi Yan and the three female prisoners along, and followed Yi Si Yu Bai's signal to land on the highest floor of the castle. Yi Si Yu Bai was standing in the middle of a big hall like the size of a basketball court, pointing to each of the tightly closed stone doors nearby and introduced to Yu Ro and Shi Yan, there are nine rooms here, there are places for the toilet, four. It's all right. Yu Ro swung her arm preventing Si Yu Bai to continue, and threw the three female prisoners down, not caring about them falling down dizzily. You, go back, I will prepare a little, then I will go see your father to check on the submission of the soul secrets, now go and tell your father in advance. Yes Yi Si Yu Bai did not dare to say more, nodded, and confusingly looked at Shi Yan, slightly sighed then quickly left. Oh! Little rascal, you are good. That girl seems to pay special attention to you, did you also have something to do with Yi Tian Mo's daughter already? Who? Shi Yan pretended innocently. Hi Hi Yu Ro slight smiled, and swayed her white jade-like hand. The colored ribbons that were wrapped around the three female prisoners sneaked back into her sleeve like a snake, flipped up her sleeve, and the matriarch of the White Wings clan indifferently said, I know your sea of consciousness temporarily is not unusual, it is just really special. The five anomalous souls were not restless, always possibly causing any upheavals. I leave these three female prisoners to you, if they are not enough, I will have a solution to find more. I will also go get the soul secret scriptures of the demonic sound clan for you, I will get you everything that you need, you will not lack of anything. I only hope that you can increase your stage as soon as possible, we can't wait for so long. Is it possible that the sound beast mountain will have an upheaval? Shi Yan probingly asked. Slightly nodding, Yu Ro said, I will not hide from you. Currently, the sound beast mountain is very special indeed. It is highly possible for it to have a major change, once that change occurs, our two races can perish, ah, uh, to be exact, 
once the sound beast mountain has had an upheaval, this abandoned land will not exist, it will then mean that you will also hardly avoid the deaths that will exist as well. Shi Yan surprised, ceased a while, inhaled a deep breath, then continued, Finally, I know why Di Shan and the others were so generous. Uh, I want you to know, that your stage progress is related not only to the safety of the two races but also of your safety. Therefore, because of your life, you should put more effort in doing it, otherwise, even if we had wanted for you to be alive, we do not have the ability to do so. Yu Ro seriously said. I know. Shi Yan nodded his head. Okay, I won't talk more. These three female prisoners cannot resist. While cultivating, if there is anything unusual, you can give vent to them at any time. Uh, you can even do it until they die, as long as you are okay with it, and if they do die, I can find other girls for you, you only need to break through quickly. Yu Ro looked straight to the three prisoners Cao Zhilan and the other two, her words were very cold-hearted, in her eyes, those three girls were merely tools. Faces of the three leader-to-be of the Endless Sea were gloomy after hearing of Yu Ro's words. Their charming bodies slightly trembled, but there was not any reactions. You ought to take care of yourself. Yu Ro flapped her wings, her body gently swayed, and slowly flew away. This place is very quiet, also very safe. You don't need to be worried at all, just focus on your cultivation, Yu Ro's voice slowly sent out, her figure had already been gone. In the huge hall, Shi Yan mused, thinking of something. Five meters away, the three girls Cao Zhilan, Gu Ling Long, and Chu Yan Ching were anxious and insecure. Sitting on a stone surface, they could see the fear in each other's eyes. Time passed. Shi Yan still did not talk, Cao Zhilan's beautiful face was toneless, silently looking at Shi Yan. After waiting for quite a long time, Shi Yan still did not have any intentions in talking, she impatiently cleared her throat. Being awake while meditating, Shi Yan frowned, and coldly looked at the three female prisoners, and said, Your destinies are too bad. I know that you just luckily stepped on some dog shit. Gu Ling Long clenched her teeth, and resentfully looked at him. I can't believe you are such a rotter, not only in cooperating with the pagan tribes but also wanting to help those crazy pagan people get out of here. Do you know what you are doing? Making me angry is not a wise thing to do. Shi Yan smiled, his figure zoomed over landing in front of Gu Ling Long, stretched his hand rubbing Gu Ling Long's soft white chin with a lusty look, and said, You know, I can always disgrace you here, no one here can say a word. Gu Ling Long's face slightly changed, and suddenly threw a punch towards Shi Yan, but forgot that her energy had been lost. When her small punch dashed out, she had felt very painful. Uh, very unruly, I hope that when I play with you, you are also crazy like this. Shi Yan coldly smiled, boldly squeezing Gu Ling Long's soft breasts for a while. Uh, small but very resilient, it indeed matches with your name Ling Long. Ah Gu Ling Long could not stand the pain moving backwards, tears flooded in her eyes, and stared at Shi Yan resentfully. I will kill you, I will definitely kill you. Maybe your family can still have a chance, but you definitely don't. Shi Yan's expression was cold-hearted, his figure quickly zoomed and appeared right behind Gu Ling Long's back, his big hand slapped one of her round butt cheeks, and coolly said. Butts are big, not bad, I will take good care of you. Enough. Bully a girl who cannot even tie up a chicken, what kind of man are you? Chi Yan Ching's eyes were full of anger, she could not stand not shouting. Oh! Shi Yan burst into laughing. At the beginning, nearly 100 guys had pursued us, hasn't it been courageous? Is it Chu Yan Ching? Goddess of the Heaven Lake Divine Land. Do you remember in Monroe Island how you treated me and Xian Yan? At that time, in your eyes, we were nothing, like an ant? That could be crushed to death. Chu Yan Ching's eyes slightly changed. She obviously remembered what had happened in Monroe Island. At first, 
she had not known about the status of Shi Yan and Xia Xian Yan, in order to get the secret of the Xian Bing Han Yan, she had put Shi Yan and Xia Xian Yan to death, finally letting Shi Yan fall into an icy deep abyss, that made the Ying family very angry, the Heaven Lake Divine Land had a great loss. Because of the wrong anticipation which had led to the great loss of the Heaven Lake Divine Land, many of the elders of the Heaven Lake Divine Land had been very disappointed with her, and had almost abolished her status of goddess, which made her resent Shi Yan to the bone. This time, the Ying family had had a great change, she had been the first one who had volunteered to join the battle in Vault C, with the same reason as Gu Ling Long, to take revenge on Shi Yan. Just as life was unpredictable, many of the top class warriors had entered the Abyss battlefield, not only could they not kill Shi Yan but also had the same consequences as they were having right now. So, you cannot say. Shi Yan coldly smiled, he then leaped and quickly appeared in front of Chu Yan Ching, her scream just resounded when Shi Yan boldly stretched his arm to fondle her face several times, then pulled her thin mask like a mite jumping off of her face. Her eyebrows were high like a mountain, her face was a delicate picture, no makeup, but extremely charming, this was indeed an exquisitely beautiful girl, not inferior to Cao Zhilan. Cao Zhilan and Gu Ling Long also seemed to see Chu Yanqing's real face for the first time. The moment that her face was revealed, her graceful body slightly trembled, and could not help but started screaming. Girls always tended to compare their appearances to each other no matter what. Gu Ling Long and Cao Zhilan silently compared themselves to her. Cao Zhilan silently compared for a moment, slightly smiled, realized that in all aspects, Chu Yanqing was not inferior to her, and was quietly surprised. Gu Ling Long seemed to be sad and fretful, her expression was not good, she knew she was inferior one level to her, and could not be happy. Shi Yan astonished a little, stared at Chu Yanqing for a while, suddenly burst into laughter, it is quite obvious, Heaven Lake Divine Land could not select an ugly girl to be goddess, haha, <laughs> such a beautiful body, that's even better, when I play with you, it will be less boring. Chu Yan Ying knew even if she resisted, it was useless. Under the lusty observance of Shi Yan's eyes, she coldly looked at him with furious eyes, and said, Although the Ying's family's people are perverse and ambitious, they have no kind of hero who bullies feeble girls, looks like you are an exception. That's right. Shi Yan laughed loudly, flirtingly soothed Chu Yan Ching's chin. I think in the endless sea, there was no one who was able to see you, not mentioned to soothe you like this. I can't believe my destiny is very good here, in this damn place, my luckiness in love keeps coming, I can deliberately enjoy it. Shi Yan, can we discuss about this together? Cao Zhilan had been thoughtful for a while, suddenly spoke up, she was much calmer than Gu Ling Long and Chu Yan Ching. She was still composed, smiled, and said. In the current situation, you are respected, but still, are not treated differently from any of us. Shi Yan harumphed coldly, momentarily left Chu Yan Ching, and frigidly looked at the female prisoner boasting, smiled and mocked her. Not differently? Why didn't I realize it? I know these pagan tribes, in order to win my heart, could they voluntarily devote the race's treasures to me? I know that these pagan people had brought you here for me to enjoy. And you, what do you have? You are just a tool, a tool for me to give vent. Besides that, I don't know what other values that you have. Shi Yan, you should practice a little charity, okay? Chu Yan Ching coldly shouted, unbearably tired. If she still had some strength, she would have been the first one to tear off Shi Yan's mouth. Gu Ling Long's charming body slightly shivered, also angrily clenched her teeth. But she had just suffered disadvantages, so she did not dare to provoke him again. Shi Yan was impudent and perverse, she had experienced it already. Two sensitive places on her body had been violated, Gu Ling Long's arrogance was torn off. She clearly understood her situation. In this damn place, when the body's strength was imprisoned, risking to provoke Shi Yan was just burning her fingers. Practice charity. 
Shi Yan's expression was weird. You also practice charity? You are just a courtesan, please stop pretending to be a goddess. The beautiful face of Chu Yanqing suddenly turned white like paper, her graceful body trembled, tightly clenched her teeth, she seemed to control and not risking her life with Shi Yan. Cao Zhilan miserably smiled. We are all nails in those pagan tribes' eyes. I know you, Shi Yan, to be a little different from us, so what? Currently, you are still useful. But when your advantages are no more, your outcome is perhaps even to be worse than ours. By that time, the way that the pagan tribes treat you will obviously be more brutal than the way they treat us. Shrugging his shoulders, he indifferently said, Have you finished? Cao Zhilan was astonished, nodded helplessly. Regardless how my future is, at least I do not get any harm right now, and also leisurely enjoy everything of the pagan tribes, you are one of them. Shi Yan coldly smiled. Cao Zhilan, I know what you want to say. You want you and me to conjoin to save you guys, then we will deal with these pagan tribes, is it right? Cao Zhilan nodded. With you guys. Shi Yan didn't mind. Even though I saved you, you actually think you can help me? The demonic sound clan asked one person to easily capture you all and confine your souls, how could you still fight with them? Ka Bie, Ye Ming, although those people have weak bodies, their soul accomplishments have reached the god-possessed stage. They just need to activate their senses, and your souls will instantly explode. And you are so stupid to think that you can be of a benefit for me. The expressions of Gu Linglong and Chu Yanqing were like ashes. On the contrary, Cao Zhilan had no reaction, hesitated a little bit, then said, You said it right. We actually don't have a solution in resisting these pagan tribes. But if you can recover our strengths, and give me one night to prepare, I can contact the Cao family. I just need to send out the information. I think our families will have a solution. Contact with the outside. Shi Yan, a little bit agitated. That's right. I just need to have enough time to prepare, so that I can actually make contact with CAO family. CAO Ji Lan assured, and said, Once I send out the information here, with the intelligence of our top class warriors in the endless sea, we can quickly know of these pagan tribes' origin and find of a way to deal with them. Oh Shi Yan nodded, rubbed his chin, and coolly said, Your ways are not bad, but so sorry, I don't accept it. Not only that, I will also watch you out carefully, to prevent you from contacting with the outside. Upon his words, the beautiful faces of Gu Linglong and Chu Yanqing changed, both resentfully looked at Shi Yan. Shi Yan Cao Zhi Lan insisted. I am begging you to think about it, the demonic sound clan have the gifted advantage to deal with us. Their particular souls can help them destroy us easily, there are also the three patriarchs of the wings race, each of them have wicked intentions with extraordinary power. Once they enter the endless sea, it is an accident for all the warriors of the endless sea. Because of it, there will be the deaths of many ordinary people, even though you don't like us, you should see the big picture. The issues regarding your life and death does not matter to me. Shi Yan's expression was indifferent. I know all of you will not forgive the Ying family, and surely will not forgive me. I am not that great man, damn you, don't manipulate me. You finally, Gu Linglong could not stand it anymore. Do you still have a good sense or not? You know how much loss when these two races entering Endless Sea will cause? How many people will die because of your decisions? What? Shi Yan coldly smiled. You cooperated with the people of the Fourth Devil Valley, was it of good sense? Because of you, the Fourth Devil Valley and the Netherworld could massively invade the Endless Sea. Perhaps, people in the Endless Sea now, have already been in misery. Adding these two pagan tribes will be nothing or these two pagan tribes can perhaps control the fourth devil valley and netherworld. What? Cao Zhilan, Gu Linglong, and Chu Yanqing simultaneously shouted with astonished faces, and screamed. 
the fourth Devil Valley and the Netherworld have possibly conjoined, Ghost Man and Devil Man have united. First, they killed all of the Ying family, destroyed the defenses where the Heaven Gate linked with the Devil Valley. Not long after that, Ghost Man and Devil Man entered the Endless Sea together. As of now, the Endless Sea perhaps belongs to Ghost Man and Devil Man already. Even if you send out information, it is fucking useless. Shi Yan coolly smiled while speaking. The three girls bewildered, their eyes were full of confusion, they felt cold and hopeless for the first time. Chapter 254 Unexpected Cake from Heaven In the immense stone hall Shi Yan's face was serious, he composedly sat in the middle of the stone hall. His bright eyes stared at the jade bottle and at the two jade boxes in front of him without blinking. Seven antiquated dark yellow scripture books laid in a line behind the jade boxes. Yu Ro and Di Shan kept silent, standing in front of Shi Yan, one on his left, while the other one on his right. Ye Meng, Ka Bie, and Yi Tian Mo miserably glared at the seven dark yellow scripture books. It seemed that they had wanted to say something but couldn't. They obviously regretted this decision and did not want to hand over these demonic sound clans books. But, they had no other choices. In a big chamber inside the stone hall, Cao Zhilan, Gu Linglong, and Chu Yanqing were feeling worried and insecure with a gloomy look on their faces while observing the scene happening in the stone hall. The white jade spirit fruit can be taken directly. After consuming it, meditate instantly and attentively absorb the soul-refining power of the spirit fruit. This method is very simple. You just need to carry the internal powers to the brain. The energy inside of the spirit fruit will unblock the nerves and veins in your brain, making your soul extremely sensitive, as well as helping you meditate well. If you are able to absorb all of the powers of a white jade spirit fruit into your brain, it will be very useful for your cultivation as well as the reinforcement of your mental state and soul purification. It makes the powers of your soul very sensitive, and increases the coverage range and intensity of your mental state. Yu Ro's expression was serious. With her gentle voice, she slowly explained to Shi Yan the consumption method and the efficacy of the white jade spirit fruit. The blackhead lotus is even simpler. A slice of the blackhead lotus can be compressed into plenty of juice. You just need to apply that juice all over your body and let your pores absorb the juice of the blackhead lotus, which will get into your body and gradually form a lotus tattoo on your chest. This lotus tattoo can enhance the speed of heaven and earth's spiritual energy refining five times during the five years. As long as the black lotus tattoo does not disappear, once you cultivate, the heaven and earth's spiritual energy will gather within five times faster, flowing in that black lotus tattoo. Through this black lotus tattoo, you can refine, transform, then slowly pour your profound chi in to help increase your cultivation speed. Dishan squinted while his black wings retracted. He clenched his lips, seemed to be a little heart-rending as well. Heaven Fountain Concentrated Water is the treasure of grey white wings. The usage is also simple. Hmm, if you are injured or your profound chi has had a great loss, you just need to drink one drop of the Heaven Fountain Concentrated Water. It will supplement your profound chi for you in a blink of an eye, and also cure your wounds very fast. You temporarily do not need it now. Wait until you break the shelters, if your energy is consumed too much, you can use the Heaven Fountain Concentrated Water to recover it. It will increase your powers. Yu Ro smiled and continued. Di Shan has put a lot of effort to convince Duo Long to give you one bottle of the Heaven Fountain Concentrated Water. He nearly fought with Duo Long. Thus, do not disappoint us. Shi Yan sat meditatively like a stone. His expression was calm and serious. Don't worry. If I have these three things from you and yet could not break the shelters, you can do anything with me as you wish. Di Shan nodded, then looked at Ka Bie, Ye Meng, and Ti Tian Mo neglectfully asked. How about you? Ka Bie got startled and pointed at the scripture books on the ground, said miserably, all of the scriptures are placed over there. You think he can understand them? Those are ancient books. 
If you don't give him any guidance, do you think that he can still understand them? Arg Kabia scratched his head, not knowing how to answer. But he then finally said, OK, I will show him. No Yameng and Yi Tian Mo spoke up simultaneously. All of the seven scripture books did not belong to Ka Bia alone. Five of them were preserved by Yameng and Yi Tian Mo, which could not be spread out to others. If Ka Bia knew the contents of the five secretive scriptures, he possibly could have captured their secret spirits in his hand. Shi Yan revealed a wicked smile. Although he was under a tight watch of the top class warriors of the two races, he still deliberately walked to the scripture books and picked one of them up. He glanced at it and said, No need to bother you. I can understand these ancient scriptures. The five leaders' expressions slightly changed. Astonishment exposed on their faces. Shi Yan, what did you say? Yu Ro shook her head with doubt, and said, Don't bluster. This is not the time to boast. These scriptures were from our ancestors. It should be tens of thousands of years ago, how could you have known about them? Seven Manipulation Gods Shi Yan pointed at the scripture book in his hand, looking towards Ka Bia and asked, Am I pronouncing the title correctly? Ka Ba's eyes lit up, his face was very strange, but he still gently nodded his head, That's correct. These are the three words, Seven Manipulation Gods. I did not expect that you would know it. By this time, the eyes of five leaders of the pagan tribes expressed an astonishment and suspicions at the same time. They did not know how he could have read these ancient scriptures. All right. Everything has been brought here. I can now start my cultivation. Shi Yan leisurely stretched his hands touching the treasures and ancient scripture books in front of him. The blood vein ring in his finger flared up several times, those things then disappeared one by one into the ring. Ah, if there is nothing important, please don't disturb me. Shi Yan raised his head looking at the five leaders. Okay, okay. You focus on your cultivation. I will be around to watch out. Call me if you need anything. The matriarch of White Wings clan revealed a beautiful smile. After thinking a while, her pretty eyes glanced at the three people of Cao Zilan who stayed in the distance, and said, if those three girls are not enough, I will arrange more. You can set your mind to rest about this fact. Duo Long has captured a human girl named He Ching Man. I have bargained with Duo Long. He will bring that girl here as well in a moment. It seemed that an idea just suddenly popped up in Dishan's mind. He said, that girl is quite beautiful too. She will be also handed to you to stabilize your emotions. So. You don't need to worry about girls. He Ching Man. Shi Yan's face slightly changed. His eyes kept moving before speaking, the girl that I exactly need should be a virgin. Virgins have the most efficiency. If not, the results will be a lot less. What? Di Shan startled for a while before talking to Yu Ro, we perhaps have to put more pressure on Duo Long. I think Duo Long will also sacrifice that small thing for the bigger thing. Yu Ro looked at Shi Yan while revealing faint smile. After mumbling to herself, she reluctantly nodded her head and said, So, we will go to discuss much more with Duo Long. Uh, sorry for having to bother you this time. Shi Yan's face was excited and seriously said, Only human girls are suitable for me. I am not sure if the girls of your two races can be suitable or not. That's why I hope the girl whose name is He Ching Man will be sent here unharmed. With four girls at hand, I think that I will not have any problems. Damn you little rascal! Yu Ro shook her head, said helplessly, All right, because of our two races, we will bring that girl here intact, as you wish. Korf, Korf. That's good. Shi Yan's face remained unchanged. Then, he hurriedly said with an impatient expression, Now, I need to cultivate. If there is nothing else to say, please. Let's go. Di Shan leaped up, the pair of black wings on his back flapped gently. His figure then gradually faded and disappeared completely out of sight. 
Kabie, Yaming, and Yitian Mo stared at Shi Yan before leaving without saying anything else. Yu Ro was the last one to leave. She waited until the four of them had totally disappeared, before speaking to Shi Yan, Little rascal, you take care of this by your own. If you cannot help our two races break the shelters, no one can save you. Thank you Shi Yan sincerely said while looking straight into Yu Ro's eyes. No need to say thank you. I only think for the welfare of the two races. Yu Ro mused for a while. Her beautiful eyes blinked and her mouth revealed a secret smile. After speaking, she slowly turned around flying away. Eventually, there was only Shi Yan alone in the stone hall. He sat motionlessly, started to meditate. After the three people of Cao Zhilan and the other two had watched him in silence for a while, they quietly walked out of the stone chamber but still keep a safe distance with Shi Yan. They looked at him with a confusing expression as if they had wanted to say something but could not find any topics to talk about. The three of you should be obedient. This place is not the outside world. You were something in the outside world, but you are nothing here. Shi Yan turned his back around and said in a low tone. Do not disturb me, be obedient over there. Female slaves should behave as female slaves. Female slaves. Gu Ling Long's complexion suddenly changed. Her look was chilled to the bone, she fiercely stared at Shi Yan's back. Her big breasts heaved non-stop. What did you say? Gu Ling Long secretly clenched her teeth. She was like a small tigress showing her fangs and claws, being so angry as she could not jump over to Shi Yan to tear him into pieces. As I have said, the three of you are only slaves. I can play with you whenever I want. Shi Yan turned his head around, coldly glancing at the three of them with a mocking face. If you are not well behaved, I would not mind teaching you a bit about your manners. You. Gu Ling Long's and Chu Yanqing's charming faces turned pale instantly. They were so angry that their bodies trembled, they looked as if they were ready to risk their lives to kill Shi Yan. Only Cao Zhilan was not angry, but she felt a little dreary within her own heart. She released a long sigh, then walked towards Gu Ling Long and Chu Yanqing to comfort them, and said helplessly, We cannot do anything when facing with this emotionless rascal. Don't hurt yourselves. Gu Ling Lung and Chu Yanqing clenched their teeth but did not dare to storm in there and fight with him. They knew that it was not good to irritate Shi Yan at this moment. In the past few days, whenever Shi Yan had gotten irritated by them, all the sensitive places on their bodies had been violated by him. During the time when Shi Yan had been waiting for the two pagan tribes to bring their treasures, he closed his eyes meditating. It was like he was reviewing all the secrets in his cultivation. The three girls could not do anything except insulting him with their words and curses, and the results were always woeful. It always ended up with their bodies being violated. Except Cao Zhilan, who was the most obedient since the beginning, had not been violated as of yet, all the sensitive places on Gu Ling Long and Chu Yanqing's bodies had been touched by Shi Yan. The two girls were so embarrassed. However, whenever they thought about committing suicide, they got a terrible splitting headache and did not have any abilities to do it. Having been violated for many, many times, the two girls were gradually getting more obedient. They did not dare to irritate Shi Yan too much. They immediately stopped if they saw that Shi Yan had started to get angry. I am almost done cultivating. Lower your voices. Do not disturb me. Shi Yan stood up, indifferently glanced at the three frightened girls. After that, he entered a huge stone chamber on the right side of the stone hall. After closing the door, he closed his eyes and began meditating. Chapter 255, Soul Perception Shi Yan's eyes were closed tightly, his breathing was normal. Flows of negative energy started to spread out one by one on his body. In the secret chamber, Shi Yan was meditating, gradually entering a marvelous realm almost forgetting himself. From his appearance, his body did not have any special transformations yet. But if there was a person who had a mighty sea of consciousness here, 
he would have recognized that the fluctuating spirit inside of Shi Yan's mind was extremely confusing and complicated. Five flows of spiritual energies clustered inside his sea of consciousness. These flows were full of emotions of despair, fear, bloodshed, greed, and resentment, which were condensing little by little as if they had kept absorbing the negative feelings within his body. As many negative feelings gathered, the five devils in his sea of consciousness, which were created by the gathering of the five emotions types of despair, fear, bloodshed, greed, and resentment, all had a fierce manner as if they had wanted to get out of the sea of consciousness and intrude into Shi Yan's brain, plundering his spirit. When conducting the negative feelings, he did not dare to relax his mind. He still kept his spirit stabilizing to take control. This cultivation of the five devils in the sea of mind came from the blood vein ring. It was like a miraculous spell which had been customized for his body and combined with his mystery martial spirit perfectly. It was the same with breaking through the third sky of the rampage, the cultivating method of the five devils in the sea of mind also needed the mystery martial spirit. This cultivation happened through the gathering of the negative feelings inside of his meridians. These negative feelings could have normally pushed him into a critical situation where he could not have had controlled the five devils. Even when they were still under the control of the sea of consciousness, they had already made Shi Yan scared out of his wits. Once the five devils could be free from the control of the sea of consciousness, they would then totally dominate Shi Yan's consciousness. Shi Yan had already known about this when he had cultivated the five devils in the sea of mind. Before finishing cultivating this marvelous martial technique, the devil's backfire could happen at any given time. This was actually the devil's experiment with Shi Yan. If he could not break the devil's mind, he would probably get the consequences for himself once the devils began to form. He clearly understood that cultivating the five devils in the sea of mind was much more dangerous than that of the breaking through the third sky of the rampage. However, once he cultivated this successfully, he would obviously have tremendous intimidations like breaking through the third sky of the rampage. Therefore, even though he knew that cultivating this martial technique was very dangerous, he hadn't hesitated before. Once he got the method of cultivating the five devils in the sea of mind down, he immediately began the cultivation. He liked the challenges of the martial techniques which were difficult to cultivate. All types of the negative feelings gathering in the sea of consciousness had turned into nutritious sources for the five devils. Shi Yan congregated the soul consciousness with the intention of penetrating the five devils' bodies in order to affect them and then build a harmonious relationship with them. However, after those five devils had received a lot of negative feelings, they gradually obtained consciousness. Because the devils had Shi Yan's spiritual seal, they could be also considered as having his intelligence. They seemed to know of his intentions. Once his consciousness came close to them, they promptly boycotted it. After many attempts, Shi Yan could only control a little bit of his mind's area. His mind would not be affected when the negative feelings filled his sea of consciousness. However, he had failed to penetrate the five devils with his spiritual consciousness to create a connection with them, which had actually helped him control them. Very long time later, Shi Yan gradually opened his eyes and contemplated for a while. After that, he took the seven soul scripture books of the demonic sound clan in silence and started to read them one by one. The seven ancient soul scripture books did not note the cultivating methods of the martial techniques in detail. Instead, they were about the research of all the miraculous soul transformations, mentioning the features and different methods of soul cultivations in a very detailed and clear way. Only after reading them for a short time, did Shi Yan's eyes brightened up, his face revealed in excitement. These seven ancient soul scripture books contained all kinds of profound perceptions about the soul's marvelousness. The soul apprehension of the demonic sound clan had indeed far surpassed the other tribes. It seemed that Euro actually knew which ancient scriptures would be the most useful for him now. These seven ancient scripture books, with no exception, all mentioned Upanishads that were related to the soul. It was as if Shi Yan had just gotten a treasure. He did not hurry to control the five devils in the sea of mind, instead, he spent all of his time in reading the seven ancient scripture books of the demonic sound clan. 
he did not know that the seven ancient soul scripture books were the essence of the demonic sound clan's Upanishads of the soul. The demonic sound clan's soul secret skills had been totally based on these seven ancient scripture books. Understanding them would allow him to master all kinds of soul secret skills of the demonic sound clan. He conducted his host soul into deep inside of the spirit and the sea of consciousness, used the sea of consciousness to nourish the host soul, gradually formed the god soul. Once the god soul was formed, it would then break the tie of the spirit and reach the level of terrific power. An ancient scripture book related to Upanishads of the host soul attracted Shi Yan's attention. He researched it so deeply that he even forgot about the time and the binding in the cultivation. He now only used his mind to perceive everything that was related to the host soul. According to this ancient scripture, everyone had a host soul. The host soul was the core of spirit. An ordinary person could not sense the existence of a host soul, nor had no way to control it or take its forces. For warriors who cultivated martial arts, if they purified themselves and refined their blood to break through their minds, their spirits would slowly intensify. One day, they would finally be able to sense the host soul of the spirit's core. Once a warrior broke through the nirvana realm to form the sea of consciousness, if they could conduct the host soul into the sea of consciousness, the sea of consciousness and the host soul would support each other and develop together. When the host soul entered the sea of consciousness, it was nourished by the sea of consciousness. Once the nirvana realm improved, the transformation would also occur. One day, if the warriors had entered the god realm, their host souls would then evolve to a higher level, transforming to the god soul in the sea of consciousness. Once the god soul was formed, it meant that the warriors officially became a supreme god realm master. The god soul and the sea of consciousness supporting one another could then develop unimaginable spiritual forces. Shi Yan worked hard to understand and carefully remembered all the ancient scripture books. He gradually gained a special perception of the demonic sound clan soul apprehension. If the host soul was conducted into the sea of consciousness and nourished by the sea of consciousness, could the host soul have then been able to control the five devils? In a moment, a bright idea popped up in Shi Yan's mind. He suddenly felt that this thing could be done. After this thought appeared in his head, he could not restrain himself. He was impatient in finding the host soul that was hiding deep inside of his spirit, conducting the host soul into the sea of consciousness. White Jade Spirit Fruit Shi Yan's expression completely changed, he suddenly revealed a smile. According to Yu Ro, this white jade spirit fruit could feed the spirit up, thus the host soul would be also able to benefit from this peculiar fruit. Once taking the white jade spirit fruit, the strange powers of the fruit would scatter and pour into the spirit, so that both the spirit and the host soul would receive more power. If it happened that way, after taking the white jade spirit fruit and contemplating to sense the white jade spirit fruit's power running inside, was it then easy to find the host soul? Shi Yan's eyes brightened up. After slightly fondling the blood vein ring, a light flared up, and the jade box immediately appeared. As soon as the jade box was opened, a passionate fragrance flew out. The white jade spirit fruit inside of the box was fulgent. With the first glance, it looked like a marvelous crunch of jade with sparkling lights inside. It seemed to have some strange powers hidden inside of the white jade spirit fruit. Shi Yan squinted, carefully taking a good look at the white jade spirit fruit. He noticed that there were numerous silk lines twisting together like the nerve system of the brain, which was extremely miraculous. Smelling the fragrance from the white jade spirit fruit had already agitated Shi Yan's spirit. He felt as if his spirit had shot out from the mundaneness, it seemed to be purified by some exotic thing. Shi Yan was bewildered for a moment. He did not dare to think too much, and hastily put the white jade spirit fruit into his mouth and swallowed it. Then, he quickly urged the profound Chi to digest the white jade spirit fruit. Boom! Inside of his body, there appeared a flame suddenly which came from the heart within his chest. As soon as the white jade spirit fruit ran down to his stomach, the flame instantly enclosed the white jade spirit fruit. The fulgent white jade spirit fruit like a chunk of jade inside of Shi Yan's belly suddenly burned up. 
streams of power, one by one, rose up hovering around like a mist of smog. They gradually gathered running into Shi Yan's brain. Shi Yan immediately had the same strange feelings as he had absorbed the power of the white jade spirit fruit, only the feelings this time was stronger. As he had taken in the soul of the white jade spirit fruit, there were plenty of soul power scattering in all directions. As soon as the soul power poured into his brain, it abruptly flushed over his brain. However, the peculiar force of the white jade spirit fruit was quite special. This strange force seemed to have its own purpose. They gradually approached Shi Yan's brain, but only gathered into a special corner of his brain. His forehead. A dazzling marvelous ivory white light suddenly shot out from the middle of his eyebrows. Shi Yan's forehead vibrated tremendously, radiating a dazzling light which gradually covered his entire brain. His brain started to emit bright halos one by one. He now looked like a saint, very mysterious and anomalous. Found it. Shi Yan was extremely happy. His spirit was constantly taking in the peculiar force of the white jade spirit fruit which then gathered in a mysterious area in the middle of his forehead. In that mysterious area, he could see another him and witnessed a glaring scene. In the mysterious area, his another him was sitting cross-legged with tightly closed eyes. God light flared up in between of his eyebrows. It was exactly like himself. In that area with the seven colored lights, an elf was sitting cross-legged, the corners of his mouth revealed a beam of excitement. There was a white god light hovering over his head. A dazzling light flared up in between the eyebrows. As Shi Yan's spirit came here, that elf seemed to feel something, opening his eyes all in sudden. Those eyes were like a bottomless lake which reflected the images of Shi Yan's living memories. All milestones in Shi Yan's life emerged in those eyes. As his spirit arrived here, it seemed to be attracted, abruptly went inside of those eyes, turned into a period of his soul memory. Bang! It was as if there had been an explosion inside of Shi Yan's head. His soul consciousness was horribly shaken, his sea of consciousness was also extremely insecure. However, the elf from that mysterious area gradually got out of that place being conducted by the soul light into the sea of consciousness. Everything ceased suddenly. Chapter 256, Raving Waves As soon as the host soul entered the sea of consciousness, the five devils in the sea of consciousness calmed down suddenly, did not dare to be rebellious. The host soul and the sea of consciousness were connected to each other. Each stream of the soul consciousness in the sea of consciousness stuck tightly to the host soul. At this moment, the host soul and Shi Yan's soul consciousness formed a marvelous connection. Soul consciousness then turned into beams of miraculous lights which were not easy to be seen by ordinary eyes. They then abruptly went into Shi Yan's eyes. As his eyes opened, they seemed to receive lightning. Each stream of the lightning was thin and delicate moving into his eyes. After walking out to the big stone hall from the stone chamber, Shi Yan looked out at a distance and suddenly realized that his vision range had been tens of times greater than that of before. Everything within the range of more than ten miles became very clear in his eyes. He could even see the wrinkles on the faces of demonic sound clans people with minute detail. His soul consciousness covered the entire area. Lives that were fluctuating in this area were signaled and transmitted to him. Even a worm under the ground could not avoid his soul consciousness's examination. At this time, Shi Yan had a wonderful feeling as if he had turned into a god. Small things nor tiny weak lives, everywhere, could not escape from his eyes and his soul consciousness. Everything seemed to be under his control. The host soul entering the sea of consciousness had unexpectedly brought him such a marvelous feeling. These kinds of feelings made him crazily happy, his heart was even moved. In the sea of consciousness, the host soul and the soul consciousness were bound to each other. The host soul seemed to turn into another brain, while streams of the soul consciousness connecting with the host soul seemed to turn into nerves, bringing him new perceptions. With the host soul staying in the sea of consciousness, the five devils had also calmed down. After perceiving carefully, Shi Yan discovered that the soul consciousness connecting with the host soul had also wrapped around the five devils. 
After entering the sea of consciousness, the host soul continuously emitted fluctuating lives one by one, transmitted to the five devils through the soul consciousness. Under the effect of those fluctuating lives, the five devils suddenly became peaceful. They seemed to know that they were not able to dominate the host soul, thus they stopped being rebellious. As he sent out his thoughts, the host soul delivered his thoughts to the five devils. The five devils immediately immersed themselves into the sea of consciousness. The soul seal inside of the five devils which belonged to him seemed to have been effective. It had started to slowly tie up the five devils, which prevented them from emitting negative feelings. The lightning in Shi Yan's eyes faded, his face regained the previous serious expressions. He stood in the middle of the stone hall thinking about something. After a long time, he sat down in the middle of the stone hall. Without worrying about being disturbed, he soothed the blood vein ring and took the black head lotus out. As he opened the jade box, big black halos suddenly scattered from the petals of the black head lotus. These petals were of an inky black color with black halos flaring up from the inside which brought people a miraculous and anomalous feeling. Without hesitation, he stretched out his hand grabbing the petals, then put it right on his chest. The profound chi from his fingers concentrated and then radiated a beam of light into the petals. The shining black liquid abruptly flew out from the petals, absorbing into his body through the pores of his skin from his chest. A warm and wonderful feeling scattered all over his body. It seemed that there were thousands of worms that were gnawing on his chest. In a short moment, Shi Yan felt itchy, painful, and uncomfortable. The liquid of the black head lotus diffused, quietly amended his flesh, which led to the transformations of every single molecular cell within his body. A black drawing which was as big as a fist gradually formed on his chest while he was still enjoying this marvelous feeling of perception. Shi Yan was astonished and dazedly watched the transformations on his chest. He wondered if the liquid of the black head lotus was that miraculous or not. The originally faint black drawing gradually became clearer. Not long afterward, each of the petals appeared on his chest. Shining black petals had blossomed, little by little until a black lotus was formed. It looked highly exotic at the first glance. After the black lotus had been formed, a fresh surge of energy immediately ran out from the middle of the lotus bloom. After taking a deep breath, Shi Yan sat straight, closing his eyes and meditating. Profound qi in his body slowly moved, carried on the circulation in his vessels. Right at the time that the refining process had just started, the surrounding heaven and earth's energy was unusually lively all of a sudden. The gathering speed was many times faster. The profound qi was massively pouring into the black lotus that was on his chest. It was miraculous indeed. Shi Yan was very happy, quickly closed his eyes putting all his efforts in gathering heaven and earth's energy without any distractions. He used his spirit energy to refine as much of the profound chi as possible and enhanced the intensity of the profound chi within his body. Time had quickly passed. It had been ten days in the blink of an eye. Squeak! The door of the next stone chamber was pushed open. Three stealthy and delicate figures quietly walked out of the stone chamber, standing ten meters away from Shi Yan watching him cultivating in the middle of the stone hall in silence. Lan Ji Wan Gu Ling Long frowned, looking at Cao Ji Lan implicatively with cold lights flaring up in her eyes. Chu Yan Ching's exquisite face was icy cold, her eyes kept moving as if she had wanted to do something but still hesitated. Cao Ji Lan knitted her eyebrows. While Gu Ling Long and Chu Yan Ching were staring at her, she shook her head implicating that they should not do anything rash. In the stone hall, Shi Yan closed his eyes meditating. His body was gathering a big amount of heaven and earth's energy while he was topless. An anomalous black lotus emitted a black halo, which was like a fierce big mouth biting and swallowing heaven and earth's energy that was surrounding it before transferring them to Shi Yan. Shi Yan was motionless, completely oblivious of himself. It seemed as if he did not know that the three female prisoners were staring at him from not that far away. It was unknown of how much time had passed. Shi Yan's body quietly projected faint silver lights which were originally very gloomy, 
but then became brighter due to more and more of heaven and earth's energy pouring in. The world's energy was dense like a cloud of smoke hovering beside Shi Yan without dispersing. The silver lights from Shi Yan's body gradually dispersed out as if it would have led to the mutation of heaven and earth's energy. The mutation had made heaven and earth's energy commence in being chaotic and continuously revolved around him, forming small streams of lights. Those lights were approaching closely to his body as if they had wanted to go through into his body. Lan Ji, this, this is. He is about to enter the second sky of the earth realm. What? How come is it so fast? When he entered the chasm battlefield, he had only been at the disaster realm. The leaders of the two tribes had given him their treasures. He has absorbed the energy of these treasures, together with his outstanding innate abilities, being able to break through this fast is within reason. Lam Ji, this is the most critical moment. Mei Mei thinks that he surely does not have any protection. If we can. No, we should not make a mess. Even if we do manage to kill him, what is next? This place is full of demonic sound clans people. Before even being able to get out of here, the results might be even more tragic. But, but we may never know, one day, his animal-like characteristics might break out, he would possibly then violate us savagely. What will we do by that time? Oh, at least we will still survive. Being violated by the same kind is better than being violated by the pagans. Didn't you see Yaji's intentions? If we had fallen into Yaji's hands or the wings race's hands, the outcome should have been much worse than now. Everyone contemplated for a while. After a short discussion, the three female prisoners were quiet again, stayed at the side watching Shi Yan without any actions. Far ahead, the stone castle, on the top of a very high arch, Yu Ro, the matriarch of White Wings clan was lying down on a bamboo swing leisurely, swaying her long thin legs. However, her mesmerizing eyes was looking towards the stone castle in the distance, quietly paying attention to any commotions inside of the stone castle. Besides Yu Ro, Di Shan, the patriarch of Black Wings clan, was like a dominating stone statue with his cold yet attractive appearance. He stood motionlessly without saying a word. Behind Di Shan's back, He Ching Man's expression was confused. She looked towards the stone castle in the distance with her wide open eyes, and vaguely saw Shi Yan's figure in there. In the last half month, even with the help of the white jade spirit fruit and the black head lotus, this little rascal's innate ability is not bad as he is able to enter the second sky from the first sky of the earth realm. After a very long time, Di Shan suddenly exclaimed, It is regretful that he is humankind. If he were of our wings races, we would have fostered and trained him. While speaking, Di Shan swung his arm, a black cage appeared confining He Ching Man in the blink of an eye, which prevented her from listening or seeing anything. Di Shan, I had promised that little rascal, that after he finishes the job, we will spare his life. The swing of Yu Ro gradually stopped swaying. She frowned while looking at Di Shan, then coldly said, as the patriarch and matriarch of our tribes, we need to keep our words. What do you think? I will try my best to protect him. Di Shan contemplated for a while before speaking. But if demonic sound clan and duo long unite to kill him, I will not risk my life for him. Yu Ro's expression slightly changed, she shouted, they dare do it. Di Shan smiled miserably, and slowly nodded his head, this little rascal is really outstanding, that's why Demonic Sound Clan wants him dead. However, to help him improve faster, Yu has asked for the other three guys to give him their ancient scriptures. As he now can understand the Upanishads, if he does not die, his spirit accomplishment will be extremely tremendous. That should be a catastrophe for Demonic Sound Clan. If I were a person of Demonic Sound Clan, I would also have not let him live, I would have killed him at all costs. Yu Ro was bewildered, then slowly nodded after a while. She said with a complicated face, So, my way has pushed him to the everlasting perdition. Anyway, he is just a little human rascal. No need to be that worried. We have sacrificed that much to break the shelters. 
don't mind too much about his life or death. Dishan coldly said. Dishan Yuro suddenly called out to him loudly. After hesitating for a while, she raised her head looking at the patriarch of Black Wings clan and said, If that little rascal was the descendant of the three god kings, will you follow our ancestors' guidance, and spare his life? What? Dishan's face suddenly changed. The blood of the immortal god king is running in his body. This is destiny. Moreover, he came here with the heaven flame. Everything is needed as conditions in helping us get out of this abandoned place. Tell me, is it because that the ancestors have sworn of the breaking of the shelters which has been transmitted to the God King that we are now encountering this current situation? Yu Ro's eyes flashed with God lights, her face was serious, looking straight at Dishan. Immortal God King. Dishan took a deep breath, he was obviously in shock. After a while, he said in a low tone, haven't you been mistaken? I have checked carefully. He is absolutely the descendant of the immortal god king. Yu Ro nodded her head. I know that Duo Long does not respect the ancestor's guidance. These things are meaningless to him. I want to hear it from you directly. If we follow the ancestor's guidance, we have to serve him as our master. This thing, Dishan smiled miserably and hesitated a while before continuing, we will see. If this little rascal shows some potential which can make me admire him, I will reconsider. But if he cannot, I will not have any mercy. Ahem, Dishan has to serve him as a master, I would rather go against the ancestor's guidance than do it. Chapter 257, The Younger Generation Who Surpassed the Older Shi Yan glowered, a sparkling light appeared in his eyes. The shiny silver light around his body gradually retracted until it left no trace. Congratulations! Cao Zhilan moved forward one step with an honest face. Although you have some help from the anomalous treasures, being able to break through the second sky of the Earth realm is really exceptional. If you go back to the Kyra Sea, you can definitely rank on the top five of the power rankings. The beautiful faces of Gu Linglong and Chu Yanqing slightly changed, showing their suspicions. The top five of the power rankings. Shi Yan guffawed shaking his head and said, I don't care about those rankings. I am not interested in it. Only top level warriors with wicked intentions like you care about the power rankings. You, you look down on us. Gu Linglong angrily said. That's right. Shi Yan did not refuse it and seriously nodded his head. When I was still in the disaster realm without any help from the beasts, I could have already sustained one full power strike of yours. You are also of the power rankings but still cannot defeat even one warrior at the disaster realm. So, you tell me, are the power rankings meaningful? Gu Ling Long got irritated while glaring at Shi Yan. She said with anger, You think everyone is a monster like you? Shi Yan, you are not the same as an ordinary warrior. You could enhance your strength several times more in just a blink of an eye. Even the top level warriors in the power rankings can never possess these kinds of powers. You shouldn't be compared to the common warriors. Cao Zhilan smiled deliberately as if she and Shi Yan were friends. Cao Zhilan had still wanted to cool down the relationship with Shi Yan. During this time, regardless of what she said or did, she should just simply follow and comply with Shi Yan. Her purpose was simple. She hoped that Shi Yan would have some sympathy for them and did not see them as his enemies. I don't need you to remind me. Shi Yan frowned, gradually stood up and stared at Gu Ling Long and Chu Yan Qing. He suddenly said, if you still have wicked intentions, don't blame me for violating you before my cultivation have any troubles. Ahem, you dared to have the intentions of killing me while I was cultivating. You are such stupid girls. Learn more from Cao Zhilan. You should better understand your current situation. The expressions of Gu Ling Long and Chu Yanqing slightly changed, but they did not dare to say anything anymore. They only felt strange how Shi Yan had been able to have heard their conversations while he had been in the critical point of his breakthrough. They obviously did not know that after Shi Yan's host soul had entered the sea of consciousness, 
the sense powers of his god consciousness had reached an unimaginable level. Even in the bitter cultivating state, commotions around could not have escaped from his senses. At that time, he had not entered the stone chamber for his cultivation, instead, he had chosen to cultivate in the middle of the stone hall in order to take precautions against unexpected incidents. Swoosh swoosh! The sound of wings flapping came up from a distance. Not long after that, Yu Ro and Di Shan simultaneously landed. Yu Ro was holding He Ching Man who was cheerfully surprised. Bump! After throwing He Ching Man on the floor, without glancing at Cao Zhilan and the other two girls, Yu Ro turned her head around to look at Shi Yan and said, This girl's body is still pure. I brought her here specifically for you to do as you please with her. Ah, how much more time will it take? We don't have much time left. We should go to the Sound Beast Mountain soon. Give me some more time. I need to reinforce the realm. Shi Yan was very happy, he nodded his head while looking at He Ching Man, then said, in a maximum of one month, I am sure that I will be able to break through the shelters. Believe me, I will help you deal with the Sound Beast Mountain after one month. One month, after Yu Ro raised her head looking up to the sky, she looked at Di Shan and asked, Do we still have enough time? No worries. Di Shan calmly nodded his head, looking at Shi Yan. I give you one and a half months. Don't disappoint me. If you do, you will live to regret it. Upon his words, Di Shan turned around and left. He disappeared without a trace in just a blink of an eye. Yu Ro said with a faint smile, in order to take that girl here, he had to fight with Duo Long who had to suffer much harm himself. Finally, Duo Long could not say no to him. Although Di Shan is cold-hearted, he will keep his words. So, I should be grateful to you. Shi Yan nodded, looking at Di Shan's back shadow leaving, and indifferently said. Remember, one and a half month. After that. I hope you can bring us a big surprise. Otherwise, we will make your soul fly and scatter in this place. You will never get out of here. Yu Ro released a long sigh in her heart, stretched her hand patting He Ching Man's shoulders, then spoke to Shi Yan, I leave her here for you. You know what to do. Yu Ro also left, following Di Shan. He Ching Man, you, Cao Zhilan was astonished staring at He Ching Man for a while, then said, You, you have almost reached the third SY of the Earth Realm. What is this about? Shi Yan was also curious. Although the power in He Ching Man's body had been confined, inside of her delicate body, continuous sounds of the wind kept growling, the profound Qi was intensifying, and her mind was stable. It seemed that there had been a big transformation that had happened. Entering this shitty place together, Cao Zhilan and her companies had not had any improvements. As soon as they had just gotten in, they had been immediately captured. Because the leaders of the two pagan tribes had not regretted in giving him their precious treasures, Shi Yan had been able to break through that fast. However, He Ching Man clearly hadn't had that privilege, but what she had gained was not bad. This made Cao Zhilan a little bit surprised. I did not expect that I would see you this time. A streak of misery appeared on He Ching Man's charming face. I had thought that my soul would have flown and scattered in another short amount of time. Hmm, in fact, in another ten more days, I will be, killed by Duo Long, who will absorb all of the powers inside of my body. If Di Shan and Yu Ro did not come to take me, I will definitely have been unable to have survived. What happened? Shi Yan knitted his eyebrows asking. After entering this place, I fell into the Grey Wings clan's area. Because my body has the wind martial soul, Duo Long had confined me in a place where the wind energy was really intense. He's used my body as a container to store the wind energy, and then he would have absorbed that energy from me. He Ching Man's face was still miserable when she told them her story. If Shi Yan did not ask for me, I am sure that I would not be able to have escaped from Duo Long's brutal blow. I had known about his wicked intentions, but I didn't have enough strength in order to resist him. You are thanking him. 
Gu Linglong laughed coldly. Currently, I am not sure you have escaped the brutal blow. Haven't you heard about his intentions of asking for you? I have heard that he needs girls to give vent to He Ching Man's face suddenly pink and... She looked at Shi Yan without any fear and said, Have you asked Di Shan and Yu Ro to bring me here so that you could actually do it with me? Shi Yan, why? Cough kick kick, Shi Yan dry coughed then said, You have thought too much. You, you are not the same as the other three girls. I will not do anything to you. That thing. I do not consider you my enemy, so I will not do anything to you. Indeed. Cao Zhilan slightly bursting into laughter. I know He Ching Man will be fine. She originally had not considered the Yang family enemy. She will not have bad luck like us. The expressions of Gu Linglong and Chu Yanqing was unsightly. Shi Yan, will you really treat them that way? He Ching Man was little surprised. Although these girls have chased you for a long time, will you feel guilty with Xinyan G1 if you do that? Shi Yan's face suddenly changed. He harumphed and said with a cold voice, I know what I am doing. He Ching Man frowned but said no more. She let out a long sigh shaking her head. You find a room by yourself. It is very safe here. If I am still alive, nothing will happen to us. Shi Yan's face was cold. He turned around walking to the secret chamber without saying anything more to He Ching Man. If the five devils in his sea of consciousness hadn't had any abnormalities, killing Cao Zhilan and the two others would have been the best way to take revenge. However, cultivating with the five devils was very dangerous. Even after the host soul had entered the sea of consciousness, he knew that if he did not finish cultivating the five devils in the sea of mind, he might have encountered danger later. It was with a reluctance to keep those three girls with him to prevent unforeseen occurrences. Regarding the feature of the cultivation of the five devils in the sea of mind, it was not convenient for him to have explained it to He Ching Man. Therefore, even if He Ching Man had thought that he was a lustful man, he still had to accept it. In the secret chamber, Shi Yan sat cross-legged with his back straight up. He held his breath, calmed his mind, and once again entered the sea of consciousness. He observed every commotion of the sea of consciousness to understand the transformation speed as well as the consciousness conveying process of the host soul, sensed waves of the sea of consciousness one by one, perceived the marvelousness of the soul. His soul gradually approached the intangible stage. The host soul in the sea of consciousness quietly emitted soul consciousness which emerged with the god consciousness in the sea of consciousness. It borrowed the strength of the sea of consciousness to improve and nourish the host soul, gradually enhanced the host soul's power. His spirit immersed in the host soul, constantly moved inside of the host soul, it then finally reached an empty area of the soul consciousness. A black germ in that soul area released a cloud of black smoke. As soon as the black smoke flowed out, it immediately diffused, quietly spreading all over that soul area. Found it. Shi Yan's heart was shaken. He gathered the soul consciousness power in the sea of consciousness and the heat power inside of his body to transform them into the burning god consciousness lights. He then dashed them towards the black spore inside of the host soul. Crackling. The black germ was burned by the scorching light of the soul consciousness. As being attacked, it released more black smoke, but the light of the soul consciousness promptly surrounded it and burned it destroyed it little by little. Not long after that, the black spore inside the host soul had been completely burned. In a giant gloomy hall, many of demonic sound clan's pagans were kneeling on the floor to listen to Yi Tian Mo lecturing about the soul's knowledge. Yi Si Yu Bai and Yi Feng were also in the hall, focusing on the lecture. On the chairman's seat above, Yi Tian Mo suddenly trembled tremendously. Faint black smoke emitted from his eyes. Father, what happens to you? Yi Si Yu Bai hastily screamed out loud. Yi Tian Mo's face got serious. The black smoke from his eyes gradually dispersed. After a while, his eyes returned to normal, his body also stopped trembling. The younger generation who surpassed the older, Yi Tian Mom muttered with a low voice. 
A strange light lit up in his eyes with a complicating expression. Chapter 258, Hunting Half of a month had passed as fast as a blink. Shi Yan had been staying in the secret chamber for half of a month without caring about eating or sleeping. He had been concentrating on studying the ancient soul scriptures of the demonic sound clan. After a half month, Shi Yan quietly walked out of the secret chamber without noticing Cao Zhilan and the others. He got out of the ancient castle alone. As he had just walked a few steps onto the streets of the ancient city, the matriarch of the White Wings clan, Yu Ro, suddenly appeared beside him, laughing out loud, then said, Shi Yan, why did you suddenly want to leave? I just wanted to take a walk and check on the sound beasts outside of the city. By the way, I will practice some of the control techniques of the Heaven Flame. You can, of course, follow me. Shi Yan said with a smile. I will go with you. In case you encounter any danger, I can help you out right away. You are now our two tribes' sole hope. The matter of your safety is very crucial to us. I don't want any bad things happening to you. Yu Ro spoke with a thoughtful and sincere voice. Not a problem. Shi Yan quickly went out of the ancient city's gate together with Yu Ro. Ka Ba's group from the Demonic Sound Clan had been astonished, as well as puzzled when they were informed that Shi Yan had left the city. However, knowing that Yu Ro had gone with him, they did not prevent him or say anything. Di Shan was in the city, also the first one, who had been informed about Shi Yan leaving the city, yet he had not stopped him. After going out of the city, Shi Yan, accompanied by Yu Ro, went straight to the Sound Beast Mountain. The Sound Beasts on the Sound Beast Mountain had begun to rebel again, after more than a month in silence. They massively flew out of the Sound Beast Mountain, plunging into all different directions on this abandoned land. As Shi Yan activated his God Consciousness, he quickly located the place where the Sound Beasts had gathered. Approximately, there were about ten sound beasts besides a swamp, in which some of them were playing. They did not know that danger was coming close. Sound beasts live in the sound beast mountain year-round, absorbing the heaven and earth's yin chi from the mountain to cultivate. Either some fish swimming in the water or some stones on the bottom of the swamp are useful for a few of the sound beasts' cultivation. Therefore, the sound beasts cannot live relying only on the sound beast mountain's yin chi. Yu Ro explained with a gentle voice. Shi Yan nodded. His figure suddenly flashed up like lightning, zooming forward, towards the swamp. He slightly sent out his thoughts. Radiant flames suddenly emitted from his palms like a rainbow flying directly towards those beasts. The oppressively scorching heaven flame could have burned everything up. All the creatures were very sensitive to fire, let alone the heaven flame which was the sound beast's nemesis. As soon as glints of the blazing fire had soared to the sky, the sound beasts immediately got frightened, hastily heading back towards the sound beast mountain. Shi Yan's expression was cold and heartless. The corner of his mouth had curled up into a gloomy smirk. He slowly closed his eyes. The host soul in the sea of consciousness had transformed greatly. Each of his thoughts gradually poured into the god consciousness. Then, flows of god consciousness one by one, massively scattered clinging to the heaven flame's lights. The heaven flame was hovering in the air as if it had its own life. Its orbit was very flexible, marvelous, and spectacularly miraculous. Not long after that, each beam of the lights condensed by the heaven flame weaved together to create a dazzling arc of light, rushing down from the sky and covering the entire herd of the sound beasts. Sputter sputter sputter. As soon as Heaven Flame had touched the Sound Beasts, their bodies were immediately incinerated, fuming colorful clouds of smoke. Their bodies also dissolved quickly. Shi Yan was motionless, sending the God Consciousness into each stream of light of the Heaven Flame as he constantly increased the Heaven Flame's Kale faction. Since the Host Soul had entered the Sea of Consciousness, his sensing abilities surprisingly had been enhanced several times being more competent in controlling the heaven flame than before. With the soul consciousness dominating, every move of the heaven and earth had been deeply engraved in his mind, as he was able to see everything clearly now. 
the strength of the soul consciousness had helped him improve tremendously in his abilities to control the heave flame. Under the effects of the host soul, his soul consciousness was like that of tentacles wrapping up all the sound beasts flexibly and precisely. Not long after that, the ten sound beasts that were incinerated by the burning fire of the nemesis heaven flame. Their bodies had completely vaporized and dispersed. Colorful demons crystal pearls, which were affected by Shi Yan's strength, floated on the swamp, which looked like some unique stars. Shi Yan finally opened his eyes, beamed a smile then calmly stretched out his hand grabbing the demon's crystal pearls. After he had stretched his hand out towards those floating demon crystal pearls, they then seemed to be pulled by some unknown forces. Those pearls quickly flew into his palms and disappeared into the blood vein ring on his finger. Twelve demons crystal pearls, hmm, it is not a bad harvest. But it is still not enough. After mumbling, he continued to emit his soul consciousness to cover the further range. Shi Yan's eyes suddenly brightened a few minutes later. He used the electric shift to quickly leave. The matriarch of White Wings clan's eyes lit up with astonishment, staring at the direction that Shi Yan had just left. It seemed that she was deep in thought. With her profound cultivation base, she had been quietly watching Shi Yan's behaviors for several days. She had clearly understood Shi Yan's body and the improvement of his realm. As he had easily killed many of the sound beasts this time, she knew that regardless of his realm or the ability to control, Shi Yan had broken through the extremely higher levels. This time, it was not a waste for Shi Yan to project the Heaven Flame. He did not lose much of the Heaven Flame's energy as it zoomed over the air. At the point when the Heaven Flame had formed a fire net, the Heaven Flame's forces seemed to shape a miraculous formation, which had upgraded itself several times in just a flash. Such progress had helped Yu Ro understand that Shi Yan's concentration in cultivation was not useless. In only more than a month, Shi Yan's knowledge about the forces had obviously reached the new realm. Not bad, but it's not enough. I hope you can expose stronger powers soon. Otherwise, you still cannot convince that stubborn Di Shan, the matriarch of the White Wings clan mumbled, smiling as she was flapping her wings and quickly followed Shi Yan like she teleportation powers. Shi Yan had been wandering through the surroundings of the Sound Beast Mountain to search for Sound Beasts the entire day. Every time that he discovered a flock of the sound beasts, he immediately emitted the heaven flame, then used the heaven flame's force skillfully to tie up the sound beasts, gradually burning them into ashes. After that, he would take their demon's crystal pearls. At this moment, there were nearly 100 demon crystal pearls of different levels of sound beasts in his blood vein ring, among which, the lowest was the third level pearls and that the best were the sixth level pearls. The harvest was quite big. That should be enough. Raising his head looking at the immeasurably high sound beast mountain that pierced up into the sky, Shi Yan mumbled with a low voice before speaking to Yu Ro. Let's call it a day. Let's go back. Shi Yan, can you try to sense the sound beast mountain again to see if there are any changes? Yu Ro hesitated a little bit before asking. You have absorbed the heaven and earth yin chi of the sound beast mountain so you should be very sensitive with heaven and earth yin chi. You should check to see if the heaven and earth's yin chi in the sound beast mountain is more intense or more diluted. Okay. Shi Yan did not know exactly what Yu Ro's plan was, but he still pleasantly satisfied her requirements. After sitting down and resting a little bit, he sent out his soul consciousness, urging the yin energy inside of the yin pearl at the meridian on his chest to combine with his soul consciousness and gradually diffused towards the sound beast mountain. Not long after that, Shi Yan knitted his eyebrows, stood up and then mildly said, Thunderbolts outside of the sound beast mountain seems to get weaker and weaker. However, the heaven and earth's yin chi in the sound beast mountain is getting more intense. I can feel that there is something strange happening in the sound beast mountain. Uh, your senses are not wrong. Look at the sky above the Sound Beast Mountain. Yu Ro pointed at the mountain peak, which pierced up straight through the clouds and said with a somber face. Did you find anything? Shi Yan raised his head looking up to the sky. His eyes flashed up a stream of light. 
It seemed that there were lights converging consecutively in his eyes. The Sound Beast Mountain's peak was 10,000 zhangs one tall, reaching the sky where grey clouds were gathering. Thunderbolts intertwined as if they had wanted to cut the sky into pieces. Zooming through the sky with full of cuts, dazzling leaks of light were visible through those slits. The space over there, it seems, became more unstable. After watching for a while, Shi Yan said in a low tone. You have been observing very carefully. Yu Ro nodded, replying with a forced smile. The lightning seems to be able to tear the sky apart. It means that the time and space here is getting weaker. Perhaps, only one attacking strike of that terrifying energy could destroy this space. Once this space crumbles, the whole space will turn into ashes just in a blink. No creatures will be lucky enough to be able to escape. Shi Yan face changed dramatically. Yu Ro continued, in recent days, changes in the Sound Beast Mountain have directly affected the space at the peak of the Sound Beast Mountain and weakened it. In another two months, if we do not have any solutions in getting out of this place, our two tribe's souls will vanish as soon as this space collapses. Yu Ro miserably smiled. You and Dishan both have cultivation base at the God Realm, can't the both of you escape? Shi Yan was astonished while asking. After releasing a long sigh helplessly, Yu Ro said, You don't know, that this abandoned land was actually used to restrain our two tribes. We have lived here for millions of years. While some of us had reached the true God Realm. However, whenever someone had entered the true God Realm, there appeared a horrendously destructive god light in the sky above the Sound Beast Mountain's peak. As a beam of god light struck down, the soul of the person who had reached the true god realm will have been totally dispersed. What? Shi Yan was extremely frightened. Entering the true god realm means that having the forces to control the time and space. Once warriors at the true god realm reinforce their realm steadily, they will have a chance to get out of this space safely. The sky above the Sound Beast Mountain's peak has God power, which binds and controls us. It will not let any of our fellow pagans escape from it. Anyone entering the true God realm will have had their souls vanished if they had encountered that God power. Yu Ro's eyes were gloomy. She continued, so many years have been passing as many of the top class warriors of the two tribes had known that they would have immediately perished as soon as they've entered the true God realm. However, they've still put forth their efforts because they believed that if the warriors at the true god realm were able to endure the one strike of the god light, that they could then rely on the forces of the true god realm to bring the two tribes out of this devilish place. Regretfully, those predecessors had all failed. Shi Yan's face was confused. This was the first time he had felt pity for these two tribes. Our ancestors have imparted their last instructions to us. One day, if a mutation happens in the Sound Beast Mountain like today, the chance of our two tribes in escaping has finally come. If we cannot catch this chance, the two tribes will truly vanish from the world's history. Yu Ro stared at Shi Yan and spoke in a serious voice. Shi Yan, you are our chance. I honestly hope that you can help our two tribes get out of this land. I don't know what the others may think, but I can assure you that if you can complete this successfully, I will put in all of my efforts to protect you. Shi Yan looked serious as he responded with a low voice, I will try my best. Chapter 259, Mercy Giant Stone Ancient City Shi Yan and Yu Ro came back together. After that conversation, their relationship had remarkably been changed. This change was not easy to describe. However, Shi Yan was certain that their relationship was no longer a mere exploitation. After returning into the ancient city, Shi Yan walked directly towards the stone building where Yi Tian Mo stayed to find Yi Si Yu Bai. He wanted to talk to her. Yi Tian Mo was instructing Yi Si Yu Bai about something in the gloomy hall. After being informed about Shi Yan's request, Yi Tian Mo was a little surprised. He hesitated for a while before speaking to Yi Si Yu Bai. You go out there and see what he wants. That little rascal is the hope of our two tribes. We will do our best to meet any of his requirements to facilitate his cultivation. Yes, father. Yi Si Yu Bai nodded. 
Yi Si Yubai walked out of the hall in a very short time. She stood in front of Shi Yan, asking him with an indifferent face, What do you want? Since Shi Yan had asked the demonic sound clan for Cao Zhilan's group of the three females to be the objects for his sexual satisfaction, he became a lustful jerk towards all of the clan, even Yi Si Yubai, who at first had had a feeling for him, did not want to see him anymore. Shi Yan neither cared about how the others thought about him nor blamed Yi Si Yubai for changing her attitude. Here, I have 93 demon crystal pearls. Shi Yan calmly hauled a grey bag from the blood vein ring. He threw it to Yi Si Yubai from a distance and said with a smile, These beasts' levels are not bad. I know that they will be very useful for the demonic sound clan's cultivation. They are extremely precious source of support for your advancements. Yi Si Yubai was bewildered with an amazed expression. She asked, Why do you give me this many of the sound beasts' demons' crystal pearls? It is to ask for your help. About what? These demon crystal pearls will be exchanged for the human warriors who still survive in Yaji's hands. They are useful to me. Warriors. Yi Si Yubai's pretty face expressed a weird look. Her cold eyes looked at Shi Yan's face attentively, then said, Are you interested in males as well? The delicate body of the matriarch of the Wild Wings clan, Yu Ro, slightly shivered. Her eyes raked Shi Yan with an unbelievable look. She came here with Shi Yan without having known about his intentions. She hadn't expected that Shi Yan had killed so many of the sound beasts to harvest the demon's crystal pearls in exchange for the other human male warriors' lives. Thinking about the fact that Shi Yan had asked for Cao Zhilan's group before, Yu Ro's false thoughts were inevitable. She lowered her voice with a strange face, Shi Yan, do you really have those preferences? Ouch, Shi Yan was dumbstruck for a while before he could understand what was happening. He quickly explained, women's thoughts are really complicated. I need those male warriors only for my cultivation, but it is not what you have imagined. When you had asked for those females, you had also said that it was for your cultivations, Yi Si Yubai coldly said, I didn't expect that your tastes would have been so fickle. You don't mind neither cold or hot, right or wrong. I have actually underestimated you. Shi Yan, you, Yu Ro's eyes displayed a disgusting look, she proactively moved several meters away from Shi Yan. It seemed she had wanted to say something but kept silent at the end. Damn it, it is not as what you think. Shi Yan beamed a forced smile. I need those male warriors for a different purpose. Can you please have some pure thoughts? Why don't you go find Yaji by yourself? Yi you see you by frowned, temporarily believing Shi Yan's explanations. She continued, with these demon crystal pearls, he will certainly be happy to have had done some business with you. That little rascal has a deep hatred for me. I am afraid he won't listen to any of my reasonings. Shi Yan revealed a faint smile, and spoke to Yi Si Yubai, that's why I have to bother you in delegating this task to you. After those words, he did not say anything further. He turned around walking towards the stone building which temporarily belonged to him. Yi Si Yubai was stunned. With her doubts, she held the bag of the demon's crystal pearls and went into the hall. After only taking a few steps, Yi Tian Mo suddenly appeared in front of her and asked, See you by, what did that little rascal want to see you for? Yi Si Yu Bai briefed him the story that had just happened. After listening, Yi Tian Mo contemplated as strange light sparked in his eyes. Not long after that, Yi Tian Mo's eyes were brightened. He mumbled softly, Could it? What happened? Yi Si Yu Bai surprisingly asked, Father, do you know what he wants? No, nothing. You should visit Yaji and do the exchange. I will find out what he wants later. Yi Tian Mao frowned, he felt a bit surprised and somehow he seemed to have figured something out. Impossible. Could that little rascal actually have perceived the soul Upanishads of the demonic sound clan in just a short time? Does he actually know how to use the spirit seed? Outside the hall, Yu Ro was asking Shi Yan with a puzzled face, why do you need those warriors? 
Do you want to fight with them to improve your experience? It's not necessary. We only need you to break the shelter, we do not ask you to fight with the others. What do you want to do after all? Almost the same as what you've just said. Shi Yan revealed a forced smile without explaining anything furthermore. As he almost entered the building, he waved his hand to her and said, You should mind your own business. I need to think about some more things. Yu Ro's picturesque eyebrows slightly knitted. Although she was still full of suspicion, she didn't ask any further. After thinking for a while, she shifted and quickly landed on top of another distant building. Di Shan was sitting motionlessly like a stone there. Di Shan slowly opened his eyes when Yu Ro came, asking her with a light, surprising look, has that little rascal left the city? Yes, he's gone out of the city to kill several of the sound beasts. He's harvested nearly 100 demon crystal pearls and used them in exchange for some of the warriors who are now in Yaji's hands. Yu Ro added, I don't even know what he wants. His actions are strange, as if he has some ulterior plans. Regardless of what he wants to do, it's okay as long as he knows his mission. Di Shan did not move, he contemplated for a while before continuing, when you had followed him to kill the sound beasts, had you seen that there was a significant improvement in his powers? Significantly. Yu Ro replied with a serious face. His perception of power and realm has been upgraded to another level just in a half of a month. I believe he will actually be able to break the shelter in a very short time. His potentials are indeed hard to imagine. If he has enough time to develop, he will definitely become an outstanding warrior of the humankind's new generation. Di Shan was astonished and bewildered for a long moment. After that he said with a strange face, Yu Ro, is that little rascal actually as good as you have said? You go see for it yourself. I am certain that you, by that time, will have different thoughts about him. Perhaps he would become our two tribes' only hope in the near future. Yu Ro gently said. After being deep in thoughts for a while, she continued, I don't know why I always have a feeling that this little rascal is still hiding something. I don't think he is that plain and simple, maybe. Maybe what? Di Shan slightly raised his voice. Yu Ro softly replied, maybe inside of his body, besides the immortal blood, there is somewhat another miraculous thing. What? Di Shan suddenly stood up with an astounded face. What makes you say that? Yu Ro inhaled a deep breath before speaking again, I still vaguely feel that his immortal blood seems to be controlled by an unknown force. There seems that a flow of power which is even stronger than the immortal blood, yet is hidden extremely well within him. My feeling about it is sometimes on, sometimes off. That flow of power can somehow fool us. Di Shan got stunned with his eyes and mouth wide open. After a while, he mumbled with a low voice, Is his coming here because of the god's will? If he really has transmitted strength from the immortal god king, I don't think we need to hesitate any longer. Let's see, we will have the answer soon. Yet, yeah, I feel that his appearance in this place might be the beginning of our two tribes' rise to glory. In the middle of the spacious stone hall, Shi Yan had just come back. The four girls, Cao Zhilan, Gu Linglong, Qi Yan Qing, and He Qing Man walked out from the next stone chamber. Four pairs of mesmerizing eyes simultaneously stared at Shi Yan, which gave him a scary feeling of being loved too much. Shi Yan, where have you been? Gu Linglong immediately asked. How is it related to you? Shi Yan smiled coldly sitting down in the middle of the stone hall with an indifferent gesture. Gu Linglong was angry because she didn't know how to trouble him. She could only have stood at the side, showing her rage by pouting, she did not dare to irritate him. Shi Yan, are you sure about what you are doing after all? He Ching Man seemed to be concerned, asking him with a gloomy face. If you cannot handle the shelters, I don't think that anyone will be able to get out of here alive. I've only said that that I would try my best. Shi Yan slowly closed his eyes. After that, regardless of whatever that those girls had asked, he was simply unconcerned. 
the four girls couldn't do anything but glare at him. Half of a day later, the two leaders Yi Si Yu Bai and Yi Feng, were leading many warriors of the demonic sound clan, who were under Yi Tian Mo's command. They were pushing a huge cage, gradually moving forward. In the cage, there was Pan Zhe and the other thirty-five warriors from the Endless Sea. Pan Zhe bowed his head dolefully as his spirit was exhausted. He was only skin and bone. It seemed that his life, recently, had been extremely tragic. The other warriors also looked really skinny and sickly as if they had not eaten anything lately. Together, with their powers being confined, they were in a very bad condition. As soon as Pan Zhe saw Xi Yan, his dull eyes were lit up. However, in no time, he shook his head and released a long sigh. Xi Yan, I bring you these people as you wished. There are thirty-five survivors. It is lucky that you have asked for them soon. Otherwise, in a few days, I am afraid that there would have been no one left out of these thirty-five people. Yi Si Yu Bai looked towards the demonic sound clan's warriors and nodded, signaling them to push the cage, in which Pan Zhe and the others were being confined into the stone hall. After that, she explained, Ye Ji has been extremely angry recently. It seems that he had wanted to kill all of them at once for his cultivations. He's actually started doing that. If it had not been for the extreme value of those demon crystal pearls which were certainly much higher than that of these warriors, they should have certainly died already. The eyes of Cao Zhilan, Gu Ling Long, and He Ching Man suddenly lit up. Shi Yan, have you asked for them? Qi Yan Ching was astounded for a moment, then she gently spoke, You seem not to be a totally heartless jerk. I did not expect it for you to have been merciful as well. After hearing what Yi Si Yu Bai had said, those warriors inside the cage could not help but look at Shi Yan in gratitude. On the contrary, Shi Yan was still motionless. Even though his appearance was cold-hearted, he kept laughing in his mind. He thought to himself that if those guys knew the real reason why he had asked for them, he could not have imagined what they would have thought. Chapter 260, Didn't Consider Them Humans In the Stone Hall, all the imprisoned warriors from the Kyara Sea, who had luckily survived, had cheerful faces, looking towards Xi Yan with grateful eyes. After Gu Linglong and Chu Yanqing knew Xi Yan had saved those warriors from Yaji's hands, their thoughts about Xi Yan had also slightly changed. However, Xi Yan's eyes still remained emotionless. After telling Yi Si Yu Bai to bring more food the next time, he turned around and talked to the warriors in the cage, I have saved your lives. You will just be a little bit less miserable in my hands, but the consequences will be the same. As soon as listening to what he'd said, the faces of those warriors dramatically changed. What do you want? Gu Ling Long clenched her teeth quietly. All of them are in danger, do you really want to kill them all? My cultivation requires some living people. They are just objects for me to cultivate. In my eyes, they are already all dead. Shi Yan coldly laughed and did not say anything further. He deliberately sat down, ignoring the other's vengeful eyes. His god consciousness slightly flicked. Shi Yan suddenly stared at one of the skinny warriors from the Gu family in the cage. Being scrutinized, that warrior's body trembled, suddenly grabbed his head, screaming painfully. What have you done to me? Shi Yan was motionless, continued enhancing his soul consciousness force. The soul consciousness had intruded that warrior's brain, moved inside to search for Yaji's soul formation technique. Shi Yan, what are you doing after all? He Ching Man could not stand but shout. She continued, everyone boards the same boat, facing the pagan tribe's threats. We should unite to deal with them. Don't you remember the old resentments? Chu Yanqing and Gu Ling Long both criticized him impetuously. However, it seemed that Shi Yan did not hear them. He focused on using his soul consciousness to encroach the warrior's brain, shifting around to search for his host's soul. While exploring his soul's features, Shi Yan was trying to find out where Yaji had originally put his restriction. During this period of time, thanks to the demonic sound clan's seven secret scriptures, 
Shi Yan had a thorough understanding about the spiritual Upanishads. And, thanks to this understanding, he could have completely removed the spirit seed which Yi Tian Mo had planted in his host's soul and totally escaped from Yi Tian Mo's soul oppression. After having killed Duo Long, when Yi Tian Mo had arrived at the ancient city, he had discreetly affected Shi Yan's soul. Yi Tian Mo's soul accomplishment was extremely exceptional. He had silently planted a spirit seed in Shi Yan's host soul without Shi Yan's awareness. Yi Tian Mo had spared his life because he believed he could have had controlled Shi Yan at any given time through that spirit seed. In fact, Shi Yan had vaguely speculated that Yi Tian Mo had done something to him but he hadn't been sure. However, as he had recently had received the seven secret soul scriptures of the demonic sound clan, after studying day and night, he had gained profound understanding about the different kinds of the magical spiritual Upanishads of the demonic sound clan. Until then, he had realized he could have had been killed by Yi Tian Mo earlier. In order to prevent being the other puppets during their critical moments, he still kept studying the essence of the secret soul scriptures of the demonic sound clan. Eventually, after he had sent his host soul to the sea of consciousness, relying completely on his new perception of the soul, he found the black spirit seed. He then used the force created by the unity of the soul consciousness and the fire force of the heaven flame to burn the spirit seed down. After escaping from the latent danger, which was caused by Yi Tian Mo's spirit seed, Shi Yan suddenly felt that different magical souls of the demonic sound clan were really peculiar and terrifying. To prevent a similar incident from occurring, he needed to perceive the spiritual Upanishads more profoundly. That was why he had the intentions to study it deeper. If he wanted to have a big improvement on the spiritual Upanishads, relying only on his own will was obviously not enough. Anyway, his knowledge about the spiritual Upanishads were still vague. There were many things that he did not understand thoroughly, and, if he had used himself in conducting the experiments, he would perhaps, negligently have vanished his own soul. Using others' souls to experiment could help avoid some unforeseen occurrences of his own soul. That was why he had asked for those warriors and Panja to study further with. As his soul consciousness got into that warrior's head, Shi Yan's mind slightly moved. His soul consciousness was now divided into ten of millions of flows quickly moving inside of that guy's head to understand his brain's complicated structure first. After an unknown amount of time, when Shi Yan's soul consciousness in that guy's head gradually got weakened, as soon as his soul consciousness had almost contacted with that warrior's host soul, the warrior's host soul suddenly emitted a spiral wave and exploded. Boom! Shi Yan could clearly sense the violent explosive sound coming out from that warrior. As soon as the explosive sound echoed, Shi Yan hurriedly retreated his soul consciousness in fear. Gu Ke! Gu Ling Long let out an ear-piercing sound. As Shi Yan stared at that gaunt warrior with his eye wide open. He could see that that guy's eyes and nose were bleeding. His face was heart-rending as his pupils were enlarged. He was dead. Shi Yan, you have done another good deed. Gu Ling Long was like a small tigress showing her fangs and claws, jumping towards Shi Yan. You have to pay soul for your soul. The bastard like you is worthy of having thousands of slashes. You will not have a decent death. Get the hell out of my way. Shi Yan angrily raised his arm releasing one strike. Gu Ling Long's petite body was pushed back by an invisible force. She kept rolling on the ground until hitting the corner of the next stone hall's wall. As she stood up, her face was full of dust with a blousy appearance. She totally had lost her usual noble dignity. Shi Yan, what you've done is very cruel. Cao Zhilan let out a long sigh, shook her head and said, you could have just killed them directly. Why did you need to torture them, use them as objects for your cultivation? This is really, really. I didn't kill him. Shi Yan laughed coldly, there was a spirit seed which had been planted by the demonic sound clan in his soul. My soul consciousness had just entered his head, but I hadn't approached his soul yet, and the formation technique suddenly exploded, crushing his soul. The one who has killed him is the demonic sound clan who had activated that formation technique. 
Cao Jilan got bewildered, hesitated for a while before saying, if you didn't send your soul consciousness into his head, the formation technique would not have been scattered, and he would not have died. The consequences are the same. If the formation technique exists and the opponent wants him to die, he won't be able to resist. I've used him as an object for my studies of the spiritual Upanishads. I would perhaps find a way to break the formation technique. Although some people probably have to die, I believe as long as I have a thorough understanding, I will be able to break those formation techniques. Shi Yan harumphed and then continued, they will die sooner or later anyway. Dying sooner probably still has a little value, which is actually a lucky thing. Ah, uh, I didn't originally see them as human beings. If you can also think the same way, you will not be so broken-hearted anymore. After he had finished his talk, Shi Yan no longer cared about Cao Jilan, instead, he continued his studies. For two days, the four warriors of the Gu family had become Shi Yan's objects for his soul cultivation. Their souls had exploded, till they died one by one. Gu Linglong still wanted to risk her life to strike against Shi Yan but Cao Jilan had advised her not to do so. Gu Linglong's pretty face was very fierce. She kept screaming and cursing Shi Yan not to have a decent death. She threatened that once she went back to the Kaira Sea, she would have used all sorts of different brutal ways to torture him. Every time that Shi Yan had been irritated because of her words, he angrily tore off a piece of her clothes to teach her a lesson. Until her snow-white skin was gradually exposed, including her big breasts, Gu Linglong was finally frightened enough, but still, she was very angry. She temporarily kept silent, stayed at the side looking at Shi Yan with the intense resentment. Her appearance looked as if she had wanted to devour him whole. Shi Yan still continued his study on understanding the souls. His soul consciousness once again intruded the brain of another one of the Gu family's warriors. This time, he divided his soul consciousness into three flows, in which he also added his spirit seal. The three flows of the soul consciousness had formed a small soul formation of the hidden god soul, secretly running towards the warrior's host soul within his brain. The hidden god soul was a special spirit skill of the demonic sound clan, which used the condensed flows of the god consciousness one by one to create a miraculous spirit formation. This spirit formation could have then hit all spiritual energies, which the host soul could not have found out about it. This was a new method that had taken Shi Yan half of a day to have figured out. Taking advantage of the demonic sound clan's special spirit skill, the three flows of Shi Yan's soul consciousness quietly approached that warrior's soul. Nothing abnormal happened. Previously, whenever they'd come here, the formation technique in those warriors' souls had promptly scattered, exploding their souls. However, this time, the soul force in the formation technique obviously did not discover Shi Yan's soul consciousness. It still hid deeply inside of that warrior's soul without any commotion. Shi Yan continued using his spirit to control the three flows of the soul consciousness to get into that warrior's soul. A triangle-shaped soul formation technique, which had hid itself deeply inside, gradually emerged. This soul formation technique had a triangle shape its surface was full of dense soul strings like thin silken fibers. Those tangled soul strings then formed a miraculous soul formation, consecutively emitting soul fluctuations, which observed the every move of this warrior's soul. Shi Yan did not feel strange with the demonic sound clan's spirit skills. He knew that a person who had placed this soul formation technique could also have easily activated it to either make one soul explode or control one soul in a short amount of time. Three flows of the soul consciousness suddenly spread in and violently wrapped that formation technique. The burning fire inside these flows also erupted abruptly. Sputter. The soul formation technique, which had been placed by Yuji, under Shi Yan's forces, was completely burned down in no time. Not long after that, Shi Yan suddenly stared at the warriors of the Gu family in the cage and stolidly said, The formation techniques in your souls have been dissolved. Everyone in the stone hall was very surprised at first, their faces were lit up with extreme joy. Indeed, only using souls of living people can improve one's knowledge. 
Shi Yan mumbled in a low voice. While the other people were crazily happy, he indifferently said, Actually, I have dissolved the warrior's formation technique in order to replace it with my own formation technique in his head. Right now, I control his life. You, bastard! Gu Linglong scolded irritatingly. Shi Yan's expression remained unchanged, cold-heartedly said, Now, I have to lift all of your formation techniques, and then I will replace them with my own soul formation techniques. After all of these are done, I can be assured to freely use them as objects for my soul study. Ah, if they are not dead after being used for my soul cultivation, I will perhaps spare those lucky people's lives. Upon his words, the warrior's eyes, which had just parked with full of hope, now expressed disappointment. You are the devil. Gu Linglong, Chu Yanqing, and even Cao Zhilan could not stand but angrily shouted loudly. Their delicate bodies were trembling with extreme resentment. Chapter 261, Ruthless What has that little rascal done recently? On top of a sky-high ancient fortress, Duo Long of the Grey Wings clan coldly asked with an unhappy countenance. Yu Ro and Di Shan were also at the same place with Duo Long. Both of them frowned, watching from above. They were sweeping their eyes at Duo Long from the distance but did not reply to him. Not long after that, Ya Meng, Ka Bie, and Yi Tian Mo, the three leaders of the demonic sound clan also flew into that place. After descending, they all showed unusual faces. Three of them had an exceptional cultivating level. Their soul power was ecstatic and miraculous. They could have sensed any of the commotions on the Sound Beast Mountain even though they staying inside of the giant stone ancient city. At this moment, six of the top class pagan warriors were standing on top of the ancient fortress, looking towards the Sound Beast Mountain from a distance, shuddering terrifyingly. The sky over there looked like it was being torn into pieces. Each of the cracked rifts could have devoured and swallowed all of the creatures. All kinds of dazzling light interlaced at one point. Deep inside the sky, thunder and lightning were just raging on as the surge fluctuated. Tremendous enough to have completely destroyed heaven and earth. It was getting more and more chaotic. Those six pagans had a feeling that a powerful explosion could have happened any time at the Sound Beast Mountain's peak. Once it had exploded, this whole land would have instantly turned into a void. All the creatures living on this land would have been totally wiped out. The six of them understood that a major incident was coming close. Time was now rushed. Even the sound beasts inside of the Sound Beast Mountain seemed to have sensed the changes and started to get into a flurry. They began to act disorderly, trying to get out and survive. We are running out of time, Yi Tian Mo's eyes were very serious. In another month, if we still cannot find the way out, I don't think any of us will be able to escape from this catastrophe alive. All six of them looked extremely grave. Di Shan, Yu Ro, in order to help that little rascal improve faster, I've given you guys the Heaven Fountain concentrated water, as well as the female human beings. How is it going after all? Duo Long asked with a cold blooded voice. Because of our two tribes, I've restrained my anger and agreed to let everything go. But, if that little rascal isn't worth it, hmm, before I die, I will definitely peel his tendons, skin him alive, then let him suffer all kinds of tortures. Di Shan harumphed but did not say anything. He still has half of a month. After that, we will all take him to the Sound Beast Mountain. The matriarch of the White Wings clan seemed to be the calmest. Don't worry. Shi Yan has entered the second sky of the Earth Realm. His knowledge and ability to control the Heaven Flame have also reached a higher level. After half a month, his cultivation would be perhaps stable. At that time, his abilities to use the powers would have been extremely skillful and profound. That is the right time for us to enter the Sound Beast Mountain. Yi Tian Mo looked towards Shi Yan, quietly activating his soul sense. Yi Tian Mo's grey-white eyes suddenly flashed up a surprising light after a short moment. It seemed he'd just found out about something. In terms of soul aspect, Di Shan, Duo Long, and Yu Ro, the three leaders of the Wings race could not have been compared to the demonic sound clan, thus, 
they did not recognize Yi Tian Mo's sneaky act. However, when Yi Tian Mo retreated his soul sense, the other two leaders of the demonic sound clan, Ye Meng and Kaba, had noticed something. Yi Ji, did you discover something? Kaba felt that something was a bit odd, looking at Yi Tian Mo while asking. Yi Tian Mo slowly nodded as his countenance returned to normal. He said, that little rascal has not been idle during this time. I have to say that this guy is really extraordinary. After just scanning the ancient scriptures of the demonic sound clan, he could have had already broken through all the formation technique that Yaji had placed in those human warriors' souls. Then, he planted his own spirit seeds inside of their souls. That genius can really shock me. What? Ye Meng's face changed, he screamed out in shock, without our instructions, only relying on those ancient scriptures, how could he have known of the ways in using the spirit seed? How could he have disarmed the spirit formation technique of my son? How could he? Di Shan's eyes brightened up. You can check it yourselves. Yi Tian Mo coldly smiled. Ye Meng and Ka Bie were astonished for a while. They did not hesitate to send out their soul senses to check if Yi Tian Mo was right or not. After ten minutes, Ye Meng and Ka Bie both showed a surprised face, chucking while nodding towards Di Shan and Yu Ro. What does it mean? Duo Long asked with a puzzled face, let's say he could understand the essence of the spiritual Upanishads of the demonic sound clan, what can it prove? How useful can it be towards breaking the shelters if he can explain the spiritual Upanishads? If it doesn't help in breaking the shelters, his understandings will be useless, just a waste of time. Yi Tian Mo glanced at Duo Long with a contemptuous look, and frigidly said, when a soul perception has reached a new level, its ability to control the surrounding circumstances are much more thorough, power handling will be more skillful, and the mental state will also develop. The demonic sound clan and the wings race are not similar. Progress in terms of the soul will bring us many good things that we can hardly imagine of. He is not lazy. The stronger that his soul is, the easier it can be for him to break the shelters. Yu Ro said with a faint smile, there are still two weeks to go. I long for his performance after that amount of time. I believe that this guy can help us get out of this damn place, returning to the Grace mainland. Why do you trust him that much? Duo Long was very surprised. He had originally looked down on Shi Yan. Yet, he also thought that if he had been at the Earth Realm, and possessed the Heaven Flame, it would not have been easy for him to have mastered it. I think that God will not let our two tribes perish. Yu Ro's eyebrows knitted tightly while saying, no matter what, we have to trust him. If we don't trust him, it means that we don't believe that we could survive. During the time when the Sound Beast Mountain had had a major change, a little rascal who can use the Heaven Flame suddenly appears out of nowhere. I have a feeling that our destiny had been settled when he showed up here. Perhaps our ancestors have heard our pleas. Destiny has been settled, Yi Tian Mo mumbled again with a low voice. His eyes became eccentric. After a while, his face suddenly changed. He said, this little rascal's existence is the result of our ancestors invoking the God King. Ka Bie, Ye Ji, and Duo Long trembled as their faces had changed dramatically. Only Yu Ro and Di Shan still remained calm. Yu Ro even chuckled and gently said, who knows, if he is really an autograph of a god king, I think that I will follow the ancestors' guidance. Our ancestors used to say that if a descendant of the god kings could bring us out of this devilish place, we would have to serve him as our master. As soon as Ka Bie, Ye Meng, and Duo Long heard what Yu Ro had just said, they were all dazed with confused faces while their eyes kept moving. No one said anything. Tsui. Inside the cage, Pan Zhe of the Pengle Divine Land suddenly gushed out a mouthful of blood, staring at Shi Yan resentfully. In the stone room, Shi Yan was neglectfully motionless, and slowly closed his eyes. There seemed to be a vague moving nimbus on his body. Heaven and Earth spirit aura was attracted by the strange tattoo on his chest, quickly came and gathered. The spirit aura was constantly absorbed through this black tattoo 
then turned into a purified force rolling into his body. When condensing and refining the qi, the meridians in his entire body quietly transported and purified the qi which he had just absorbed from some freshly dead warriors. He then turned it into a mysterious force and poured it right into the middle of his abdomen. Half of a day later, Shi Yan slowly opened his eyes, indifferently shifted his look towards Pan Zhe, and calmly said, You're lucky that you're not dead yet. Ease your mind. If you can survive more than two weeks, I will spare your life. Currently, there were only twelve warriors of the Kyra Sea left. The rest had been dead as Shi Yan had carelessly experimented them for his studies on the spiritual Upanishads. The demonic sound clan had different kinds of magical spiritual Upanishads, which was extremely mysterious and marvelous. When he practically experimented with it, mistakes were hard to have been avoided. When he made mistakes, he had to pay a big price, which was someone's life. These warriors, who had been exchanged from Yaji, became the best specimens for his cultivation. By risking their lives, Shi Yan had progressed incredibly in understanding the spiritual soul as well as the different kinds of Upanishads of the demonic sound clan. For those who were his experimental objects, once their souls had been destroyed, refined qi in their body would spread out and went into Shi Yan's body, turning into a mysterious and purified force inside of his body. With the great progress on the spiritual soul, profound qi in his body also had been enhanced steadily. He felt that he would soon have upgraded to a new level, entering the third sky of the earth realm. Shi Yan, you will not have a decent death. Pan Zhe clenched his teeth and angrily said, you'd better kill me soon. Otherwise, I will definitely make you pay a big price for this. Pan Zhe had originally controlled his emotions very well. However, during the time his soul had been tortured, he totally collapsed. When Shi Yan's soul consciousness actively stirred in Pan Zhe's head, Pan Zhe could clearly have felt something as Shi Yan's skill was still immature. Every time that Shi Yan had activated his soul consciousness, Pan Zhe had a feeling of hundreds of little worms were gnawing his brain. This feeling had made a steadfast person like Pan Zhe fearfully scream out. Pan Zhe was just better off dead as he was treated badly by Shi Yan time after time. An image of a hero in the past had no remnants left. Resentment was burning violently inside of Pan Zhe's heart. He was angry that he could not have torn Shi Yan's body apart. Hmm, if you can survive, I will be waiting for your revenge in the future. Shi Yan revealed a faint smile. He thought, even if you can survive, I will place many formation techniques in your soul. In the future, if you return to the Kyra Sea, you will be my eye in the Penglei Divine Land and also possibly help me collect the latest information there. Ignoring Pan Zhe's screams, Shi Yan deliberately stood up, frowned, and looked at the stone door closing tightly nearby with suspicion. During this time, either because of their inability to resist Shi Yan or having other purposes, Cao Zhilan, Gu Ling Long, and Qi Yan Qing persistently stayed inside of the stone chamber. After contemplating a little bit, when Qi Yan was about to go find He Ching Man to ask, he suddenly noticed that the blood vein ring had just flared up a stream of light. Oh! After activating his mind, Shi Yan immersed himself into the blood vein ring. He immediately realized that the earth flame was slowly condensing and refining the heaven flame. Its living form was getting more and more flawless as it seemed to have a little of qi energy similar to the one of the ice-cold flame. Has the evolution already been completed? Shi Yan was astounded. He instantly sent out his soul consciousness. Already done. I feel like, like I have a new life. I am really, really different. The ice-cold flame sent back its consciousness. Chapter 262 Intimidating Heavenly Prestigious Power Half of a month later Three headmen of the Wings race including Di Shan, Duo Long, and Yu Ro, together with the three leaders of the Demonic Sound Clan, entered the stone hall where Shi Yan was temporarily staying. Shi Yan was as calm as water, sitting motionlessly inside of the stone hall. Pan Zhe and the other six warriors of the Kyra Sea were standing in front of him with gloomy faces, disappointing eyes, and a dopey look. 
the four girls of Cao Zhilan's group were hiding in the stone chamber for a long time without stepping out once. Shi Yan opened his eyes, welcomed them with a cold face and a frigid smile, there you are. Yu Ro nodded and smiled, how is it going? It's time. I think we should depart at once. How about you? Are you ready? Di Shan squinted as his eyes, scanned Shi Yan's body for a while with a complimentation. After two weeks, Shi Yan was only one step away from the third sky of the Earth realm. His mind was stable, refined forces in his body were huge and powerful. Mature composure and confidence radiated from his attitude. It seemed that he was not bothered, even though he was undergoing a dangerous situation. From what Di Shan had observed, Shi Yan, for sure, was very special. Not only did he have the immortal blood, but his body was also unimaginably sturdy. Together with Shi Yan's heartlessness and cold-blooded behaviors, Di Shan believed that Shi Yan was the sort of a man who would have definitely achieved greatness in the future. During this time, he had been quietly watching Shi Yan. He had witnessed the warriors from the Kyra Sea become specimens for Shi Yan to experiment his soul studies. Shi Yan's countenance had remained unchanged when his specimen's souls had been exploded to death, one by one. Shi Yan's cruel deeds were actually a good trait in Di Shan's eyes. Everything is ready. Shi Yan slowly stood up, raised his head looking up towards the sky and said, The sky and earth on the Sound Beast Mountain are changing constantly. We should hurry. After pausing for a little bit, he continued, Are you ready? We. Ye Meng surprisingly said, What should we be ready for? Isn't it only you, who will go there? Ka Ba's and Duo Long's expressions were also suspicious. Duo Long, Yu Ro, and Yi Tian Mo slightly knitted their eyebrow as they seemed to have figured out what Shi Yan had meant. Once the shelters at the Sound Beast Mountain are destroyed, the six of you will immediately go in there. Shi Yan contemplated for a moment before speaking seriously, certainly, there are some anomalies inside of the Sound Beast Mountain. Maybe the gate leading to the outside world is in there. Once this gate appears, perhaps this land will also have earth-shaking transformations and quickly collapse. It is easy for you to leave, but how about your people? Won't you need to bring any of your properties that you have been saving during the past years? Ka Ba's and Ye Meng's complexion had suddenly changed. You should prepare. Later, don't blame me for not telling you. Shi Yan neglectfully said, you'd better bring your people to the foot of the Sound Beast Mountain. When things tragically change, you all should leave at once. If this space collapses and you still haven't left yet, you've already known what the consequences will be off. Ka Bie, Ye Meng, and Duo Long did not say anything further immediately turned around and left hastily with a little panic. Yu, Shi Yan looked at Di Shan, Yu Ro, and Yi Tian Mo with surprise as they still stayed. Don't need you to be worried. I have already prepared, as soon as you leave the city, my people will catch up. Yi Tian Mo said. Di Shan and I have planned everything. Once we send out our message, the people of the two tribes will depart at the same time with us. Our wings race is quite close to the Sound Beast Mountain. When we arrive there, perhaps our people might have already been there. Yu Ro said with a smile, seemed not to be worried, Shi Yan, I did not expect that you were that provident. You've known that the termination day of the Sound Beast Mountain is also the day that we have to leave. It's obvious. Shi Yan said with a smiley face, looking ahead and continued. It seems like we have to delay one or two days for Ka Bia and the others to prepare. Whenever they are ready, we can depart right away. We can go now. Di Shan seemed a little impatient. No need to worry about the other guys. Breaking the shelter also needs some time. Perhaps when you are done with it, they should have already been there. So, Shi Yan thought for a moment, then said, that's good. Shi Yan spoke to Yi Tian Mo while looking at Pan Zhe, the other warriors, and the four frightened girls who were just walking out of the stone chamber, you help me take them along. They are still useful to me. Yi Tian Mo raised his eyebrows, and coldly said, 
didn't you need to use these four virgins in order to have prevented your backfire energy? Shi Yan nodded, my fortune is still good. I have not encountered any anomalies while cultivating. However, after breaking the shelter, I don't know if it will occur. That's why I've asked you to help me bring them along. In short, those girls are my possessions. Do you have any problem with that? Di Shan and Yu Ro both looked at Yi Tian Mo with a questioning look. Yi Tian Mo slightly harumphed then replied with a frigid face, I will have them come along. Do you have any other requests? None other. Shi Yan glanced at the four girls then turned to Di Shan, Yu Ro, and said, We can go now. Let's go. Yu Ro walked over to Shi Yan and placed her white hand on Shi Yan's shoulder. Her snow white wings flapped slightly. She gently leaped up at the same time and quickly disappeared out of others' sight. I'll let you handle these people. Di Shan said to Yi Tian Mo before leaving. Yi Tian Mo raked over Cao Zhilan, Pan Zhet and the others with a somber countenance. His white-gray pupils flared up some strange lights. Flows of his soul consciousness, one by one, flew out from his eyes, quietly sneaked into their heads. The way that Yi Tian Mo used his spiritual forces were much more skillful than Shi Yan's. When his soul consciousness penetrated into their souls, even Cao Zhilan totally did not realize nor felt it at all. His soul sensing did not leave any clear traces like Shi Yan's, but it made the others feel as if there were hundreds of worms creeping in, bringing them a great deal of fear. Cao Zhilan, He Ching Man and the others were very insecure. They did not dare to look at Yi Tian Mo, as they did not know what he had wanted to do to them. A long time later, Yi Tian Mo deliberately retreated his soul consciousness, coldly harumphed and said, You guys follow me. After having investigated for a while, he discovered that Shi Yan had removed the soul formation technique planted in them. Even inside the four girls' heads, there were no formation technique that bounded their powers. However, there appeared many mysterious formation techniques which had been placed deeply in the other male warriors' souls that the ordinary people could have had hardly felt them. The three girls, that included Cao Zhilan, Gu Ling Long, and Qi Yan Qing could not have avoided it either. Qi Yan had also planted the spirit seeds in the three girls' souls. Those three spirit seeds were going to germinate, which meant, that in the future, once they left Qi Yan, Shi Yan's soul consciousness could have been able to sense every single move of theirs. Only He Ching Man's soul had not been touched. Yi Tian Mo could certainly have removed those spirit seeds before they rooted. However, he was worried when he saw Shi Yan again, Shi Yan would not easily let it go, but would have definitely troubled him. While thinking to himself how cruel Shi Yan was, he leaped up and flew away. Not long after that, Yi Tian Mo's message was sent to Yi Feng's group. Following Yi Tian Mo's order, they alternatively brought Pan Zhe and the others along, flying up to the sky towards the Sound Beast Mountain. Inside the ancient city, all the demonic Sound Clan's people started the preparations after receiving their leader's direct order. Yi Tian Mo's flock were already departing in line out of the city. Meanwhile, Ka Ba's and Ya Meng's people were very anxious. Under the pressure of their leader's shouts and urges, they hurriedly packed their stuff, cleaned up their properties in panic. Everything became a mess. Even though many of the demonic sound clan's people were nervous, confused and busy, all of them had a cheerful face as if they seemed not to realize the danger ahead. The only thing in their minds was that they finally could have returned to their ancestral land. The three leaders kept putting a lot of good things about their ancestral land into their people's minds. Therefore, every single of them had imagined that the ancestral land to be a holy place where they could have everything, they felt that all of the good things there belonged to them. At the Sound Beast Mountain, where its peak pierced straight up to the sky, numerous sound beasts had spread out at every corner. Hundreds, thousands of them were gathering, feeling extremely insecure. They all got out of their caves all in a sudden as if they felt that the danger was coming closer. Deep in the sky, lightning was striking and the wild wind was growling. All were furious. Dazzling lightning, one by one, flashed, 
on and off quickly in the sky. Deep inside of the lightning, many brilliant colorful lights segregated, which were actually the rifts of the time and space continuum, they contained the tremendous heavenly power that could have eradicated all life. Any pagans of the demonic sound clan or the wings race knew that in the sky above the sound beast mountain's peak, their concealed heavenly powers, which were capable of destroying any warriors of the true god realm. They all knew that the heavenly power's existence was the warrior's nemesis, that prevented the pagans of the two tribes from ever getting out of this place. The phenomenal scene in the sky scared the sound beasts out of their wits, as well as panicked the two tribes pagans who were having feelings that a murderous accident could come at any time. Boom! A flow of dazzling heavenly light suddenly projected from the sky. The heavenly light was like a giant sickle, striking down straight into the sound beast mountain's peak. As soon as the heavenly light visibly appeared, a block of hundreds meter long ancient stone had been cut off from the sound beast mountain's peak, violently falling down. Right when the heavenly light swept over a growling giant sound beast, the beast turned into a mist of blood just in a blink, leaving nothing behind. That was an extremely catastrophic death. Many of the sound beasts terrifyingly growled and howled, instinctively retreated into the sound beast mountain. They didn't dare to have stuck their heads out. While the heaven was showing its intimidation and mightiness, Shi Yan, who was brought here by Yu Ro, arrived at the foot of the sound beast mountain with a somber face. Chapter 263, Watch Me A flash of heavenly light struck down turning the giant and aggressive sound beasts instantly into ashes. It had even cut off a huge block of stone from the sound beast mountain's peak. That was the heavens solemn. Deep inside the sky where the thunders were exploding, the heavenly light flashed up dazzlingly. This heavens solemn strike shocked every single person of the wings race's warriors, scared all the sound beasts on the sound beast mountain. Di Shan, Yu Ro, Yi Tian Mo and even Shi Yan all had extremely serious countenances. They looked up to the major changes happening in the sky and instantly did not know what else to say. That is the punishment force. Every 10,000 years, whenever the two tribes had warriors entering the true god realm, this heavenly light from the sky would strike and burn the warriors into ashes, that nothing remained, their souls and spirits both perished. Yu Ro looked up to the sky with resentful eyes, this bloody heavenly light has confined the two tribes for tens thousand of years. Di Shan and Yi Tian Mo contemplated, their faces were somber. Shi Yan knitted his eyebrows looking at the sky above the sound beast mountain with a distressed feeling. He could feel the severely horrendous power there, which likely destroyed both heaven and earth. He even did not dare to send out his soul consciousness to observe around. He felt that once he released his soul consciousness, it would be struck into ashes before it could reach that deep place in the sky. Inside of that place existed the destructive powers that could vanish the warriors at the true god realm. As only being at the earth realm, if he had riskily gone for a confrontation, death was undoubtedly the only consequence for him. Are you confident? Di Shan contemplated for a while. His two eyes squinted, creating a straight line. There seemed to be a spike of electricity that flashed up inside of them. No matter what, you have to break the shelter at the entrance of Sound Beast Mountain. Otherwise, even if we don't attack you when this space is destroyed, you are still unable to escape from this catastrophe. No worries, if I were not sure, I could not have had been calm like this. Shi Yan revealed a faint smile, nodded to Yu Ro bring me to the entrance of one cave on the Sound Beast Mountain. Then you guys watch me. Are you sure? Sure. The matriarch of the White Wings clan nodded. Her snow-white hands grabbed Shi Yan and instantly flew up to the sky. A white light emerged as Yu Ro's figure appeared right at the foot of Sound Beast Mountain. Thud thud thud. Explosive thunder sounds reverberated from the gloomy sky. Each flash of the lightning from the nine tiers of the sky, which was as big as a dragon flying and twisting, struck straight at Yu Ro. Di Shan and Yi Tian Mo were already floating in the air. As they saw lightning striking down, their faces dramatically changed, they immediately prepared to deal with it. Bang! Thunder and lightning struck down at the flank of the mountain. 
rocks were smashed into pieces. When the lightning struck some of the sound beasts, who had not prepared yet, instantly got incinerated. Yuro reacted rapidly. As soon as that lightning released, she had already teleported to another cave, then quickly let Shi Yan down. Boom boom boom. Up there, the thunderclap exploded massively as lightning flashed up tearing off the sky. More and more lightning appeared as if they had to burn everything on earth. Yuro, those flashes of lightning were aiming for you. You should leave. Yi Tian Mo lifted his head looking up, quietly observing for a while. He suddenly shouted, You have not reached the true god realm, so there is no heavenly light striking down at you yet. However, don't underestimate its power. You should not come close to Shi Yan because even if you could have avoided it, he would not. Being reminded by Yi Tian Mo, Yu Ro finally understood. She did not dare to stay with Shi Yan, instead, she teleported back outside the mountain. Soon after that, her delicate and heart touching body appeared beside Di Shan and Yi Tian Mo. The thunder and thunderbolt seemed to have instincts. While she was leaving, they kept chasing after her, turning into an electric dragon storming towards her. When the three people, Di Shan, Yi Tian Mo, and Yu Ro saw that the electric dragon was terrifyingly dashing forward, they were all ready to confront it. Colorful lights which came from the void were congealed and refined, transpicuous flows of light emerged from their hands, collided with the twisting electric dragon, and broke it into pieces. It turned out to be tiny streaks of lightning retreating deep into the sky. The shelter over there has been aiming at our two tribes indeed. Di Shan squinted, raised his head looking up to the sky, then said with a low voice, As long as we approach closer to the Sound Beast Mountain, the shelter outside will be immediately activated, and constantly attack us without letting us off. On the contrary, Shi Yan is still unharmed. Yu Ro and Yi Tian Mo sent out their consciousness to observe. They realized that Shi Yan had not been attacked by lightning. In the area that he was standing, there weren't any changes, the lightning which had previously been aimed at Yu Ro also disappeared without leaving any trace. As he is human, he seems not to be struck by the lightning. Yi Tian Mo nodded and said, But, it seems that those sound beasts are also afraid of the lightning's attack. Our two tribes are not the only target, so are those sound beasts. Hmm, don't know why those sound beasts have suddenly become that strange. Di Shan nodded, guessing, there surely occurred a major change inside of the sound beast mountain. Otherwise, the sound beasts should not have had such strange behaviors. Those sound beasts that have been struck to death by the heavenly light had already reached the seventh level, the strongest ones of all the sound beasts. They were unexpectedly attacked by the shelter. It is very anomalous indeed. Don't mess with them. Wait until Shi Yan breaks the shelter, we will then enter the Sound Beast Mountain and see why the Sound Beasts have behaved that strange. Yu Ro said with a smile. Di Shan and Yi Tian Mo slowly nodded. Their eyes were full of hope, looking towards Shi Yan's direction. On the flank of the mountain, Shi Yan held his breath calmed his consciousness with a serious face. He slowly gathered forces and released his spirit to make contact with the earth flame inside of the blood vein ring. Right now, I need your powers to break this damn shelter. Okay, I have finished my evolution. My forces now are much stronger than before. I can definitely break that shelter. Ah, if it's not because my soul is still feeble as it has just formed, only do I need to go out of this ring. I can already burn that shelter quickly. Your soul is not stable now, plus there are many warriors of the demonic sound clan who have a profound understanding about the souls. As soon as you go out of the blood vein ring, they will attack your soul. They are only afraid of your burning fire powers. But now, your soul has not fused with the burning fire, it's not sure whether you will be able to withstand their soul attack. You should not be reckless. Before your soul and the burning fire could fuse together, don't get out of the blood vein ring. Got it. After discussing with the earth flame, Shi Yan slowly stretched out his hands towards the cave entrance. Sizzling. 
small flames flickered from his fingertips as if there was a spiritual snake curling up out on his palms. Because of this, scorching burning fire hovered around his hands with the extreme heat. The host soul inside the sea of consciousness quietly moved. Flows of soul consciousness, one by one, scattered from the sea of consciousness, observing small transformations of burning fire on his hands. The blood vein ring was dazzling with red light as each of the fire snakes crawled out of the ring. As soon as fire snakes had got out, Shi Yan sent his soul consciousness into them. When the fire snakes wrapped around the backs of his hands and his palms, profound chi massively rolled out and assembled with these fire snakes. The solid cave's shelter was burned up by the scorching fire from his hands. Mists of grey smoke came up one by one, dense yin chi also spread out inaudibly. Many of the sound beasts retracted their heads staying inside of the cave and frighteningly watched the heavenly flame flared up from Shi Yan's hands. They didn't dare to come any closer. Time had been passing by. Both of Shi Yan's hands were wiggling with the shelter for a long while. The powerful burning fire of the 10,000-year earth flame in the blood vein ring emitted constantly, converging with his soul consciousness. His profound chi turned to the raging heavenly flame which could have wiped out everything. It was now wildly incinerating that shelter. The invisible shelter, which was being burned by the powerful burning fire, seemed to be broken little by little. Around the stone cave, other forces appeared to support and enhance the shelter's strength, however, they could not resist the heavenly flame's burning power. The shelter, which Shi Yan's hands were placed on, was getting weaker. The defending forces hidden inside were being consumed bit by bit, about to be completely broken. Ka Bie, Duo Long and Yameng also arrived at the Sound Beast Mountain, standing together with the other three people including Di Shan, Yu Ro and Yi Tian Mo. They all stared at Shi Yan attentively without a second of negligence. Wings races Pagans and Ka Bie, Yameng, the youth of the demonic sound clan were all gathering at this place. With just a quick glance, the pagans of the Wings race and the demonic sound clan were flooding towards the Sound Beast Mountain from all directions. After realizing that the two pagan tribes were bringing all of their members here, many of the Sound Beasts scattering outside went back into the Sound Beast Mountain in fear. They didn't dare to confront these two tribes. Numerous Sound Beasts hopelessly hid inside of the Sound Beast Mountain after seeing their leaders being struck into ashes by a flow of the heavenly light from the sky. Hiding inside of the cave, the sound beasts were extremely nervous. They had wanted to go out but were scared of being ambushed by the people of the Wings race and the demonic sound clan. They were indeed in a dilemma. Any one of these two pagan tribes could have somehow figured out that inside of the sound beasts mountain that there was a major occurrence which could have frightened the sound beasts that much. Otherwise, those sound beasts would not have been so terrified that they had to hurriedly go out of the caves. Knowing clearly that things were changing abnormally inside of the Sound Beast Mountain, those pagans still hoped that Shi Yan could have broken the shelter soon. After their six leaders had explained to them, these pagans understood that the perdition was coming. If they could not have gotten out of this land, they would have completely disappeared from the world's history. Everybody was frightened. CAOG, do you think we can go back to the Kyra Sea? Inside the Rattan Cage, Gu Linglong's eyes brightened with a hopeful look. I don't know. Let's see what he can do. Cao Zhilan miserably smiled, pointing to Shi Yan, and said, If I can return to the Kyra Sea and recover my forces, I will definitely torture him to death. Gu Linglong clenched her teeth with full of resentment, Without our family's support, none of us is strong enough to be his opponent. Cao Zhilan slightly whined and groaned. Yang Qing Emperor is such a genius. He has found that rascal from nowhere. That rascal is such a monster. Even if the Yang family perishes, unless that guy is dead, they still can rebel again. Hmm. After Pan Zhet, Chu Yang Qin, and Gu Linglong listened to Cao Zhilan, the look on their faces all changed into those of fear. Obviously, they all admitted what Cao Zhilan had said was true. All of them had to accept Shi Yan's intimidating strength. Chapter 264 Breaking the Shelter 
scorching flames, one by one, flew out from Shi Yan's hands, all rolling in the cave in front of him. After pulling one another about, the shelter at the cave entrance, which had been blazingly burned by heaven flame, finally seemed not to be able to resist any longer, exposing a small burnt hole. Everybody's faces were excited. Shi Yan's eyes also brightened up as if he could see a ray of glory through that small hole. He put all his efforts to continuously pour the heaven flame's blistering power into that hole. After all the flames of the heaven flame entered that hole, they eroded the cave entrance little by little, quickly enlarged the hole. Di Shan, Yu Ro, and other leaders of two pagan tribes showed an extreme joy. It was obvious that with that burning speed, the cave would be soon broken, the hole would be broadened enough for everyone to get in. Lightning flashed up in Di Shan's eyes. He contemplated for a while before quietly coming closer to Shi Yan. Duo Long and his fellows also followed behind without much hesitation. They all gathered 30 meters away from Shi Yan and kept staring at every single move from him. If they didn't enter the Sound Beast Mountain, they would not have been struck by the lightning from the sky above the peak. The miraculous shelter in the sky seemed to have its own consciousness. It had a duty to make sure that no top-class warriors of the two tribes were able to have penetrated into the Sound Beast Mountain. As soon as they moved one step in, this shelter would have been instantly activated, striking down tremendous lightning. Let's wait for a while. Once the cave entrance is enlarged enough, we will enter right away. Dishan turned around, glancing at the other five leaders, then said with a serious face, everyone should watch out. There is certainly an anomalous change in there. It may be a fatal danger, you should not be contemptuous. Five of them nodded, implicating they'd already understood. Those six peak leaders of two tribes were glaring at every move of Shi Yan with stony eyes from a distance of 30 meters away. They were ready to enter at any time. Sweat beaded on Shi Yan's forehead, the fabric on his back was also wet. This was the result of consuming too much power. His body had been trained by the heaven flame for a long time as his vessels and blood were adapting more with the heaven flame's heat. However, burning fires spreading out from the blood vein ring this time were much hotter than any previous times. The extreme heat of the earth flame had successfully transformed, being several times stronger than before. Until now, Shi Yan got to know that the earth flame previously had not been considered as the heaven flame. At best, it had been only considered to be mutated earth flame that hadn't reached the heaven flame's temperature just yet. Nevertheless, the current earth flame had a huge transformation after having absorbed the sun refined spirits. Not only did it have a complete soul and a perfect living form, but its burning fire power had also been enhanced to another new level. The 10,000 years earth flame somehow had transformed to make a balance with the icy cold flame, which owned a miraculous earth shaking power. As the earth flame had been enhanced, its burning power was also much stronger than before. Shi Yan almost could not stand it. When he poured profound chi into each flame, a lot of his power had been drained, including his soul consciousness. The heaven flame evaporated his sweat quickly as soon as it continued pouring out again. Even though Shi Yan's whole body was not comfortable, he still tried to restrain it, focused his mind, and kept releasing his soul consciousness. He let his profound chi massively roll into his palms to fuse with flames of the heaven flame to create heaven flame's power with a tremendous attack strength. Sizzling. The heaven flame was burning furiously making the hole in front of him bigger. Gradually, it was getting as big as a human's head. Shi Yan's face was joyful but he did not dare to relax now. He kept urging the profound chi inside of his body to pour into the conflagrate burning fires on his hands. The burning fires then flew straight into the hole. Torrential heaven flame was blazing on his hands. There was as if a fire snake wrapping around each of his fingers, twisting and sticking its tongue out. Miraculously, inside of those vivid red flames appeared a faint purple color. That was a strange color resulted by the fusion of the heaven flame, his soul consciousness, and the profound chi. Shi Yan stretched out his hands through the hole, sending powerful burning fires of the heaven flame to cover them and then forcefully tore the hole apart. 
more and more heaven flames burning fires flew up from the backs of his hands and his palms. The thousand-year earth flame had sensed his urge, emitting stronger burning fires to support Shi Yan tearing the hole. Swoosh! A crispy sound suddenly came up from that hole. Shi Yan's hands had violently pulled and tore that hole, which had been originally as big as a human head size. Now the hole was big enough for an adult to get through. Go! Di Shan shouted as his black wings flapped hastily. He flashed up like a black lightning and disappeared instantly. Shi Yan got bewildered for a while. Before he could realize what was happening, Di Shan had already gone through the shelter, getting inside of the Sound Beast Mountain. Not far from that, after seeing Di Shan's action, Yu Ro and Yi Tian Mo also turned into flows of light without hesitation, going inside of the Sound Beast Mountain with a blinding speed. At the foot of the Sound Beast Mountain, people of the Wings race and the demonic Sound Clan began to cheer and applaud. All of them were extremely joyful. They soon congratulated each other. Some of them even started drinking to celebrate. A few of the high-class warriors leaped up and flew towards Shi Yan's direction. At this moment, cheerful sounds and noises echoed crazily. After being dazed, Shi Yan saw the ten warriors of two tribes approaching closely. They were about to jump into the cave entrance. Boom boom boom! An earth-shaking thunder sound suddenly came up from deep inside the sky. Horrendous streaks of lightning covered the entire Sound Beast Mountain entirely all in a sudden just like a heavy shower. Simultaneously, the Sound Beast Mountain was immersed in a dense net of lightning. With a quick glance, that net of lightning looked like a curtain being pulled down. The scream like ghosts wail and wolves howl also followed the lightning piercing into people's ears. Being struck constantly by those streaks of lightning, the bodies of those wings races and demonic sound clans top class warriors were immediately incinerated, then fell down not long after having wiggled fiercely in the air. Their bodies exploded before they could have reached the ground. Flesh and blood were scattered everywhere. The ten warriors of the two tribes were dead without leaving any bones in just a short moment. All the pagans, who were standing everywhere around the Sound Beast Mountain, immediately changed their countenances dramatically after seeing the terrifying scene. The cheering noises had also died out. No one could have ever imagined that the ten Sky Realm warriors could have been struck to death that fast. There was not a single sign, nor a minute spared for preparations. Those ten warriors were dead, just like that. Those pagans, who had been cheerful, dazedly watched flesh and bones falling down like a heavy blood shower. Everybody ceased suddenly. Some of the other warriors, who had originally wanted to enter the cave, were flying in the air, hurriedly stopped, as they didn't dare to come any closer to the Sound Beast Mountain. Shi Yan's complexion had also changed tragically. Soon after that, he realized that while he got dazed, the hole, which had been torn apart, was slowly shrinking. After raising his eyebrows with a little hesitation, he then suddenly jumped through the shelter, entering inside of the Sound Beast Mountain. Shriek shriek shriek! Ear-piercing growls of Sound Beasts resounded as soon as he got into the Sound Beast Mountain. Echoing growls of Sound Beasts were not less loud than the ones of Thunderbolts outside. While earth-shaking sounds kept coming up, six figures of Dishan and other five leaders were getting further and further, dashing towards the center of the mountain. Yuro was the last one of the line. The matriarch of the White Wings clan held a charming figure, waiting for the other five figures to disappear. She looked at Shi Yan from a distance then gently said, let's go in there together. Shi Yan was startled, he hesitated a little before saying, don't you need me to keep this shelter open? Yu Ro revealed a faint smile, gently shaking her head, if you've been able to break it, you can also do the same from the inside. Wait until we solve the problem inside the mountain, then you will break this shelter again. With the thunder and lightning outside that close the cliff, no one else can go in. You only uselessly waste your powers if you stay here. We don't know how long it would take in there. Until we can solve the problem inside, if your powers have been already been drained by that time, it would have really been such a waste. Shi Yan nodded, 
determinately stopped holding the shelter open. He zoomed towards Yu Ro. Shi Yan, Yu Ro suddenly lowered her voice when he arrived next to her. What happened? Shi Yan asked with a low voice, a suspicious look showed up on his face. Be careful. Yu Ro gently spoke up after hesitating, you should not keep yourself too far away from me to avoid any unexpected events. You also need to be aware of Duo Long and the other three leaders of the Demonic Sound Clan. Perhaps you will be their target there. Shi Yan frowned and said, Don't they need me to break the shelter? It's hard to say, Yu Ro's face got serious, you've probably realized that when thunder and lightning cover the outside of the mountain, the shelter inside of the Sound Beast Mountain starts to be weakened. If we can enter here, it means the shelter is not effective anymore. After we solve the problems inside of the mountain, the oppressive forces of the shelter may no longer exist. Until then, you don't have any value to them. Shi Yan's face suddenly changed. He nodded firmly after thinking for a while, I understand. As I have promised, as long as you break the shelter, I will try my best to protect you. I will keep my words. Even though Yu Ro was inside of a dark dull cave, her eyes, on the contrary, were very bright. I will try my best, but, if it does not happen as I wanted, don't blame me. Shi Yan still felt warm although he was inside of a chilly dark cave. He bravely placed his hands on Yu Ro's wings and honestly said, I will still be grateful to you. Suddenly, the body of the matriarch of the White Wings clan reddened as her charming face also blushed. Her beautiful eyes got mused while her body was slightly shivering. Oh. Shi Yan asked with surprise, are you okay? Little pervert. Yu Ro angrily stared at him. However, she had no power to resist. She was even more exquisitely dainty and ravishingly beautiful that all men would have surely committed a crime. Clenching her teeth tightly, Yu Ro scolded, don't you really know that the wings of the wings races girls are even more sensitive than our breasts and preserved area? We are not allowed to let any of the opposite genders touch them. I didn't know Shi Yan looked shocked, innocently shaking his head. Chapter 265, The Nine Serenities Soul Devouring Flame In the dark stone cave, while the matriarch of the White Wings clan looked at Shi Yan's innocent appearance, she felt so angry that she just wanted to smash him down. However, thinking about the unknown problems inside of the mountain, she had to restrain her irritations. She stared at him with her impetuous eyes, forcefully pulled his hands, and flew deep into the center of the mountain. With the flame of anger inside, Yu Ro's movements were not gentle at all. Her small hands were like a pair of metal pincers secretly squeezed Shi Yan's hands forcefully. Oh. Although Yu Ro constantly put more strength to the squeeze, she realized that Shi Yan did not utter a word as if he did not feel the pain. With her astonishment, she kept tensioning her clamp. Yu Ro was surprised. The strength that she was using was enough to break the Nirvana Realm warrior's bones. Nevertheless, even though Shi Yan was just ranked second sky of the Earth Realm, he was still all right, and only knitted his eyebrows slightly. Do you think it is enough? As Yu Ro kept squeezing harder and harder, Shi Yan had to reluctantly say, If you keep doing that, I can't help but scream. You have already discharged your anger, don't continue torturing me. You little rascal, you are not ordinary indeed. Your meridians seem to transform and contract constantly. Each of them is very peculiar as if some strange spirit energy keeps condensing and refining inside of it. Yu Ro still clamped his hands tightly. She did not have any intentions to reduce the strength of her fingers. She continued to speak with a gentle voice and a very strange look, Shi Yan, your body is not the same as ordinary people's. I have a vague feeling that the meridians in your whole body seem to have great differences compared to the normal ones. What did you do after all? She still wanted to explore all secrets inside of Shi Yan's body. Last time when she had returned to the ancient city, she had found out that there were peculiar forces in Shi Yan's blood and vessels which repressed his immortal blood. 
she had some understanding about the antiquity time secrets as she couldn't imagine if there were any forces that could have dominated the immortal blood in the immortal god king's descendant. She guessed that Shi Yan was still hiding an earth-shaking secret since she somehow realized that there were miraculous forces whose strength were as strong as the one of the immortal blood inside of his body, otherwise, the immortal blood could not be easily dominated like this. Nothing, Shi Yan shook his head. He had to keep anything related to the mystery martial spirit on the down low. He would not disclose anything to anyone. Not to mention it was Yu Rou, even if Xia Zinyan asked him he would have still shut his mouth. Shi Yan, maybe you don't know yet, but I have told Di Shan about your situation. Yu Ro suddenly spoke up after contemplating for a while. Di Shan is an arrogant person who has a high-level cultivation and brutal means. In the demonic sound clan and the wings race, Di Shan can be considered the number one of all the top class warriors. Even I myself could hardly be his rival. If you can have Di Shan's support, once he decides to follow the ancestor's guidance, he will accept you to be his master. Moreover, he will also protect your life, so you don't need to worry about your safety. After leaving this abandoned land, you will have tremendously powerful backup forces. With the unity of Di Shan and me, as well as your Heaven Flame, which is the nemesis of the demonic sound clan, Perhaps you will be able to subdue the demonic sound clan. Don't you understand what this means? What? Shi Yan looked shocked, his eyes brightened up. Apparently, he had been touched. However, Di Shan is extremely arrogant. Even though you are the immortal god king's descendant, you are just an earth realm warrior. Obviously, it's not easy to make him obey you. Yu Ro continued, therefore, if you want to get Di Shan's agreement, you have to show more of your capabilities, you shouldn't keep hiding them. Otherwise, unless Di Shan sees your true competencies, he will not respect you nor treat you like a future top class warrior. Yu Ro gently explained to him the situation. Shi Yan listened attentively. After Yu Ro had finished talking, he nodded slowly and said, I understood. As Shi Yan looked like he had really grasped the seriousness of the situation, Yu Ro said no more, and slightly smiled. She suddenly accelerated, turned into a white halo and dashed towards the center of the mountain. Rome Rome! Shriek Shriek! Deep inside of the mountain, the sound beast's growls resounded constantly. The earth was shaken by those ear-splitting sounds together with the thunders outside of the mountain. Yu Ro! with Shi Yan being grabbed along, flew straight inside of the mountain. The originally gloomy cave turned to be as black as ink as it was impossible to see the surroundings. However, as Yu Ro knew every single path inside of the mountain, she could still follow the directions of Di Shan and Yi Tian Mo. She was rapidly chasing after them. It was uncertain of how much time had passed as Shi Yan suddenly heard, besides the sound beast's growls, a big explosion that was caused by some attacking forces. At the same time, Yu Ro's figure slowed down. A faint silver light was approaching them lighting up the dark cave. Di Shan! Yu Ro shouted in shock, letting go of Shi Yan and stormed forwards. Boom boom boom! Extremely horrendous powers collided, exploded consecutively in the cave. Huge blocks of lava rock instantly turned into ashes dispersing everywhere in the cave after being hit by those forces. Shi Yan stood on a solid lava rock. He wanted to clearly see the scene in front of him, but heavy grey dust totally blocked his vision. A lot of dust had flown into his eyes, causing the irritating itchiness. His soul consciousness, which had just been sent out, suddenly recognized a kind of soul's magnetic field revolving inside of the cave. That soul's magnetic field instantly crushed down his soul consciousness. He immediately got himself together in fear. He did not dare to send out his soul consciousness again. Instead, he just circulated profound chi to his eyes, covering his pupils with a white profound chi shield. Even when he could not see what was happening inside of the cave, nor send out his soul consciousness, it didn't mean that he could not sense anything. There were furious forces striking and destroying numerous blocks of rock of the Sound Beast Mountain. Rock fragments scattered, 
dust was everywhere. Through the surging tremor, he was certain that there were top-class warriors fighting somewhere in the cave. Yu Ro had shouted terrifyingly as she had seen Di Shan's enemy. Therefore, she let go of Shi Yan urgently and dashed towards Di Shan. Even though Di Shan was the best of the top-class warrior of the Demonic Sound Clan and the Wings race, with the given brutal situation, his opponent was definitely either the Sound Beast's supreme leader or the most ferocious monster of the world. Regardless of who it was, Di Shan's enemy was not the one whom he had the ability to defeat. Therefore, Shi Yan stood right at his place motionlessly, calming himself and waiting. A faint red light appeared in the dark cave. It flickered then scattered around. Dust and ashes blocking his vision were blown away by invisible forces. So were the dust and ashes around Shi Yan. Oh! Shi Yan got astonished, surprisingly looked at the blood vein ring on his finger. He saw that the pink light had flew out from the blood vein ring. Wherever the red light swept over, Shi Yan's vision was not blocked anymore. Everything around him became clearer. This was a huge cave. The red light kept diffusing further, clearing all the dust and ashes. Shi Yan was watching the cave expanding endlessly following that red light. A brown jade was hanging at 30 meters above his head. Its surface was full of holes which were as big as fingertips. Dense heaven and earth yin aura hovered around it. This place was certainly the core of the Sound Beast Mountain. His eyes followed the red light, which was expanding further. Until the red light could cover an area that as large as five football fields combined, he suddenly saw many pairs of eyes flashing up different colored lights. As the red light continued diffusing, figures of those who possessed those eccentric eyes gradually appeared. Sound beasts were everywhere, hundreds or thousands of them. From a distance, each of them was staring at him, full of hatred. Shi Yan was not frightened obviously, revealing a faint smile. A red halo of burning fire suddenly emerged from his palms, the heaven flame's power emitted from his body. The sound beasts were clearly scared, moving backward little by little. Where is this place? The icy aura of the ice-cold flame flew out from the blood vein ring all in a sudden. The ice-cold flame sent out its consciousness, the heaven and earth yin aura here is very dense. Inside of it contains the icy yin aura that could destroy souls. This is, this is. Has the blood vein ring removed the restraint on you already? Shi Yan promptly replied in joy. The blood vein ring has realized the danger that is coming. Moreover, because of the current living form of the earth flame, it no longer controls me. The ice-cold flame quickly answered him. Then, it suddenly urged Shi Yan, leave this place. It's extremely dangerous here. The yin aura here could destroy the souls of any creatures. It is. What? It is the Nine Serenities Soul Devouring Flame, one of the Heaven Flames, the most parlous one. Its burning fire cannot inflame real entities, but it can destroy all souls of any kind of creatures. Any subject that has a life can hardly resist its devouring fire. As soon as the devouring fire touches your body, your soul will be immediately burned to ashes. Have you said that it's there? It is right there. I can feel it. You'd better leave right away. Boom boom boom. Aggressively fighting sounds, along with you Rose screams, came up from the earth shaking growls and howls. Shi Yan's face changed dramatically, immediately looked towards that direction. The blood vein ring's red light spread out, blowing away dust and ashes around Shi Yan. His vision became gradually clearer. With a careful look, he realized that there were some figures fighting with several sound beasts in which the explosion had occurred. This flock of sound beasts was extremely aggressive, as they had no fear of death. Their giant bodies were covered with scales, which looked terrifying and ferocious. Those beasts were emitting heavy yin aura. Their eyes color were all silver attached on the body that was greatly vigorous as if they were made of cast iron. These sound beasts were not the same as the ordinary ones. Although they were very mighty, there was no streak of vitality in them as if their souls had been completely withdrawn. Their entire bodies were full of deadly aura. 
These sound beasts were giving the pagan leaders, Di Shan, Yu Ro, Duo Long, a very hard time in fighting with them. That is the Nine Serenity's spirit beasts. The Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame have used the Nine Serenity's Yin Qi to condensed and refined those sound beasts. They don't have souls so they won't feel painful or being wary of death. Their powers are even stronger when they are dead. It is very hard to deal with these zombie spirit breasts. Except turning them into ashes, otherwise even with only a bone remaining, still, the Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame could still control them to attack other people. The ice cold flame explained. A beam of fear appeared in Qi Yan's eyes. Chapter 266 Peculiar Treasure Appeared The seven dead spirit beasts looked as if they were made of cast iron with furious powers and full of benevolent energy. None of them had the aura of a living thing. However, they had lightning speed and tremendous strength. When they leaped up, they pulled the heaven and earth yin along with them, which led to the increase of their energies and the horrendous destructive powers. The seven dead spirit beasts seemed to protect something. A dark and sinister area was behind them, from which extremely dense fluctuating yin aura spread out, floating in the air. It was like many flows of the soul oppressive forces were dispersing, subduing the others' minds and bodies, bringing them violently feelings of insecurities. Among the six leaders of the two pagan tribes, Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie and Yameng all had the spirit realm soul cultivations. Although their bodies were feeble, their soul powers were enough to fearlessly deal with most of the creatures there. However, when confronting those soulless dead spirit beasts, the three leaders of the demonic sound clan with tremendous soul power became inefficient just like something that was used to decorate their powers. The only thing they could do now was to intertwine those seven spirit beasts with their feeble bodies. The consequences could not have been easily imagined. Losing the biggest advantage, together with their weak bodies, the three leaders of the demonic sound clan were having a tough time fighting with those beasts. Once those beasts attacked them, they couldn't do anything but dodge and didn't dare to directly confront them. As the result, the pressure of fighting against the seven dead spirit beasts obviously fell on the other three leaders of the wings race. Although the three of them, Di Shan, Yu Ro, and Duo Long were much better than the other three, they still could not have gained the initiative in the combat. The dead spirit beasts originally had no souls but had a sturdy build. Moreover, these seven beasts had used the bodies of the seventh level sound beasts that have cultivated for thousands of years. Thanks to this fact, their mighty bodies' advantages were amplified several times, they were not scared of any weapons or different kinds of energy attacks. Among the three leaders of the Wings race, Duo Long was at the third level of the Sky Realm, half a step away from the Spirit Realm. With his sturdy build and furious strength, he was definitely a first-class warrior outside of the mountain. The other two, Di Shan and Yu Ro were stronger than Duo Long. They were both at the reputable first sky of the Spirit Realm warriors. However, they were still struggling with those beasts strenuously despite their unity. Their attacking forces unlikely crushed those spirit beasts into pieces. If those beasts were not smashed into ashes, they would not have gotten injured. With the support of the heaven and earth yin from behind, they would have continued receiving energy from endless sources. As long as the heaven and earth yin was everlasting, and the spirit beasts' bodies were not completely destroyed, their energy would never have been depleted, and their attacks would have kept going on. The seven spirit beasts' movements were as fast as the lightning. Their speed was even faster than that of the wings' race's leaders. Their energies were extremely ferocious. Shi Yan used his sense to carefully observe the situation. He realized that the seven dead spirit beasts could have gone through the mountain effortlessly, their movements were lightning-like. Every time that they moved forward, their giant bodies had unexpectedly traveled dozens of meters deep through the lava rock mountain wall. It was like a huge drill, which could easily pierce through the hard and solid mountain wall. At this moment, he understood that because the dead spirit beasts' attacking strength were so tremendous that they were able to break through everything, like perforating the mountain wall. The seven dead spirit beasts violently surrounded and pursued to kill the six leaders in the cave. Under the attack of the beasts, 
it was as if they were encountering their archenemies, their faces were extremely somber while trying to use all kinds of forces to kill the beasts. Dishan's and Euro's strikes on the beasts were as if they had collided with a 300,000 kg mountain wall. Those beasts were shot out more than a hundred meters away, their bodies were devastated into pieces, yet unable to have been completely destroyed. As their soul attack was not efficient, the three leaders of the demonic sound clan were in a strenuous situation. Their feeble bodies were not able to resist the dead spirit beasts' attacks. If they were not very flexible and agile in dodging, they should have been out of breath and dead in no time. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Suddenly, the dense heaven and earth yin emitted from the seven dead spirit beasts. The space was immediately filled with peculiar dead spirit aura. Some of the sound beasts, which were hiding from a distance, all scattered away as soon as they saw the dispersing heaven and earth yin. More than ten of the sound beasts that weren't able to avoid it were completely enveloped by this peculiar yin. With their miserable growls, their fluctuating souls became very strange. Their living aura was disappearing, which was being replaced with the intensified dead spirit aura little by little. Not long after that, more than ten of the sound beasts under the cover of the peculiar yin aura started to get crazy. They seemed to have transformed into the dead spirit beasts and began to attack the six leaders. These dead spirit beasts, which had just been transformed from the sound beasts, could not have obviously been compared to the other seven ones. Their bodies were not as sturdy and their strength was far less than the others. That was why when these new formed beasts were attacked by the six leaders, they were soon completely smashed until their blood scattered everywhere. But very soon after that, those seven dead spirit beasts leaped up quickly. More and more of the heaven and earth yin emitted surrounding them. Hundreds of the sound beasts ran away outwards from the cave in fear. However, they quickly got covered by the heaven and earth yin before being able to have gotten away. All the sound beasts inside of the mountain had been turned into dead spirit beasts after a short while. They started to aggressively attack the six leaders without fear of death. The burning fires of the heaven flame emitted abruptly from Shi Yan's body. His face was grievous. He had figured out that the sound beasts had to run away out of the mountain because they were scared of the dead spirit beasts inside of the mountain. To be more exact, the Nine Serenities soul devouring flame that those dead spirit beasts were protecting. It was because the Nine Serenities soul devouring flame could destroy their souls and turn them into the soulless dead spirit beasts. These sound beasts obviously knew the power of that Nine Serenities soul devouring flame. After the shelter inside of the mountain had been weakened, they felt insecure, realized that the Nine Serenities soul devouring flame was getting developed. Therefore, they ran out of the mountain to avoid being turned into the dead spirit beasts by the Nine Serenities' soul-devouring flame. If the demonic sound clans and the wings race people hadn't invaded it, the sound beasts certainly would not have stayed inside of the mountain. Currently, inside of the mountain, hundreds of the sound beasts who were close to the Nine Serenities' soul-devouring flame could not have avoided its attack. Their souls were destroyed as they were turned into the dead spirit beasts. In such a short time, the spirit beasts were packed inside of the cave. After the sound beasts' souls had been destroyed, they were no longer being fearful. They were not even scared of the heaven flame's power on Shi Yan's body, storming towards him. Let's go. The ice-cold flame sent out its message. Let me help you. The thousand earth flame also communicated with him from the blood vein ring. Boom. Scorching burning fires from Shi Yan expanded everywhere. The thousand earth flame flew out from the blood vein ring all of a sudden, emitting its inflammable power when it saw more than ten of the spirit beasts were approaching. The temperature of the mountain plummeted several times instantly with burning fires everywhere. Every time the dead spirit beasts advanced, they were completely swallowed by the thousand earth flame in no time. Once these beasts fell into the sea of fire, they had no more strength to resist and turned to the scattered shower of blood. All of them were dead. The burning fires of the heaven flame continued spreading out. The heaven flame devoured more and more dead spirit beasts. Once being burned by the thousand earth flame, none of the dead spirit beasts could withstand it. 
Everywhere that the heaven flame had passed by the spirit beasts, they were incinerated into ashes that nothing remained. Even the seven dead spirit beasts which had been tempered by the nine serenities soul-devouring flame could not have prevented the horrendous burning fires of the thousand earth flame. Three of them had been wrapped up in the flames. They were wriggling, and being dissolved little by little into dark red masses, then the heating power would evaporate them into a mist of smoke. As the other four dead spirit beasts seemed to sense the danger, even before the burning fires of the thousand earth flame came close, they all hid together deep inside of the dark without lingering. Stop! From deep inside of Shi Yan's soul, a strong vibration came up. Shi Yan was very frightened, his head was in extreme pain. At the same time, he saw two strange flows of souls approaching towards the thousand earth flame. The earth flame soul immediately returned to the blood vein ring as soon as it realized that danger was coming. The burning fires also withdrew into the blood vein ring after the thousand earth flame soul went back into it. Those two flows of souls belonged to Ka Bia and Ya Meng. After hovering around the blood vein ring and realizing it was not easy to have penetrated it, the two flows were retrieved. Shi Yan harumphed, coldly looked at Yi Tian Mo, who was standing 100 meters away from him. The heaven flame's power is indeed terrifying. Even though it can be used to deal with those peculiar dead spirit creatures here, the three of us cannot endure it either. If you let it expand, the three of us will be burned into ashes. Yi Tian Mo said. Shi Yan's eyes remained frigid. Little rascal, don't you want to kill us all? If your heaven flame doesn't have the ability to dominate these strange creatures, I would have savaged your soul already. Ye Meng wiped his sweat off. He was the one who was standing closest to Shi Yan. When the heaven flame diffused towards his direction, he got really frightened. His powers had been drained more than half even though the heaven flame hadn't come close to him yet. That was why he got angry with Shi Yan the most. Hiss 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 hiss. Four dead spirit beasts, which had just hidden in the dark, released bizarre whistles. A flying shuttle flashed up a sparkling light which was on and off inside of the darkness. It seemingly wanted to get out but was detained by some unknown forces. It kept struggling as it was not able to escape. A flow of anomalous soul came out from the dark where the four dead spirit beasts were hiding. It's the Nine Serenities soul devouring flame. That thing seems to be sealed. Right now, its forces are increasing, the seal power will get weakened soon. Leave now. Once it wakes up, no one can resist him. The ice-cold flame hurriedly communicated with Shi Yan. Shi Yan was still motionless as if he did not hear what the ice-cold flame had said. He kept looking forward with a contemplating face. His eyes lit up, wide open, as he was looking at the flying shuttle, which was hovering around in the dark. He seemed to consider something. Five seconds later, Shi Yan was crazily cheerful, his entire body was shaking. He couldn't help but shout, Sky Breaking Shuttle. Chapter 267, I Can Help You Sky Breaking Shuttle was an extraordinary treasure in the legends. It could tear off the sky or break any kind of shelters. It kept flying around in the darkness and emitted sharp lights consecutively. Each stream of the lights seemed to be able to destroy everything. They were dispelling the darkness, shattering the wall of the cave into pieces. Eventually, it hollowed out the Sound Beast Mountain creating a huge bottomless hole. As the darkness had been dispersed, the scene inside there was gradually revealed. Please visit. The first thing that struck Shi Yan's eyes was the three sparkling small silver strings which were wrapping around the end of the shuttle pulling it so that it could not fly away. The other end of the three silver strings hid inside the darkness so they could not be seen as of now. Being wrapped around by the three silver strings, the sky-breaking shuttle, as it had lost its owner, no longer promoted its true attributes, instead, it could only fly disorderly in the air. It wasn't able to escape from the three silver strings. Those six leaders were standing 100 meters away from the sky-breaking shuttle. They all had a somber countenance, all were motionlessly concentrating at that area. Yuro had heard his shout from the distance. She turned around and asked, 
Shi Yan, do you know it? Shi Yan nodded and replied honestly, that is the sky-breaking shuttle. I had entered the chasm battlefield because of it. It is said that this thing can tear off every partition of space and break all kinds of shelters. Because its owner has been lost, otherwise, it would not have been restrained by anything. The six leaders' faces brightened up in joy. The ancestors' guidance was not fake indeed. At the time the sound beast mountain vanishes, we can find a way to go back. Duo Long laughed out loud while pointing to the shuttle, which was wriggling non-stop, that thing was obviously prepared for us. As long as we can get it, we will be able to get out of this damn place for real. There is heaven flame over there but it is the most brutal and anomalous of the heaven flames. Shi Yan warned them after musing for a while. What? Yi Tian Mo's expression changed dramatically. He could not help but move backward a few steps. It looked obvious that he was extremely scared of something that was hiding inside the darkness over there, you've just said that another kind of heaven flame exists inside there. How could you know? Di Shan asked. The other people were also suspicious, looking at Shi Yan, waiting for his explanation. Heaven flames could sense each other, thus, they know of each other's existence. Shi Yan walked forward slowly. He was cautious when he looked at Yi Tian Mo, Di Shan, and Yu Ro. He explained, the heaven flame there should be the Nine Serenities soul devouring flame. In legends, it has existed since the beginning of the heaven and earth. It cannot burn substances, but it can burn any creature's souls. The Nine Serenity's Soul Devouring Flame The three leaders of the demonic sound clan screamed out simultaneously with a traumatic change on their faces. They all moved backward to Shi Yan's direction. Not good, Di Shan's eyes sparked out a solemn light. A crystal suddenly flew out from his hand. As soon as it came out, it exploded and resulted in a faint blue color which then dispersed quickly, covering him and Yu Ro inside of it. As Duo Long saw Di Shan taking out the blue crystal, he was a little astonished. He seemed to remember something and walked over to Di Shan's place. Without waiting for Duo Long to come closer, Di Shan harumphed and looked towards him with unpleased eyes. Duo Long felt ashamed, changed his direction embarrassingly, and did not continue approaching that blue aureole. Blue Star Crystal The ice-cold flame sense was suddenly sent out. It is one of the extraordinary treasures which is able to resist the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame. The Blue Star Crystal is said to be the most mysterious crystal of the blue planet in the galaxy. It projects Blue Star Heaven Light, which could prevent the penetration of all kinds of soul's forces. Even if it is the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame, it cannot immediately break the blue star heaven light. If you can get inside of its protection, you are certainly able to sustain the Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame for a while. I've actually prepared this crystal to deal with your demonic sound clan. I didn't expect that I have to use it now. Di Shan caressed the precious crystal, pouring more of his powerful forces into it to stimulate the miraculous halo inside it. He said with a regretful tone, the blue star crystal is the consuming object. Its power is limited. The longer it is used, the more power it consumes. I am not sure how long this blue star crystal can last. We can use this blue star light to enter that place over there. Even the Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame cannot instantly destroy our souls. As long as we can prevent it long enough to get the shuttle out, we will go back immediately. What do you think? Yu Ro suggested. Di Shan nodded after contemplating for a while. He said nothing more, stepped towards the shuttle, which was flying deep inside the darkness. Duo Long and the other three leaders of the Demonic Sound Clan all showed their surprise. They wanted to advance with Di Shan and Yu Ro, but they were still scared, thus, they had to stay at their location with confused faces. You can go as well. If you hide inside the Blue Star Light's protection, the Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame cannot harm you. Who knows, perhaps you would be able to tame it. The ice cold flame communicated with Shi Yan. What? Shi Yan's face changed slightly. 
Is it possible to tame the Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame? How could it be? I don't know, but your devilish ring does. The ice cold flame continued, Heaven flame, Earth flame, and I are all confined inside of this ring. If it's not because the ring's spirit has loosened, none of my forces can be released. If this ring can confine both of us, it must be strong enough to deal with the Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame. As long as your soul is not instantly destroyed, you actually have a chance. Sounds right. Shi Yan felt excited. He suddenly walked faster towards Di Shan and Yu Ro. Di Shan, who was leading, stopped abruptly. He turned his head looking at Shi Yan, and shouted with a cold face, What did you come here for? I can help you. What? The Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame is extremely dangerous. Even though you have the blue star crystal, you are still scared of its soul devouring ability. Hmm, I think I have a way to deal with it. If you let me in, if the Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame appears and behaves perversely, I can probably detain it. Do you have the ability to detain it? I can't guarantee 100%, but I am still very certain about it. We need to try to see if it's possible or not. Shi Yan was extremely honest when explaining, Currently, I have two kinds of heaven flames at hand. Because I can keep these two flames with me, I surely have the experience to deal with that kind of flame there. You should trust me. What? The six pagan leaders all screamed out at the same time. They looked at Shi Yan as if he was a monster. Yu Ro covered her mouth. Her beautiful eyes were extremely frightened. She said with suspicion, Did you just say that you have two kinds of heaven flame? Aren't you kidding? Di Shan's breath was heavy, his eyes rolled up like a buffalo's eyes. Shi Yan nodded, and replied calmly, That's right. Besides the earth flame, the other one is the ice cold flame. Watch it. In a moment, the icy chi of the ice cold flame spread out over Shi Yan's body. His body was quickly frozen, turning into a big transparent ice chunk, which was sparking out glorious and splendid lights. Six pagan leaders goggled their eyes with their mouth wide opened. Di Shan reacted after a long while. He waved at Shi Yan and said, You, you can come here. While saying, Di Shan urged more forces to pour into the blue star crystal. More misty blue lights projected from inside of the blue star crystal. These blue lights seemed to be gradually controlled, condensed into a chunk of lights, forming a human body shape. Thank you. Shi Yan was very determined. He retrieved the icy power of his body, and quickly returned to normal. He got inside of the chunk of blue lights instantly and leaned closely against Yu Ro. As standing inside the blue lights, Shi Yan felt as if he was soaking in an ocean. It felt really comfortable. Let's go. Di Shan waited for Shi Yan to get in before advancing forwards. He did not want to waste any more powers of the blue star crystal. The other four people, Du Along, Yi Tian Mo, Ye Meng, and Ka Bie, could only stare at the other three getting into the mysterious darkness. Their eyes beamed out a greedy light. They were also interested in the thing called Sky Breaking Shuttle. However, as they knew how dangerous the Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame was, they could only watch it from a distance. Until the three people of Dishan disappeared into the darkness, the four of them gathered and discussed with each other quietly. The three of them, Dishan, Yu Ro, Shi Yan, kept walking further in the dark. The distance between them and the shuttle got shortened. Some lights ahead became visible. When three of them could see the shuttle clearly, a dazzling halo suddenly emitted in the dark. It was unknown where this halo had come from. A huge block of stone appeared in front of their eyes. The stone platform had an octagonal shape, looked like it was made from some kind of strange inky black lava. The block was as huge as half of a basketball field. A sparkling white chunk of the crystal was as big as a wash basin lay in the center of the stone platform. Inside of this crystal chunk, there was a stirring silver burning flame. Miraculous heaven light struck down to the acute angle of the octagon-shaped platform, which connected to the sky above the Sound Beast Mountain. 
The heaven light covered the stone and created forces that sealed the crystal chunk as well as the silver flame inside of it. Dense heaven and earth yin aura from everywhere inside of the sound beast mountain was like they just found a way out, they urgently stormed towards the stone platform, joining the burning fires inside of the crystal chunk, making the silver burning flame become livelier. More and more of the forces were gathering. The four dead spirit beasts that had escaped the sea of fire created by the thousand earth flame were hiding behind that huge stone platform quietly. Their murderous eyes stared at the invaders who daringly intruded here. The shuttle which was as long as an arm was circling around the huge stone, as the three radiant silver strings wrapping it connected to the crystal chunk. Despite how much the shuttle was struggling, the three silver strings still got it tied tightly that it couldn't be able to get out of the huge stone. That's good. Your souls would help us get out of this place an ambiguous peculiar spirit suddenly came out from inside of the stone. The silver burning flames inside of the crystal chunk condensed into a blurry human face. After receiving more heaven and earth yin, that face was exposed clearer little by little. Chapter 268, The Great Destruction Many flows of silver lights blindingly flashed out from the white crystal chunk in the center of the stone. Those silver lights pierced through the seal forces outside of the stone and darted towards Shi Yan, Di Shan, and Yu Ro like a shower of arrows. Di Shan and Yu Ro were extremely terrified. Without thinking too much, the two leaders of the wings race instantly stretched out their black and white wings. Black and white waves rippled out from their wings one by one fused with the faint blue lights of the blue star crystal. After all the silver lights hit the cover of blue light, numerous dazzling colorful beams of light instantly radiated all of a sudden. The colorful lights scattered everywhere. Wherever they had zoomed over, the sound beasts ceased frighteningly and the cave's wall exploded. An earth-shaking explosion resounded inside of the cave. The 10,000-meter-tall mountain couldn't help but violently shake. Abnormal vibrations appeared on the ground, the massive mountain was shaking as if it was about to collapse. The demonic sound clans and the wings races people who were standing outside of the sound beast mountain showed their horrified faces while looking at the mighty mountain. Beneath the sky where the mountain dominated the skyline, a violent explosive sound reverberated together with countless of giant rocks scattering and flashing lights. Boom boom boom. The ear-piercing crash kept coming up the enormous mountain seemed as if it was about to gradually collapsed. The mountain flanks were shaking as hundred-meter-long blocks of rock were rolling down to the mountain foot. People of the two tribes were scared out of their wits. Some of the people who were slow got hit by the giant rocks. They were crushed into a mashing pulp of flesh on the spot. Inside of the mountain, Duo Long, Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie, and Ya Meng were wearing solemn faces. They wanted to move forward to thoroughly understand, but, at the same time, they were scared of the destructive power of the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame. They did not dare to act recklessly, except passively waiting there. However, as time had passed, the upheaval of the Sound Beast Mountain didn't stop. It even became more brutal. In the sky, the dense interlocking thunder net was slowly contracting. The mountain collapsed and numerous giant rocks were rolling down. Strange streams of lights in the grey clouds flashed up and disappeared. The whole world encountered a great change while the Sound Beast Mountain was crashing. It was as if the sky was falling down. Clouds of dense ashes fully covered the earth and sky. The entire abandoned gloomy dark land was like it was being completely swallowed by the bright lights. From a very far distance, Many seismic upheavals consecutively happened. The ground turned to be an irritating ocean that was roaring and surging violently non-stop. People of the two tribes at the foot of the Sound Beast Mountain felt that the apocalypse was coming. Warriors with high cultivation were floating in the air looking far ahead as they could see layers of grey clouds adjoining the ground already. With the severe tremor, at the place where the ground had been wrecked, appeared a bottomless abyss in which the destructive aura emitted constantly. Space crumbled. As some of the high-class warriors with a little knowledge promptly knew what was about to happen, their faces exposed a disappointing look while looking up to the Sound Beast Mountain, which was sealed with thunders now. Blue Star Crystal Inside of the mountain, 
the face in the crystal chunk appeared with fine eyebrows and sharp eyes, its pupils beamed out a devilish silver light. That face opened its mouth and uttered a frigid human voice, even the blue star crystal cannot resist for long. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. More and more of the silver lights radiated from the white crystal chunk striking on the blue aureole that was projected by the blue star crystal. The blue halo was twisting as its power was draining faster as they were being hit by the silver lights. Although the blue star crystal in Dishan's hand was still emitting dazzling aureole, its power was being quickly consumed. The blue star crystal had shrunk one-fifth in such a short of time and continued shrinking rapidly. Dishan's eyes expressed coldness and cruelty. While he kept looking ahead, a smirk appeared on his face, he suddenly said, Shi Yan, you said you could help me. Now it's time. Shi Yan got stunned with embarrassment, what? Dishan's face got more furious. He stared at Shi Yan and shouted, So did you just want to fool me? Yu Ro looked very worried. While urging more power from her wings to pour into the blue halo, she looked towards Shi Yan anxiously, time is very tight now. If you really can oppress that nine serenities soul devouring flame, bring it on. As you see, even though it is still under the control of the seal forces, it is already that dangerous. If it can totally be free, no one can stop it. Don't waste any more time, do it now. It's too far. I am not sure if it works or not. Shi Yan miserably smiled, I thought I could have touched it, but with this far distance, I have no way. Don't waste time. Di Shan shouted with an annoyed face. The blue star crystal's power is getting drained every single second. Once it dries out, you rose and my souls cannot prevent its soul-devouring flame. We cannot do anything except in running. If it's impossible to deal with it right now, we will die here together. I know. Shi Yan nodded, his face seemed to be more serious. Little rascal, you've not even reached the Sky Realm and you still dare to confront me? Such a dream. The Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame inside the white crystal chunk burst into wicked laughter. Not even mentioning you, even the Spirit Realm Third Sky Warriors are still unable to prevent my soul destructive burning fires. In this space, there is no true God Realm warrior. No one can resist my soul destructive power. Don't waste your energy. Do you have any other solutions? Shi Yan did not bother with the mocking words of the Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame. He took a deep breath to calm himself down and communicated with the blood vein ring. My living form has just formed, so I am still far less than that dangerous thing. Its soul is extremely powerful its forces are also very terrifying. My burning fires can only prevent the heaven and earth yin aura surrounding it, but can't destroy its life seal, the thousand earth flame sent out its first reluctant message. The nine serenities soul devouring flame is one of the heaven flames, whose rank is much higher than mine. Among the nine heaven flames, it is ranked the third while I am ranked at eight. Its living form and life have been evolved more perfectly than mine. In addition, my forces have been recently drained too much. Even if I were not sealed by this ring, I could only protect myself when confronting it. I am not its match for sure, now it's even worse, the ice-cold flame sent out a dilemmatic message after a little hesitation. Among the nine heaven flames, it is the most difficult to cope with. I've never heard of anyone that could ever have conquered it. Its forces keep increasing. It does not seem like it has been tempered by anyone. I am not a match for it. The answers of the thousand earth flame and the ice cold flame stiffened S.I. Yan's face. Now, he knew the nine serenities soul devouring flame was even stronger than the ice cold flame. He was afraid that he could not rely on the thousand earth flame and the ice cold flame this time. He could only count on himself. Try to use the ring to deal with it. Except for that. I don't know what else you can do to be able to handle it. The ice-cold flame sent out another message. But, it is too far now while you cannot totally control this ring. If you throw the ring out recklessly, I don't know what will happen. That's the only way. Shi Yan's pupils shrunk while he reminded them, 
you two should be careful. I don't know how dangerous it is after all. I hope this solution wouldn't harm you too. After talking, Shi Yan took the blood vein ring from his finger. After hesitating for a while, he threw it over to the crystal chunk onto the stone platform. Live or die? Wait and see. Shi Yan sent his spiritual sense to the blood vein ring in silence. The red light abruptly emitted from the blood vein ring. As soon as the blood vein ring had gotten away from Shi Yan, it turned into a beam of sparkling lights, striking straight into the stone platform. Boom! As the blood vein ring struck on the shield around the platform, it got prevented by the heaven light, and could not get through the shield to come to the stone platform. Shi Yan's face changed dramatically. Cling cling! The blood vein ring fell down on the ground. Violent blood color lights released outwards, the delicate pattern on the blood vein ring's surface started to move. A flow of solemn ancient aura slowly rose up. That, is that your solution? Di Shan's face turned into seriousness and furiousness. He looked at Shi Yan, shaking his head disappointedly. We should leave. Yu Ro's beautiful eyes darkened. She bowed her head and let out a sigh, then said disappointedly, God really wants us to perish. Leave here. Di Shan revealed a mocking smirk. To where? The space outside has started to break into pieces. In one day at most, this abandoned land will no longer exist. After leaving here, we will be crushed into ashes by those forces that are tearing the sky apart right now. Without the true God realm capacity, our bodies could not withstand those forces. We will definitely die no matter what. Even in this abandoned land, God does not even spare us of a way to live. The two leaders of the Wings race were extremely hopeless at this moment. They've even had completely lost their fighting will. However, they did not notice that after Shi Yan had thrown the ring out, the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame inside of the white crystal chunk had lost its mocking intimidation. The handsome face gradually exposed an insecure look. The devilish silver pupils stared at the blood vein ring without blinking. It seemed to sense that something was unusual. It has some changes. There are some changes inside of it. Very strange. We have hope, we have hope. A feeble sense of the ice-cold flame was sent out from the blood vein ring. The ice-cold flame inside of the blood vein ring seemed to be extremely frightened. It had seemed to figure out a major earth-shaking change. My god, it is, it is building a new shelter inside of the platform based on the shape of the stone. It is. What? Shi Yan got stunned. A blinding stream of lights shot out from his eyes. A condensed blood aureole like fresh blood slowly spread out from the blood vein ring. The blood vein ring quietly dropped on the outside of the stone. The pattern on the blood vein ring's surface gradually transformed, forming a mysterious formation. Gradually, that formation turned into a Bagua figure 1. A flow of red lights flashed up in the middle of the formation then disappeared. Right after that, the hilt of the mysterious giant blazing red sword hidden deep inside the blood vein ring flew out all of a sudden. The mysterious giant sword dragged the hundred meter blood halo along, traumatically shot out destructive aura, then slashed down the shelter of the huge stone block. Swoosh! The giant sword could have easily torn off the shelter, which was refined by the heaven light, just like it was made from thin paper. The shelter immediately shattered into pieces. Chapter 269, Confine It As soon as the giant sword swung up, the shelter was torn off in a blink. In the center of the stone platform, the handsome face of the Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame inside of the crystal chunk had changed dramatically. Di Shan and Yu Ro had originally been hopeless, didn't believed in Shi Yan anymore. However, after seeing what happened when the giant sword had slashed down, they regained their hopes. The two of them were in shock while excitedly looking at the mysterious giant sword. They were waiting for more remarkable changes that the giant sword could make. Shi Yan's mouth opened to make a joyful smile. His face showed an exciting look as he felt that the blood vein ring was miraculously getting more unpredictable. Only one slash of the giant sword could tear off the shelter. 
After it flew up dragging a bloody 100 meter long halo, it struck down another slash. This slash was like the creation of the world. The aggressiveness, the toughness could be seen in it. The body of the sword had emitted a massive murderous aura, which seemed to be able to crush everything into ashes. Ripping. The splendid white crystal chunk was splashed into many small pieces just like soft tofu, releasing the nine serenities soul devouring flame. Boom boom boom. An explosive sound like thunderbolts came out from deep inside of the sound beast mountain. The explosion was extremely devastating. Even though the sound beast mountain was so enormous, after that earth-shaking explosion, it violently shook and rapidly collapsed. Many huge hundred-meter-long rocks fell down massively. Many of the high-class warriors of the demonic sound clan and the wings race, who had come closer to the mountain intentionally, were threatened to death and ran out away from the mountain as fast as they could. Some other high-class warriors were hovering in the air and looking over ahead. As they saw the scene in front of their eyes of dust and ashes scattered everywhere, the sound beast mountain was collapsing. The world was disappearing and soon returned to the chaos as it used to be at the beginning of the universe. They started to feel hopeless, nervous, and terrified. Cao Zhilan, Gu Linglung, Chu Yanqing, He Ching Man, and the other warriors from the Kyra Sea who were still confined in the cage, could also feel strong vibrations and changes of the earth. They felt insecure with a shocking look on their faces. Shi Yan had freed the soul seal that had been planted inside Cao Zhilan. In this critical moment, she could not wait any longer, using the star martial spirit to check everywhere outside. Her sense approached towards the sound beast mountain's direction. Not good. An extreme ferocious creature has appeared inside of the sound beast mountain. After checking for a while, Cao Zhilan's expression abruptly changed while talking to the other three girls. Inside of the mountain, its living form is unique. I've never seen anything like this before. Everyone was all frightened. They are being screwed there, Cao Zhilan mumbled to herself. An intention of escape suddenly sprang into her mind while she looked at the warriors of the Cao family. The sound beast mountain has started to collapse. There is certainly a major change over there. Or let's go there to see. Duo Long, Ka Bie, Ye Meng, and Yi Tian Mo were at a corner inside of the mountain, discussing together with serious faces. They could understand each other's thoughts through their eyes. Once the Sound Beast Mountain collapses, according to the ancestors' guidance, this space will be also destroyed soon. When this place returns to Nihilite, we cannot change our fate even if we hide inside of here. Yi Tian Mo said with cold eyes. If it is like this, we should go to see what has happened after all. Perhaps we can find a way to survive. That's right. If there are any ways to get out of here, it will be where the Nine Serenities Soul Devouring Flame is. We might have a chance to get out of here there. Staying here cannot do anything for us anyway, it is like waiting for death. Duo Long agreed. He was the first one who rushed towards the other three people of Xi Yan's without hesitation. The other three leaders of the demonic sound clan also instantly followed after him with only a little hesitation. Stupid humankind, you've just helped me to get out of the seal. After the splendid white crystal chunk had been broken, the silver nine serenities soul devouring flame appeared in the center of the stone platform. The devilish faces condensed by the burning fires made others feel ambiguous and unreal. Yet, its soul destructive aura was extremely tremendous. Anyone who had soul consciousness could feel that the murderous aura which made the other's souls tremble in fear. The mysterious giant sword had whipped out two slashes in total. One had broken the shelter which sealed the stone, the other had broken the white crystal chunk which confined the nine serenities soul devouring flame, facilitating it to escape from the seal. After the nine serenities soul devouring flame flew out, the giant sword made no moves then, as if it knew even if it could attack again it would be useless. The giant sword that was floating in the air was emitting violent murderous aura which slowly moved towards the blood vein ring. Woo woo. The Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame did not notice this sword. As soon as it got out, 
it immediately dashed towards Xi Yan, Di Shan, and Yu Ro as fast as lightning. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. The faint blue halo was hit by a bundle of burning fires, sprinkling embers everywhere. The blue star crystal in Di Shan's hand contracted quickly. Di Shan's face changed dramatically. He shouted to Xi Yan while looking at him with a severe face, I can't hold it any longer. You'd better find a solution. Just in a short time, the blue star crystal in Di Shan's hand shrank to a child-sized fist. With this reducing speed, the blue star crystal would only have lasted for a few minutes more. Then its power would have been completely drained. The blue star crystal could project the powerful halo which could prevent the burning fires of the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame. Di Shan had decided to come inside here because of this blue star crystal. Once the blue star crystal consumed all of its power, there was no more protection from the blue halo. By that time, the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flames burning fires would incinerate their souls to ashes instantly. Especially Xi Yan, as he was only ranked at the Earth Realm, even if he had the Sea of Consciousness, he would be unable to prevent one strike from the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame. He would be burned to death in no time. Don't rush. While Di Shan and Yu Ro was nervous, Xi Yan was still calm. He slowly said with a faint smile, wait and see. It will be unable to attack for long. Di Shan and Yu Ro got bewildered. With suspicion, they wondered where Xi Yan's confidence came from. Di Shan, you, what are you guys doing? Right at this moment, a voice came up from a distance. Duo Long's figure suddenly ceased, then moved backward immediately. As soon as he saw the Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame, he could feel the soul destructive power from it, especially when he saw it leaving Di Shan's and the other two's place and was now approaching towards him. Duo Long shouted in fear, turned around, and ran away from that place while beginning to regret his decision to come here. The three leaders of the Demonic Sound clan were lagging behind Duo Long because of their special feeble bodies. When they were on the way coming in, seeing Duo Long fleeing fast, without thinking, they instantly turned around and ran away even faster than Duo Long. Duo Long screamed out frighteningly and nervously, hoping that Di Shan would help him out of this deadly situation. Di Shan ignored him. Yu Ro's beautiful eyes lit up a cold light. She said with a smirk on her face, he probably wanted to have a part of the treasure. Regretfully, he came here at the wrong time. It's good if he dies anyway. If he dies, we will be more peaceful. Without Duo Long, the three leaders of the Demonic Sound Clan can do nothing. Is that right Di Shan? Di Shan replied with frigid eyes, he unites with the three leaders of the Demonic Sound Clan to kill Xi Yan. It means he's taken a stand against us. It looks like he will not complete his wish. Xi Yan was astonished. No worries. If Duo Long dies, at least I can assure that there will be no more danger for you. Yu Ro smiled and gently said, the other three leaders are not the match for Di Shan and me. Now you can feel at ease. While Di Shan and Yu Ro were talking, the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame was attacking towards Duo Long. The devilish handsome face quickly went into Duo Long's body and head. Duo Long suddenly held his head and screamed out miserably. The screams were extremely sorrowful which meant that he was suffering severe pain and bitterness. Duo Long's doomed, Di Shan shook his head. He suddenly looked at Xi Yan and said, don't you need to hurry up? This blue star crystal will die soon. Shi Yan raised his eyebrows, bowed his head to glance at the blue star crystal in Di Shan's hand, which was now as big as a soap bar. Uh, I know it's time to bring it on. Shi Yan said emotionlessly, but actually, he felt miserable inside while looking at the blood vein ring on the ground. After hesitating for a moment, he walked to the blood vein ring. Woo. When he just started his first step, the blood vein ring instantly flew up and turned into a flow of bloody pink lights advancing straight to him. Shi Yan got stunned, lifted his hand to catch the blood vein ring. However, as soon as his five fingers opened, he realized that the blood vein ring had already been on one of his fingers. At the same time, the giant sword, 
which was floating in the air, also shrank instantly and plunged towards the ring dragging the devastating aura along. Dishan's and Yu Rose pupils shrank instantly, showing an insecure feeling. These two god realm warriors could feel an earth-shaking power from the giant sword. That surging power was extremely outrageous, which also scared them a little. They were certain that there were numerous of mysterious secrets hidden inside this sword, which could even intimidate them. Eventually, the sword disappeared into the ring on Shi Yan's finger without leaving any trace. Dishan, Yu Ro slightly let out a sigh. Two of them gave each other a quick glance, implying that they had discovered more of Shi Yan's secrets. Shi Yan did not notice the changed expression on their faces. After getting the blood vein ring back on his finger, Shi Yan immediately released his soul consciousness to check on the situation inside of the blood vein ring. Inside the blood vein ring, besides the ice cold flame, the earth flame and the area of the mysterious giant sword, there was a newly created area. In the ambiguous white blank, there was an enormous octagonal shaped stone block, a splendid white crystal chunk, a hollow mountain. After looking at the scenery carefully and sensing the time inside of the blood vein ring, Shi Yan's face was bizarre, his eyes kept sparking while his eyebrows were knitting tightly. The fourth space of the blood vein ring was exactly the same to where he was standing right now. Everything in his current place, lava rock mountain flanks, the stone block, the crystal chunk, even the ceiling forces on the stone, were set up exactly the same inside of the blood vein ring. He did not notice any tiny differences between the scene inside and outside of the ring. The blood vein ring had prepared everything to seal the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame. Confine it. Shi Yan shouted while he lifted the blood vein ring with the ring's surface towards the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame. The Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame, which had penetrated Duo Long's body, suddenly screamed out loud, What is it? I can't believe, can't believe it can drag me out. Chapter 270, Make You My Master the ear-piercing scream of the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame was even louder than the sounds of the Sound Beast Mountain's collapse. It was staying inside of Duo Long's head with extreme fear. Duo Long's eyes were gradually losing its vital signs. Deep inside of his pupils had a gloomy bold silver color. It was obvious that the soul of the Patriarch of the Grey Wings clan had been burned and he had lost his life in just a short time. Dishan and Yu Ro both showed their panic when they had seen Duo Long's death. However, the ear-piercing cry of the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame gave the two of them hope. They focused more on Shi Yan besides them and considered their ancestors' guidance more seriously. Had the fates already been soon arranged? That thought couldn't help but come across their minds. Thinking about making that unweaned rascal their master, the two of them did not even know whether they should cry or smile but they could not smile. Dishan knew that if Shi Yan wouldn't have come there, although the Sound Beast Mountain might not have collapsed this fast and the land here would not have been in chaos in such a short time like this, they still could not have escaped from the chain of their fates and would certainly have been confined in this place forever. Moreover, the two of them had reached the spirit realm. If they had more time, they hopefully could have entered the true god realm. If they stayed in this devilish space, once they reached the true God realm, what awaited them would not be applauses but the punishment of God from deep inside of the sky. The other three leaders including Ka Bie, Yi Tian Mo, and Ya Meng had hidden away, leaving no traces as soon as they saw that the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame had gotten out. The Sound Beast Mountain continued falling down. The earth-shaking thunder kept roaring. Those people inside of the mountain knew better than anyone else that the space here was going to become a void, possibly in the next second. Time was extremely tight. Capture it. Shi Yan coldly shouted while raising his finger with the blood vein ring on, pointing the ring's surface towards Duo Long from a distance. The blood vein ring suddenly emitted the dazzling pink lights. Many flows of the pink lights that were like torrential waves of the sea stormed towards Duo Long and quickly covered his dead body in just a blink. No. The handsome peculiar face hidden inside Duo Long's head was forcefully pulled out. After it had been drawn out of Duo Long's head, it uncontrollably flew towards Shi Yan. 
Dishan's and Yu Ro's visage had greatly changed. They instinctively moved backward. They immediately felt thrilled. After being stunned for a second, they hastily stopped receding. There were no other ways to recede. Only staying inside of the blue halo could help them avoid that soul attack. No matter wherever that they ran away, if they got outside of the blue halo's protection, it was impossible to prevent their souls from being incinerated. Dishan and Yuro reacted promptly. They immediately stopped. No. No. The Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame frighteningly screamed while constantly struggling to escape from the Blood Vein Ring's attraction. However, despite how much it tried, it became weak and powerless when the pink light hit it. Under the attentive look of Shi Yan, Dishan, and Yu Ro, the miraculous Heaven Flame, which had been sealed inside of the Sound Beast Mountain for a very long time, had no more powers to fight against being drawn into the Blood Vein Ring little by little. Shi Yan's finger poked out of the blue halo, pointed towards that flame from a distance. Eventually, the Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame turned into a flow of silver lights, flashed up and disappeared into the blood vein ring on Shi Yan's finger. Heaven and Earth Yin Aura suddenly stirred up disorderly and could not condense itself anymore. Boom boom boom. The Sound Beast Mountain looked like it had just lost its last essential meaning of existence. It was collapsing with the speed that was even several times faster than before. Dishan and Yu Ro were still in a panic, looking at Shi Yan with unbelievable eyes. It was hard to believe what had just happened. After the Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame had been attracted into the blood vein ring, Shi Yan did not even bother to send out his consciousness to check the inside of the ring. Instead, he immediately approached the huge stone platform picked up the sky-breaking shuttle on the stone and put it into the blood vein ring right away. Let's go. Shi Yan looked at Dishan and Yu Ro and said with a faint smile, we should be safe now. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. A blinding halo was projected from the sky, which diffused a flow of extremely violent surging power. The thunder and thunderbolts were roaming and booming. Rocky stairs suddenly appeared one by one from nowhere linking up the huge stone platform with the sky. The rocky stairs led to the halos converging in the sky, which was like heaven stairway connecting with the ether. The heaven stairway appears. The ancestor's guidance. I can't believe, can't believe it is true, Dishan raised his head up to the sky, mumbling to himself with an astonished face. He seemed to have been deeply immersed in some old memories that he looked dazed for a while. Yuro was also amazed. Her beautiful eyes became brighter. After a moment, she suddenly burst into laughter, guffawed, and laughed until her stomach hurt. She no longer kept her usual delicate manners. Shi Yan looked at the two people with suspicion. He wondered what had made the two of them go insane at this sensitive point of time. It is you indeed. Yuro laughed until tears almost rolled out. She held her belly pointing to Shi Yan while talking to Dishan without stopping laughing, what else do you have to say? Dishan's sturdy body was shocked. His countenance was extremely complicated. After contemplating for a while, without bothering about the collapsing mountain or scattering rubble, Dishan suddenly got down on his knees in front of Shi Yan, bowed his head and said with a low voice, Dishan, the patriarch of the Black Wings clan, from now on, I swear to make you my master. It will never change until death. You Ro, the matriarch in power of the White Wings clan, swear to make you my master. It will never change until death. You Ro smiled gently, respectfully kneeled down with a serious face and swore. Shi Yan was shocked with his eyes and mouth wide open. Boom boom boom. The Sound Beast Mountain almost collapsed completely. The mountain looked as if it was cut and slashed by hammers and sabers, which resulted in many giant rocks and stones rolling down. It was unknown when the compact thunderbolt net had disappeared without a trace. The sky was getting calmer. In the dark sky, there gradually appeared an etheris area. This, this thing. Shi Yan was dazed on the spot. He did not know what Dishan and Yu Ro wanted to do after all or if they were really honest about it. At this time, he was so confused, he didn't know what else he could say. 
the two of them did not wait for Shi Yan's reaction either. After kneeling down, Di Shan and Yu Ro stood up at the same time, raised their heads looking at the heaven stairway piercing up straight to the sky. Yu Ro said with a smile, Master, let's take the heaven stairway. We can finally get out of this devilish place. Master. Shi Yan thought carefully about this heavy word with his tightly knitted eyebrows. Are you really sincere? From now on, you are the master of our two tribes. So, even without Duo Long, we will make the other pagans earnestly follow the ancestors' guidance. Di Shan's eyes flared up a strange light. Master, you now have three kinds of heaven flames. Your existence is the biggest fear of the demonic sound clan. Moreover, with you Rose and my pressure, I think the demonic sound clan shouldn't be unlikely to be subdued. This thing. Master, your coming here is the God's will. We only follow the predestined fate of God. Yu Ro revealed a smile, looking at Shi Yan. I've explained to you Master. Because you have helped our two tribes to get out of this abandoned land, as well as you have the blood of the immortal God King, you will become the master of the two tribes. We have to follow the ancestors' guidance. This place is going to collapse. Master, let's take the heaven stairway first. Di Shan lightly shouted. Shi Yan was still not sure what the two of them wanted, but he did not feel their wickedness anyway. He immediately stepped up and stood on the heaven stairway after a little hesitation. Di Shan and Yu Ro also stepped on the stairway only after Shi Yan had already stood there. They were standing two steps lower than his. The sound beast mountain tremendously exploded as expected. The explosive sound reverberated, the mountain, which had lasted for so many years, was collapsing little by little. From the heaven stairs that they were standing on, the mountain was tumbling down and scattered everywhere. While Shi Yan was standing on the heaven stairway, he realized that even though the sound beast mountain was crashing into pieces, it did not affect him at all. To be exact, the collapse of the sound beast mountain seemed to be tied up by an invisible force so that no rocks could touch the heaven stairway. The area surrounding the stairway was safe from all the scattering rocks and debris. Despite the fact that that thing was abnormal and just somehow had naturally happened, it brought Shi Yan a feeling that it was originally supposed to be like this. In no time after the explosion, the sound beast mountain no longer existed. The massive mighty mountain fell down in a very short time. Giant rocks strewed everywhere. Under the blue sky, the place, where the sound beasts had used to live, remained only a stairway running up to the sky. There were three people standing on it. Outside of the sound beast mountain, the top class warriors had soon fled away very far, avoiding the mountain's collapse which could harm them. After the brutal collapse, with astonishment, they now could see the heaven stairway piercing up to the sky, as well as three people standing at the bottom end of the stairway. The three leaders of the demonic sound clan, Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie, and Ya Meng were really shocked with the unbelievable look in their eyes, dazedly looking at those three people on the staircase. Di Shan frowned while glancing at those three people from the distance then shouted, Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie, Ya Meng, come here. I have something to tell you. The three of them got bewildered for a while before obediently rushing towards Di Shan. Tens of millions of pagans surrounding, all raised their heads up to the sky, looking at the heaven stairway, wondering what had happened after all. The three leaders of the demonic sound clan had arrived by Di Shan's side just in a blink. They all spoke up simultaneously, that nine serenities has been subdued by him. Di Shan lifted his hand. A miraculous circle of waves diffused and temporarily blockaded the surrounding area, not to let any sound out. The expression of the three leaders changed dramatically. Let me introduce again to you. Yu Ro suddenly stiffened her face, pointing at Shi Yan and said, This is our master who also has three kinds of heaven flames. The blood of the immortal God King is running in his veins. I think you all know about the ancestors' guidance. As being the leaders of the demonic sound clan, do you know how to behave in front of him? What? Ya Meng shouted in fear. Did I not make myself clear? 
Yu Ro frowned and said with a cold voice, as he can bring our two tribes out of this place, together with that bloodline, we have to make him our master. The three of you, do you want to ignore the ancestors' guidance? Do you understand what it means? Yi Tian Mo's face was shivering. He couldn't help but ask, where is Duo Long? He's dead. Di Shan frigidly looked at the three leaders, he was incinerated to ashes by the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame, which is now in our master's hand. Hmm, although the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame cannot be used at present, the other two heaven flames are still enough to entirely destroy your demonic sound clan. Yi Tian Mo's complexion changed dramatically. He suddenly bowed towards Xi Yan respectfully after hesitating for a while and said, I am one of the leaders of the demonic sound clan, Yi Tian Mo, now take the vow to make you my master. Ka Ba's and Ya Meng's pupils shrank. They let out a sigh, bowed their heads dolefully, bent down towards Xi Yan, we vow to make you our master. Chapter 271 The Path to Return the way home. Make you my master. The three leaders of the demonic sound clan bowed their heads in front of Xi Yan. Although they were not very pleased, they still did it. From this moment, the destiny of the demonic sound clan was in Xi Yan's hands. Di Shan and Yu Ro gave them a despised glance with a smirk on their faces as if they had already known in advance that these three people of the demonic sound clan could not have avoided Xi Yan's intimidation. Shi Yan was like he got lost in the misty cloud, showing his days, feeling like he was in a dream while looking at the three leaders of Demonic Sound Clan. Is it that simple? No resistance, no bargain, no discontent. Those three leaders just simply submit like that. Revealing a big grin, Shi Yan said to the three leaders with a joyful face, Are you serious? The three of them Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie and Ya Meng nodded reluctantly, as they were content with Shi Yan's status. Very good. I think we've all come to an agreement. Di Shan said with his knitted eyebrows, only we know about this. Wait until the right time to tell the others. I think our people will not understand our decision and persistence for now. Only when our master becomes truly more powerful, they will then accept him as their master. Di Shan looked at Shi Yan. Shi Yan also understood it. He nodded with a smile and said, I will not talk about it to anyone. Everything will be carrying out as usual. Only from now on, everyone needs to follow the rules. Yu Ro smiled, thought for a while before speaking seriously, I think the most important thing to do first is to figure out how to get out of this place. The heaven stairways has appeared. Our way out is just right in front of us. Di Shan raised his head and confidently said, we can arrange to bring people out of here. We don't need to stay here any longer. But time is tight, we should hurry. Master, we'll go and arrange it now. The three leaders of the Demonic Sound Clan respectfully asked for permission, looking at Shi Yan and waiting for his approval. Shi Yan was bewildered. He still couldn't adapt to the sudden changes of those three people. After musing for a while, he reluctantly flipped his hand and said contently, you should go check and prepare. I don't understand the situation thoroughly right now. Moreover, to be honest, my competencies are still limited and my experience is not as much as yours. You do whatever you think is good and reasonable. Later on, you don't need to ask for my opinions. After his words, the three leaders of the Demonic Sound Clan and the two leaders of the Wings race all got astounded, looking at Shi Yan strangely. They had assumed that as Shi Yan just took his accession, as well as being young, ambitious, and aggressive, he would definitely have his own thoughts and viewpoints. He was a young man anyway. The youth always want to show off and usually have many opinions. Of course, he would have to pay for it, but isn't it the way that all of the powerful leaders will grow up and get stronger? The five of them had been actually well prepared to listen to Shi Yan's opinions before they gave out their viewpoints and showed him the right direction. However, they did not expect that Shi Yan was that determined, so determined that it seemed he was not really excited about becoming their two tribes' master. If this guy were neither so stupid nor confident, after going through too many dangerous incidents, 
he would have rested peacefully without caring about fame and fortune. After all, what kind of person was Xi Yan? I don't know anything about this place, so I am not able to bluster. Under the stares of those five people, Xi Yan shrugged and revealed a faint smile, I just want to get out of this place quickly. If you can arrange and finish this soon, I am already appreciated. Anyway, I don't think we have much time left. As he looked to a further distance, the vast ground was gradually turning into the void. It was unknown what changes this space had gone through. However, at this moment, this space seemed to base on some previous orbit, was vanishing little by little. It had started to completely collapse. The five leaders got frightened after hearing what Xi Yan had said. They subconsciously looked around without saying anything further. Then, they nodded to Xi Yan and gently leaped up and left. Line up. Climb on the heaven stairways. Keep going up no matter what you see or hear. This heaven stairways is the way leading to the outside world. Hurry up. We can't be late anymore. All of the Black Wings races people, listen. After the five of them left and flew up to the sky, they descended on the place of their clans. They either shouted or commanded their people. Not long after that, the pagans of the two tribes started to be convulsive. Everyone lined up as commanded. That, that is, Cao Zhilan's beautiful face displayed an insecure feeling while she looked towards Xi Yan who was standing alone on the heaven stairways far from her. She began to worry if she was to be left behind or not. Although she could have used the star martial spirit, she still didn't dare to do it recklessly as there were so many demonic sound clans high class warriors around. However, she was good at observation. Through the conversation among Di Shan, Yi Tian Mo, and Shi Yan, she somehow figured out something. Those pagan leaders seemed to respect him very much. Was this possible? Father. Yi Si Yu Bai shouted suddenly, rushing towards Yi Tian Mo. What? Yi Tian Mo frowned annoyedly as he was busy arranging his people. What happened? How about them? Yi Si Yu Bai pointed towards Cao Zhilan and the other warriors of the Kaira Sea in the cage. Bring them along or we don't need to care whether they live or die. Yi Si Yu Bai did not like the girls of Cao Zhilan's group. As she had extraordinary soul accomplishment, she could easily realize any of the movements inside of their souls. She knew that those girls always considered and planned something ominous. Since Yi Si Yu Bai was little, she had been taught that the outsiders were very treacherous, dishonorable, unreasonable, and resentful towards her people. The outsiders were basically her people's enemy. Yi Tian Mo's teachings made her have no sympathy for the humankind. That was why when she'd found Shi Yan, she immediately captured him without any hesitations. They, Yi Tian Mo could not decide even after considering for a while. He finally had to raise his head towards Shi Yan, who was still on the heaven stairways, sending out a flow of his soul sense to ask for his opinion. Shi Yan was using his soul consciousness to observe everywhere, and suddenly received Yi Tian Mo's soul sense. At first, Shi Yan astonishingly thought that Yi Tian Mo had wanted to quietly harm him, so he urged all his power to defend. But then, he realized that his soul sense was neither wicked nor dangerous. After sensing that soul sense carefully, he knitted his eyebrow, and instantly loosened himself. He turned to Yi Tian Mo from a far distance and nodded. Yi Tian Mo understood his thoughts and slightly bent towards Shi Yan. Then, he immediately spoke to Yi Si Yu Bai, bring them along. They alive will still be useful. You are in charge of arranging for them to go on the heaven stairways. Yi Si Yu Bai felt incomprehensive as she did not expect that her father and Shi Yan had been close like this. Although having some doubts, she still followed her father's instruction and called Yi Feng and his group. No one noticed that Cao Zhi Lan's beautiful eyes had suddenly brightened up. Deep inside of the pupils appeared a violent tremor. The special point of her star martial spirit was that even though she did not put all of her efforts to observe around, with this short distance, she could still realize that Yi Tian Mo's body had transmitted out a feeble soul stream and its direction was, unbelievably, 
towards Shi Yan. She saw clearly Shi Yan slightly nodded towards Yi Tian Mo from the distance of thousands of meters. After that, Yi Tian Mo had agreed to spare their lives. What is it about? No matter what Cao Zhilan had imagined, she couldn't believe the truth she'd just seen with her own eyes. The leader of the demonic sound clan asked for his opinions. Is this for Rayals? What has happened between them after all? Cao Zhilan's heart was like it was sinking to the bottom of an abyss. Shi Yan did not see Cao Zhilan's expression. He was still standing on the heaven stairways which ran up to the cloud, wondering what mighty existence could have imposed such a powerful shelter in this abandoned land. Chasm Battlefield, the abandoned land, who has created all of these things? If the fact that I come here is really the predestination, so who is it, who could actually foresee everything? With numerous doubts in his mind that were not easy to have been removed, Shi Yan wanted to find a clue but couldn't think of anything. Anyway, he didn't originally belong to this place. We are almost done. Yu Ro flapped her white wings and smiled. She came next to Shi Yan delicately and said gently, Outside of the mountain, it starts to fall down. I think we should climb up. I am really longing longing to see our ancestral land where there is the sun, the moon, and the stars. I've dreamt about many wonderful things there. Yu Ro said those words with full of passion and desire. As she was born in this abandoned land, her knowledge since she was little was all about this land, but the desires were always burning inside of her. Every member of the demonic sound clan and the wings race had a desire of coming home. Okay. Shi Yan revealed a smile. Although Yu Ro didn't explain anything, he knew that the heaven stairways had connected straight to the cloud in the sky, which was the way out of this place. When thinking about this, he let out a sigh of relief. Although he had got the sky-breaking shuttle, he still didn't know how to use it. If he really had to use this sky-breaking shuttle to bring the two tribes out of this sorrowful land, he didn't know how long it would have taken. However, he knew that if he had wanted to discover the secrets of the sky-breaking shuttle, he needed time and a lot of spirit strength. But right now, he obviously did not have much time. While thinking, Shi Yan climbed up to the end of the stairways. He was the first one who stepped on the cloud of the sky. Yu Ro, the matriarch of White Wings clan followed him with a light smile, also climbed up to the sky. She stepped up on each of the rocky steps without using any of her flying powers, advancing to the sky. Shi Yan was in the front, Yu Ro was behind him on the stairways in front of the attentive eyes of thousands of the demonic sound clans and the wings races pagans. Shi Yan and Yu Ro slowly stepped onto the steps towards the sky. Their figure gradually vanished inside of the bright halo, disappearing from this abandoned land. Chapter 272 Snow Dragon Island The moon shone like a shining silver tray and the stars twinkled in the sky. Human heads emerged from the placid sea surface one by one like watermelons floating on the sea, scattering everywhere. The chilled waves were lapping. There were no islands around, only huge reefs that were like enormous horns that jutted out from the water in the middle of the sea. Shi Yan stood on one reef, looking up to the sky. He curled his lips revealing a silent smile. They had finally returned. The presence of the stars and the moon in the sky meant that this place was not that abandoned gloomy unlighted land. No matter where this was, being able to see the stars in the sky and feel the energies that radiated from those stars was so welcoming to him. Energies of numerous stars from the sky quietly poured in and gathered into the star martial spirit in his heart. He did not know how to make the most use of this martial spirit yet, but he knew that the star martial spirit was extraordinary. Especially after he had absorbed the sun refined spirit, he somehow felt that the star martial spirit had a great transformation. He could not clearly describe that transformation but he knew it was marvelous, which had been added to the star martial spirit's wonder. His spirit was gradually immersed into the blood vein ring. The consciousnesses of the ice-cold flame and the thousand earth flame were promptly sent out to ask for his opinions. It's okay. Shi Yan replied. While he was investigating in silence, 
he realized the space where the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame was being confined was exactly similar to the setup of the seal inside the Sound Beast Mountain. The Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame, neither its aura nor its search soul, was still impounded inside of the huge crystal chunk. Shi Yan could see it but couldn't sense its living aura, except for his peculiar feelings about the flame. When the ice-cold flame had been confined by the blood vein ring, Shi Yan could still sense and communicate with it. Although he could not use its forces, he clearly felt its aura and icy energies. But, the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame was different. It seemed that the blood vein ring was very careful with it, hiding all of its aura and soul. When Shi Yan's spirit entered the blood vein ring, he could only see it but was impossible to have any interactions with it. After slowly retrieving his spirit, Shi Yan stood on the reef, observing around with his knitted eyebrows. On the sea, the pagans of the demonic sound clan and the wings race slowly rose above the water. They all found something to cling onto and stand up. Reefs were everywhere nearby. They easily found a place to rest upon. Those pagans from the abandoned land were insanely happy after they firmly stood on the reefs. They cheerfully looked up at the starry sky and kept praising. The sparkling stars and the shining moon were something they'd never seen before. Those pagans had been placed in confinement for countless years. When they raised their heads looking up towards the sky, they instinctively felt emotional as if they were now alive again. Many of their eyes were filled with tears. Even the pagan leaders Di Shan, Yu Ro, and Yi Tian Mo couldn't help but sob as well. When they looked up to the starry sky, their bodies trembled, and impossibly restrained their emotions. Very long after that, the five leaders quietly held back their emotions, flew and gathered beside Shi Yan. We are eventually here, Yu Ro's voice was full of sensation. Having been confined for so many years, We've always known that this world is very beautiful. Yet, that starry sky still brings us so many emotions. Master, we are really grateful to you. With his slightly knitted eyebrows, Shi Yan contemplated for a while before saying, I don't know about your ancestors' guidance, but I am not familiar with the way you are addressing me. What? Yu Ro was a bit startled, then said with a smile, According to the ancestors' guidance, you are our two tribes' master. From now on, your commands are the truth. Isn't this respectful address good? Just call me by my name. Shi Yan shook his head. Besides, I don't have the intention of constraining your two tribes too much. You can freely do whatever it is that you want. I don't care about your ancestors' guidance, and I don't think I am qualified enough to lead the two tribes to acquire some earth-shaking achievements. The five leaders looked at him with surprise. Any warrior who had the wicked intentions of subduing the two tribes would never give up this chance. Why did he say something like that? Did he actually not care about these forces? As we've made a vow, regardless of what you think, you are still our master. Unexpectedly, Yi Shan was the one who had had the biggest resistance before, but now he seriously said with a low voice, the ancestors' guidance is something we have to follow. As long as you are still alive, we will have to obey your commands. Master, although your cultivations are not too strong, we do believe you will surely become a top-class warrior of this continent just in a short time. With your innate abilities, you will enter the true god realm sooner or later, even possibly reaching the king god realm. You rose eyes lit up a strange light. Therefore, we believe our master will lead us to a bright future as our two tribes have wished for. Master, you have three kinds of heaven flames, the bloodline of the immortal god king, the tremendous innate abilities, as well as the knowledge of using the demonic sound clan's spiritual Upanishads. In addition, you also seem to have a terrifying giant sword, which emits a horrifying aura that can even frighten me. No matter what, master's future will be very glorious. Our longevity is very long, we can wait until the day when you become the most magnificent warrior. Di Shan slightly said. The faces of the other three Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie and Ya Meng were also serious. Shi Yan got dazed, then he shook his head and smiled miserably after a while, I don't know what you are thinking. But right now, 
I will give you one more chance. After taking a deep breath, Shi Yan looked towards the demonic sound clan's pagans and said, I will make myself clear. I really don't have the intentions of ruling over your two tribes. I've cooperated with you just to find the way to come back here, nothing else. As of now, our cooperation is done. You are free to leave and you don't need to care about me. I will not bind you. You can consider it by yourselves. I've never wanted to constrain anyone. The three leaders of the Demonic Sound Clan hadn't been volunteered before and had been forced by Di Shan and Yu Ro to make the vow. Shi Yan knew that those three people were very arrogant, and the murderous impact of their strong souls on the human society. Keeping these kinds of people close to oneself would have been like a ticking time bomb. If it was not used well, it would explode and kill oneself. Shi Yan understood himself very well. Although he had knowledge about the spiritual Upanishads, it was still far less than that of those three people. Before thoroughly understanding their intentions, he shouldn't be too close to them. Yi Tian Mo beamed out some strange lights as if he was carefully considering something. Di Shan and Yu Rou looked at him with serious faces without saying anything. Ka Bie and Ye Meng were a little hesitant. They knew that Yi Tian Mo was the most insidious one. His eyes were also very vicious. Thus, they were all waiting in silence for his opinion. I've made my vow, so I would not change. Yi Tian Mo spoke up after a long while. Master, don't worry. From now on, I sincerely consider you my master without any disloyal intentions because I also have the same belief with Dishans and you Rose. Master, you will certainly be a well-known and great hero. We will not have to suffer disadvantages if we follow you. As soon as those words were being spoken, Ka Bie and Ye Meng's faces were as if they were in shock. After contemplating for a while, the two of them determinately nodded. If you insist like that, I have nothing else to say. Shi Yan slightly nodded after thinking a little bit. Although I don't have any intention to rule your two tribes, I would not say anything more if you keep insisting on putting yourselves in my hands. Splash splash splash. From far away, some more people were rising out of the sea. This was the last group. While talking to Ka Bie and Ye Meng, Shi Yan suddenly glanced at the far distance. His eyebrows instantly knitted tightly. Those people were of Cao Zhilan's group from the Kyra Sea. They were the last ones after the pagans of the Wings race and the demonic sound clan climbing on the heaven stairways. Thus, they had appeared last. The end of the heaven stairway, which was the dazzling point of lights where everyone had just gotten in, was this rocky area. Until now, Shi Yan still did not know what area of the Kyra Sea that this place belonged to. But as to what he felt, this place was surely a part of the Kyra Sea. Master, those people are your enemies. How should we handle them? A cruel light beamed out from his eyes. Do you want to, said Yi Tian Mo. Just watch them for now. Keep them, as they are still useful. Shi Yan shook his head. After thinking for a while, he suddenly pointed to Cao Zhilan and gently ordered, Bring her to me. Yu Ro revealed a smile and flew away. After just a blink, she was already beside Cao Zhilan. She grabbed the folds of Cao Zhilan's clothes and brought her to Shi Yan. Do you know where this is? Shi Yan frowned and asked with a low voice. He knew Cao Zhilan was not the same as the others. She had a lot of treasures, and was also very familiar with the Kyra Sea. That was why he had asked her. Cao Zhilan indeed didn't disappoint him. Under his attentive look, Cao Zhilan took out a deep blue crystal ball. Knitting her eyebrows, she stared at that crystal with her beautiful sparkling eyes, carefully checked before shouting astonishingly, The Hen Gluo Sea. The Hen Gluo Sea. Shi Yan's face changed slightly. He said while still being startled, How come this is the Hen Gluo Sea? The entrance of the chasm battlefield in the Sky Sea is very far from here. It's really weird. How come we have arrived in the sea area of the Three Gods sect? Cao Zhilan also felt strange, shaking her head implicating that she did not know either. 
She paused for a while before saying, This is really weird. I don't know how or why, perhaps it would be related to the Snow Dragon Island nearby. There are also some eccentric places surrounding that island. Snow Dragon Island. Shi Yan's face displayed his emotions. He suddenly remembered a girl letting loose her bottom length hair. That year, after he had escaped from the ice of the ice cold flame, on the way to the Kyara Sea, he used to sit on a small boat of the Three Gods sect, where he had met a girl. Her family was in this Snow Dragon Island. Chapter 273 Spirit Gear Inside the Flying Shuttle. On the reef, Shi Yan was quietly listening to Cao Zhilan's explanations. The Snow Dragon Island is just an island of the Hen Gluo Sea. There are plenty of reefs around this island. In the legend, those reefs seem to be an ancient formation of nature. The CAO family had a formation master who used to go there. From the sky, he looked down at the reefs underneath and said that those reefs are somehow like an ancient portal formation. However, this is just a speculation. Although he had been studied it for a long time, he couldn't find out any clue. But in the legend, hundreds of years ago, some boats of warriors sailed across this reef area and went missing incomprehensively, totally disappeared later on. Reefs around that island keep some mysterious secrets indeed. Cao Zhilan said gently, explained Shi Yan the situation of the Snow Dragon Island's surrounding area. She seemed to be very familiar with the Kyara Sea's secrets. Even a bizarre area of that small island could not escape from her Dharma eyes. After listening, Shi Yan slightly nodded but did not have any further thought. It was obvious that the speculation of the CAO family's formation master was correct. This area did have an ancient formation, otherwise, they wouldn't have been able to come here directly from the abandoned land in the Chasm battlefield. I know. Shi Yan thought for a while and nodded to Yu Ro. Yu Ro revealed a faint smile, grabbed CAO Zhilan and brought her away. Not long after that, Yu Ro stood next to Shi Yan again. Master, are we heading to the Snow Dragon Island? Yet. Yeah. Shi Yan nodded, talking to Yu Ro and Dishan with a light smile, your clans will bring the demonic sound clans pagans who cannot fly. We'll go to the Snow Dragon Island to find a place to rest. Wait until I understand more the situation of the Kyara Sea, then I'll consider what to do next. Yes. Dishan and Yu Ro spoke up at the same time. After that, they started discussing with Yi Tian Mo, Ya Meng, and Ka Bie. Yu Ro quickly walked to Shi Yan grabbing him and said, Everything is settled. The destination is clear too. We can go now. Let me bring you with me. Yet. Yeah. Yu Ro stepped forward with a smile, stretched her flawless white arm grabbing Shi Yan's arm, extending her wings widely and soared up. Many of the Wings race's pagans were a little involuntary when they were commanded to bring the demonic sound clan's people along. All the Wings race's pagans had wings and flying ability that they did not need to use any boats. Thousands of demonic sound clans and Wings race's pagans started to fly towards the Snow Dragon Island. How about the Grey Wings clan? Shi Yan contemplated for a moment while being brought along by Yu Ro. He then frowned and said, Duo Long is dead. Han Long was dead in my hand as well. Maybe many people of the Grey Wings clan have already known I've killed Han Long. Right now, the Grey Wings clan has no leader. Will something bad happen? Yu Ro slightly laughed and said, No worry. Although Duo Long is dead, Di Shan and I have found a new leader for the Grey Wings clan. His name is Duo Mao, Duo Long's young cousin. He also has the second sky of the Sky Realm cultivation. Duo Long and Duo Mao always had conflicts. In the Grey Wings clan, Duo Long always tyrannized Duo Mao. As Duo Long is dead now, plus, Di Shan and I have made some arrangements, Duo Lu has easily become the patriarch of the Grey Wings clan. Regarding matters about you, we will find a good time to tell him. There will be no problem. Thank you. Shi Yan lightly smiled. I know without your great help, Di Shan would not be that obedient, and other three people would not sincerely yield. Without you, when we were in the mountain, 
I could have been killed by Yi Tian Mo's group. Ha ha ha. The matriarch of the White Wings clan gently laughed. Helping you is actually helping our two tribes, for the future of two tribes. Reality has proven that my speculation is right. If it was not because of you, our two tribes definitely couldn't have got out of that abandoned land alive nor seen this gorgeous starry sky. Yu Ro raised her head looking up at the starry sky. Her charming face was full of desires, this starry sky just appeared in our dreams before. I've thought that I would have never seen this for my whole life. Why did you put your great efforts to help me? Shi Yan stretched his hand and quietly held Yu Ro's white, soft hand, gently rubbed a circle on it, slightly lifted a corner of his mouth, and said to her with a smile, Did you fall in love with me? Yu Ro's beautiful face reddened, her watery eyes glanced at Shi Yan. She mildly smiled and said, You didn't even do anything with those girls yet. So, now you are trying to do something with me. Shi Yan got amazed, immediately forced a smile and said, As chance hasn't come yet, so I keep them for now. I will not take them if it's not the right time. Wait until a suitable time, I will swallow all of them at the same time. But you are different. Yu Ro burst out laughing, then said gently, Although I've made you my master, you are still not truly strong enough. So, I hardly contented myself with yielding. Ah, want me to completely submit to you, haha, you are still far away. I am trying. Shi Yan's mood was very good. He felt cheerful and comfortable talking to this beautiful and delicate woman. In the early morning, Thousands of pagans quietly landed inside a forest in the south of the Snow Dragon Island, where human footprints were hardly seen. Before arriving, Yi Tian Mo had released his soul consciousness to explore around. He realized that there was no humankind in this place except for some low-class beasts. After having arrived, these pagans did not hurry to leave. Instead, they were waiting for their leader's instructions. In a place deep inside the forest, under an ancient 10-meter-high tree, Shi Yan took the sky-breaking shuttle out of the blood vein ring, fondled it and quietly sent his investigating forces into it. Profound Qi rolled in massively, but it was like stones sank into the bottom of the sea as there was not a single reaction arising. The shuttle didn't have any transformation. After Shi Yan got bewildered for a while, he continued to release his soul consciousness to check again. This time, his soul consciousness rushing into the shuttle was like it was being trapped in a swamp. Still no information or anything abnormal. In the legend, the sky-breaking shuttle had the power that could break all kinds of shelters. But, if it was impossible to find out how to use it, it was not more than a useless object. As the profound Qi and his soul consciousness didn't work, Shi Yan was helpless. He called the five leaders, then gave the shuttle to Dishan and said, You come and take a look to see if there is anything special. Dishan frowned and took the sky-breaking shuttle. He also released his sensing forces for a while before shaking his head and said, Our wings race doesn't have an innate ability with spirit treasures. I haven't seen anything special nor knowing how to use it. After saying, Dishan threw Yi Tian Mo the shuttle. You take a look. I've heard you've studied some stuff related to this. Perhaps you can find out something. Yi Tian Mo caught the sky-breaking shuttle, gradually closed his eyes, and slowly sent his powerful soul into the shuttle. Yi Tian Mo's expression was getting more and more serious. He seemed to find out something. He poured more of his soul power into it. Shi Yan's eyes brightened with hope. After a while, Yi Tian Mo slowly retrieved his soul power, which had been released, then slightly let out a deep breath and said to Shi Yan, Master, it carries spirit gear. It hides very deep inside and doesn't want to communicate with me. Even though I can preclude the spirit gear, once the spirit gear is destroyed, this spirit treasure will immediately become useless. Shi Yan was surprised, took back the sky-breaking shuttle with a forced smile, and murmured. That's not good. I don't know how to use it. Really not good. Master. Dishan suddenly shouted with a light tone, his eyes lit up a little bit as if he just remembered something. What? 
Shi Yan raised his head. Immortal blood of the immortal god king's descendants should have special influences with some objects. The owner of this treasure was dead so it's become ownerless. If master drop your blood on it, perhaps you can find out something. Anyway, your blood is far different from that of an ordinary human. Di Shan said with a low voice. Shi Yan got dazed but then his eyes gradually brightened up. He'd heard about this from the ice-cold flame. Immortal blood had some peculiar effectiveness, and restoring treasures was one of them. Although he couldn't refine his blood and turn it into the immortal blood, his blood was still quite special. Perhaps he could really make this sky-breaking shuttle transformed. I'll try it. Shi Yan contemplated a little bit, then laughed grimly and bit his fingertips until it bled. Each drop of his blood dripped on the sky-breaking shuttle. Unexpectedly, each drop of his fresh blood dripping down on the sky-breaking shuttle was absorbed completely like they were falling down on a sponge. After having absorbed all of Shi Yan's blood, it gradually glowed, radiating a faint yellow halo as if it was reviving little by little. Shi Yan's face was shaken. He bit his fingertips again before the wounds on them could be healed. More and more drops of blood dripped down. While the sky-breaking shuttle greedily absorbed Shi Yan's blood, it was getting more luminous. After ten drops of blood disappeared inside it, Shi Yan retracted his arm and looked at the wounds on his fingers which were healing gradually. After that, he stretched his hand out again, touched the sky-breaking shuttle, and poured profound qi into it. The sky-breaking shuttle suddenly burst out a dazzling yellow light. Inside of this blinding light emitted a flow of powerful forces that twisted the space around. Shi Yan hastily retrieved profound qi in fear and surprise. He took a deep breath and sent his soul consciousness into the shuttle. Your cultivation base is too low, so you can't use me now. Wait until you reach the Nirvana realm, then you can come and talk to me. A flow of feeble consciousness came out from the sky-breaking shuttle all in a sudden. My soul is also very weak. It needs time to recover. I have to sleep now. When you reach the Nirvana realm, come and wake me up. Goodbye. The communication ended. Shi Yan was amazed. His soul consciousness flew a few more rounds but couldn't get anything else. After a long while, he could do nothing but retrieve his soul consciousness. He beamed a forced smile, shook his head and said, such a weird spirit gear. What happened? Yu Ro asked gently. The spirit gear said that my cultivation base is too low, and that don't wake it up unless I reach the Nirvana realm. Ah, this proves one thing. At least this spirit gear has accepted your status. When master reach the Nirvana realm and have stronger forces, you will be able to use this peculiar treasure. This is very normal. It's obvious that an adequate cultivation base could not use anomalous treasures. Yu Ro said with a smile. Nirvana realm, Shi Yan mumbled to himself with a low tone, not too far to reach anyway. Now, just leave it aside. Chapter 274, The Kale Clan When the sun just rose up, Yi Tian Mo brought Shi Yan along and quickly flew towards the center of the Snow Dragon Island. The wines slatted while they were flying. Yi Tian Mo released his soul consciousness covering the whole Snow Dragon Island. He clearly knew how many top-class warriors were there on the island, where the people gathered, which family had more warriors, etc. Shi Yan Sea of Consciousness was still always working. The five devils in the Sea of Consciousness were well prepared. The host soul was also very cautious. Shi Yan's spirit was immersed in the blood vein ring. He had communicated with the thousand earth flame earlier. Once any anomalous things happened, it would immediately release the heaven flame's forces. He was taking precautions with Yi Tian Mo. Although Yi Tian Mo had sworn his allegiance, Shi Yan was still not very sure if he was truly sincere or had other wicked intentions. In order to further enter the Snow Dragon Island, Either Di Shan or Yu Ro was not a suitable choice because they both had wings on their backs, which obviously exposed the features of their pagan tribe. Thus, their appearances would lead to some unnecessary troubles. He didn't know how long he had left the Kyara Sea or how the current situation was. 
unless he thoroughly knew the situation here, he would not dare to act recklessly. The target of this trip was to consult Lin Da's family. He wanted to learn the current situation of the Kyra Sea through Lin Di, he wanted to ask her if the demon dwellers and the dark dwellers were invading every corner right now. As he could not bring any one of the wings race, and because he also wanted to go fast, he could only choose one of the demonic sound clan's people. He knew choosing Yi Tian Mo was a little risky. But with his long time study of the spiritual Upanishads of the demonic sound clan, Shi Yan could more or less rely on it. Plus, he was sure that Yi Tian Mo could not harm him in just that short of a moment. Unless Yi Tian Mo could instantly kill him, the heaven flame inside of his body would definitely be able to resist. As always being at his best defense as well as sensing the changes in the sea of consciousness, Shi Yan was a little tense. Suddenly, Yi Tian Mo stopped in the middle of the mountains and forests. Shi Yan was amazed. He was more careful, quietly sensed every single tiny move on Yi Tian Mo's body. All of Shi Yan's attentions were now focusing on him. Master, there is a group of very low-level warriors. The strongest one is only ranked at the Earth Realm, not enough to threaten us. Yi Tian Mo's face was indifferent, his white-gray pupil looked at Shi Yan for a while, then suddenly said, Master, are you keeping an eye on me? Shi Yan was a little embarrassed but still nodded his head frankly, I don't know whether you will take action or not. Your soul achievement is very powerful. If you really want to kill me, it's not easy to prevent it. Therefore, I always have to be cautious and carefully be on the defense. Yi Tian Mo got startled but he could not say anything at this moment. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't believe you, but the gap between you and me is too big. And right now, I am going alone with you. I don't know if you have any other intentions, so I can be only cautious. Shi Yan explained with a forced smile. I understand. Yi Tian Mo nodded. If I were you, Master, I wouldn't have stayed alone with this dangerous person like me. As you have dared to venture alone with me, I've already been very surprised. I know Dishan and Yu Ro are also very worried. They have actually warned me before we had left. That if anything happens to their master, my subordinators will have to suffer from their bloody murderous revenge. Shi Yan was bewildered, I didn't know about this. As soon as Yi Tian Mo had told him about that fact, he somehow had a grateful feeling towards Di Shan and Yu Ro. They seemed to truly have good intentions, thus they should not be a problem anymore. With Di Shan and Yu Ro at the back end to dominate the demonic sound clan, even if Yi Tian Mo had any wicked plans, he would not dare to do it. Actually, Master, you don't need to be worried. Yi Tian Mo spoke up. Previously, you used to say that you didn't have any wicked intentions towards our two tribes. At that time, I was very carefully considering, and in fact, I've had a thought of leaving you. However, I still have decided to stay as Di Shan and Yu Ro did. Do you know why? Shi Yan shook his head, I don't know. Exactly as what Di Shan and Yu Ro have said, you have big potentials. Yi Tian Mo's eyes brightened up gradually. Master, although you are still young, your perception is very high, your cultivation base is profound, and there are still some secrets hidden inside of your body. Furthermore, you are the descendant, which was mentioned in our ancestors' guidance. With all these things combined, I know that you, Master, are the hope of our two tribes. Although you are still weak now, I strongly believe in your future. Shi Yan was astonished. Therefore, I honestly hope that you would soon develop and get stronger. Yi Tian Mo said seriously. Shi Yan was silent, contemplated for a while before slowly nodding his head and said, Understood. Yi Tian Mo's face loosened. He pointed forward and said, There is a group of warriors over there. You should have something to ask them. Let's go over there. Okay. This time, Yi Tian Mo didn't bring Shi Yan along with him. Instead, they walked over there shoulder by shoulder. Not long after that, 
they saw a group of roughly ten warriors holding weapons in their hands and riding the flame horses towards the center of the Snow Dragon Island. Shi Yan and Yi Tian Emma walked out of the thick forest, where the third or the fourth level beasts usually frequented. For those warriors, things on the beasts were really precious. By looking at the way they dressed, Shi Yan and Yi Tian Emma guessed that those warriors should be the mercenaries who came to this area to explore. Sorry to bother you guys. Shi Yan suddenly walked out from a tree, stood in front of those people and said with a smile, May I ask which direction leads to the Kale clan? Linda's family was the Kale. When Shi Yan had parted from her, she had asked him to carefully remember that. Shi Yan's appearance frightened those people so much that they all jumped up in shock. The expression of around ten warriors dramatically changed. They stopped their flame horses and unwillingly looked at Shi Yan. A skinny elderly man among them coldly harumphed and said, Little rascal, where are you from? In the Snow Dragon Island, just a few people don't know of the Kale clan. You should be an outsider for sure. Shi Yan nodded with a smile, glancing at that elderly man. He realized that the old man was a warrior ranked at the first sky of the Earth Realm, who also was the strongest one among them. That's right. I am from the other island. I want to find the Kale clan. Would you mind showing me? I can't just merely tell you about it. The old man coldly laughed and arrogantly said, Do you have something to exchange for the information? Not a problem. Shi Yan threw him a crystal chunk. The crystal chunk turned to be a current of lights flying towards that old man. His countenance was still frosty at first. However, as soon as he caught the crystal chunk, he looked at it carefully and got insanely joyful, shouting out loud, High-grade star crystal. Now, can you tell me where the Kale clan is? Shi Yan knew the high-grade crystal was very precious with these kinds of warriors. He smilingly said, I am in a hurry. Can you please tell me quickly? Elder Tai, is it a star crystal for real? A handsome youth on a flame horse asked with an excitement. The old man, who was called Elder Tai, nodded constantly touching the crystal chunk excitedly. Although he was extremely happy with this crystal, his greed was getting bigger. After having a light dry cough, he said, one crystal chunk is not enough. Little rascal, give me another three more. After hearing Elder Tai's words, the other warriors immediately got what he meant. They instantly surrounded Shi Yan, laughing greedily. Shi Yan frowned, his eyes became frigid. He suddenly took action without waiting for them to speak any further. His figure quickly dashed towards that old man like lightning. Shi Yan's arm was like a sharp sword lunging straight to the greedy old man's belly. Plork! A bloody fist-sized hole appeared in the middle of the old man's belly. Shi Yan's body slightly moved, suddenly spread out and slaughtered the other surrounding warriors. One minute later, ten warriors were crumpled in blood. All of their chi were completely absorbed by Shi Yan. Shi Yan had also known the exact Kale clan's location from a warrior before he had died. Yi Tian Mo hadn't taken action. He just stood aside observing quietly. He witnessed the scene where Shi Yan had slaughtered satisfactorily, killing ten strange warriors, leaving no one alive. For bystanders, Shi Yan's deed was very cruel. However, Yi Tian Mo was quietly contented with it. His eyes were full of compliments for Shi Yan while he realized Di Shan's and Yu Ro's words were very true. When Shi Yan had been in the abandoned land, he had always been sincere and obedient. Although he had shown his innate abilities, he had never exposed his other outstanding aspects. Yi Tian Mo was always worried that Shi Yan only had the innate abilities, but lacked other necessarily suitable personalities. However, Currently, as he had witnessed Shi Yan's cruel action, he finally felt more assured. Until this moment, he heartfully accepted Shi Yan, as his young master with low cultivation base. Completely wiping the blood stains away on his arm, Shi Yan walked to the side of Yi Tian Mo with a cold face and said, Let's go. If there is no one around, we should leave hurriedly. Yes. Yi Tian Mi replied. 
there seemed to have more honest respect in his voice. He brought Shi Yan along and flew up. Many villages and cities situated at the foot of the imposing snow mountain chain. Plenty of warriors, who had cultivated the martial arts, frequented this area very often. The Snow Dragon Mountain was the essential area of the Snow Dragon Island. As there were many special medical herbs and hovering spirit aura on the mountain, this was a perfect place for the warriors to cultivate. Therefore, those warriors, who had been cultivating on the Snow Dragon Mountain chain, all gathered at the foot of the mountain. Shi Yan and Yi Tian Mo had crossed some villages and cities, advancing towards the beautiful architectural complex situated at the foot of the Snow Dragon Mountain. The Kale clan, one of the three clans on the Snow Dragon Island, habited at the foot of the mountain all year round. They were the loyal believers of the Three Gods sect, who were also considered the Three Gods sect's external forces. Shi Yan and Yi Tian Mo arrived at the gate of the Kale clan. Shi Yan beamed a smile and said that he came to see Linda. As soon as Shi Yan said he wanted to see their lady, the two guards scanned him from top to toe as if they wanted to see through him. After a while, one of them spoke up neglectingly, Little rascal, who are you? Our lady is busy with a lot of matters. Don't say something of nonsense if you don't want to lose your face. You, please go and tell your lady that my name is Shi Yan. Come back tomorrow. Right now. Our Lady might be in the main hall discussing important issues with the other two clansmen. She surely doesn't have time to talk to you today. That guard knitted his eyebrows and replied to Shi Yan. You come here tomorrow morning. I will report to her. Now it is impossible. Yi Tian Mo frowned, asking for Shi Yan's opinion with a low voice, Do we have to? Shi Yan nodded. The two guards suddenly got bewildered their eyes became bleary. They stood motionlessly on the spot. Shi Yan went straight inside. Chapter 275, Who Are You After All? Shi Yan walked ahead while Yi Tian Mo was just behind him. This big Kale clan didn't have just a few guards. However, these cautious warriors in the Snow Dragon Island seemed to be blind, no one had seen Shi Yan and Yi Tian Mo walking all the way in towards the main hall. The advantage of the soul capacity of the demonic sound clan had been fully launched. Yi Tian Mo followed Shi Yan without even saying a word. Even Shi Yan hadn't realized what he had done, but all the warriors had dazed faces like they were complete idiots. Yi Tian Mo honestly considered Shi Yan to be his master. Once he had determinately decided to put in all of his efforts towards helping Shi Yan, the demonstration of his abilities had amazingly surprised Shi Yan. Master, you don't need to be worried. My soul consciousness can cover the whole Snow Dragon Island. If I flicker my consciousness, lives and deaths of all the warriors on this island will be in your words no matter how far the distance is. As Yi Tian Mo seemed to realize Shi Yan's doubts, he gently explained Shi Yan what he was capable of doing in assisting Shi Yan while still following him. Shi Yan was frightened. That abandoned land was originally created so that it could restrain us there. There has always existed an invisible force there. Therefore, regardless of either me, Ka Bie, Ya Meng, Di Shan or Yu Ro, none of us could use our real powers, which were limited in that abandoned land. However, when we arrived here, there were no such forces to possibly restrain us any further. This feeling is extremely wonderful. I have just somehow seen that our forces are increasing and it's just not by a little. Yi Tian Mo didn't look like he was kidding. He said with a serious face. After having arrived here, we have now become real warriors with our real abilities. Our forces should have been repressed one realm lower than before our arrival here. With a slightly changed countenance, Shi Yan tried to restrain his feelings of being in a daze and said with a low voice, You said. In that abandoned land, your god realm could only launch forces which were equivalent to those of the Sky Realm warriors. Yi Tian Mo nodded quietly. Shi Yan's eyes flared up a strange light. He nodded, forced a smile and after a while said, Not having become your enemy is a good thing indeed. It has also left me wondering from before. It didn't seem, back in the abyss, 
that you were as strong as the God Realm warriors that were told in legends, thus I wasn't really scared of you. Even when we've just arrived here, facing the true God Realm warriors, I still haven't felt intimidated. I didn't know I was to be so wrong. Yi Tian Mo revealed a faint smile, Master, you don't need to bother. We ourselves could vaguely feel the repressive forces, but we were not sure about it. However, after having gotten out of the sea, we've gradually realized that everything is transforming. All of our forces have been quietly enhancing. Since then, we were more certain about the reasons for changes. They were both talking and walking towards the main hall of the Kale clan. At the main hall's door, dozens of muscular warriors, who were originally extremely cautious, immediately turned only to have been bewildered with dull eyes as if their souls had been controlled and that they were unable to move. In the main hall, there was an enormous argument that was happening. Some solemn words kept deafeningly pouring out. Yi Tian Mo knitted his eyebrows, then respectfully said, the highest realm warriors in there were only at the Nirvana realm. Nothing to be worried about. If you feel annoyed, I can shut them up. Shi Yan shook his head while smiling, no need. We are not clear about the situation here yet. No need to be rash. Ah, they can be considered the subordinated forces of the Three Gods sect. The Three Gods sect, they have never been against me, I also have deep relations with this force. We should not act recklessly. Understood. Shriek. The closed stone door then gradually opened. Shi Yan and Yi Tian Mo walked inside slowly and cautiously. There were more than ten warriors sitting straight on the spot with gloomy faces. They seemed not to be having a good discussion with each other. Linda was standing behind a chubby Nirvana realm warrior, gently bowing her head. Her eyes were full of indignation, her delicate body slightly trembled, her waist-length hair was tied up. As soon as Shi Yan entered, his eyes swept around the hall and stopped at the girl whom he hadn't seen for a long time. A strange feeling suddenly seethed surged within his heart. Although they were dramatically noisily disputing with one another they all heard the noise of the opening stone door. In a short moment, everyone in the hall raked their eyes towards Shi Yan and Yi Tian Mo. They all looked unwilling and annoyed with their knitted eyebrows. Ah! Linda covered her mouth which was full of surprise. She unbelievably looked at Shi Yan with full of unrestrained happiness. After just a little hesitation, she suddenly dashed forward and joyfully said, Gee, why are you here? Shi Yan beamed a smile, You've said that I should visit you here whenever I had the free time to do so. Ha ha ha, and passant, thus I have stopped by to see you. So? You are not welcoming me. Linda curled her lips, her charming body slightly shivered, her eyes lit up a strange light. She was indescribably very happy. Yi En, who is he? An elder who was around fifty years old with grey-haired temples, who was wearing a black purple tunic, annoyedly shouted. He then glared at the chubby Nirvana realm warrior and said, Your Kale clan is really unsteady. While we are having a discussion, how come can such a strange little rascal freely barge in like this? Yi En was the patriarch of the Kale clan, who was also Linda's father. After hearing those annoying words, his face slightly changed, looking at Shi Yan strangely and said while frowning, Linda, who is he? Your friend? Why does he suddenly break in here? Yes, he is my friend. Linda was a little panicked, hastily turned around and explained to other warriors, this is my friend whom I haven't seen for a long time. I am very sorry, uncle. I will take him away now. Right after saying that, Linda instantly winked at Shi Yan, implicating that he should quickly leave with her. Wait. The warrior, who had just said some annoying words, waved his hand to stop them with a serious face. He looked at Shi Yan irritatingly and asked, Little rascal, did you hear what we discussed just a minute before? Moreover, who are you? Why are you here? After having asked Shi Yan, he moved his eyes looking at Yi En, harumphed coldly and arrogantly said, Even when we are discussing, your Kale people still let someone unknown storm in. 
we are really doubtful whether your Kale clan is capable of doing something good after all. Yen, don't you think you owe us an explanation? Yen's face slightly was altered. He stared at Linda blamefully, and asked, Linda, who is he? Why does he appear in front of our clan? What did you bring him here for? Why haven't I seen him before? Linda couldn't utter even a single word. This is one of the most sensitive times that our council is going through and yet, a little rascal from nowhere barged in. Hmm, he probably doesn't have good intentions. We should arrest him and further investigate. The Grey Temple man shouted coldly. Linda was so frightened. She hurriedly explained, this is my friend. He might have acted recklessly but I am sure he doesn't have any wicked intentions. Uncle Wu Kei, please don't be too strict with him. I assure you that he will not make this mistake again. I beg of you, uncle. Hmm. Wu Kei's face displayed great discomfort. He just looked at Yen and said, you know what to do. Yen was reluctant, beamed a forced smile and said after a while, we should now clarify the situation first then decide what to do. After saying it, Yi En raised his voice calling the guards. Not long after, a guard of the Kale clan hastily rushed in outside of the main hall and respectfully said, Master, you have something to instruct us. How could they come in? Why did you allow the two of them to have entered here? Yi En asked, pointing at Shi Yan and Yi Tian Mo. That guard then got bewildered. He looked at Shi Yan and Yi Tian Mo strangely, he then shook his head and then said with uncertainty, we didn't let anyone in. Wouldn't it seem that they have been inside of here before? Some of the high-class men's faces frighteningly changed. They all stood up looking at Shi Yan gloomily. Who are you after all? Wu Kei suddenly shouted out loud. He then arrogantly commanded, arrest him. Linda's beautiful face was altered dramatically. She was worried and seemingly wanted to say something. Many guards from outside of the hall stormed in and besieged Shi Yan and Yi Tian Mo. They all looked at Yi En, waiting for his command. Linda, don't get involved in this. Yi En shook his head helplessly, then ordered, arrest him first, we will question him later. Master, Yi Tian Mo was standing behind Shi Yan, quietly asking for his order. Shi Yan nodded indifferently. A bunch of guards, who was moving towards Shi Yan and Yi Tian Mo, seemed to have been struck by something. They all stopped in the middle of their steps with their dreary eyes. All of the high class men inside of the hall were in shock, looking unbelievably at Shi Yan and Yi Tian Mo. They now, simply, didn't know what to say. Wu Kei reacted first. He shouted and suddenly twisted his body like a snake while his bones made weird sounds crack crack. He then rapidly crept towards Shi Yan. Yi Tian Mo's eyes were startled. His grey-white pupils beamed out a strange light. A flow of surging soul, which only Wu Kei could feel, instantly dispersed outwards. Wu Kei suddenly held his head and couldn't help but scream out loud. His nose bled as his body still produced the sound crack crack. Now, it felt as if he was being nailed to the ground and was totally incapable of moving anymore. Yi En and the other men in the hall simultaneously stood up as they also felt a dreadfully vibrating power covering the entire hall. Their sea of consciousness had changed relentlessly and that their body's forces had also started to be restless. Soul Oppression Only warriors with the realm of at least one level higher as well as the outstanding soul capacity, who didn't need to use any of their profound chi, could exhaust their inferior opponent's power just by relying on their powerful souls. Yi Tian Mo was obviously from these kinds of people. Using the Upanishads of the demonic sound clan to make the Nirvana realm warriors be obedient was like using the knife that was used to kill a buffalo to butcher a chicken. If it wasn't because Shi Yan didn't want to rashly slaughter everyone, Yi Tian Mo could have also as well, harmed everyone in the hall with his insanity soul skill. Yi Tian Mo's body might not be as strong as the true god realm warriors, but his soul capacity was absolutely not inferior to any of the top class god realm warriors of the Kyra Sea. All the warriors in the hall stood up. 
their countenance tragically changed after having felt the horrendous powers of that realm. They then did not dare to act recklessly and looked at Shi Yan in fear. Linda, who is he after all? Yi En had started to feel terrified. I, I don't know either, Linda hesitated a little bit before raising her head looking at Shi Yan, and honestly asked, Shi Yan, who are you after all? Chapter 276, The Big Picture The Snow Dragon Island, the Kale Clan In the main hall, roughly about ten of the leaders of the Snow Dragon Island were being sincerely obedient. No one dared to do anything reckless under Yi Tian Mo's scrutinized, gloomy gaze. They were afraid that if they irritated Yi Tian Mo, something bad would happen. After Yi En and Wu Ke both felt Yi Tian Mo's terrifying soul power, they both looked at Linda, using their facial demeanors to ask if she knew Shi Yan's real identity. Either Yi En or Wu Ken, they were both very experienced. They could see that Yi Tian Mo always followed Shi Yan's orders, which frightened them a lot. They instinctively guessed that Shi Yan's identity wasn't one of an ordinary origin. Even though Linda and Shi Yan had earlier known each other for a period of time, she didn't really know about Shi Yan's origin. At this moment, as she saw how the powerful Yi Tian Mo unhesitatingly followed Shi Yan's every command and moves, she then obviously knew that Shi Yan was not just an ordinary person. She couldn't help but ask him. Shi Yan was standing in the middle of the hall. Waiting until Yi Tian Mo had gotten total control of the situation, he gently spoke to Linda with a smile, just consider me as a member of the Yang family. The Yang family. Everyone's faces changed dramatically. Linda's pupils shrank. She nodded sadly. I should have known it before. Since after we've parted, I should have figured it out when I saw that you and the Azura King Muo Duanhun left while riding the blue blood devilish bat. But I was not very sure about it. Now, it is certain. After Shi Yan spoke of his origin, Yi En and Wu Ke both looked very worried with strange countenances. The Yang family of the Kai Ara Sea were famous for their defiant demeanors. The Kai Ara Sea and the Hen Gluo Sea were not far from each other. Previously, the Three Gods sect and the Yang family had often fought with each other. They were arch enemies. The Snow Dragon Island was the outer force of the Three Gods sect. The clans on this island would not be unfamiliar with the Yangs, they surely knew how tremendous the Yang family's forces were. You, what do you come to Snow Dragon Island for? Yi En sat on a chair, pretended to be calm, lifting a cup of water, took a sip and then worriedly said, Two years ago, many forces came to occupy the Kaira Sea and fought with the Yang family. But, the Three Gods sect didn't want to involve in those matters. Even if you wanted to take revenge, you still shouldn't find us. Right after Yi En had finished his words, other people in the hall crazily responded, and hastily pled for themselves. They said that both the Three God sect and the Yang family didn't have any conflicts recently or they were only the Three God sect's outer force, that they didn't know of the situation between the two sects clearly. After all, they just wanted to prove their innocence and hoped that Shi Yan would just give them a slap on the wrist. Shi Yan Ge Chinese way to call an older brother, you have now arrived at the Snow Dragon Island, does it possibly mean that you probably want to? Linda clenched her fists tightly, gritted her teeth, and angrily looked at Shi Yan. If you want to deal with us, I will bear hatreds towards you for my whole, entire life. Shi Yan then burst into laughter. He shook his head and said with an eccentric complexion, What are you thinking? As I was on my way, and passant, I just then decided to stop by to visit you without other intentions, then simply be on my way. Any other worries that you might have, should all be unfounded. The other people in the hall all released a sigh of relief. Not to mention that the Three Gods sect didn't have any past conflicts with the Yang family, even if the sect did so, as having regards for you, I would not fight with the Kale clan. To prevent Linda from thinking too much, Shi Yan continued with a smile, I come here to, to visit you, to see if you are doing well. Linda's face was full of emotions. She seemed to be touched. Yi En surprisingly looked at Shi Yan, then quietly raked his eyes towards Linda. 
he seemed to see something strange here. His eyes then gradually brightened up. Actually, during this time, the Kale clan were encountering some difficult unsolved problems that had recently been plaguing them. Yi En was feeling utterly miserable, full of anxiety, as he couldn't find any solutions yet. Right now, he just suddenly found out that his daughter seemed to have a good relationship with Shi Yan, yet he couldn't help but have a thought that. Yi En contemplated consciously for a while, then burst into laughter. His chubby body then shambled out of his chair. He lifted a glass of wine in his hand, and said with a pink face, Shi Yan, my boy, if you don't have any further bothers, please take a seat and have a glass of wine. How does this sound? Shi Yan was bewildered, he wanted to refuse him. But Shi Yan just saw Linda's expecting eyes looking towards him as though she was begging him to accept the invitation. After being a little startled, Shi Yan slightly nodded to Yi En with a faint smile, All right. Sit down, sit down please. Yi En hurriedly moved forward to welcome Shi Yan. He personally arranged Shi Yan's seat by himself. His behavior was so servile that it looked as if he was flattering Shi Yan. As Linda saw her father's eager and servile behavior, she instinctively knew what was in his mind. She originally wanted to remind him of not doing it, but as she thought about the complicated problems that they were facing today, she quietly let out a sigh and cast away that intention. She just felt a little embarrassing, looking at Shi Yan as if she wanted to say that he shouldn't blame her for that. Shi Yan lightly nodded to her as well, implicating that he didn't mind. After sitting down together with Yi Tian Mo, Shi Yan picked a green snake fruit and didn't say anything. He then took a homely bite, chewing, and mumbled to himself, It doesn't taste bad. Ha ha ha. Yi En kept laughing aimlessly and didn't hurry to talk. He waved at Linda, signaling her to sit down next to Shi Yan. He waited until Linda had sat down on Shi Yan's left side, then pretended to ask unintentionally, I don't know where you are from? Thing is, the Kyra Sea's situation is now very complicated. Do you know what's going on? This was what Shi Yan was concerned about the most. Shaking his head, Shi Yan's face became more serious. He said, To be honest, I am not from the Kyra Sea. I left there for a while and have just now come back. Can I ask how the situation over there is? As Yi En had soon known that Shi Yan was not from the Kyra Sea, he didn't feel strange after hearing of it. He just whined with a miserable voice, the Kyra Sea has fallen. Shi Yan's eyes were slightly half-closed. Two years ago, not long after Yang families disappeared, the demon dwellers of the fourth demon area came to the Kyra Sea. In only one year, they already occupied the entire Kyra Sea. As of now, the Kyra Sea belongs to the demon dwellers of the fourth demon area. Yi En shook his head with a miserable gesture as if the demon dwellers had devastated, dominated, and obliterated his entire family. I've known that this would happen. Shi Yan said with a cold smile. At first, forces from everywhere in the Kyra Sea had united. After knowing that the two demon kings were confining the head of the Yang family, they have allied with the demon dwellers to deal with the Yang family, which left them no other choice but to retreat to other places. As the result, the gate of heaven that was linked to the fourth demon area had no defensive forces. Moreover, they even had a ridiculous thought which was free trade with the demon dwellers. Right now, the demon's dwellers are invading on a bigger scale. They will then swallow the entire Kyra Sea piece by piece. Those people have reaped as they had sowed. That serves them right. Yi En's hands were trembling with shame. He then embarrassingly wiped his sweat away, forced a smile and said, Our Hen Gluo Sea is just next to the Kyra Sea. The Snow Dragon Island is not very far from the Kyra Sea either. Recently, I've heard that the demon dwellers of the fourth demon area is considering to attack the Hen Gluo Sea. This is... Shi Yan glanced at him, feeling a bit weird. You belong to the Three Gods sect, so the Three Gods sect will have the solutions itself. Perhaps the Gu family and the Heaven Lake Divine Land have started to negotiate with the Three Gods sect? Anyway, they haven't attacked here yet. 
Why do you need to be in such a rush? It's just that they haven't attacked yet. But once they are here, it will be already too late. Wu Kei forced a smile, shaking his head. He wasn't arrogant anymore. Linda sat next to Shi Yan, bowed her head without saying anything. She just quietly listened while her hands were tightly clenched. She then seemingly felt a little tensed. Let me tell you the truth, my good boy. I have been informed that in another month, the demon dwellers will likely start to intrude into the Henglo Sea from the Kyara Sea. And in two months max, the demon dwellers will come to the Snow Dragon Island. Yen was contemplating for a while before continuing with grimaced face, that means that our Snow Dragon Island only have about two months left. Shi Yan was astonished and said straight away. So, you should relocate somewhere else soon. Would you want to defend the Snow Dragon Island to death? What did the Three Gods sect say? You are considered the outer forces of the Three Gods sect, so won't they just abandon you? It's like this. Yi En was a little bit ashamed. He murmured softly the crux that they were facing. After having recently known that the demon dwellers at the Kyara Sea had the intentions of invading the Henglo Sea, Yi En and Wu Kei had immediately asked for the Three Gods' sect's opinion. The Three Gods' sect suggested that the outer forces should temporarily leave their islands and go to the adjacent islands of the Three Gods' sect's headquarter, and prepared all of the forces to fight with the demon dwellers of the Fourth Demon Area. Some forces of the other seas would send their high-class warriors to take guards at the Three Gods sect, the Gu family, and the Heaven Lake Divine Land. They would then ally with each other to fight against the Demon Dwellers depending on the Demon Dwellers' offensive strategy. After the Three Gods sect had given out their command, Yi En and his people had then encountered a big problem. At this point in time, the sea was boisterously rough. The windstorms and tsunamis there were the most terrifying in the Henglo Sea. Boats sailing under these conditions were in extreme danger. They would be dashed to pieces and people would die even if they were being just a little careless. Departing from the Snow Dragon Island towards the Three Gods' Sex headquarters, they would have to sail across the sea called the Chaotic Wind Sea, where the typhoons and tsunamis were extremely horrendous at this time of the season. The three big clans on the Snow Dragon Island had limited abilities. They could only use boats in order to move or travel. Thus crossing the chaotic wind sea was entirely unavoidable. However, the three big clans only had roughly about ten Nirvana Realm warriors. With that small of a number of high-class warriors, it wasn't sure that they could protect all the boats in crossing the chaotic wind sea. Therefore, they did not dare to move yet. From what Yi En had said, it meant that if there were the Sky Realm Warriors' help, together with their Nirvana Realm Warriors, it would be more certain that their boats would safely cross the Chaotic Wind Sea. They had informed the Three Gods sect of the situation at hand, and received the reply that they should wait for the Sky Realm Warriors to come, but if those warriors couldn't come in on time, they then had to take the risks in crossing the Chaotic Wind Sea. The Three Gods sect had many of the outer forces. There should be at least hundreds of islands similar to this Snow Dragon Island. Therefore, even if the Three Gods sect willingly sent out their Sky Realm warriors to help, it was not sure that those warriors would lay their eyes on the Snow Dragon Island as their abilities were unfortunately limited. If they waited for those high-class warriors to come, their departure time would be accordingly delayed, which could lead to the results that they would probably fall into the demon dweller's hands and would obviously face the severe murderous onslaught that was to ensue afterward. The Three Gods sect had given a deadline that was sent out to their warriors. Even though that deadline was coming close, with only a few days left, none of the Sky Realm warriors appeared to give assistance. Therefore, Yi En and the others were impatiently anxious. They immediately started to discuss if they should then take risks in crossing the Chaotic Wind Sea. On the Snow Dragon Island, besides the three big clans, there were also other small forces of warriors, around hundreds of warriors with different levels, as well as roughly about tens of thousands of ordinary citizens. Without the Sky Realm warriors' protection, no one could tell how many of them would survive after taking the risks to cross the Chaotic Wind Sea. This was the crux that Yi En and the other people on the Snow Dragon Island were facing right now. 
After the warriors on this island including Yi En had been repressed by Yi Tian Mo's soul power, they were instantly sure that Yi Tian Mo was definitely a Sky Realm warrior, thus, they had a thought of hope that Yi Tian Mo could help protect them. However, Shi Yan was from the Yang family. And, the Yang family and the Three Gods sect had a conflict since long ago. Though these people still had the intentions in asking for Shi Yan's help although they knew that there was not a lot of hope in doing so. But, the situation now was very urgent and dangerous. Time was of the essence. If they continued waiting, the situation would become more perilous. That was why they finally decided to ask Shi Yan directly. Shi Yan sat quietly while deliberately drinking tea. His eyes swept over Yi En and his people with a calm face. After Yi En had told him of the current situation, Shi Yan obviously understood what they wanted. They all displayed a sincere look while waiting for Shi Yan's decision. Right at this moment, a small hand was suddenly placed on his thigh, gently fondling his thigh and slowly moving towards his privates. Shi Yan was shaken, feeling that his winky was now erected and felt extremely pleasurable. He couldn't help but bow his head and slightly utter a sound. He then turned his head around to glance at Linda who was sitting next to him. Linda bowed her head with her flushed face and didn't dare to look at Shi Yan. But her small hand didn't stop moving either, instead, it continued stroking his winky, bringing him a wonderfully mesmerizing sensation. Yi En, Wu Kei and all the other people in front of him were intensely looking at him with begging faces. He didn't expect that Linda dared to stroke his winky in front of the other people. But, this brought him a great feeling of pleasurable satisfaction. Under the other's scrutinized eyes, Shi Yan's eyes were half closed as if he was knitting his eyebrows to think. But, in fact, he was quietly enjoying. This girl, was really daring. A smiling look beamed out from the corner of his mouth but he still didn't say anything yet. He knew Linda's intentions but wasn't in a hurry to expose his attitude, instead, he continued to enjoy himself. This, Yi En didn't know of his daughter's deed. He was waiting in silence. However, after a while, as Shi Yan still said nothing, he couldn't be any more patient and was about to ask Shi Yan again. Suddenly, Shi Yan's erected winky was then tightly squeezed by Linda's small hand. Ah! He felt a little pain and couldn't help but scream out a soft sound. Secretly blaming the girl for treating it too hard. As he knew that Linda was impatiently anxious, Shi Yan pretended that he was contemplating a little bit, softly dry coughed and then said with a smile, This is simple. I will find some people to help you solve this problem. Since you want to leave the Snow Dragon Island, I will help you manage it for a while. Yi En's eyes brightened. Wu Kei hadn't originally been very amicable with Shi Yan, but right now, he was also very excited, suddenly stood up and smilingly said, Are you willing to help us? Just a small thing. Shi Yan smiled wickedly, glancing at Linda on his side, implicating that he had fulfilled her wish. Gu Linda's face glowed, let out a sigh but still didn't dare to raise her head. Her hand continued moving, stroking his winky more devotedly as if she wanted to pay back what he had done for them. Ah, the Kyra Sea has been invaded. How about the evil Wonderland and the Xia family? Shi Yan both enjoyed and asked. After the Yang family had disappeared, the Xia family was still being crushed by the evil Wonderland. When the Yang family had lost, the Xia family also got nothing, many of their islands were also invaded. The head of the Xia family's former generation became mentally ill and never showed up. Thus, the evil Wonderland became more and more defiant. They even had the intentions to evict the Xia family out of the Kyra Sea. This time, Wu Kei stood up and smilingly explained to Shi Yan what was happening there. He seemed to understand well of the situation at the Kyra Sea. The evil Wonderland originally wanted to take advantage of the marriage between Xia Kui and Xia Zinyan to tie up the Xia family into their battle. Xia Zinyan still persistently closed the door to cultivate, which was an excuse for the Xia family to delay the marriage. Eventually, the evil Wonderland started to be impatient and offended the Xia family constantly. Before the demon dweller's intrusion, 
the Xia family's power at the Kyra Sea had already been decreased a lot they were too far away to be the evil Wonderland's match. After the Demon Dwellers had invaded, the Xia family knew that they could hardly resist the Demon Dwellers. As the family's forces had been greatly lost, the Xia's decisively retreated as soon as the Demon Dwellers arrived. Before many more of the Demon Dwellers' warriors came, the Xia family had left everything at the Kyra Sea and wisely advanced towards the Hengluo Sea, and temporarily stayed in some of the islands in the middle of the Gu family and the evil Wonderland. Thanks to the Xia family's discernment, their people could then be able to avoid the great oncoming disaster, limited their losses and conserved the number of warriors. Only the unconcerned outer forces had been left behind at the Kyra Sea. The evil Wonderland was different. After the Yang family's disappearance and Xia family's depression, their forces ferociously expanded. They then became the first dominator of the Kyra Sea with a number of resourceful islands much more than the number of islands that the Yang family had possessed before. Even though the demon dwellers had come, they didn't want to leave behind their assets at the Kyra Sea, which they had been fighting hard to acquire. So, the battle finally had to happen. The evil Wonderland then quickly realized the Demon Dweller's terrifying strength. It only took about three months for those Demon Dwellers to entirely destroy the evil Wonderland and slaughter more than half of the evil Wonderland's warriors. When the two Demon Masters under Bosun went to the evil Wonderland together, it meant that the evil Wonderland was done. Facing the overwhelming forces of the Demon Dwellers, the head of the evil Wonderland had a decision that made the entire forces of the Kyra Sea feel disgraced. The evil Wonderland had surrendered. After that, the evil Wonderland became one of the Demon Dweller's forces, turned into their hounds, disclosing all the information and arrangements of the Kyra Sea's forces as well as their long-term understanding about all the warriors of the Kyra Sea. Holding the evil Wonderland in their hands as well as having a thorough understanding of the Kyra Sea, the demon dwellers at the Kyra Sea then harvested an abundance of resources, which couldn't be found anywhere else, their strengths then increased extremely fast. Many of the demon dwellers then had consequently broken through the realms with booming forces. Their abilities were then enhanced with every single passing day. The evil wonderland is so shameful. Shi Yan's face was serious, cold light beamed out from his eyes. These disloyal people, as they have betrayed us before, they can certainly betray the entire Kyra Sea. After clearly knowing the current situation of the Kyra Sea from Wu Kei, Shi Yan somehow felt satisfied. Your three clans should start preparing to leave. When you are ready, some of my people will come and help you. After contemplating for a while, Shi Yan knitted his eyebrows looking at Yan and Wu Kei. I will keep my words. Ah. Remember to bring all of the ordinary residents of the Snow Dragon Island. Understood. Yi Yen and Wu Kei nodded. You guys can leave to prepare now. Shi Yan waved his hand with his impatient face. Linda had already sat decently again without moving her hand anymore, just her face was still flushed, which looked very charming and mesmerizing. As Yi Yen and Wu Kei had gotten Shi Yan's promise, their faces loosened a little. Their attitude towards Shi Yan was very respectful. They all stood up and left the main hall after Shi Yan's promise. Before Yi Yan left, he had given a quick glance at Linda as if he wanted to know more about the relationship between Shi Yan and his daughter. From Linda's blushed face, Yi Yan seemed to figure out something. He didn't scold at her, but instead, he felt secretly cheerful and fully satisfied. Yi Tian Mo waited until everyone had left the hall then slowly stood up and spoke to Shi Yan with a gentle voice, I am going out to take a walk. If something happens, you just need to call me. Shi Yan knew Yi Tian Mo had seen Linda's secretive deed, thus, he asked to have a walk as an excuse to give him more freedom. Therefore, Shi Yan nodded with a smile. Okay. Bother you again. I should do it. Yi Tian Mo turned around and left disappearing just in a blink. Shi Yan had reminded Yi Tian Mo of not calling him master in front of the other people. Yi Tian Mo also felt that this way of addressing Shi Yan sounded a little intimidating, thus he followed Shi Yan's instruction. That person is a little strange. 
the aura from his body is a little different from ours. Linda said after Yi Tian Mo had left the main hall. Then, she asked with her reddened face, did he see what I've just previously done? No Shi Yan burst into laughter, immediately embraced Linda, placing her on his thigh, and lightly groaned out, you have provoked me for so long. Now, this is my turn. Hi hi, I am not afraid of you. Linda's mood and body were then both excited, her watery eyes were full of lust. Shi Yan temporarily stayed with the Kale clan. He waited for both of the big clans on this snow dragon island to leave and also heard of the Kyra Sea's situation from Linda. For two and a half years, the biggest incident of the Kyra Sea was the Demon Dweller's invasion. When the Demon Dwellers had intruded into the Kyra Sea for real, all the forces of the Kyra Sea just then realized that targeting the Yang family had been such a stupid move. The cruelty of the demon dwellers surpassed their imaginations. After the Kyra Sea had fallen into the demon dwellers' hands, each of Kyra Sea's forces felt extremely insecure. They were afraid that the demon dwellers would barge into their sea on any given day. Because of their fear of the common enemy, they had then quickly started to unite. Leaders from every direction had constantly met and discussed with each other to figure out a solution to deal with the demon dwellers. However, Conflicts always existed among these forces. Some of them, who were quite far away from the Kyra Sea, had the intentions of letting the other forces act as a buffer in consuming the Demon Dweller's power, thus they didn't put all of their efforts together in defeating this common enemy. The starting point was good, but once it was implemented, it exposed many conflicts between them. Even though having been invaded by the Demon Dwellers, these forces still couldn't change the selfishness of the humankind. They always had a thought that they shouldn't be the vanguards, instead, they should preserve their strengths and forces. They would never shed tears without seeing a coffin. It was said that the leaders of those forces had always argued and quarreled whenever they had met without finalizing any perfect solutions. And so on, when they weren't ready yet for their attacks, on the contrary, the demon dwellers had already taken action. At the Kale clan's place. Shi Yan was sitting straight on top of the highest floor of a delicate three floor pavilion. He slowly relaxed his mind and spirit with a secured countenance. He was studying the magic of the soul of the demonic sound clan. In the last three days, he had stayed with the Kale clan. Yi Tian Mo was in charge of protecting him. People of the three big clans here had always been busy, collecting their accumulating properties assigning high-class warriors to different missions, arranging for ordinary people, etc. After several times of lustful pleasures and having his sexual desires satisfied, Shi Yan and Linda started to regain their composures. Having Yi Tian Mo on his side, Shi Yan had chances to ask him about some of the soul secrets of the demonic sound clan, which he hadn't thoroughly understood before. Since the incident in the forest when Yi Tian Mo had seen Shi Yan's cruelty, his attitude towards Shi Yan had greatly changed. He seemed to treat Shi Yan more honestly and always devotedly helped him as much as he could regardless of any matters. Therefore, Shi Yan's perception of the spiritual Upanishads in the demonic sound clan scriptures had been rapidly improved. The sea of consciousness then rippled out many waves of the sea, which were like silk fibers, quietly gathered at the host soul's place. The host soul was being wrapped by more and more of the soul consciousnesses. Shi Yan's feelings were then expanded everywhere. In the sea of consciousness, the five devils had been recently very quiet. After the host soul entered and Shi Yan didn't use any of his negative forces, as the five devils seemed to sense the host soul's repressive force, they didn't dare to have any further reckless actions. As of now, Shi Yan's soul consciousness constantly kept condensing and gathering at the host soul's place. He vaguely felt that he was able to control the five devils, thus, he suddenly had an idea. His consciousness started to move towards the host soul and conducted the five devils through the host soul. Shortly thereafter, strong winds and massive waves surged up within the sea of consciousness. The five devils inside of the sea of consciousness turned into five flows of black lights flying out of the sea of consciousness. A tremendous flow of wicked, crude, desperate aura flowed out from inside of the pavilion. 
five ferocious Tenjung tall devils floated around in the sky right above the pavilion. Their bodies shot out fluctuating souls, which then brought the people into everlasting sorrows. Shi Yan's body suddenly shriveled. Negative forces from the meridians streamed out and then violently poured into the five devils. Although the five devils' bodies had been originally ambiguous, they now gradually condensed into unknown substances and emitted more and more horrendous aura. Master, be careful. Yi Tian Mo's face changed in fear. He looked at the five devils floating in the air with a stupefied face, and horribly screamed out, What is this spirit skill? Its aura is very terrifying. This is, this is the soul's power condensing into substances. Shi Yan opened his eyes, frigidly looked at the five ferocious devils floating in the sky. He raised his arm and shouted, Come back. The five devils wriggled and seemingly didn't want to go back. However, Shi Yan coldly harumphed and projected a stream of burning heaven flame from his hand. The five devils that had escaped from the sea of consciousness instantly felt frightened just now, didn't dare to protest against Shi Yan anymore and swayed a little bit before diminishing. Just in a short time, the five devils again turned into different flows of black lights and disappeared into Shi Yan's body. Shi Yan took a deep breath. His chilled to the bone eyes were gradually restored to its normal state. He released a sigh after a long while, then said, I know you are afraid of the heaven flame. Yi Tian Mo also stayed away from him, as he felt a little nervous whenever Shi Yan emitted the heaven flame. The heaven flame was Yi Tian Mo's fatal nemesis. Shi Yan retrieved the heaven flame in his hand, then said with a smile, It is just the burning fire of the thousand earth flame. Although this burning fire is tempered by icy objects, still, it is very intimidating. If it was the Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame, those five devils will be truly terrified. Regretfully, that Nine Serenity's soul devouring flame still cannot be subdued yet. Master, are the five living souls that you projected condensed by using the soul power? Yi Tian Mo asked in fear. Master, you are only ranked at the Earth Realm. Even with the profound knowledge of the spiritual Upanishads of the demonic sound clan, it is still difficult for us to perceive it that fast. How can it be so simple just to rely on the soul power to condense it into living souls? Yi Tian Mo still couldn't believe that this fact was true no matter what. Taking the soul as a conducting object to condense it into living souls was an extremely scholarly spirit skill which had been written down in the secret scriptures of the demonic sound clan. In order to cultivate this spirit skill, besides the highly adept soul capacity, it was necessary to have reached the god realm, otherwise, it would be nearly impossible to do so. Even Yi Tian Mo, who was ranked at the first sky of the spirit realm and possessed a profound soul capacity, wasn't able to do so just yet. Being ranked at the earth realm and relying only on some of the demonic sound clan's secret scriptures, Shi Yan already could use the soul power to condense it into living souls. The word genius wouldn't be enough to describe this. Did you say the five devils? Shi Yan was startled, but then explained with a smile, it isn't related to the spiritual Upanishads of the demonic sound clan. Before I had your demonic sound clan's soul secret scriptures, my sea of consciousness had condensed into these five devils. Yi Tian Mo was shocked with his eyes and mouth wide opened. He looked at Shi Yan as if he was looking at a monster. After a long while, Yi Tian Mo let out a sigh and respectfully said, Luckily, I've made a right decision. If we had killed you in the first place, I think our demonic sound clan would have disappeared altogether from this world. Yi Tian Mo was a little frightened. Shi Yan stood up while waving his hand, implicating that he didn't mind it. After he felt that the five devils weren't restless anymore, he immediately walked to the window, looked down at Yi Yan's people of the Kalei clan gathering there and said hastily, I am very sorry. An unexpected thing happened while I was cultivating. Now, everything is all right. You guys don't need to be worried any further. All the Kalei clan's people looked pale. They were so frightened that even their hearts were trembling. These people, who only had normal cultivation base or didn't even know how to use any of the spirit skills, 
had suddenly realized some horrifying commotions that appeared on the floor where Shi Yan was staying. They had even thought that the demon dwellers had already come. If the five devils hadn't disappeared in time, they wouldn't have even dared to move any closer to the pavilion like this. Yi En was standing from a distance. After hearing Shi Yan's words, he wiped his sweat away, immediately clasped his hands towards Shi Yan and said, All right. So, I won't bother you anymore. After finishing his words, Yi En signaled for his people to leave. They all left instantaneously. Master, I would like to request the advice from you about the secrets in condensing those living souls. Waiting until everyone had left, Yi Tian Mo contemplated for a while before asking with a little embarrassment. I have also recently studied this. Regretfully, there have been no improvements. I am very curious, your five devils had been formed based on what? From different negative feelings inside of me. Shi Yan frowned and didn't hide or clarify it either. Negative feelings. Yi Tian Mo was amazed. These negative feelings can be reinforced through cultivations? I haven't heard about this before. Master, can you constantly increase negative forces so that the condensed five living souls can also keep being intensified? Theoretically, it should be so. Shi Yan nodded. Yi Tian Mo's eyes lit up a strange light. His face then became very eccentric. What? Shi Yan felt a little bit weird with Yi Tian Mo's expressions. Is it very strange to do so? I feel that it was just a normal occurrence. Yi Tian Mo took a deep breath, he then said frighteningly after a while, Master, really, you are such a breathtaking genius. I really admire you now. Even though I can't figure it out yet, but your ability is something that ordinary people like us are not able to understand indeed. What is it after all? Only the God Realm warriors who can condense living souls are able to constantly enhance themselves, and that their abilities keep transforming non-stop. Yi Tian Mo stared at Shi Yan with his bizarre sparkling eyes, speaking clearly word by word. Shi Yan looked as if he had been dramatically shaken. After that, he beamed out a smile from the corner of his mouth. He rubbed his head while speaking, Ha ha ha, my ability is not too bad after all. Until now, he just understood the frightening aspects of this spirit skill of the five devils in the sea of mind. It was indeed the spirit skill from the blood vein ring, which could really shock the others. Yi Tian Mo had seemingly wanted to explain something more, but he suddenly frowned and closed his eyes. A feeble fluctuating soul spread out on Yi Tian Mo's body entirely. A flow of a new soul slowly came in from far away, wrapping around Yi Tian Mo's body quietly communicating with him. Closing his eyes, Yi Tian Mo sensed it for a while, and then suddenly said, Ka Bia and the other people are encountering some troubles. Several warriors have appeared at their place. They've found out Ka Bia. It seems they even know of your human girls. Ka Bia asks for your opinion if he should kill them. They know the girls. Shi Yan was startled. His mind flickered right away he was sure that those people should be the warriors from the Kyra Sea. After contemplating a little bit, Shi Yan directly commanded, regardless of whom they are, just arrest them first. The appearances of the Wings race and ours are very different. If they spread out the rumors, there will be a lot of unwanted troubles. Understood. Yi Tian Mo nodded, closed his eyes and transmitted the message to the other end. At this time, Yi En suddenly appeared again. He stood ten meters away from Shi Yan and said, I've just been informed that some people have come to help us. They are people from the Gu family in the Heaven Lake Divine Land. As they are on their way to the headquarter of the Three Gods sect to discuss some important matters, they have been also assigned to help us. The Gu family? The Heaven Lake Divine Land? Shi Yan's face was strange. When will they come? I've heard that they will arrive today. Ha ha ha, so, thank you for your good will, my good boy. I don't think we need to bother you anymore. Yi En said all of a sudden. No need to bother me. Shi Yan was joyful. It cannot be better. You should wait for them to help you then. 
I also feel less worried. Chapter 277, Rooting In the vast, immense forest, countless trees covered the sky and the ground. Even the sunlight at noon could hardly pierce through the lush and dense foliage of those trees. The people of the demonic sound clan and the wings race all stayed under the tree's shades with leisurely manners, deliberately raised their heads and talked to each other joyfully. The two leaders Dishan and Yuro had pulled Duo Mao to the side under an ancient tree's shade and whispered something to each other. Duo Mao was obviously a little bit frightened in front of Dishan and Yuro. He always honestly nodded with any words or assignments that were ordered by Dishan and Yuro without daring to disobey them. Ka Bie and Ye Meng slightly closed their eyes while communicating with Yi Tian Mo at the other side of the Snow Dragon Island to ask for Shi Yan's opinion. Not long after that, Ka Bie and Ye Meng received his response. Then, they waved their hands signaling the demonic sound clan's warriors behind them to take action. Thirty high-class Sky Realm warriors of the demonic sound clan quickly advanced towards the seven human warriors and surrounded them. A flow of attacking soul-like silk fibers covered those seven human warriors just in a blink. Under these rippling waves of souls, all seven of them then held their heads, plumping down on the ground and screaming out, the light in their eyes gradually became gloomier. Lady! One bald warrior among them, who had some small arrow tattoos on his head, gazed at Gu Ling Lung standing not far away from there with his red eyes and shouted, Who are these guys? Gu Ling Lung slightly released a sigh, then helplessly talked to her family's Sky Realm warrior. Uncle Hua Meng, you don't need to save us. Don't risk your life to fight. It's useless. Holy Maiden. An elderly woman with many wrinkles on her face was holding her crutch, leaning on a trunk and shivering. She looked at Chu Yanqing from a distance. Being scrutinized by that elderly woman, Chu Yanqing shook her head helplessly, signaling her not to resist. The elderly woman's body trembled, she let out a dispirited sigh, became obedient, and stopped the useless protest. Among the seven warriors, except for Huameng with the small arrow tattoos and the elder woman Huang Nan of the Heaven Lake Divine Land, the rest of the five warriors were at the Nirvana realm. All of them came from the Heaven Lake Divine Land and the Gu family. This time, they were going to the headquarters of the Three Gods sect to discuss the plan to unitedly deal with the demon dwellers. They had received the information from the Three Gods sect when they were on the way. As they had been informed that the Snow Dragon Island were encountering some problems, so they stopped by to help the people on this island. However, as soon as they had arrived at the island, the elderly woman realized that this thick forest was not normal as she could feel the aura of some low-level warriors of the Wings race and the demonic sound clan. Therefore, the seven of them couldn't help but come here to check. After having crossed through the dense forest, they finally met the people of the Wings race and the demonic sound clan, and almost right after that, they saw Gu Ling Lung and Chu Yan Ching. Gu Ling Lung was the hope of the Gu family's new generation. Chu Yanqing was the holy maiden of the Heaven Lake Divine Land. Both of them were the brilliant warriors of their forces. Although Huameng and Huang Nan had the Sky Realm cultivation base, together with the five Nirvana Realm warriors, they could still not have any advantages when facing the powerful people of the Demonic Sound Clan and the Wings race. Dishan and Yuro didn't even take any actions nor glanced at those seven warriors. They continued discussing matters that were related to the Grey Wings clan's patriarch position with Duo Mao. They then cast the mission of dealing with those seven warriors to Ka Bie and Ye Meng. As Ka Bie and Ye Meng didn't know of these people origins, they had immediately used their souls to send out the message to Yi Tian Mo to ask for Shi Yan's opinion. After having received the response, they nodded their heads, and Huameng and Huang Nan became their prisoners, unsurprisingly in no time. Please do not eradicate them. Gu Ling Lung secretly gritted her teeth staring at Ka Bie and said, I have told them not to resist. Won't you stop using the soul oppression? Although the seven of them had given up in opposing, the Sky Realm warriors of the Demonic Sound clan still didn't receive the order from Ka Bie and Ye Meng to stop doing so, thus they continued using their violent soul oppression on these human warriors. In the range of ten meters surrounding these seven people, 
the mind-shaking soul oppression was still smothering the entire area. As they were stuck inside of this soul oppression, Huameng's and Huang Nan's bodies kept trembling, while the other five warriors tragically, had already gushed out mouthfuls of blood. The demonic sound clan's understanding of spiritual Upanishads was way too advanced than that of the human warriors. As soon as the sea of consciousness had been formed, many of the demonic sound clan's people started to cultivate different pagan spirit skills. Their attacks were mostly aimed at their enemy's sea of consciousness and soul. This kind of attack was extremely terrifying, and easily destroyed their enemy's spirit. The five Nirvana realm warriors bearing clearly proved that their seas of consciousness had been seriously harmed. If it continued like this, these five people would shortly collapse. Once their cultivation base perished, and the host soul was destroyed, they would be completely dead, no one could save them. Be obedient a little bit. Ka Bia coldly harumphed, then nodded with his Sky Realm warriors. Spare their lives for now. If anyone is rebellious, destroy their host soul right away. As these words came up, Huameng's and Huang Nan's faces turned pale, horrible light then beamed out from their eyes. Aiming at destroying their opponents' bodies was the essential attacking method of all the human high class warriors in a battle at the Kyra Sea. They normally wouldn't attack their opponents' souls. Attacking soul, this was extremely terrifying. A normal Sky Realm warrior wouldn't just freely use the soul to fight no matter how much hatred they got. It was because once the attacking soul was used, it was difficult to stop. Both sides would easily fall into danger where their souls would be destroyed forever. If a body was seriously injured, or even slashed into pieces, it still could be hopefully revived. However, once the host soul was destroyed, the living mark would be completely deleted and the revival would be totally impossible. Therefore, this kind of soul fight rarely happened at the Kyra Sea. However, Huameng and Huang Nan were always oppressed by the soul attack after having arrived this island. Since the beginning, their seas of consciousness were occupied little by little. Actually, the demonic sound clan had never attacked their opponents' bodies. This abnormal issue scared Huameng and Huang Nan out of their wits. They couldn't figure out what kind of people these pagans were after all. Don't even think about running away. Yameng burst into laughing, said, with the sole capacity of the seven of you, if you have any thoughts of running away, you absolutely won't be able to escape from my soul sense. Let me warn you, even if you only just slightly move, I will immediately ruin your soul so that you know what soul and spirit both perished are. Huameng and Huang Nan were so terrified that they didn't dare to act recklessly anymore. They only looked at Gu Linglung and Chu Yanqing with astonishment, and seemingly wanted to know from their ladies who these pagans were. Haiza, we can't tell everything just by a few words. Gu Linglung's face looked miserable with full of depression and dreariness. As we entered the chasm battlefield this time, we've never met any good events, we even nearly lost our lives there. Gu Linglung softly told Huameng and Huang Nan about what they had gone through. Ka Bia and Yameng glanced at them with a look of utter despise, didn't prevent, nor care about them. Instead, they continued to communicate with Yi Tian Mo on the other side. The Kale clan. Shi Yan and Yi Tian Mo were sitting still on the spot didn't say anything further to Yi En. After having known that the Sky Realm warriors of the Gu family and the Heaven Lake Divine Land would arrive to help them, Yi En was very happy and busy with the arrangement. Three days had passed by. All the forces on the Snow Dragon Island had eventually finished their preparations. Boats were ready. The ordinary residents of the island were all arranged to board the boats. Everything was ready, except for the east wind. Chinese idiom, east wind equals right time or something triggering. Yi En and Wu Kei were waiting for the warriors of the Gu family and the Heaven Lake Divine Land to come. They had even sent their guys to find those warriors as they wanted to leave this island as soon as possible. Time was tight for them. After having received the message from Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie, Ye Meng, the other people hid deep inside of the forest and also activated the soul formation technique at the same time. Thus, the warriors of the Snow Dragon Island, 
who had been sent to find the warriors of Gu family and the Heaven Lake Divine Land, had to come back with nothing. Yen and Wu Kei started to be worried and didn't know what was going on. They transmitted their messages to the Three Gods sect to ask, but the Three Gods sect had no information either. They only asked for Yen and Wu Kei to continue to wait. But, they had no more time to wait. Eventually, Yen and Wu Kei had to come back to Xi Yan and begged him to send some escorts over to help them. No problem. Xi Yan excitedly replied. It will take around ten days to sail from here to the chaotic wind sea. As you are ready, I will send my guys to the harbor to help you cross the chaotic wind sea safely. Xi Yan, thank you Ji, Chinese way to call an older brother, dot. Linda chuckled, looking at Xi Yan with loving eyes. No problem. Xi Yan's expression was calm. You should leave now. When you arrive at the harbor, you will see my guys over there. Ah, are you sure there is no one left on this island? No, no. Everyone is leaving. Yian nodded constantly, thought to himself, who dares to stay here? Is there anyone having the guts to fight against the demon dwellers? Linda, you should leave as well. I will temporarily stay on this snow dragon island. But don't worry. I will go to the Three Gods sect, and I will meet with you there. Shi Yan comforted Linda. Linda nodded submissively and then left with Yi En. Wait until Yi En, Wu Kei and their people left to go to the harbor, Shi Yan looked at Yi Tian Mo, nodded and said, All right, you call our people to come here. From now on, the Snow Dragon Island is ours. Half of a day later. Dishan, Yuro, and the pagans of the demonic sound clan and the wings race spread out from the forest, appearing at the adjacent cities and villages of the Kale clan's places. Houses, which had originally belonged to the three big clans, now became the shelters for the people of the demonic sound clan and the wings race. After having got out of that abandoned land, they finally had a rest stop for themselves. Bring them here. Shi Yan was standing on the top floor of the three-level pavilion, gently commanding Yi Tian Mo at his side. Not long after that, Hua Meng, Huang Nan and the other five warriors of the Gu family and the Heaven Lake Divine Land were escorted over. The group of Cao Zhilan, Chu Yanqing, and Gu Linglong also walked in. They all looked at Shi Yan with full of hatred and didn't know what he really wanted this time. Send the message to your leaders. Tell them that the Yang family's members have returned. Shi Yan looked at Hua Meng and Huang Nan and said with a smirk. He pointed at Di Shan, Yi Tian Mo and continued, These are the Yang family's allies from the Chasm battlefield. Tell your leaders if they still need and care about you, that they should come to the Snow Dragon Island. Chapter 280, Awaiting the Emperor the Wind Cloud Island located in the middle of the two power ranges of the Gu family and the Heaven Lake Divine Land. The Gu family was in the east of the Hen Gluo Sea while the Heaven Lake Divine Land was in the east of the Black Water Sea, and the Wing Cloud Island was in the middle of the two great seas, which were often ravaged by pirates since a long time ago. Because the Heaven and Earth Spirit Aura on the other adjacent islands around the Wind Cloud Island was quite diluted, it was hard to find any high-class warriors among the ordinary residents that were living there. Any warriors who had quite a high cultivation base would not stay there, instead, they went to the other islands, which were under the control of either the Heaven Lake Divine Land or the Gu family to settle down. On the contrary, pirates often traversed these great seas. After they were done with their pillage in one sea, they didn't dare to appear there again. They would temporarily stop and hide on the other adjacent islands because, on one hand, they had to consume the spoils, on the other hand, they were waiting until everything calmed down before leaving. After the Xia family had left the Kyra Sea and put all of their efforts to move every member of their families, their stop was the nearby Wind Cloud Island. The small withered island, where only pirates bothered to step foot on, now became the rescuing shelter for the Xia family. It was easy to see that the Xia family's life was not comfortable at all. Before, the Xia family had depended on the Yang family to be able to earn their living at the Kyra Sea. Because of Yang family's strong power, 
the Xia family was also guilty with many of the other forces. As the Yang family had fallen into decay, the Xia family had been affected as well. They were being oppressed by the Heaven Lake Divine Land, thus their powers had decreasingly declined. When the demon dwellers had invaded, the Xia family had soon avoided them and left the Kyra Sea. However, regardless of either the Hen Gluo Sea or the Black Water Sea, all the forces there had conflicts with the Xia family. If the Xia family took the risk to enter any of these areas, they could have irritated their opponents. The Xia family didn't dare to take the risks given the current situation, thus they finally chose this Wind Cloud Island. However, warriors of Gu family, the Dong Fang family, and the Heaven Lake Divine Land still often went to the Wind Cloud Sea to derange, taunt, and provoke the Xia family. If it weren't because of their biggest concerns which were now the demon dwellers, perhaps they actually would have attacked the Xia family. Xia Shen Chuan was very writhed. He looked frustrated with a gloomy face and knitted eyebrows during this time, whined and sighed all day long. Master, the people of the Gu family and the Heaven Lake Divine Land come again. Should we negotiate with them this time? You see, hiding here is not a solution. Many of our people have started to be impatient. A place like this, even pirates don't want to stay here. It is not suitable for cultivations at all. On a bare hill, Zhou Yu, the Sky Realm Consecrator of the Xia family bent his body, assuaging his master with a forced smile. On this 200-meter tall bare hill, there were no medicinal herbs which could be useful towards their cultivations, nor spirit beasts, the heaven and earth spirit aura was extremely diluted. It was not likely a suitable place for cultivation at all. There were ten bare hills like this all around here where no useful resources could be exploited. There were only a few of low-level small beasts dwelling inside of some further forests around them. No cultivating resources could have been found even if they had killed all of those beasts. The Xia family's people were living in several of the mountain caves that were surrounded by these bare hills, together with some wild nomads. Having been one of the greatest forces of the Kyra Sea, but now, things had changed. The Xia family was now really destitute and extremely ashamed when they were now facing this situation. Before, when they had been in their glorious time, many people of the Xia family were familiar with a life of ease. Their lives, however, had tragically suddenly changed. They couldn't adapt to the miserable life on this island right now, thus many of them wanted to leave. The Gu family and the Heaven Lake Divine Land had recently sent out their messages to the Xia family. They constantly came to seek a marriage alliance between Xia Zinyan of the Xia family and Gu Yu of the Gu family and Feng Hai of the Heaven Lake Divine Land. If the Xia family agreed, the Gu family and the Heaven Lake Divine Land would immediately seed some islands with dense heaven and earth spirit aura for the Xia family's people to reside in. The wish of the Gu family and the Heaven Lake Divine Land had quickly circulated through the entire Wind Cloud Island. Many of the Xia family people, who couldn't stand the miserable life in the Wind Cloud Island anymore, went to beg Xia Shen Chuan to agree with the other two forces in exchanging Xia Zinyan's whole life's happiness for their more comfortable living conditions. Those scumbags! Xia Shen Chuan harumphed. He certainly had heard about this rumor and also knew some abominated faces in his family. Don't let them bother you. Right now, the Kyra Sea's situation is not clear yet. Either the Gu family or the Heaven Lake Divine Land will all aim at the forces in our hands. Seeking a marriage alliance is fake, taking the Xia family to be their human shields is real. Zhou Yu nodded. We can also see through it. But many of our people can't. When they were at the Kyra Sea, they had gotten used to an easy life. Suddenly, they had to move to this wind cloud island, of course, they are in shock with a totally brand new life. I am afraid that after a while, that they would possibly covertly leave here. If it is like that. Xia Shen Chuan's countenance changed. Is this true? Zhou Yu forced a smile and slowly nodded. Xia Shen Chuan's face suddenly became somber. In his eyes appeared a murderous look. Put an eye on them. If they don't obey my orders, just kill one or two of them to threaten the rest, to remind them who is their master. Zhou Yu's body was shaken. 
He said with a trembling voice, Headmaster, if we kill our own people, the situation might get even worse. I don't worry about it too much. Xia Shen Chuan's face was very frigid while speaking. The Kyra Sea's situation is so complicated right now. Neither the Henglua Sea nor the Black Water Sea is surely safe. Once the demon dwellers take action, these so-called formidable forces can even hardly protect themselves, let alone sparing some strength to take care of us. Therefore, if our family agrees to associate with them, we will become their sacrificed objects, the first ones who will fathom the demon dweller fangs. Zhou Yu contemplated for a while, then slowly nodded. The Gu family, at the Thousand Swords Peak. Numerous swords were plunged everywhere on the mountain peak. Under the sunlight, those swords were sparkling and reflected brilliant colorful rainbows. Countless of swords which looked like a sea of swords, among of which somehow vaguely had spirits, some of them had even produced shrieking sounds. This Thousand Swords Peak was the divine land of the Gu family, which had been created by nature thus possessed a miraculous sword nurturing power. Many high qualified swords were forged, then plunged into the Thousand Swords Peak, and aged as it endured the wind, the storm, or the dazzling sunlight. After many accumulating months and years, these swords seemed to have spirits. This was a miracle. No one knew how come the Thousand Swords Peak had this ability. After having had this Thousand Swords Peak, the Gu family immediately took advantage of these swords here in becoming one of the greatest forces of the Kyra Sea. The Thousand Swords Peak could be considered the Gu family's root. An elder man in a blue blouse was sitting straight on the tips of the sharp swords with an emaciated face. In the middle of the numerous dazzling sword lights, his countenance was calm as if he was attentively gathering the swords or as to cultivate some kind of secret scripture. Sword spirits kept flashing on and off from his body mysteriously. Swoosh! A chubby warrior was riding a three-chi one long silver sword, flying across the wind with a fast speed. The ear-piercing sound of the wind suddenly covered the entire Thousand Swords peak. Da ji e tu! Gu Ji's tiptoes poked on the silver sword. He was floating behind the elder man in the blue blouse and respectfully said with a low voice, Hua Meng was arrested when he was on the way to the Three Gods sect. Xiao Ling Lung has also been arrested. The eyebrows of the man in the blue blouse jerked, but his eyes still hadn't opened yet. He said indifferently, Ling Lung's gone to the chasm battlefield, how come is she there? Moreover, who dares to arrest Hua Meng? Have the demon dwellers taken action already? No, Hua Meng sent a message saying that it is, is a man of Yang family who has done so. Gu Ji said. A man of the Yang family. The elderly man slightly shouted and eventually opened his eyes. His eyes were profound, completely placid like the water inside of a well. The Yang family still has someone in the Kyra Sea? Hua Meng is ranked at the second sky of the Sky Realm so the person of Yang family who has arrested Hua Meng should have an outstanding reputation. Who is he? You've never met him. Gu Ji shook his head and said. Hua Meng transmitted his message, saying that he is from the Chasm battlefield. That person said that if you want to have your men back, you have to personally go there. He said that I have to go there myself. The elderly man harumphed. Is Yang Qing Emperor there? Yang Qing Emperor isn't there, but Hua Meng, there are certainly some God Realm Warriors there. God Realm Warriors. UMM, he said maybe not only one. Not only one. The eyes of the elder man suddenly shot out numerous sword auras. An endless consecutive explosive sound came out from the peak of the mountain which was opposite to the Thousand Swords Peak. Many lava rocks on that peak were crushed into ashes the peak constantly shook as if it was about to collapse in no time. Gu Ji bowed his head without daring to say anything further. I really have to go there. Gu Xiao, the headmaster of the Gu family, contemplated a little bit before leaping up. Many of the god swords in the sea of swords surrounding them, shrieked and then disappeared into his body. At the same time, Heaven Lake Divine Mother, the headmaster of the Heaven Lake Divine Land had also received the same information. After being astounded for a while, 
she was also decisive in going straight to the Snow Dragon Island from the Heaven Lake Divine Land. Before going to the Snow Dragon Island, Gu Xiao and the Heaven Lake Divine Mother had transmitted that information to the Three Gods sect. Not long after that, the Three Gods sect's forces everywhere were all been updated about the current situation on the Snow Dragon Island. The information of the abnormal incident on the Snow Dragon Island had been transmitted throughout the entire Kyra Sea. The Snow Dragon Island Under the instructions of Di Shan, Yu Ro, Ye Meng, and Yi Tian Mo, the people of the Demonic Sound Clan and the Wings race quickly captured the terrains around the Kale Clan's location. They started to set up shelters and partitions layer by layers, turning this area into a restricted area. In a short time, the flanks of the Snow Dragon Mountain had been dug out to make mountain caves. As the Demonic Sound Clan's people had the icy yin trait, they turned these caves into their cultivation shelters, constantly went in and out to cultivate devotedly. The Wings Race's people had chopped down ancient trees to build wooden houses. With all those activities of the Demonic Sound Clan and the Wings Race, the Snow Dragon Island had some major changes. What do you want to do after all? At a place beside an artificial lake of the Kale clan, Gu Linglung stared at Shi Yan ferociously. The demon dwellers at the Kyra Sea seem to have taken action. The Great Seas are facing a great danger. You should let us go, and unite with us to deal with the demon dwellers. Why do you still want to confine us? Unite with you. Shi Yan smiled frigidly. If it wasn't because of you, the demon dwellers wouldn't have pursued us to the chasm battlefield. You think just because of the demon dwellers invasion, I would pretend as if nothing had ever happened? Uniting with you to deal with demon dwellers? It's ridiculous. So, what, what do you want? Gu Ling Lung felt very chilled inside of her heart and quietly sensed the insecurities. You will know soon. Shi Yan calmly said. Chapter 281 listening to the Earth's movements. The Snow Dragon Island Snow blanketed the entire mountain layer by layer. A gloomy world of snow looked like it had been draped by a silver sheet of cloth. Snowflakes were fluttering around everywhere. In the middle of the snow dune, Shi Yan was standing barefooted like a stone. His eyes were closed tightly as if he was listening to the Earth's sounds. The bitter Earth realm cultivation was tough indeed. Just refining the profound qi alone wasn't enough. After many arduous cultivating days, with the tattoo of the black head lotus on his chest, he just needed to be focused, the speed of the refining profound qi was already much faster than that of an ordinary person. The purity level of the profound qi inside of his body had reached the breakthrough point. He could vaguely feel that he was just one small step away from entering the third sky state. After having asked for Yi Tian Mo's and Di Shan's opinions, he realized that in order to break through the Earth realm, it was necessary for him to connect with the Earth. The Earth under his feet existed for hundreds of thousands of years. Deep inside of the ground contained a lot of wonders and miraculous sounds of movements, which was impossible for ordinary people to feel or discover. However, if the Earth realm warriors mediated and focused, when their mental states were immersed inside of the earth while they released their spirit powers, they congregated the God-purified aura on the ground underneath their feet and relaxed their comprehension. They could definitely sense the earth's sounds of movements. According to Dishan and Yi Tian Mo, there were many kinds of marvelous vibrations inside of the earth. The vibrations of each phase of time and each season were totally different. If the warriors could sense those vibrations clearly as well as created a wonderful connection with them, their comprehension of the earth would enter a whole new world. In order to quickly break through the earth realm, except for training and practicing the profound qi, the soul, and the body, connecting with the earth was indispensable. At the time when the leaders of the Heaven Lake Divine Land and the Gu Gamali hadn't come yet, and Di Shan, Yi Tian Mo were still busy with reforming the Snow Dragon Island, Shi Yan was putting all of his efforts in breaking through the new realm. He wholeheartedly concentrated his mind, bitterly cultivated with the hope that he would soon break through the peak level of the earth realm and enter the nirvana realm. Only when he entered the nirvana realm did he have hopes of controlling the sky-breaking shuttle. 
This peculiar treasure from the abandoned land with its arrogant aura had communicated with him with a spiteful attitude, which had made Shi Yan quietly irritated, but he wasn't able to do anything. Under the freezing weather, Shi Yan had been standing there for three days and two nights already. On the third night, the stars were ambiguous in the dark sky, as the moon was coldly bright and the wind which could chill oneself to the bone were howling like blustering demons. This scene brought along the icy yin aura which spread throughout the entire world. Shi Yan's countenance didn't have any changes. The snow was unceasingly falling, layer upon layer. With millions of snowflakes gently floating around him, before he knew it, he had become a snowman. His sea of consciousness was quiet. The five devils also seemed peaceful. Flows of his soul consciousness were being absorbed into the ground, penetrated thousands of Zhang one deep under the ground until they couldn't go any deeper. After having penetrated thousands of Zhang deep under the ground which then spread out everywhere, his soul consciousness could feel a few of very feeble fluctuating vital living forms. At this depth, there unexpectedly still existed small living entities. This discovery had astonished Shi Yan significantly. With his bare feet on the ground, Shi Yan used both the comprehension of his soul consciousness and his mental powers to sense every single tiny bit of transformations under his feet. Regretfully, after having attentively induced mental comprehension for three days and two nights, he still hadn't got much. He hardly felt the marvelous sounds of the earth's movements, which Di Shan and Yi Tian Mo had mentioned. According to Di Shan and Yi Tian Mo, those sounds of movements were produced every passing second. He just needed to activate his mental comprehension and understand the essence of the Upanishads, he then could use his spirit to feel them. However, Shi Yan was not able to comprehend them right away. An endless chain of mountains surrounded him. A corner of the ice on the peak of the mountain sparked. The matriarch of the White Wings clan, Yu Ro, was standing shoulder to shoulder with Di Shan with a frigid face. From a distance, they both looked at Shi Yan who had been standing in the snowy weather for three days and two nights. The moonlight was like skating blades that shone inclinedly to the earth, which made the surrounding area of the mountain icily brighter. It's already been three days and will be three nights after tonight. Our master's fortitude is really exceptional. Yu Ro spread her small white hands, two snowballs in her hands were sparkling under the moonlight. A flow of freezingly icy aura from the snowballs slowly condensed, the two snowballs compacted and gradually became two transparent snowballs. That's beautiful. The abandoned land never had snow. Yu Ro gently raised her delicate hands, the transparent snowball in her hands gyrated in the air, projecting faint snow-white lights. It has taken me three years to be able to enter the third sky from the second sky of the earth realm. It was because it has taken like forever to be able to use the spirit to comprehend the sounds of the earth's movements. Di Shan clasped his hands behind his back, looking up to the sky as if he was also immersing in his old memories. It took me roughly about two and a half years. Although the sounds of the earth's movements are always produced, it needs a restful mind as well as a highly comprehensive cultivation in order to feel the Earth's rotation. Sometimes, one also needs a bit of luck to be able to feel it. Yu Ro smiled and nodded. That's right. Luck is something that cannot be touched but it really exists. People with good luck will usually be one step ahead compared with the others. Fate is also one kind of God's will. If things follow the will of God, putting forth only half of one's effort could already receive much more achievements than the others. Talk about luck. We still didn't tell him that it would have been best to sense the sounds of the Earth's movements at the place where there were constant seisms. The sound of the Earth's movements is clearest when there is a seism. If he can capture the frequency of the sounds of the Earth's movements, then adjust the frequency vibrations inside of his body to match with the sounds of the Earth's movements he can thoroughly understand them. Also, he will be able to capture the essence of this realm. Di Shan looked at Shi Yan from a distance, and said coldly, sensing the sounds of the Earth's movements when there is a seism is still the unofficial way. I don't think its results are as good as when he uses his mind to comprehend it. I still believe that the perceptions through hardships are the most precious. That's right. 
I believe that he can do it. Perhaps he will be able to enter the peak of the Earth realm shortly afterward. Yu Ro said with a smile. Du Shan gently shook his head, disagreed with her, then said, It's not that easy. The reason his realm has been so quickly enhanced is thanks to our medicinal herbs as well as many of the peculiar treasures inside of his body. Of course, I know that his abilities are exceptional. However, he just entered the second sky of the Earth realm a few months ago. To be able to comprehend the sounds of the Earth's movements in such a short time is obviously impractical. Remember, that you and I have needed almost three years to be able to do so. I still think that his innate abilities are much more than ours. The corner of Yu Ro's mouth beamed out a smile. Didn't you see that old Yi Tian Mo's behavior towards Master has marvelously changed after they had stayed together for a while? At first, even though Yi Tian Mo had vowed to make him his master, the gesture was not really wholehearted. He did it because of the three heaven flames on Master's body. He was afraid that his clan would have perished, that was why he had reluctantly agreed. However, right now, he's changed. I realized that Yi Tian Mo's eyes now have a glimpse of respect when looking at Master. Di Shan contemplated for a long while, then nodded with a suspicious face. That's why I also feel weird about it. I don't know why Yi Tian Mo has started to trust and respect him that much after only five days. Ha ha ha, this is called the enchanting power of the personality. There should be a lot of secrets about Master that we don't know about yet. Among the three leaders of the Demonic Sound clan, Yi Tian Mo is the most cunning and clever one, but he's already changed. So, Ka Bie and Ya Meng will also be truly devoted in no time. Yu Ro smiled deliberately and mumbled to herself. There are some people who were born to have this innate leading ability. Di Shan was astonished. The Wind Cloud Island Inside of the Feral Bear Mountain, a beautiful charming figure suddenly flared up and instantly disappeared. That figure was like the sprite of the forests, that were bewitchingly beautiful, and as subtle as a light breeze. Boom! This figure stepped on the mountain rocks and then lightly flew towards the mountain cave not far from there. After she had flown 100 meters away, an explosion resounded from the mountain rocks which she had just stepped on. The realm is not steady yet. This way of using forces is not precise. Xia Zinyan thought to herself, then she suddenly accelerated and appeared inside of that mountain cave like a faint light zooming over just in a blink. The mountain cavern was not big and the chambers inside of it were sparse. These chambers had been indelicately and primitively built. The heaven and earth's aura was not dense inside of the cave, which was unsuitable for the warrior's cultivations. Around dozens of the warriors of the Xia family were residing inside of the mountain cave. Also, there were roughly ten warriors from the Heaven Lake Divine Land and the Gu family. Besides, an arena had just been set up there, inside of the cave. Among the warriors from the Heaven Lake Divine Land and the Gu family, two young men with handsome and intelligent appearances were the most outstanding ones. Gu Yu of the Gu family had three pieces of the God Sword of the Gu family with him. He was at the second sky of the earth realm. His face was bright and delicate like jade as his manners were bounteous. Feng Hai of the Heaven Lake Divine Land was also ranked at the second sky of the earth realm. He possessed the Black Water Martial Spirit. His physical body was flexible and delicate, as his elegance and appealing appearance even surpassed the girls. While he was standing there, many young girls of the Xia family looked at him with brightened and seducing eyes. They both assessed him and whispered to each other at the same time. Gu Yu and Feng Hai were the two leaders of the new generations of the Gu family in the Heaven Lake Divine Land after Gu Ling Lung and Chu Yan Qing. These two young men had not only prominent appearances but also an outstanding cultivation base. They were the important figures whom the Gu family in the Heaven Lake Divine Land had sent over to seek marriage with Xia Zinyan. The real purpose of this marriage was to control the forces of the Xia family's hands through the marriage. The war with the demon dwellers was coming closer. If they could have the Xia family's forces before the battle, it would be the luckiest thing for the Gu family in the Heaven Lake Divine Land. Xia Zinyan, who was like the sprite of the woods, had agilely descended. 
she was so elegant and noble with her delicate and slender manners. She stood there without saying anything, but she was still like the bright moon in the sky, which drew all the men's eyes. Gu Yu and Feng Hai were arrogantly receiving many flattering compliments from some young men of the Xia family with ignorant gestures. However, after Xia Zinyan had descended, these two young men's eyes brightened up. Their bodies slightly swayed, which was hard to recognize. A gentle smile also appeared on their originally arrogant and frigid faces while they were gazing at Xia Zinyan. Xia Zinyan, let me introduce you. This young man is Gu Yu from the Gu family. This is Feng Hai from the Heaven Lake Divine Land. They are both exceptional youths of the Kaira Sea, they. Xia Rui Xing's face was full of gaiety, he laughed out loud while introducing Gu Yu and Feng Hai to Xia Zinyan. Everything he said about these two men was all compliments. Xia Rui Xing was the collateral branch of the Xia family. As his cultivation base was at the Nirvana realm, he had a high position in Xia family, he even sometimes despised the lineal persons of the Xia family. He was nominally Xia Zinyan's uncle. No need to say more. Xia Zinyan's eyebrows knitted tightly while interrupting his floods of words and coldly said, I know the purpose of their arrival. I am here. Any one of them can win over me, I will satisfy their wishes. If they lose, they have to get the hell out of here, and never ever bother me any more. Everyone's expressions inside of the cave all slightly changed. Chapter 282, Determination Zinyan, don't be rude. Xia Rui Xing slightly shouted with an unpleased face. He said with a low voice while knitting his eyebrows. Once you use the reincarnation martial spirit, you will instantly enter the sky realm. Not to mention Gu Yu or Feng Hai, even I myself, will surely not even be considered as your opponent. How could it be? Gu Yu and Feng Hai were also a little embarrassed and awkwardly smiled without replying. Both Gu Yu and Feng Hai knew about the miracle of the Xia family's reincarnation martial spirit. Once the reincarnation martial spirit was activated, Xia Zinyan's forces would not just simply increase several times its original size, but it could be enhanced one whole higher realm. Although Gu Yu and Feng Hai had a little bit confidence in their own strengths, they knew that they were not able to defeat this peculiar reincarnation martial spirit. Thus, they didn't dare to be a hero in accepting that challenge. Zhou Yu was standing at the side quite far away, frowning while looking at Gu Yu, Feng Hai and the other warriors of the Gu family in the Heaven Lake Divine Land. Xia Shen Chuan hadn't shown up yet. He had just reminded Zhou Yu to pay more attention to the situation here. If there weren't any major issues happened, he would not show up in order to avoid the conflict between the Gu family and the Heaven Lake Divine Land. Hum Yu Feng from the Heaven Lake Divine Land, who had the Nirvana Realm cultivation base, also came this time. He couldn't help but speak up while coldly looking at Xia Zinyan, if you don't use the reincarnation martial spirit, your challenge can be thus considered. But if you win using the reincarnation martial spirit, there is nothing more to say. The spirit aura on this wind cloud island is very diluted. I don't want to stay here for too long. Gu Zheng Yang's face was unpleasant. Gu Yu and the Gu family's powers and conditions is number one or number two at the Hen Gluo Sea now. We've granted the privileges to you when we have degraded ourselves towards making a marriage alliance with you. Don't be too self-conceited. Zhou Yu's countenance suddenly changed. The faces of many of the people of the Xia family also slightly changed. They seemed to be bitterly looking at Gu Zheng Yang indignantly. If the Yang family was still here, if we were still at the Kaira Sea, and if our ancestors hadn't fallen into this insane situation, would the Gu family still have dared to bully us like this? We would have made all of you suffer while crawling on the ground. Every one of the Xia family secretly clenched their teeth while remembering their glorious days at the Kaira Sea, those illustrious days with the Yang family when they had gone forth to conquer the other seas. Regretfully, things had now changed. Their former dignity had left them further and further away. As of now, the Yang family had been in decline. The Yang Tian Emperor had been missing for so long without any news that the people of the Yang family had wandered into many unknown places. The Kaira Sea, 
which had been invaded by demon dwellers, was not their common ground anymore. Meanwhile, the time when their great master was conscious was much less than when he was in his dementia. Thus, it was impossible for him to shoulder the responsibilities of the family. Had eyes. Zhou Yu was among the people, shaking his head while releasing a long sigh. He looked at Xia Xinyan pitifully with a bitter face. Suddenly, Zhou Yu was startled as if he had just realized something. His eyes brightened, staring at Xia Xinyan without even blinking. After quietly releasing his soul consciousness, Zhou Yu slowly sensed everything around him for a while. His eyes got brighter, as his body slightly trembled. The Peak Earth Realm You unexpectedly have reached the Peak Earth Realm. The Xia family had never seen the fact that the realm had such a big improvement in almost just two years. Zhou Yu secretly nodded his head while looking at a mesmerizing figure that was calmly standing among his people. He thought that with that privileged trait, it was understandable why Gu Yu and Feng Hai were such an eyesore. Only those who were in the top of the combat list could catch the lady's eyes. But, the little rascal whom she was missing, was he worthy or not? Who said that I have wanted to use the reincarnation martial spirit? Xia Xinyan's voice was cold, her eyebrows furrowed. I don't need to use the reincarnation martial spirit. I will have a fair fight with you. If you two unite with each other and win over me, I will carefully consider your request. How does this sound? What? Fighting with the two of them alone. Could it not be true? The Xia family's people were clamorous, looking at her with astonishment, wondering how come she could have this kind of offer. Xia Rui Xing got dazed for a while. He then suddenly burst into laughter, clapping his hands and said, That's good. I agree with this offer. Feng Ji, Gu Ji, what do you think? Yu Feng and Gu Zheng Yang laughed out loud with a despising look and slowly nodded. Uer1, don't disappoint our family. Gu Zheng Hai slightly shouted. You fight with her first. Unity is just a joke for the other people. Hmm, the Gu family doesn't need to unite with any others. I believe in you. Gu Yu revealed a delicate smile. He walked to Xia Xinyan with a gentle move. He said with a low voice while his eyes were full of hope, Miss Xia, where do you think is most suitable for the fight? The bear mountain over there. Xia Xinyan's finger pointed at the low bear hill next to them. She swept her neglected eyes towards Gu Yu then to Feng Hai, and said, You two better unite with each other. Otherwise, you will be defeated miserably. Then don't blame me for not reminding you. After saying so, she slightly moved, leaped up and flew out more than 100 meters away just in a blink. Feng Ji, I'd like to go first. Gu Yu clasped his hands towards Feng Hai with a faint smile. Then, he immediately turned into a fading shadow flying towards Xia Xinyan's direction. The eyes of Zhou Yu, Xia Rui Xing, Feng Hai and Gu Zheng Yang all flared up, looking towards the Bear Mountain. A vibration which was like an earthquake came out from the Bear Mountain all of a sudden. Lava rocks from that mountain constantly erupted into rubble, scattering everywhere in the sky. Rubble was densely dispersing. Zhou Yu and the other people from more than a thousand meters away could only feel a collision power from that hill, but they couldn't see what was happening there. An ear-splitting explosive sound constantly reverberated from the bare mountain. After one minute, the sound had stopped. Swoosh! Gu Yu was thrown out from that thick mist of rubble with torn clothes and a dirty face. The armor on his body, which looked like silver fins, had been riddled with holes. From those holes, it could be vaguely seen of many open wounds, which were deep to the bones. Boom! Gu Yu feebly fell down to a meadow of weeds at the foot of the bare mountain. His appearance was extremely miserable, as his face was ashen with confused eyes. UER! Gu Zheng Yang was livid with rage, shouting, You said that you wouldn't use the reincarnation martial spirit. That girl really wants to die. Since you are unreasonable like this, don't blame us for not going easy on you. Gu Zheng Yang shouted angrily as if he wanted to storm over inside of the bare mountain to kill Xia Zinyan. Zhou Yu harumphed coldly. 
his figure suddenly appeared in front of Gu Zheng Yang. He knitted his eyebrows and said, I've been staying with the Xia family for many years, so I know very well the sign when the reincarnation martial spirit has been used as the back of my hand. Although I have carefully watched for a long while, Our Lady actually has not used the reincarnation martial spirit. Didn't use the reincarnation martial spirit. Gu Er cannot be that bad. Gu Zheng Yang obviously didn't believe it. He revealed a frigid smile and said, She's used some way to hide it from you and then secretly used the reincarnation martial spirit. I don't believe you. Don't. Right at this time, Gu Yu shouted weakly, cocked his head and dolefully said, She, she hasn't used the reincarnation martial spirit indeed. What? Gu Zheng Yang was startled. Feng Hai. The rebel in the sky gradually disappeared. Xia Zinyan's heart-stirring figure reappeared. She was standing on the bare mountain, looking towards Feng Hai from the distance, then coldly said, Your turn. Feng Hai's face had slightly changed. He suddenly laughed out loud and then leaped up and flew towards the bare mountain. Boom boom boom. Another earth-shaking explosive sound echoed. From numerous rebels scattering all over the sky, Feng Hai's skinny body bounced right off even faster than Gu Yu's. Feng Hai fell down next to Gu Yu, wiped the trickle of blood away from the corner of his mouth while shaking his head with miserable eyes. Miss Ya, you are really dangerous. I think the top five of the combat list are not your match even if they were here. Based on what Miss Ya has performed today, you can easily be on the top three of the combat list. I, Feng Hai, know that I could not possibly defeat Miss Xia. I will no longer have this kind of thought. I will never come to disturb you again. After speaking, Feng Hai walked away lonely ignoring Yu Feng's question. Gu Zheng Yang constantly changed, angrily looking at the calm and delicate figure atop of the bare mountain. He then nodded firmly after a while, grabbed Gu Yu and shouted, Let's go. Her real realm has reached the peak earth realm. With what she has displayed, she is qualified enough to enter the top three of the combat list. Feng Ha's body suddenly stopped, then talked to Yu Feng who was standing behind him, I have condensed seven drops of the black water, each of which was destroyed by her. Luckily, I had retreated in time, otherwise, I am afraid that I would have ended up with serious injuries like Gu Yu. She was unexpectedly so powerful without even using the reincarnation martial spirit. We have underestimated the Xia family's potential. Yu Feng's face was in total shock. She has reached the peak earth realm. Gu Yu's face was pale white as his eyes showed fear. I am afraid that I am not her match. Xia family wants to take the constraints and punishments instead of favorable proposals. Yu Er, don't think too much. No matter how exceptional the ability of that girl is, the Xia family doesn't have god realm warriors. They had been tremendously declined at the Kyra Sea. Especially that the Xia family used to be united with the Yang family, and always oppressed our Gu family. Right now, as the Yang family is screwed, we obviously won't let go of the Xia family that easily. Gu Zheng Yang's face was serious, frigid light flared up in his eyes. The Xia family's suffering time is not far ahead. The Snow Dragon Island, in the middle of the avalanche. It was unknown since when Shi Yan had been wearing only blue shorts, more than half of his big bare body was exposed. He was intimidatingly standing under the dense falling snow. Suddenly, Shi Yan, who now looked like a dominating statue, slightly shivered with a very tiny amplitude of movement. Along with those slight shivers, sparkling light slowly moved under his skin, which was like small streams of water that gradually gathered at the profound key halo on his belly. A peculiar sound of movements came out from the underground as if it quietly absorbed into his body through his feet. The amplitude of his body's shivers got bigger and bigger. Glorious dazzling lights spread out from his body in a short time, along with his shivers after a while. Seven days, faster than I could have ever imagined. From the snow mountain in the distance, Yuro was a little astonished. She revealed a smile while mumbling to herself. A few paces away from her, Dishan was in shock with an agitated face and brightened eyes. 
Chapter 283, The Peak Earth Realm Ice and snow were growling and the wind was chilled to the bones. Next to the very thick blocks of the iceberg, half of Xi Yan's naked body was slightly shivering. After standing amid the snow and ice for seven days and nights barefooted on the hard icy surface, as well as holding his breath and comprehending, Xi Yan had harvested a lot of achievements. Four fluctuations, which were numerous times less than the flaps of butterflies' wings, deep underground, ordinary people could possibly never ever realize or feel them for their whole life. However, as Xi Yan had been bitterly cultivating for so many years, he had gained spirit aura which far surpassed that of ordinary people. Thus, after a long perseverant time of having used his spiritual sense to perceive, he had finally sensed the heart of the earth. Even though it was minuscule and hard to distinguish, he had successfully sensed it after a long time of concentration in silence. When that extremely tiny movement was transmitted to his sea of consciousness from his bare feet, Xi Yan suddenly processed a miraculous comprehension, which was like a relief from suffering. Even the host soul inside the sea of consciousness was also purified and sublimated. The host soul followed that sound and rippled very subtle moves from the inside of the sea of consciousness. Flows of spirit instinctively immersed in the halo of the profound chi on his belly. So did the soul consciousness. After the fluctuation of the sea of consciousness had appeared, matching with the sound of movements under the earth, the halo, which was originally very dazzling, gradually became clearer and more delicate. While the soul consciousness penetrated the halo, Xi Yan's mind eye, the third eye, absorbed all the profound key halo. He began to see every single of tiny transformations inside it. A world of sparkling lights. This world was floodlit with numerous peculiar shining crystal-like lights. Those countless lights were branched like a giant jade-like transparent tree covering the entire sky verdantly, which secretly contained pure and tremendous profound qi. By using his third eyes, Xi Yan could see everything as clear as in his hand. The world of the profound qi halo gradually appeared inside his heart and then was transmitted into his sea of consciousness. Xi Yan had never thought that the interior of the profound qi halo was wonderful like this. He had used the profound qi every time he fought, but he never knew the place where his profound qi gathering was this radiant and marvelous. Until his mind and heart had immersed in it completely, he now had a sensational feeling from the bottom of his heart due to this miraculous and stupendous spectacle. Numerous fulgent branches bound together to form a giant transparent ancient tree trunk. Purified profound qi, which was contained inside each of those branches, radiated brilliant marvelous lights. However, the transparent ancient tree trunk didn't have any leaves nor fruits. Even the roots were extremely small. This seemed to be just the beginning of the tree with the primitive shape, as it had not reached the best stage yet. Roar roar roar! There appeared very small movements in his sea of consciousness. These movements were like the minuscule movements of the earth. In return to the movements of this radiant ancient tree trunk, its branches also waved rustlingly. Xi Yan could vaguely hear some sound. Following the movements of this ancient tree trunk, each branch luminesced glitteringly. Dense profound qi turned into many beams of lights flying freely in this radiant world. He urged the profound qi subconsciously. While his spirit was still immersing in the profound qi, many flows of lights were flying freely inside the transparent ancient tree trunk suddenly started to shot out of to the edge of the tree. Right after that, Xi Yan instantly realized that the purified profound qi was massively spreading out from the halo of the profound qi. The ancient tree trunk luminesced brilliantly. Each transparent branch was slightly swung, releasing numerous lights out of that ancient tree trunk, which ruined the marvelous and miraculous halo of profound qi. They then turned into the original profound qi, which was the forces he had used in combats. Everything had turned to be clear. After having comprehended for only a short while, Xi Yan already knew the scene deep inside the halo of the profound qi, the place where profound qi had been hidden, as well as the containing form, the orbit, and the way to urge them. As being able to comprehend easily, when he wasn't well prepared yet, he felt his body shaking violently and the sound frequency of the movements being transmitted from under the earth. 
movements inside of his sea of consciousness had matched with the movements of the transparent ancient tree trunk. The host soul was submerged in the essence. He had entered the third sky of the earth realm as easy as flipping his hand over. He now could easily feel the sound of the earth's movements with his bare feet on the ground. Stretching his arms and opening his hands, Shi Yan urged the profound qi and then condensed them into the life seal. Seven sparkling seal blocks were suddenly formed with the speed that was twice faster than normal. With a violent impetus that seemingly wanted to break mountains, the life seals shrieked and shot out, engraving on the snow mountain. Boom boom boom! The ear-splitting explosion immediately came up from the mountaintop. Sharp icicles, which looked like sabers, were smashed into pieces. Chopping board-size icebergs splattered everywhere under the cold moon and then rolled down massively to the foot of the mountain. Shi Yan in the soul blue shorts was bowing his head in silence, thinking of something in the chilling moonlight atop a freezing and empty mountain. Yu Ro and Di Shan were standing almost 1,000 meters away, looking towards his general direction with serious faces. They didn't speak, as they were afraid it would disturb him. Long after that when the moon had gradually moved and almost disappeared, Shi Yan put on his blue clothes, and then deliberately walked towards the snow mountain which had been struck down. One of his hands placed on the tip of the sharp icicle and quietly sensed it. What? Yu Ro slightly shouted and casually threw the sparkling snowball, which she had just created, away. Master seems to discover something. Should we go there and check? Di Shan nodded and slowly spread out his anomalous five or six meter long black ink wings. They were slightly swinging. Di Shan looked like a demon from hell with frigid aura, his pupils looked cold hearted and aggressive. Yu Ro's mouth revealed a faint smile from a corner. Her snow white wings hadn't opened yet. After slightly swaying her mesmerizing body, she gradually vanished from the snow mountaintop. When she reappeared, she had been already at Shi Yan's side, bowing her head, walking close to Shi Yan and gently asked, Master, what did you find out? Di Shan was a little further away from Shi Yan, strangely looking at Shi Yan's hand placing on the tip of the icicle. Shi Yan was contemplating with his closed eyes, seemed to think of something. He didn't raise his head and still kept his current posture, Shi Yan, with his eyes closed tight sent the spirit aura of the ice-cold flame inside the blood vein ring into the tip of the icicle. This spirit aura then groped along the icicle and went into the deepest place inside the snow dragon mountain. The ice-cold flame was the heaven flame with the icy trait in heaven and earth. However, in this miraculous world, creatures with the icy trait were not only the ice-cold flame alone. Besides humankind and pagans, this mysterious unpredictable world also had strange powerful creatures which were similar to the heaven flames. Beasts were one of those creatures, but they were also the most ordinary ones. It was not that I've found out something. After a while, Shi Yan knitted his eyebrows while raising his head, glanced at Yu Ro and Di Shan who were very curious, then explained, it is the heaven flame with the icy trait inside my body. When I've sent my soul consciousness into the snow dragon mountain, through its delicate icy spirit aura, my soul consciousness can feel another icy creature which is similar to it. Dishan's and Yu Ro's countenance was in shock. Patriarch Dishan, call Yi Tian Mo, Ya Meng, and Ka Ba to come here. The demonic sound clan's knowledge of souls is much better than your wings races. I will instruct them. Hopefully they can find out something. After contemplating for a while, Shi Yan said seriously, we can stay on the Snow Dragon Island for a while. During this time, we have to thoroughly understand the entire Snow Dragon Island like the back of our hands. There shouldn't arise any unpredictable things out of our expectation. You can address me by my name. Di Shan slightly bent down, respectfully moved backward. You don't need to be so formal with him. Yu Ro smiled straightened herself up, taking a few steps back and then said, I know Di Shan, once he's decided something, he would never regret it. Even if that decision is wrong, he will still carry it out till the end. She paused then continued speaking. Therefore, as he's already vowed to make you his master, he wouldn't change it. 
No matter how much disappointing your future might be, if you are not dead, he will never break his vow. He pledges to take it as a bad luck but will never break his words. You don't need to be worried about him. Shi Yan's pupils sparked a strange light. He immediately knitted his eyebrows, I still should keep the respect for them. Although you guys have made me your master and called me master, Di Shan, and Yi Tian Mo are still my predecessors. This doesn't change now, and will not change in the future either. Even if I surpass them one day, this will still remain unchanged. Yu Ro's beautiful eyes brightened. She was a little bit touched, slowly nodded and said with a low voice, My choice is not wrong. Being able to follow you might be a lucky thing for all of us. Shi Yan shook his head, then said with a smile, I am your disturbance for now, completely not a lucky charm or something like that. However, I will try my best and hope the future would not make you regret the decision you've made today. After saying, Shi Yan retracted the hand placing on the tip of the icicle, closed his eyes and sent the message to the ice-cold flame, How is it going? Under the mountain, there is a kind of spirit aura which is very similar to me. But, it is hiding very deep inside. If that creature really exists, it is probably in a very deep sleep. The entire spirit aura on its body has been hidden, which is very hard to be found out. If I can't get out of this damn ring, I myself will not be able to identify exactly its location. The ice-cold flame's reply made Shi Yan knit his eyebrows tightly. He said with a shocking face. If you said so, there are peculiar things inside of the Snow Dragon Mountain for real. Maybe. The ice-cold flame hesitated for a while and then continued, there is another possibility. Maybe that creature has left already, and the spirit aura I am feeling is just some remnants. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. The chilly wind was torn apart as some figures quietly appeared one by one. Dishan and other three leaders of the demonic sound clan all gathered in front of Shi Yan. After shooting a quick glance, Yi Tian Mo bent his body, respectfully said with a shocked face, Congratulations Master, you have taken one more step into the peak earth realm. Based on your strength and innate ability, hopefully, you will reach the nirvana in two or three years. Ka Bie and Ya Meng were a little surprised, staring at Shi Yan for a while before congratulating him. Shi Yan calmly waved his hand to prevent them from flattering. He pointed at the shining tip of the icicle and quickly went straight to the point, this snow dragon island has a peculiar thing. According to the heaven flame inside my body, there exists a creature with the icy trait on this island. The ability to sense the souls of the three of you is extremely powerful. So, use your ability to search carefully if there is this peculiar thing for real. Yes. Yi Tian Mo's group of three and other two bent their bodies and then immediately sat down cross-legged, closed their eyes and started sensing. Chapter 284, Visitors Yi Tian Mo's group of three and the other two were sitting on the ground with serious faces. Although there weren't any flows of profound qi moving on their bodies, the snow where they were sitting cross-legged started to melt. Their fluctuating souls penetrated into the earth, spreading widely deep inside the snow dragon mountain. The body of the demonic sound clan's people was different from that of humankind, as it possessed the yin attribute. Their body structure was built to be able to bring out the most of their soul forces. Three of them were the three leaders of the demonic sound clan. Their knowledge of the host soul and the sea of consciousness was far surpassed that of Shi Yan, Di Shan, and Yu Ro. Even the high-class god realm warriors of the Kyra Sea would be persuaded in terms of the knowledge of the host soul when facing these three leaders. If having the soul fighting directly with them, the possibility of the Kyra Sea's warriors getting defeated was 80 or 90 percent. The feeble fluctuating souls, which even Shi Yan, Di Shan, and Yu Ro couldn't recognize, were moving slowly around the snow dragon mountain then gradually went deep inside the mountain, penetrating the foot of the mountain to sense the icy living movements of special creatures existing there. On the snow dragon mountain, there obviously existed some creatures, some fourth level, fifth level beasts, or insects hiding deeply underground. As long as these creatures were still alive, they all emitted living fluctuations. 
When Yi Tian Mo's group of three projected soul fluctuations, they realized numerous responses from lives immediately. At this moment, their spiritual souls were moving all around the Snow Dragon Mountain, so they could sense all the creatures' lives. Among those countless living fluctuations, finding one with the icy attribute, which was hiding deeply inside as well as extremely powerful, was not an easy job. With his soul consciousness being wide opened and his mind being calmed, Shi Yan could feel a minuscule fluctuation. This fluctuation came from deep inside of the earth, which was like a special beating heart of the Grace mainland. However, as this fluctuation was in a very far distance, when it was transmitted to his feet, it was already very weak and hard to feel. But, he still could sense it. Therefore, the miraculous fact that Shi Yan's host soul was on the same melody with the sound of the earth's movements had stirred up his sea of consciousness. Also, the halo of the profound Qi inside his body had magical transformations accordingly. Everything led to the breakthrough to the third sky of the earth realm, very close to the Nirvana realm. Although Shi Yan had been observing for a long time and hadn't got anything yet, still, he wasn't despondent. He refined and condensed the heaven and earth aura by himself and poured the aura into the blackhead lotus tattoo on his chest with the speed that was several times faster than that of the other warriors at the same level. After the spiritual aura had been gathered and refined into profound chi, it slowly ran into the halo of profound chi on his belly. Without wasting any of the vitality, he made use of a little amount of free time to cultivate. Every time the realm was upgraded to another level, the demand for the profound chi became extremely avid. At this time, cultivating bitterly and patiently would be good for the quick increase of profound chi. While the dense heaven and earth aura poured into his chest, Shi Yan quietly sensed the transformation of the blackhead lotus tattoo, he then calmly and carefully circulated the heaven and earth aura inside the tattoo. Oh! A miraculous fresh feeling suddenly appeared at the tattoo on his chest. Dense heaven and earth aura around the snow dragon mountain gathered at the tattoo on his chest, then transformed slowly. Fresh aura, which was like the icy aura, started flowing out and getting into his body. After having felt this aura carefully, he could see many beams of cold aura moving inside his vessels, slowly converging into the halo of the profound chi on his belly. That fresh aura was not as strong as that of the ice-cold flame but still very freezing. When it moved inside his vessels, Shi Yan vaguely felt the moving forces inside his nerves became sluggish. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. Strange vibration suddenly came out from Shi Yan's body. The fresh aura hiding inside his vessels began twisting to each other and then condensing. Twitter 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 The fresh aura was absorbed into his body quickly, condensed at one place as if it just turned to be a small icy loach creeping through every corner of his body and searching for something. That spirit creature rapidly glided, ran back and forth inside his vessels. Shi Yan's soul consciousness followed it closely. It dashed non-stop wandering around inside his body, and then slowly advanced towards the finger, which was wearing the blood vein ring. Please visit. What? Shi Yan got startled. As soon as he vaguely figured out something, he instantly sent out the message to the ice-cold flame. There is an aura, which is similar to yours, dashing toward that direction. Can you try to sense it? A chilled to bone aura spread out from the blood vein ring, his finger quickly turned into a sparkling ice crystal just in a blink of an eye. Many flows of small black ice flashed up on his finger one by one and then suddenly rolled towards the freezing little rascal that looked like a loach and covered that little rascal immediately even before he could have any reactions. Chomp! The little rascal, which had been condensed by the fresh aura turned into a tiny white fiber and flew out of his finger all in a sudden. It then penetrated deeply into the earth just in a blink. The icy aura underground is moving to the inside of the earth. Follow it. Shi Yan shouted while his body was slightly shaken. Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie, and Ya Meng, who were sitting cross-legged, suddenly opened their eyes wider, looking to the direction which Shi Yan's finger was pointing at, nodded their heads and put all of their powers to pursue that icy aura. It is running away from me. The ice-cold flame inside the blood vein ring slightly swung turning to a chilled to bone white flame. 
I can feel its aura and it also can sense that I am probing it at the same time. It is very cunning, didn't try to find me right away. Instead, it separated its aura into many parts, then made use of the time when you were condensing heaven and earth aura to penetrate your body quietly and converged inside of your body afterward. Its ability to use the power is not less than mine at all. I see aura, slithery like a loach. Shi Yan mumbled to himself. Suddenly, his eyes brightened up, he quietly thought, is it possibly an icy crystal bone dragon? In legends, the snow dragon island used to be a lair of an icy crystal bone dragon. Did you find out any beast's aura? Icy crystal bone dragon. The ice cold flame mused for a while as though it didn't agree with Shi Yan's opinion. It doesn't look like one. The icy crystal bone dragon is a low intellectual creature. Even if it reaches the eighth level, its ability to use its own forces is not as good as that little rascal's. Perhaps it isn't the icy crystal bone dragon. Shi Yan would not be persistent to oppose the ice cold flame's opinion because, obviously, his understanding of beasts isn't as thorough as that of the ice cold flame. He got the knowledge related to the icy crystal bone dragon through the legend being told by Linda. Thus, he couldn't know about it as well as the ice cold flame. I still feel that that guy doesn't look like a beast. Because beasts are very big, if there is a beast inside this mountain for real, it is easy to be discovered. The ice cold flame contemplated for a while and continued, you should be careful. If that guy can use the ice cold aura that's skillful, its forces should be definitely extremely powerful. If it rebels, it's not easy to deal with. Shi Yan nodded quietly. When Shi Yan and the Ice Cold Flame were communicating, Yi Tian Mo's group of three was still searching for the peculiar icy force, which had gone into the earth. Shi Yan quietly observed the three of them, realized that they always knitted their eyebrows tightly as if things were not going well. Yi Tian Mo suddenly glowered, his eyes beamed out a light. Shi Yan looked nervous while asking. Did you find anything? Yi Tian Mo nodded but then shook his head. Under Shi Yan's suspicious look, he said, I've found out something indeed, but it isn't related to the icy aura that's gone into the earth. Instead, there are high-class god realm warriors coming to the Snow Dragon Island. High-class god realm warriors. Shi Yan mumbled to himself and faintly smiled. We have some visitors then. Save this for later. Let's go and see who those visitors are. Ya Meng and Ka Bia also retrieved their soul forces after having heard Shi Yan's words. Their faces looked confused and dispirited. It's really weird. The souls of three of us still couldn't identify its exact location. This kind of creature is very good at hiding, definitely isn't the low intellectual beast. Ka Bia contemplated a little bit and then said, Luckily, we are still on this island. I can use one secret scripture next time. Perhaps we can get something then. After having heard this, Ya Meng and Yi Tian Mo seemed to come up with something, their eyes suddenly brightened. Shi Yan also noticed Ka Ba's confidence, but he didn't dig into this topic anymore. He said with a smile, Let's go to see our visitors. An elder man in a blue blouse and an indulgent elder woman were walking shoulder by shoulder in the void of the Snow Dragon Island. There seemed stairs under their feet leading down to the ground. This is the first time I've come to this snow dragon island. Ah, there seems many shelters have been arranged. Most of these shelters are to limit the exploration of the soul. It's quite exceptional indeed. The elder man in the blue blouse nodded slowly, then talked to the elder woman. You tell me, the remnants of Yang family really come from the chasm battlefield this time. Both of the two demon kings have confirmed that Yang Tian Emperor is confined in the fourth demon area. The elderly woman's face turned serious. I've never heard that the fourth demon area and the chasm battlefield are linked together. Moreover, even if they connect to each other, Yang Tian Emperor can't get out anyway. We don't know who the high-class god realm warriors on this island are after all. In this unsettled situation, Yang family has come to make a mess. Hmm, it is really a headache. The elderly man in the blue blouse forced a smile, shaking his head. 
a small beam of sword light flared up in his eyes. He talked to the elderly woman, if this gives us more troubles, we should unite with each other to preclude this potential danger before the demon dwellers come. What do you think? The elderly woman said with a serious face. Besides you and me, the guy from the Three Gods sect might also come here shortly. I've heard there isn't only one God Realm warrior here. If it is true, we should be careful. I just don't believe that there are God Realm warriors for real. Perhaps it was only our people's illusion that made them mistake the fake God Realm warriors and the true ones. I think so. The elder man in the blue blouse smiled and said. Chapter 285, Confrontation The Snow Dragon Island wasn't too hot even during the afternoon. Especially in the adjacent area of the Snow Dragon Mountain, cool breezes blowing from the mountain made the people living at the foot of the mountain feel very fresh and comfortable. Inside of a four-story wooden house, the two Sky Realm warriors, Huameng and Huang Nan from the Gu family and the Heaven Lake Divine Land, were sitting opposite to the other two young warriors Gu Linglong and Chu Yanqing. Cao Zhilan, He Ching Man, and Pan Zhe were sitting at another place, eating fruits with complicated faces. After Huameng and Huang Nan had delivered the message as Xi Yan had requested, they were still very curious about what had happened to Gu Linglong and Chu Yanqing. They kept asking and finally got some information about the ambiguous origins of the demonic sound clan and the wings race. They felt frightened inside of their hearts. The Kyra Sea was suffering the menace from the demon dwellers, now the demonic sound clan and the wings race suddenly came here from the chasm battlefield. Moreover, these two tribes also had high-class warriors which astonished Huameng and Huang Nan very much. They didn't know what the demonic sound clan and the wings race had wanted after all. Our headmen will come here shortly. Until then, hopefully, nothing would happen. Huameng looked at Gu Linglong with a confused face and said, Our headman has been always arrogant, meanwhile the competence of the demonic sound clan and the wings race is still unclear. If he gets angry, perhaps he will fight with these two tribes. If it is to be so, the situation will be hard to settle. Gu Linglong obviously understood Gu Xiao's personality, she nodded and said, I hope our headman can sense the abnormalities on the island. Chu Yanqing's picturesque eyebrows knitted while she quietly released a sigh as she also worried for the Divine Mother Yu Qin, who didn't know of the situation on the island yet. Pan Zhe and Cao Zhilan were sitting near there. After having survived through many soul experiments which had been carried out by Shi Yan, Pan Zhe's spirit was extremely down, he had lost his former manners from before. As of now, every time that he saw Shi Yan, he instantly felt cold-hearted within his trembling soul. When they were at the abandoned land, Shi Yan had considered him his most regular experimental test subject, who had suffered the most from all of his dangerous soul experiments. Those days were Pan Zhe's most dismal nightmares in his life, of which he didn't dare to think of again. Every time he thought about Shi Yan, he couldn't help but clenched his teeth angrily. Nonetheless, he still really had a big fear of Shi Yan. When you return home, what is your plan? Cao Zhilan was the calmest one. Her charming face didn't have any glimpses of anger. She was not hasty, concerned, nor displayed any redundant feelings. Pan Zhe, I'd like to give you an advice. What? Pan Zhe's haggard eyes slightly flared up a lively light. He forced a miserable smile looking at the beautiful girl next to him, what advice? Don't think about taking revenge on Qi Yan. You are not able to deal with him. Cao Zhilan hesitated a little bit before speaking with a low voice. Pan Zhe's lips slightly shivered, subconsciously looking out of the window. He shook his head and said, Did that bastard do something to my body? You could realize it that is so, right? Cao Zhilan's beautiful eyes contained distraught commiseration. She gently nodded her head and said, I think he has placed some typical formation technique inside of our souls. Even if that formation technique was precluded, it still leaves the obsession deep inside your spirit. If you confront him in the future, I don't think you have any chances of winning. 
Pan Zha could only reveal a forced smile as he knew that her words were all true. He bowed his head dolefully, released a sigh and mumbled to himself, he is a monster. It is harder to deal with him than with the Yang people. I hope I won't see him again in the future, considering that I am scared of him. Cao Zhilan was surprised, gazing at him for a while. She now realized that Shi Yan had used psychical means to destroy the leader-to-be of the Pengle Divine Land. She couldn't help but have a wonderful feeling. The elderly man in the blue blouse and Divine Mother Yu Qin of the Heaven Lake Divine Land were walking in the void, slowly stepping down from the sky and appeared in front of the wooden house where Hua Meng and Huang Nam were staying. Gu Xiao, with white hair on his two temples and a blue headscarf on his head, looked like an elegant scholar. As soon as they had descended onto the ground, he immediately shouted, Where is the owner of this place? Yu Qin had a charming manner. As the laps of her clothes fluttered, her whole body exposed a wholly graceful aura, her bottomless eyes also displayed an outstanding wisdom. After the two of them had descended, they quietly released their soul consciousness that covered the entire Snow Dragon Island. However, after their soul consciousness had at once spread out over the entire island, they didn't discover any auras of the God Realm Warriors nor even the auras of the Sky Realm Warriors. This had surprised Gu Xiao and Yu Qin very much. They became to be more cautious. Before coming here, they had received information from Huameng and Huang Nan stating that there were God Realm warriors on this island and that they were not only ones. Because of this message, the two of them, who could have stirred up the entire ocean with only one stomp, humbled themselves to come here. Although they didn't really believe that there were God Realm warriors on this island, they did believe that this place should have Sky Realm warriors who were only one step away from the God Realm. However, since they had arrived on this island, not only didn't they get anything but also didn't sense any powerful living fluctuations. These facts startled them a lot. As Huameng and Huang Nan, who were inside the four-story wooden house, heard the shouts of Gu Xiao and Yu Qin. Yet they couldn't help but speak up to reply them. However, they realized that the sounds of their voices couldn't go through the marvelous silver halo of this wooden house. Outside of the house existed some kind of soul defensive formation, which could prevent souls from investigating and discovering what was inside of the house. Thus, other people couldn't sense their auras even though they were near in a very short distance. Don't try any further. When Huameng and Huang Nan were trying to shout, Cao Zhilan suddenly stood up, quietly walked to the window, and looked out towards Gu Xiao and Yu Qi. Her beautiful face displayed a shocked and frightened look, Gu Xiao, the headman of the Gu family and Yu Qin, divine mother of the Heaven Lake Divine Land, who both have a tremendous cultivation base of the first sky of the spirit realm, still couldn't locate our existence. This is... Cao Zhilan stopped speaking, but all of the other people's faces in the house had changed dramatically, as their hearts frantically beat, their eyes couldn't help but display fear. Impossible, absolutely impossible. Gu Ling Lung mumbled to herself and didn't believe that it was true. Great Grandfather has the spirit realm cultivation base, how come he can't find out that we are in here, at such a short distance from him? He is definitely doing it on purpose. Right, definitely on purpose. Nothing is impossible. Cao Zhilan took a deep breath. I have always been watching the Demonic Sound Clan. I've realized that this peculiar race has a miraculous soul perception which far surpasses ours. You will not deny in doing this because all of us have already undergone this as well. Ye Meng's body and the profound Qi are not as strong as ours, but he could use his special soul technique to control us as easily as in turning his hand over. This point alone can show how dangerous their spiritual Upanishads are. Pan Zhe slowly nodded and discouragingly said, Lady Cao is right. This race is much better than us in terms of soul potentials. The three leaders of the Demonic Sound Clan all have the God Realm cultivation base. At the same realm with Gu Xiao and Divine Mother, their perception of souls and the sea of consciousness is much more profound than that of the other two. This is the truth, we have to believe it. If it is not true, 
how come Gu Xiao and Divine Mother was not able to discover the defensive formation that the three leaders of the Demonic Sound Clan had arranged? Gu Linglong and Chu Yanqing started to be really worried. A big and imposing figure quickly glided over from the distant snow mountain and appeared in front of Gu Xiao and Yu Qin shortly. I am Shi Yan from the Yang family at the Kai Ara Sea. I would like to greet you two predecessors. Shi Yan clasped his hands together with a respectful manner. He said with a smile, the two of you come here from thousands of miles far away, which has made me very joyful. Shi Yan. Gu Xiao's eyes were like cold sharp swords looking at him and then said with an arrogant manner, I've never met you before. Let the elder of the Yang family come out to talk to me. You are not qualified enough to address me. With a quick glance, Gu Xiao could instantly realize that Shi Yan's cultivation base was only at the third sky of the earth realm. Obviously, he was not worthy enough for Gu Xiao to lay his eyes on or even say anything further. Let my people go first. Yu Qin's voice was cold although her face still remained lenient. I want to see the people of the Heaven Lake Divine Land first, then we can discuss with the Yang people. The Yang Tian Emperor has been confined. We don't know who else is worthy enough for us to meet. Shi Yan knitted his eyebrows, his smiling face gradually got frigid, you two seem to look down on me. Gu Xiao shook his head and said, it is not that we are looking down on you. It is just that you are not qualified enough to negotiate with us. Little rascal, call the elders of Yang family to come here. The Yang family has already sunk into the bottom of the Kaira Sea, so if you guys want to mess with us, it is actually not a wise move. Yu Qin didn't say anything, instead, she kept pacing back and forth in one place with flows of gentle aura emitted from her body, sensing the situation here. If it wasn't for you, having united with the demon dwellers to deal with the Yang family, the demon dwellers couldn't have entered the Kaira Sea and you would not have encountered the current difficult situation. Shi Yan suddenly harumphed, said daringly, the reason that the demon dwellers have invaded the Kyra Sea is because of your stupidity. I didn't think that you have even repented of what you have done. What? Inside of Gu Xiao's eyes flashed up a sword-shaped lightning, which quickly dashed towards Shi Yan. That sword-shaped lightning, which was as long as a finger, suddenly shot out incomparable sword aura. That small lightning also contained dozens of tremendous sword shadows, which covered the entire sky and earth as though they wanted to tear the sky down h1. As soon as those sword shadows went into Shi Yan's eyes, they immediately turned into thousands of giant swords plunging down from the sky. The sword shadows appeared everywhere which brought him a feeling of helplessness. He couldn't do anything but to let them cut him up into pieces. With just one lightning surge flaring up from Gu Xiao's eyes, Shi Yan couldn't even have one defending reaction. Swoosh! A black ink feather suddenly appeared in front of Shi Yan. This black feather swung about, emitting thousands of rippling black waves. As soon as those waves had diffused, the H2 entire heaven and earth were covered by a black hue, daytime instantly turned into nighttime in a blink of an eye. Boom boom boom! A series of earth-shaking explosive sounds came out. While Shi Yan was still in a daze, he heard Gu Xiao's scream. In the next blink, the darkness no longer existed, then daylight reappeared. Gu Xiao's face looked very confused. He shouted in fear. There are God Realm warriors indeed. Chapter 286, Strong Di Shan looked very calm, stood in front of Shi Yan in silence, spreading out his black wings. Cyclones of forces, which could be seen by ordinary eyes, were projected successively from his wings covering the entire space around Shi Yan. The ink black light circles appeared one by one next to Shi Yan and then slowly diffused outwards. Dreary and anomalous aura, which was like ocean tides, densely gathered around Shi Yan. This aura didn't seem to be afraid of the sword's attack or the full power strikes of the God Realm warriors. Gu Xiao's eyes shot out the lightning. His face turned to be serious and frigid pagan tribe. Di Shan's black wings were eye-catching. As soon as he appeared, his origin was instantly disclosed. The Kyra Sea's current situation was very complicated. 
dealing with the demon dwellers' invasions was extremely urgent. At this critical moment, Di Shan's appearance was very sensational. Especially when Di Shan had the cultivation base of the God Realm. So what? Di Shan was ignorant, he faintly said. We are from the Chasm battlefield and have desired this fertile land for so very long. This land used to be our martial arena before. As we had left this land for quite a long time, you have occupied it. Since we have now come back, we are entitled to get a part of the resources which had originally belonged to us. Gu Xiao's countenance changed slightly. Yu Qin was also sputtered with fear. You guys also want to have a part of the soup bowl. Gu Shap took a deep breath, his manner was not very normal. At this critical time, your request is hard to be settled. However, you alone don't have enough strength to get anything of the Chiara Sea. Many violent flows of sword intents were then shot out from Gu Xiao's body. The dazzling and blinding five-color sword aura, which was like the lightning growling and howling in the sky, dashed straight towards Di Shan, bringing along its destructive power. Streams of the sword auras were as tiny as small snakes slithering throughout the entire sky and earth. The sword auras then tore the air into pieces. In the middle of those ear-piercing sounds, the space surrounding Di Shan cracked open, creating many beautiful five-colored rifts. The attraction forces massively flowed out from those rifts as if it wanted to swallow up everything. Numerous wooden houses were pulled up from the ground and then flew straight into those space rifts. At the foot of the Snow Dragon Mountain, even big rocks which were like small mountains couldn't have resisted that attraction force. They constantly flew up and were drawn into those five-colored space rifts. Then they all disappeared just in a flash. Shi Yan's face had tragically changed with fear. One strike of a god realm warrior was earth-shaking indeed. It was unexpectedly tearing apart the air, cracking open many rifts of space which could have swallowed up everything. The most terrifying thing were the heaven-shaking sword intents, which had been projected by Gu Xiao. Under the control of those heaven-shaking sword intents, those splits of space could be urged by Gu Xiao, constantly changing their directions according to his wish. This was the first time that Shi Yan saw the horrendous forces of a god realm warrior with his own eyes. The mightiness which Gu Xiao was displaying severely frightened Shi Yan. He was a little bit worried for Di Shan. According to Yu Ro, Di Shan was the highest level warrior of the Wings race with the anomalous and unpredictable cultivation base, which was as if it could have changed the entire sky and earth. However, Shi Yan had never witnessed Di Shan's real ability. Although Shi Yan knew that the body of Wings race's people was very sturdy and mighty, together with their forces which were much more powerful than that of the other warriors at the same level, he was still a little worried. He was afraid that Di Shan would be defeated under Gu Xiao's violent assault. Di Shan's eyes were slightly half-closed. His black wings flapped gently. Circles of ink-black light slowly spread progressively. Those circles of black lights had been linked together, each circle interlocked with another one. In the middle of the links, a black light was sparkling non-stop and then spread out everywhere. A flow of devilish murderous auras had quietly diffused. Those circles of black light gradually made contact with the space rifts, covering the sword halos. Di Shan took action softly and gently like floating clouds and mild blowing breeze. His manner was very deliberate without any signs of being greatly intimidated. But, Gu Xiao's eyes suddenly became panicked. Those circles of black light seemed to have eyes. They had locked all of Gu Xiao's sword halos and sword intents just in a very short time. Crack. A crispy sound resounded. The sword halos were crushed into numerous light spots, then vanished into those rifts of space. Only a short while later, all of those rifts closed. The circles of black light that were spinning inside those rifts suddenly swelled and then exploded, shooting out countless dazzling black rays. Gu Xiao's body trembled slightly. His eyes beamed out a frightening light. He silently stepped backwards a little bit and stood shoulder to shoulder with Yu Qin. Di Shan was still imposingly motionless. Only his black wings had stopped flapping. He quietly looked at Gu Xiao and then swept his despising look to Yu Qin who was about to take action. What? 
you two want to unite to fight with me. Gu Xiao didn't answer, his face didn't look pleasant. Yu Qin shouted slightly, the wrinkles on her face stiffened. Peculiar white lights like ripples of water moved on her lenient wrinkled face. Her body which was originally bending, now gradually straightened up. Her clothes fluttered. Under Shi Yan's scrutinized look, the wrinkles on the face of the 80-year-old woman quickly disappeared. After only a few seconds, her face turned to be soft and white like the face of a young maiden. Even her neck and ears were also changing rapidly as her skin became smoother, more like velvet, elastic and resilient. Her height had also increased five or six centimeters more. Only in a short time, the head of the Heaven Lake Divine Land was as if she had just unexpectedly been restored to life, turning into a beautiful thirty-year-old woman even though she had almost stepped into a coffin. Her skin was now creamy white, her beautiful eyes were full of tumbling waves, and her body was full of vitality. Divine Mother is about to take action. In the four-story wooden house, Chu Yanqing's beautiful face changed dramatically. Her body trembled slightly and her eyes were full of confusion. The legend turns out to be true. Cao Zhilan mumbled to herself. Once she takes action, she immediately restores her youth and maintains the peak level status. The magical Upanishads of the Heaven Lake Divine Land is really terrifying. It is the blessings from God as I am witnessing this now. Regretfully, she will not get anything good from the fight either. Pan Zhe agreed in silence, nodded his head while smiling miserably, I just hope that the situation will not be getting worse. I am afraid it will be. Cao Zhilan shook her head. She instantly realized something and couldn't help but slightly scream out with a strange face. Three warriors were sitting next to Pan Zhe were from the Heaven Lake Divine Land and Gu family alternatively. These three warriors were similar to Pan Zhe, also lucky to survive after having been Shi Yan's sole experimental test subjects. At this time, these three warriors seemed to be forcefully pulled out, their faces were instilled with full of fear. Their bodies slowly flew up to the air, quickly floated out of the range of the defensive formation, then appeared in the void in front of Shi Yan. Under the attentive eyes of Cao Zhilan, Gu Linglung, Pan Zhe and Huameng, Shi Yan faintly smiled, pointed at those three warriors who were being confined by some unknown forces and then shouted, Explode! Boom boom boom! Three skull-piercing sounds came up from the three warriors that had exploded. Those three warriors, who were frightened and panicked, were killed just in a flash. Their skulls had cracked apart and fresh blood splattered from the top of their heads. They instantaneously died on the spot. Gu Xiao's and Yu Qin's faces turned purple with murderous rage. This is just the start. Shi Yan turned his head back, looking at the group of Gu Ling Lung, and Hua Meng behind from a distance. He smirked wickedly and pointed towards those people. Suddenly, Gu Ling Lung and Chu Yan Qing the two girls were tied up by some forces, then uncontrollably leaped up. Cao Zhilan, Huameng, Huang Nan and He Ching Man were all horrified with frightened faces, and dazedly looked at these two girls slowly rising up. After the death of the three warriors, Cao Zhilan understood that a slaughter would probably ensue. As she looked at Shi Yan's cruel smile, she felt powerless and frightened. Don't! He Ching Man begged miserably, Shi Yan, please don't! I know you can see us! Please let them go, don't kill them. Shi Yan wasn't moved, his eyes displayed an unconcerned look. The delicate bodies of Gu Ling Lung and Chu Yan Qing trembled and they couldn't restrain their fears. They stared at Shi Yan who appeared to be coming closer and closer, thus they started to have thoughts of hopelessness. Little Ling Lung. Qing Er. Gu Xiao, Yu Qin goggled, then became panicked, and couldn't help but scream out. The positions of the three previous warriors were probably not high enough. I think these two girls should be enough then. Shi Yan's face was calm, his voice was cold. He looked at Gu Ling Lung and Chu Yan Qing, then shook his head while saying, Regretfully, I haven't even really interacted with you yet. Little rascal, you win. Gu Xiao let out a sigh, all of the sharp swords on his body vanished in a blink. 
The smooth and white face of Yu Qin slightly shivered, wrinkles reappeared on her face in just a short time, and she regained her 80-year-old appearance. Her lenient face could not be disguised any longer. Yu Qin angrily looked at Xi Yan and shouted. What do you want after all? What do I want? Xi Yan seriously thought for a while before shaking his head. I haven't thought of anything yet. But, if you are really obedient, they can continue to live. Gu Xiao's and Yu Qin's eyes were full of anger, but they couldn't do anything. It wasn't that they didn't want to save Gu Linglung and Chu Yanqing. However, Xi Yan didn't have any moves and Di Shan didn't take any action nor released any forces. This meant the person who had brought Gu Linglung and Chu Yanqing out was not them, but someone else. Gu Xiao and Yu Qin were both God Realm warriors. They were quietly sensing around but couldn't locate the aura of that secret person. This had scared the both of them a lot. Moreover, they didn't know whether that hidden person had placed any formation techniques on Gu Linglung and Chu Yanqing or not. Therefore, they didn't dare to take any risks, and could only accept to lose unpleasingly. We will not take any actions anymore. Gu Xiao confirmed with a strange face. Yu Qin nodded reluctantly. That's okay. Shi Yan revealed a smile but actually, he was very cold-hearted inside. He waved his hands towards a place to signal for someone to bring these two beautiful girls back. Under Gu Xiao and Yu Qin's scrutinized look, Gu Linglung and Chu Yanqing were like wooden statues that slowly floated backwards and then disappeared abnormally. Gu Xiao's and Yu Qin's face changed again. The precautions increased in their eyes. Now, can we discuss decently? After the two girls had returned to the wooden house, Shi Yan deliberately clasped his hands again with the same respectful manner as earlier. Predecessors, please take a seat. Although Shi Yan had invited them to sit, there weren't any chairs there. Gu Xiao and Yu Qin harumphed and then sat down cross legged on the hard ground with resentful faces. They looked at Shi Yan, wondering what he had wanted after all. Let's talk about the compensation. Shi Yan said with a smile. Chapter 287, The Declaration of Love Compensation Gu Xiao and Yu Qin coldly harumphed at the same time. Their eyes were even more frigid, the corner of their mouths beamed out disdainfully. What does the Gu family owe you? Gu Xiao didn't bother to look at Shi Yan, instead, he stared at Di Shan. You are from the Chasm Battlefield. The Gu family has never met you before. I don't know how the Gu family is related to your tribe. We and the Yang family are allies. Di Shan looked indifferent, didn't want to talk with Gu Xiao any further. He pointed at Shi Yan and said, let him discuss it with you. That guy. Gu Xiao's face was astonished. He can speak for you. Yes, he can. Gu Xiao and Yu Qin exchanged their looks in shock. The way they looked at Shi Yan now had a little change. Shi Yan only had the Earth Realm cultivation base. In their eyes, he was just a puppet who was controlled by Di Shan and another hidden person in the dark. He shouldn't have any rights to talk. From the beginning, Gu Xiao and Yu Qin hadn't really respected Shi Yan. Although Shi Yan had also shown his sturdiness, they had thought that Shi Yan just simply followed Di Shan's orders, as they hadn't assumed that he could be the one who would have discussed it with them. However, from what Di Shan had said, Gu Xiao and Yu Qin understood that their judgment was probably wrong. By this time, they started to look straight at Shi Yan and considered him a person who could talk to them equally. All right, Gu Xiao knitted his eyebrows unpleasingly and said, You said something about compensation? What do we owe you? Uniting with each other to deal with the Yang family, making a mess at the Kaira Sea, taking action arbitrarily in the Yang family's territory. Those are your mistakes. Shi Yan was confronting Gu Xiao and Yu Qin, the two famous persons of the entire Kaira Sea, but he wasn't scared of them, instead, he was talking confidently. Your stupidity has led to the invasion of the demon dwellers, the fall of Kaira Sea, and the current difficult situation in the entire area. Everything is because of your mistakes. Hmm. Gu Xiao and Yu Qin coldly harumphed simultaneously. 
Their faces looked unpleasant and became more serious. They were not hasty to explain anything yet. Shi Yan smirked, contemplated for a while before continuing, It looks like if I don't tell you more practically, you will not cooperate. What? Gu Xiao's eyes flashed up a furious light. More practical. The Gu family and the Heaven Lake Divine Land, each of you will give us five of your islands that are in the adjacent area of the Wind Cloud Island. They used to belong to the Yang family. A total of ten islands, the names of those islands are Ice Moon Island, Wind Star Island. Shi Yan took his time to name all the islands which he had already carefully checked. While hearing what Shi Yan was saying, Gu Xiao's and Yu Qin's faces were getting more unpleasant, but they still restrained their anger. Their eyes were chilled to the bone. Damn it! The Gu family have made our efforts to exploit those five islands. Every of them has either mineral springs or herbal mountains. This little rascal is dreaming. He even dares to intimidate the Gu family. Inside the four-story wooden house, Gu Linglong suddenly stood up. She was so resentful that she couldn't storm out and have a life-and-death fight with Shi Yan. Hua Meng grabbed one of her arms and pulled her back. The powerlessness was showed on his emaciated face. Lady, please don't be agitated. It's useless if you go out now. Instead, you will distract our headman. Gu Linglong's charming body wriggled for a while but couldn't get out of Hua Meng's grip. She shouted angrily, Shi Yan, you are such a bastard. At this time when we are all facing the demon dweller's invasion, you still don't care for the major matters. You will have to repay sooner or later. Shi Yan coldly smiled, glancing at Gu Linglong from a distance. He raised his left arm and flapped in the air. Gu Linglong's body slightly trembled. Her eyes flashed up a panicky light as her small face instantly reddened. In the abandoned land, every time she acted like a tigress showing her fangs and claws, Shi Yan immediately gave her a lesson. Shi Yan had done this movement so many times before, which was using his hand spanking her round jade-like butt. After this, the marks of Shi Yan's hand had always remained on her butt. As seeing Shi Yan flapping his hands in the air, Gu Linglong remembered her disgraceful life from before, feeling both ashamed and angry. Her agitations completely disappeared. Gu Linglong quietly released a sigh, shaking her head while saying to Huang Nan next to her. Those five islands gather a lot of precious resources of our Heaven Lake Divine Land. His request is too much. Huang Nan's eyes were full of anger. That little rascal is having a daydream. Divine Mother absolutely will not give these five islands to the Yang family. Chu Yanqing nodded her head and said, Definitely not. Nothing is impossible. Cao Zhi Lan's hands were placed on the window, her delicate body slightly bent down, her round butt perked up creating a fascinating curve. She looked at Shi Yan from a distance with a leisurely manner. Her voice seemed a little strange. He is not just merely shooting an arrow. If he's given out this request, he definitely has some backup plans. As from what I've seen, he will probably get what he wants. It is impossible. Gu Linglong and Chu Yanqing shouted at the same time. He Ching Man also stood up, looked at Cao Zhi Lan incomprehensively. Lady Cao, why do you feel that Shi Yan will achieve his purpose? You guys listen to it by yourselves. Cao Zhilan revealed a big smile like hundreds of flowers blossoming. Nothing could compare with her beauty right now. You base on what to have that request. The sword auras torrentially emitted from Gu Xiao's body. Although his face still remained calm, his ten fingers were sparkling with sword halos like snakes wriggling and showing their fangs, bringing people a terrifying feeling of the extremely sharp and tremendous sword posture. Based on what? Shi Yan knitted his eyebrows as though he was contemplating, then said with a smirk, If you can't fulfill my request, you go ahead start the fight. At this point of time, you can't even deal with the demon dwellers. If our forces jump in, I believe the name Heaven Lake Divine Land and Gu family will be wiped out of the Kyra Sea. As soon as Shi Yan finished those words, there suddenly appeared a flow of horrendous auras which could destroy bones and souls. 
the third god realm warriors. Yu Qin was panicked. She couldn't control her emotion anymore, suddenly stood up. She looked towards the peak of the mountain which was not far away with strange lights flaring up from her eyes. Behind the peak of that mountain, next to a pointed icicle, Ka Bie was laughing out loud, walking over to the side of Yu Ro and Ye Meng then said, At first, Yi Tian Mo has asked me to disclose my aura just a little bit to give them more pressure. But unexpectedly, our master has had a wicked intention already. He told all of us to hide, only threaten them little by little. This makes people even more miserable than displaying all the powers at once. Ye Meng's face looked brutal. These two guys really overestimate themselves. If they back us to the corner, we just capture both of them then. Don't rush, Yu Ro smiled and said with a low voice, at this Kyra Sea, we are considered pagan races. If we become the enemy of all human warriors in this entire area, we will encounter many difficulties later. Our master is still young but not stupid, he knows how we can get the most benefits. Ka Bie nodded and said sincerely, Master's uprightness is exceptional indeed. Although he is only an Earth Realm warrior, he isn't scared of the two God Realm warriors. Instead, he dares to intimidate his opponents. He really has qualifications of an outstanding hero. While the three of them, Ka Bie, Ye Meng, and Yu Ro were discussing there, Gu Xiao and Yu Qin were restlessly worried as if they were sitting on fire over there. You have other three god realm warriors. Gu Xiao took a deep breath, finally started to feel insecure. Three god realm warriors. Very few forces at the Kyra Sea can resist this force. However, if human warriors of the Kyra Sea unite with each other, defeating you is not that difficult. Gu Xiao clenched his teeth with frigid eyes, then said, Don't push us too much. It is you alone who are pushing yourself. Shi Yan wasn't scared at all. He coldly glared at Gu Xiao and said, If you don't agree, so wait until I unite with the demon dwellers to wipe out your names. You dare to cooperate with the demon dwellers. Gu Xiao's and Yu Qin's faces changed again. What? Shi Yan pretended to be astonished. You seem to be very surprised? It isn't what you've never done before. Why do you think joining with demon dwellers is treason and heresy? When you and the demon dwellers had united with each other to deal with Yang family, didn't you also have the same thought? Gu Xiao and Yu Qin got bewildered, couldn't say anything. I don't want to talk too much, Shi Yan harumphed and said, Each of you gives us five islands, we will remain calm, and Gu Ling Lung, Chu Yan Qing, Hua Meng, Huang Nan can be still alive. But, if you don't hand over the islands, not only the four of them have to die but also two of you will be buried with them. After finishing these words, Shi Yan stood up, walked straight towards Cao Zhilan and others in the house without even glancing at Gu Xiao and Yu Qin. When he turned around, he coldly said to two of them, I'll give you one hour to consider. Gu Xiao's and Yu Qin's faces kept changing, as their eyes looked dazed. They stood still on the spot being filled with anxiety. When Shi Yan went through the sole defensive formation that Yi Tian Mo had set up, Yi Tian Mo suddenly showed up from nowhere, quietly nodded towards Shi Yan implicating that everything was still under control. Shi Yan smiled without saying anything. He then walked slowly into the floor where the group of Cao Zhilan and others were waiting. His eyes swept over Gu Ling Lung, who was gritting her teeth with hatred, then moved his eyes to He Ching Man, who was having a confused face, and said, If there aren't any unexpected things, you can leave today. You bastard! Gu Ling Lung shouted with anger, I didn't expect that you fish in troubled water. You have to repay for your mistakes. Shi Yan's face got more serious, his eyes sharpened. If it weren't because of your stupidity, Yang family would be still at the Kyra Sea and the demon dwellers wouldn't have intruded. As you have done wrong, you have to compensate for it. Shi Yan, I agree with what you've said. Cao Zhilan revealed a smile and flattered him all of a sudden. Cao family has made mistake. Ah, if you have the same request with Cao family, 
I can stand up to make CAO family hand over five islands as a compensation. CAO Zhilan leaned against the window. Her body exposed fascinating curves, her eyes flared up a wise light as she emanated mesmerizing glows. Panja and Huameng quietly swallowed. They wondered why this beautiful girl suddenly became so illustrious like this. You can speak for CAO family. Shi Yan was astonished. Of course. CAO Zhilan revealed a big smile. Her pink lips curled up, she looked very lustful. I can also control my own future. Shi Yan, if you want to marry me, CAO family can take ten islands as my dowry. So, have you ever thought about this? Ha ha ha, if you do, I will be responsible for my words. When CAO Zhilan uttered those words, she didn't felt ashamed at all as if she was actually discussing some major things in a serious manner. Shi Yan's eyes and mouths were wide opened. Chapter 288, The Invitation of the Three Gods Sect Outside of the Defensive Formation Di Shan was standing imposingly, coldly looking at the two people opposite him. Yu Qin and Gu Xiao were whispering in the discussion. Their faces constantly changed, their eyes flashed up complicating lights, and their eyebrows kept knitting tightly. They were obviously frustrated. Inside of the defensive formation From a distance of 50 meters, with an astonished face, Yi Tian Mo looked at that incomparably appealing woman who was talking to Shi Yan with an unimaginable manner. On the ground floor A bunch of people, including Huameng, Huang Nan, Gu Ling Lung, Pan Zhe, Chu Yanqing, and He Ching Man, was all wearing strange faces. They bewilderedly looked at Cao Zhilan, who was ranked number three in the power rankings and was considered the popular outstanding leader of the new generation of the Cao family. They didn't expect that she was able to utter those superficial words that could unpleasantly pierce through the other's ears. She, was she serious? She was the leader of CAO family's new generation ranking the peak earth realm, extremely beautiful, the goddess who allured and mesmerized numerous outstanding guys at the endless sea. Still, she proactively suggested getting married to Shi Yan? Huameng and Huang Nan goggled, looking at each other, doubted whether they had heard it right or not. Pan Zhe's face was extremely bizarre, shaking his head constantly as if he didn't want to believe what was happening in front of his eyes. Shi Yan was also in a daze, knitted his eyebrows while contemplating without saying a word. Miss. Miss Cao. He Ching Man was full of confusion. She asked with a strange voice, Gee, Chinese way to call an older sister, you want, what do you want to do? Lan Ji, I didn't hear it wrong. Gu Ling Lung raised her fist up, forming a posture which looked like she wanted to stamp the ground. Has that little rascal planted some formation technique inside your soul? If not, how come did you rave like this? Other people's face brightened, they quietly nodded in agreement with this idea. They looked at Shi Yan again with full of disdain and precautions. He isn't that boring. Cao Zhilan only smiled. Her small mouth curled up as her beautiful eyes rippled with many strange lights. Shi Yan what do you think about my suggestion? Shi Yan contemplated without speaking, his face was very bizarre. In the Endless Sea, the Martial Spirit Palace, the Yang family, the Cao family, and the Three Gods sect are the most powerful forces. In recent years, although the Cao family has never taken any major actions, no one dares to deny the Cao family's real ability. The CAO family's status in the Tuda Sea is quite similar to the Yang family at the Kaira Sea before. If you marry me, the CAO family will be the strongest ally of the Yang family. Moreover, I assume that I deserve to be your wife more than Xia Xi and Yan. Either my background or my ability is much better than hers. Besides, I do believe my appearance is not less than hers either. CAO Zhilan wore a big smile her beautiful eyes stared at Shi Yan. So? If you consider this proposal carefully, you will see that it will bring you a lot of benefits. Miss Cao, will you love me? After contemplating for a while, 
Shi Yan suddenly revealed a smirk with a strange light flashing up from his eyes. I want to ask you, why? Why are you proposing to me? I believe that many men who have higher cultivation base than mine. The Yang family has currently collapsed, my status is not worth mentioning. Why did you come up with this proposal? I believe in you. Cao Zhilan beamed out a faint smile. Her radiantly beautiful eyes sparked lively lights. I believe in your future which will be more glorious than all the other men that I've met in the endless sea. I think that my life will be very colorful being with you. In short, I have respect for you. Shi Yan was surprised. The other people in the wooden house were also astonished with their wide open eyes and mouths. They all had strange faces and felt that Cao Zhilan had gone crazy. Lam Ji, you disappoint me. Gu Ling Lung stamped her foot as she was so angry that she almost exploded. This little rascal is a despicable bastard, extremely disgusting, self-seeking, and very arrogant. How could that kind of person deserve you? Chu Yanqing also slightly shook her head as she obviously didn't understand either. Only He Ching Man cocked her head, considering for a while. After she recalled Xia Zinyan's judgments for Shi Yan, she gradually figured out some clues, ambiguously felt that Cao Zhilan's daring proposal should have a reason. She knew Cao Zhilan in the Endless Sea was famous not only for her martial strength but also for her acceptably exceptional wisdom. An elegant, pure, intelligent, and beautiful girl like her didn't even try to show her nobleness. Instead, she bravely threw Shi Yan an olive sprig. Has she gone insane? Following this flow of thoughts, He Ching Man quietly evaluated Shi Yan. She suddenly remembered that Shi Yan had only been at the disaster realm before he entered the chasm battlefield. As of now, after just two years, he had already reached the peak earth realm. This breakthrough speed was earth-shaking. A series of thoughts flashed up in He Ching Man's head which had surprised her even more. The more she thought, the more logical things had become. After this, the way she looked at Cao Zhilan was more admirable. He Ching Man admired this girl's hardiness, her beautiful eyes, and her manners when dealing with major matters. Zinyan Ji, where are you? Someone wants to steal your man. She is also a strong opponent. You have to be careful, He Ching Man thought to herself. Shi Yan, tell me if I am pretty. Cao Zhilan slenderly swayed her delicate body around in front of Shi Yan. Her full breasts were prominent, and her waist was small. She looked like a fresh flower which could attract others to be immersed in it and never want to wake up again. You are really beautiful. Shi Yan revealed a faint smile. His flaming and lustful eyes scanned her wonderful body up and down. Among the girls that I know, only Xia Zinyan's face can compare with your beautiful one. Shi Yan mused for a while then said with a thoughtful face. It is just that I don't have any intentions to get married nor have children for now, nor bind my marriage with the family's major matters. If I like a woman, I won't care about her background or forces nor if she can help me or not. It will be merely my love for her, and it wouldn't be related to anything else. After saying that, under the puzzled eyes of the others, Shi Yan immediately left, walking outside of the house without caring about Cao Zhilan. Gu Xiao and Yu Qin had stopped discussing. Their faces were gloomy, a little discontented and angry. Shi Yan appeared quietly and then said with a smile. How are you considering it? We agree with your request. Gu Xiao took a deep breath, forcefully restrained his anger and shouted, Let my people go. Okay. Shi Yan raised his hand in the air and said with a very pleasing manner, release them. The defensive formation, which looked like a moon on the bottom of a well, was instantly broken after a flow of forces zoomed over it. The group of Huameng, Gu Ling Lung, and the others immediately appeared from the defensive formation. Cao Zhilan was still in a daze. You guys can go now. Shi Yan pointed toward that group and then he turned his head around to look at Gu Xiao and Yu Qin and said, You will send your people to hand over those ten islands to the Xia family. I know the Xia family is currently living in the Wing Cloud Island, 
which is in between your two forces. Do you understand what I mean? Gu Xiao slightly harumphed and nodded with rage. That's good, Xi Yan revealed a faint smile. You guys can bring your people out of here. I'll assure that once you and the demon dwellers engage fighting, we will just stay on the mountain and watch the fight. We will not get involved in it. Gu Xiao and Yu Qin were full of hatred and certainly had some other plans. They looked at Gu Linglong and Chu Yanqing and nodded, implicating that they wanted to leave the Snow Dragon Island right away. But, right at this time, an unusual phenomenon happened in the sky. A strange beast with flames all over its body slowly descended from the sky. That beast was as big as a small mountain, its body was sturdy, and its gestures was magnificent. Flame Unicorn Gu Xiao screamed out with his shocked face. Tang Yu and Nan is here. The Snow Dragon Island's weather was usually very cool but became hotter after the Flame Unicorn came. Thick frozen snow on the peak of the Snow Dragon Mountain started to melt. White fogs dispersed and gathered up in the sky. The level 8 Flame Unicorn was the mount of the hierarch and power of the Three Gods sect, the Sun God Tang Yu and Nan. Dishan harumphed, raised his head looking at the Flame Unicorn which was slowly descending with an unjoyful face. Gu Xiao's and Yu Qin's faces were shocked. They felt a little bit more powerful when the Flame Unicorn had appeared. However, they realized that there seemed to be no one riding on the Flame Unicorn. What? Gu Xiao and Yu Qin were amazed, released their soul consciousness to check and discovered that the Flame Unicorn came here alone. The hierarch in power, Tang Yu and Nan of the Three Gods sect, didn't show up. Who is in charge here? A powerful and rude voice echoed from the Flame Unicorn. This level 8 beast could open its mouth and speak the human language. Flames rose inside its big pupils. The scorching aura on its body was like the condensed sunlight. It's me. Shi Yan raised his head and smiled was the information that was delivered to the Three Gods sect from you? The Flame Unicorn asked. Yet. Yeah. Shi Yan nodded his head. The Hierarch has satisfied your request and willingly hand over five islands. Moreover, the Hierarch hoped that you can visit our headquarters. He said that he has something important to discuss with you. That is the invitation card. When the solemn voice of the Flame Unicorn still echoed through the entire island, a splendid yellow card from the sky slowly floated down on the ground in front of Shi Yan. Okay. Please tell your hierarch that we will pay the headquarters of the Three Gods sect a visit. Shi Yan lifted the corner of his mouth, revealing a smile, looking towards Gu Xiao and Yu Qin who were indescribably panicked and said, Tang Yu and Nan is summoning all the high-class warriors from everywhere to gather in the Three Gods sect. You guys should also be invited. We will meet again in a few days. Gu Xiao and Yu Qin exchanged glances, seeing the incomprehensive look in each other's eyes. Seven days later, the top class warriors from everywhere will gather at the headquarters of the sect. Don't be late. The flame unicorn transmitted the last message and then slowly leaped up and left. Shi Yan nodded with a cold smile and said, I won't send you off then. Did you also contact Tang Yu and Nan? Gu Xiao's face was full of astonishment. Even Tang Yu and Nan had gotten intimidated by you? Intimidate? Shi Yan shook his head. Not that intimidated. It is just a cooperation. They are much more open-minded than you. After I've told them the pros and cons, although I don't have any of their weaknesses at hand, they are still willing to hand over the five islands to me. Compared to Tang Yu and Nan, the two of you are very stingy. No wonder why you guys are not as strong as the Three Gods sect. That has a reason indeed. Gu Xiao's face looked very unpleasant. All right. We will meet again in seven days. Shi Yan mumbled. By that time, if you have any suggestions, you can bring it up. But, if you don't keep your words, ha ha ha, you know how people can do anything if they get irritated. Gu Xiao and Yu Qin were extremely indignant. They glared at Shi Yan with an annoyed look, harumphed coldly before leaping up, bringing Gu Linglong, Chu Yanqing, and the other people along. Take your time, 
I won't send you off. Chapter 289, Shi Yan's Request The Wind Cloud Island If it continues like this, things will get worse for sure. Xiarui Sing's face was somber. He was standing on a bare mountain, slightly bending down towards the headman Xia Shen Chuan then said, These uncultivated islands don't have any mineral springs nor herbal mountains. The sky and earth aura are diluted which is not suitable for warriors to cultivate. Our cultivation cannot be improved at all if we live here. Ten subordinate high-class warriors of the Xia family were surrounding Xia Shen Chuan. Most of them were at the Nirvana realm. They all showed their consent in silence. The Xia family is one of the fifteen big forces of the Endless Sea anyway. As we have recently declined this much, it is tough to stand. One high-class warrior said with a low voice. Master, the Xia family is in the most critical and dangerous situation. Please come up with a solution soon. Taking Xia Zinyan's whole life's happiness to exchange for the Xia family's stability is very adequate. Xia Rui Sing nodded and said. Master, being a daughter of the Xia family, she is supposed to sacrifice herself for the family. Thus, Xia Zinyan can't refuse this duty. If I had an eligible daughter like this, I wouldn't have hesitated to offer my daughter. Xia Rui Sing's words were so sharp as if they could cut through nails and irons. The Xia family's five Sky Realm elderly warriors with snow white hair were standing behind Xia Rui Sing. All of them contemplated and didn't utter a word. Nirvana Realm already. Xia Shen Chuan's countenance was not quite good. He coldly swept his eyes over everyone then finally turned his head and slightly bent down to ask the five elders of the Xia family, Five elders, Xia Zinyan is the hope of the Xia family. With her realm improvement, her cultivation will definitely surpass all of ours in the future. If she stays with the Xia family, we will have a chance to rebel again. But, if she is given in marriage to a force with bad intentions, her life will probably be wastefully destroyed. The Endless Sea's situation could be changed just in a blink of an eye. Now, the demon dwellers have massively intruded. I am afraid we can't wait that long. Xia Rui Sing also bent down respectfully towards a short, fat elder with many wrinkles and said. Great elder, if the Xia family doesn't display any demeanors, I think we will soon decline. According to the current situation, we have to unite with other forces, otherwise, we will either be killed by the demon dwellers or become the sacrificed object of the other forces. Xia Rui Sing also got the point. The great elder gently nodded. Xia Shen Chuan's face slightly changed. Swoosh! A blue figure zoomed towards them from a distance then appeared in the middle of these people in a blink. If you insist on sacrificing me, I will leave the Xia family. Xia Zinyan's face was cold, her manner was as if she had willingly ruptured the relationship with those people. Rubbish! Xia Shen Chuan shouted frigidly and annoyedly, You have no right to get involved in the main matters of the family. No matter what decision the family makes, you are not allowed to give any judgment. Father. Xia Zinyan was in extreme rage. This is the major matter of my entire life. I'm not going to allow you to decide for me carelessly. Is it because of the little rascal Shi Yan? Xia Rui Sing smiled coldly, Xia Zinyan, you should understand the situation. I remember that you used to sacrifice everything for this family. Why have you changed since you've met that little rascal? The Yang family is done, the Kaira Sea has lost. Shi Yan in the Chasm battlefield could hardly avoid death. So, why do you need to be persistent and miserable only because of one dead man? Xia Zinyan's eyebrows slammed together, her eyes shot out murderous aura. Who said he's dead? She continued after harumphing, even if you are dead, he will not be. Sass. Xia Rui Sing's face turned purple with rage. He immediately talked to the five elders, Elders, as you can see, this girl has betrayed us. Our headman is even nothing in her eyes. If this thing continues to be like this, I am afraid no one can control her. If so, it's better to give her away in marriage. After hearing those words, 
the five elders of Xia family contemplated and considered carefully. You go get married if you want. Xia Zinyan even didn't want to open her mouth. She glanced at Xia Shen Chuan for a while and said, Father, I'll go now. Don't mess around anymore. Xia Shen Chuan knitted his eyebrows while saying unhappily, Things haven't been finalized yet. Forgive me, may I have a word? At this time, all of a sudden, Zhou Yu slightly bent down towards the five elders to conduct the decency before speaking, although the Yang Tian Emperor has been confined in the fourth demon area, no one can prove that he has been killed there. Everyone knows how dangerous the Yang Tian Emperor's bloodlines are. If he is not dead even for one day, the Yang family can easily have a way to make a comeback. You all know the Yang Tian Emperor's personality, so should we consider it carefully. Consider. Xia Rui Xing revealed a cold smile, it's hard for Yang Tian Emperor to get out of the fourth demon area alive. Even if he can escape, he can't trouble the Xia family just because of that Xi Yan. That little rascal is just an abandoned child whom the Yang family had picked up in the middle of nowhere. How many effects can he have? This is also true. Some of the Xia family's elders gently nodded after thinking for a while. The situation was tense and unsolved. The group of Xia Shen Chuan and Zhou Yu was persistent with their own opinions. The other group of Xia Rui Xing kept fuzzing about, asking Xia Zinyan to sacrifice herself. Those people of the Xia family on the island clattered non-stop, which was not easy to stop shortly. Xia Zinyan wanted to leave many times but was stopped by Xia Shen Chuan. Because of the love for her father as well as being afraid of her father who probably had encountered a subservient situation, she couldn't help but stay observing in silence. Someone is coming. After half an hour of discussing without any positive results, Xia Shen Chuan suddenly sensed something. He raised his head looking up to the sky with a suspicious face. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. The sound and figure were piercing the air and dashing forward with a fast speed from a distance. While the Xia family's people were still in an incomprehensive daze, Gu Zhengyang of the Gu family and Yu Feng of the Heaven Lake Divine Land appeared in front of those people together. The people of the Xia family immediately shut up, staring at Gu Zhengyang and Yu Feng with a strange look. Last time, these two people had brought Gu Yu and Feng Hai here to seek a marriage alliance but then deterrently left in the end. And now, three days later, here they were. That made the Xia family's people more cautious. They didn't know of their intentions, thus, they were a little worried. What brings you two here this time? Zhou Yu frowned while asking. Gu Yu and Feng Hai had very bizarre countenances. They walked over to Xia Shen Chuan, bent down to conduct their decency. Then, each of them took out a letter from their pockets and respectfully handed them over to Xia Shen Chuan. Xia Shen Chuan received the letters with suspicion, his face turned somber. What are your intentions? Xia Shen Chuan harumphed. Is this the dowry? Haven't I accepted your request yet? Each of your families will give five resourceful islands. If this is the dowry, you are generous, but... Each family will hand over five islands. Xia Rui Xing's eyes brightened. She couldn't help but slightly shout out with a happy face. The five elders of the Xia family were quietly jubilant as well, looking towards Xia Zinyan with an implicating look. Xia Zinyan vaguely felt that something was not right. She was resentful and was prepared to leave at any given time. Headman of Xia family, you've misunderstood us. Gu Zhengyang shook his head and forced a miserable smile. I have followed my father's order to give you these islands without any other intentions. Yu Feng also nodded, implicating that the Heaven Lake Divine Land was also of the same stance. When did your family suddenly become so conscientious? Xia Shen Chuan coldly smiled. But I can't accept it easily like this. I don't know that if I keep these letters, what is going to happen? You should take them back. Gu Zhengyang and Yu Feng exchanged glances with each other, their faces displayed an abundance of shame. They felt humiliated although they wanted to explain. What happened after all? The headman Xia Shen Chuan looked at these two guys and said, 
according to what I understand about your two leaders, they won't just causelessly hand over these islands. If I remember well, these ten islands make up all the resources of your two families. If it were me, I would not easily give them to someone else. Can we not tell you the reasons? Yu Feng said with a forced, miserable smile. Without the reasons, I will not accept it. Xia Shen Chuan shook his head. All right. Yu Feng released a sigh and said reluctantly, Our Divine Mother and the headmen of the Gu family have compensated those islands for the Yang family. In fact, these islands are supposed to be given to Xi Yan, but he is persistent to ask us to hand them over to you. Therefore, we come here to hand over these islands. All the people of Xia family were dumbstruck. What, what did you say? Xia Rui Singh's expression was like he didn't dare to believe it. He said, haven't you been mistaken? If I understand it right, you said Xi Yan has threatened the two of you and forced each of you to hand over five islands? He, what did he threaten you with? How could he do that? Xia Shen Chuan kept chucking his tongue and shaking his head. He obviously didn't believe what he'd just heard. Our Divine Mother and the headman of the Gu family had gone to the Snow Dragon Island together to see Xi Yan of the Yang family. After that, they had ordered us to give these islands to the Xia family. Yu Feng bowed his head dolefully, paused a little bit before continuing, not only the Heaven Lake Divine Land and the Gu family, but I've heard that Tang Yu and Nan of the Three Gods sect has also fulfilled Xi Yan's request, handing over five islands of theirs. The Xia families goggled to the extreme. Zinyan. Xia Shen Chuan's visage was very bizarre, looking at Xia Zinyan in panic. That little rascal, he has such powerful capacities like this. Xia Zinyan was a little amazed, she shook her head and said, It's been a very long time since I had last met him. I don't know either. Zinyan, Uncle Zhou is impressed. Zhou Yu released a sigh. It seems that no one in the Xia family has keen eyes but you. The five elders of the Xia family also nodded quietly and complimented her all together with delight faces. That's it. Gu Zheng Yang bent down with an amicable manner. I hope that you will quickly inform Xi Yan that you've received the islands to avoid the mistakenness. My father has told me not to let him have any misunderstandings. You have to tell him that we haven't threatened you with anything. Xia Rui Xing nodded as if he had lost his soul. It seemed like he was dreaming right now. You have to inform Xi Yan to avoid any misunderstandings. Yu Feng had also reminded again before leaving. Xia Zinyan looked like she had gotten lost in a mist of clouds. What did Xi Yan do to have dominated Gu Xiao and Yu Qin who were famous for being stingy? Chapter 290, Dragonhorn Clan, Ma Qi Ji Snowflakes were scattering about and the wind could chill an unsuspecting person to the bone. Snow blanketed the peaks of the mountains with a white coat. The icicles were pellucid and sparkling. Under the sunlight, they looked like splendid sharp swords. At the foot of the mountain, houses were covered with a thick layer of ice. On the awnings of the houses, there remained many long icicles. Inside the four-story house, He Ching Man was wearing a snow fox feather coat, subconsciously rubbed her palms and then blew out a small flow of warm air. She then mumbled, why did the weather suddenly become so cold without any warnings? There were only three people left in the house right now, including Pan Zhet, He Ching Man, and Cao Zhilan. The other people had either left with Gu Xiao and Yu Qin or been kicked out of the house according to Xi Yan's orders. Pan Zhe in a thick feather coat looked up to the mountain peak that reached the sky. He spoke up while his eyebrows were knitted tightly. Since last night, the temperature on the island has continually been decreasing for unknown reasons. It's peculiar. Cao Zhilan's face, on the contrary, was very calm. She even revealed a faint smile. It is surely related to Xi Yan. The temperature cannot just naturally decrease this fast. I don't know what they did to make this island to have become peculiar like this. Miss Cao, you assume that Xi Yan is more outstanding than other men that you have ever met before. He Ching Man retracted her neck into the snow fox feather coat. 
Her eyes were looking at Cao Zhilan suspiciously. You should know that the Yang family and we are still enemies. Pan Zhao looked at Cao Zhilan bewilderedly and incomprehensively. He also tried to listen into the conversation. Of course. Cao Zhilan nodded with a smile. She didn't try to hide her applause for Xi Yan. Her eyes radiated a strange light, when he was at the disaster realm, he could already resist one full power seven sword strike of Gu Xiaomei, Chinese way to call a little younger sister, and didn't lose his ground. In the chasm battlefield, only after two years, he had entered the earth realm from the disaster realm, and now, he is at the peak earth realm. This fast improvement is tremendous. Besides, his relations with the demonic sound clan and the wings race is out of our imagination. Regardless of how you speculate, you can't imagine that the demonic sound clan and the wings race obey his commands. Those words of Cao Zhilan had been hidden deep inside her for a very long time without being disclosed once. Cao Zhilan was better at observing than the others. In the abandoned land, she had soon realized that the attitudes of the pagan leaders Yi Tian Mo, Di Shan, and Yu Ro towards Xi Yan had substantially changed. Before leaving the abandoned land, she had even found out that Di Shan and Yu Ro seemed to follow Xi Yan's orders. That discovery had frightened her very much. Although she didn't know what had happened among Xi Yan, Di Shan, and Yu Ro, she knew for sure that Xi Yan had these two big pagan tribes in his palm. The demonic sound clan and the wings race had five god realm masters, together with a big number of sky realm and nirvana warriors. This force was strong enough to be able to change the entire situation of the endless sea. Given the situation in which the demon dwellers were intruding everywhere, this force actually could affect the final fighting results of the entire endless sea. As having seen through this point, Cao Zhilan proactively proposed to get married to Xi Yan without being ashamed. She wanted to use her own beauty and her background forces to bind Xi Yan with her tightly, creating a firm foundation for the CAO family's future. Regretfully, her plan went to the bottom of the sea. It seemed like CAO Zhilan had just remembered something as she quietly smiled and shook her head. Her beautiful eyes were full of excitements. It is getting more and more interesting indeed. Just wait and see, I will make him kneel down underneath my dress. Cao Zhilan thought to herself and curled up her lips with confidence. That guy is definitely fooling around. It is also weird that the temperature is decreasing this fast. Ye Meng's face was frigid, he launched a horrendous strike on top of the icicle next to him. The huge and rough crest of the icicle, which looked like an enormous stone pillar supporting the sky, turned into ice rubble tumbling down. If it continues like this, all the plants on this island will be frozen to death. Even some of my Nirvana realm people can't stand it anymore, and they have to wear more clothes. People who are below the Nirvana realm have temporarily evacuated to another area. If the island keeps getting colder, we eventually have to move to the other place. Yi Tian Mo's countenance was somber, his eyebrows knitted tightly. His soul consciousness kept searching under the Snow Dragon Mountain but wasn't able to locate anything. Di Shan's and Yu Ro's faces had also exposed their worries. Their soul cultivation was limited, and thus, they could find nothing. Shi Yan was standing in among the five leaders. He said with a low voice, We have to come up with a solution indeed. The gathering at the Three Gods' Sex headquarters is coming closer. If the abnormal situation on this island can't be solved, I won't feel at ease to leave. That fellow is extremely cunning, hiding discreetly. I can vaguely sense it a little bit but hardly able to lock on it. Yi Tian Mo shook his head and didn't know what else to do. It seems that we have to try our secret scriptures. Ka Bia contemplated for a while before speaking. Ye Meng's and Yi Tian Mo's eyes brightened. What secret scripture? Shi Yan was amazed and surprisingly asked, Do you have a secret scripture that can be of use for real? Ka Bia nodded respectfully and said, The three of us cultivate different spiritual Upanishads. Yi Tian Mo focuses on soul controlling, and Ye Meng focuses on soul attacking, while I specialize in soul diffusing. I used to cultivate a secret scripture named Leading Soul Guiding Gods. 
Using this scripture can connect my soul with the souls of other people, and thus my sense power will significantly increase. If Yaming, Yi Tian Mo and I unite with each other, our soul power can cover the entire Hen Gluo Sea. If we concentrate carefully, we can discover even the smallest soul fluctuations surrounding us. Does this secret scripture have any side effects? Shi Yan instinctively asked. Ka Bie had the secret scripture but hadn't used it before. It meant that this kind of scripture was not as simple as what he had just said. The conjoined soul is very dangerous. If the performer is careless, his soul will be scattered. Ka Bie nodded with a forced smile. The soul force of each of us isn't much different from each other, but our auras have big differences. Once we conduct this scripture, we absolutely can't be affected by any other forces. Otherwise, the souls of the three of us will possibly become chaotic or be interchanged with each other. Exchange souls. Shi Yan shouted. Yes, there might be a situation where my host soul enters Ya Meng's body, and then Ya Meng's host soul will penetrate my body. Once our souls are exchanged, if we can't change them back to the original host body in seven days, we have to accept the tragic reality. Ka Bie seriously said. Master, you let our people guard around. If no force penetrates this place, or no soul recklessly comes close, there won't be too many possible dangers. Yi Tian Mo wasn't too worried. The three of us will carry out the soul connection very quickly. Once our host souls can connect to each other, it's not that hard to find the life underneath. You only need to be more careful while we are performing. There shouldn't be any problems. That's how it is. Shi Yan nodded then looked at Dishan and Yu Ro and said with a smile, there won't be any big problems. No, there will not. Dishan and Yu Ro nodded at the same time. Ka Ba's face was excited, he said decisively, let's begin. After saying that, Ka Ba sat down neatly first, Ya Meng and Yi Tian Mo also found a place next to him to sit. The three of them formed a triangle their palms were placed against the others. They started to use the secret scripture leading soul guiding gods of the demonic sound clan. Each flow of the mysterious soul fluctuations was suddenly emitted from their bodies. These fluctuations were very violent and created visible waves in the middle of the air. These waves rippled like the water surface and slowly spread outwards. Shi Yan's face was dazed. His sea of consciousness was like it had entered the ocean becoming a lonely leaf floating on the water. His host soul and the five devils in the sea of consciousness also swung non-stop. Being affected by the soul fluctuations of Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie and Ya Meng, he felt that his soul was no longer under his control. On the contrary, Di Shan and Yu Ro were still unharmed. Yu Ro noticed Shi Yan's abnormal change. As she seemed to have felt something, she quietly swung her arm and drew a dazzling white halo covering his entire body. After that halo had covered his body, his sea of consciousness and host soul instantly stopped swaying. Everything returned to its normal status. With just the remnant of the soul fluctuations, they can still affect my sea of consciousness this much. The soul competencies of these three guys are really good. After taking a deep breath, Shi Yan smiled and said. If things keep following this way, when the soul fluctuations are successively transmitted into the earth, the life that is hiding there will be disclosed. Di Shan and Yu Ro nodded simultaneously. Their faces were getting more cautious, looking out at every direction. They were afraid that there would be someone coming close at this critical moment. At the northernmost point of the Kyara Sea, on a denuded and deserted island, the dazzling sunlight was hindered by the devilish auras which were as dense as the black clouds. Inside a mountain cave on this island, a bunch of mighty demon dwellers, who had three meter tall bodies, dark blue skin, single horns on their heads, together with peculiar weapons made out of white bones in their hands, were kneeling down on the ground. On a platform, which was created by piling up bloody bones, a hefty three and a half meter tall guy with a curved buffalo-like horn on his head was sitting up straight. He was bare from the waist up. Finger-sized green veins massively emerged like worms slowly creeping on his body. 
he looked very ferocious. Earth-shaking murderous auras like Yoon dispersed smoke hovered around him. This guy's face was filled with numerous interlaced scars which looked like the lines of a human palm. With a quick glance, this guy looked like a devil crawling from the Nine Serenities hell with full of heinous crimes. His dark blue eyes shot out a horrendous brutal aura. Patriarch, all the Dragonhorn clan's people have already assembled. They are waiting for your commands. Below the bone platform, one guy of the Dragonhorn clan was loudly reporting, his bloodthirsty face was very excited. On the bone platform, the Patriarch of the Dragonhorn clan, one of the demon masters of the fourth demon area, Machi Ji, was about to say something but suddenly sensed something else. His dark blue eyes were as if they were advancing through thousands of rivers and mountains, piercing straight forward towards an icy snow island. Conjoint soul. Ma Chi Ji shouted, his eyes displayed an extreme fear. The demonic sound clan disappeared a long time ago. They were one of the four big branches of the Dark Dwellers. How come they have appeared at the Kyra Sea all of a sudden? Chapter 291 Looking at each other from a space distance. Master Ma Chi Ji. An ear splitting shriek came out from a thick layer of black cloud in the sky. A demon dweller with only one eye appeared from inside those devilish clouds. His face was full of green patterns, his body was as skinny as a thin bamboo which continuously flashed on and off inside the cloud layers. Patriarch, when can we depart? That one eyed demon dweller showed the respect on his face clasping his hands in front of his chest while appearing inside the thick devilish clouds. Tell Xie Yan to wait there. Ma Chi Ji raised his head howling loudly. A flow of evil auras dashed straight through the cloud layers tremendously, making that pagan Xie Yan spinning non-stop within the devilish clouds. He could only stabilize his body after a long while and then glided away with a miserable face. He had instantly disappeared without leaving a single trace. Ma Chi Ji harumphed coldly, sat down stately on the bone platform and suddenly swung his arm launching forth a strike into the air. A black surge of lightning was then shot out from the void. Time and space seemed to be torn apart. Skulls that were freckled with blood gradually emerged. These skulls all had different sorts of shapes which had been collected from many different races. The pupils of many of these skulls were still very lively, some of the skulls still had their scalps attached to it, which seemed to be broken off from many of the people's necks not that long ago. A bunch of skulls that were dripping with blood were moving behind Ma Chi Ji like a halo of the Buddha. Many streams of vicious black smoke rose up from the empty sockets of hundreds of bloody skulls and then seeped into Ma Chi Ji's ears like devilish souls without leaving any visible traces. Ma Chi Ji's crazy black eyes gradually became transparent and seemingly contained an endless amount of accumulated soul powers. Devil Transparent Eyes Ma Chi Ji's hands clasped in front of his chest while his eyes closed tightly. Hundreds of skulls had suddenly stopped moving. A bundle of black lights flew out from Ma Chi Ji's nape slicing through the air, passing billions of miles and soon disappeared without leaving any known traces. The Snow Dragon Island. Di Shan, Yu Ro, and Qi Yan were standing in three separated directions behind Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie, and Ya Ming. They all looked serious and cautious. The dazzling lights had formed a visible halo that covered the top of the six people's heads and the entire surrounding area. Many beams of the condensed pure powers were constantly shooting out from the ten fingers of Di Shan and Yu Ro aiming towards the curtain of lights in the sky to increase and stabilize the defensive forces so that these forces were able to prevent all kinds of movements. Three minutes had passed. The three souls of Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie, and Ya Meng were connecting to each other to perform the leading soul guiding gods of the demonic sound clan. This technique would use their souls as a conducting path to search for the anomalies underneath the earth of the Snow Dragon Island. They obviously wanted to locate the elusive peculiar life which was hiding there. Those rippling waves of forces were marvelous. Wherever they had suffused, the beating melody of the earth also got affected as well. Under those waves, even the movements of a tiny worm creeping under thousands of miles deep inside the earth would be countlessly amplified. Ka Ba's eyebrows tightly knitted as he seemed to have found something out and thus, revealed a cold smile. 
Shi Yan's face was then excited. He patiently waited for the news. After having a quick glance, Di Shan and Yu Rou were focusing intensively, releasing more of their powers towards the curtain of lights above their heads to prevent any unexpected events. A cold wind appeared in the bright and clear sky all of a sudden that made the sun at noon seem to be weakened a lot. Thick black clouds from nowhere dispersed throughout the sky, completely covering all of the sunlight. The Snow Dragon Island was originally freezing. However, right now, even the sun couldn't be seen, and thus, it became gloomier and more glacial. Many people of the demonic sound clan felt that the freeze was being absorbed into their bodies, they thus couldn't help but violently clatter. As the black clouds reached the mountain peak, a flow of powerful devilish aura dispersed out from everywhere. Dishan's face changed in panic. He subconsciously looked up to the sky with a frightened light in his eyes. Yu Ro's delicate body had also trembled a little bit. She had also sensed something and thus said, This power is impetuous. This person's cultivation is extremely profound. Demon dwellers. Di Shan slowly nodded with a confused face. We finally meet. After being in a daze, Yu Ro seemed to remember something but then shook her head, released a sigh and said, We can't avoid confrontation with him although we don't want it. Hmm, I don't know if that guy still recognizes us or not. Di Shan's face was somber, and he didn't reply. Shi Yan was standing behind Yi Tian Mo, quietly listening to the conversation between Di Shan and Yu Ro. His countenance became strange with many thoughts coming across his mind. At this moment, a big eye appeared amid the thick black clouds in the sky, inside of which emerged a clear scene, an isolated island with dense devilish clouds a platform made of blood and bones, a sturdy mighty person with a curved horn on his head and hundreds of motionless bloody skulls behind that person. The bone platform was packed to the brim with the Dragon Horn clan's people. Their eyes were all bloodthirsty and excited. They couldn't help but lick the corner of their mouths like wild beasts eagerly being about to get out of the cage. In the huge eye, the scene was very legible, even countless scars on the face of the man who was sitting on the bone platform could be seen. The wings race. The mighty person inside the eye suddenly howled a thunderbolt sound and stood up at the same time, displaying his increasing agitation. He couldn't help but raise his head while crazily laughing. From inside of the eye, he pointed to Dishan and Uro and then screamed, I am the patriarch, Machiji of the Dragon Horn clan one of the eight clans of the Demon Dwellers. Your wings race was originally one of the eight clans of the Demon Dwellers. Regardless of where you were from, you should unite with us in spirits and efforts for the Demon Dwellers' great matter of reunification, for the Demon Dwellers' eternal suzerainty which is to wipe out all of the endless sea's obstacles, establishing the foundations for the Demon Master to arrive. Shi Yan's imposing body couldn't help but shake violently his eyes suddenly shot out an unimaginable light. From thousands of years ago, our wings race had soon separated from the demon area. When we were confined in the abandoned land and had almost perished, we didn't get any help from the demon area. Since then, the wings race had no longer belonged to the demon area nor followed any commands of the demon masters. Dishan raised his head looking up to the sky and said with a somber face, Sass. Machi Ji inside the eye was very angry, howling loudly and jumping up. His sturdy, powerful muscular body seemingly wanted to explode. Green veins of his half-naked top vibrated constantly, horrendous auras from inside the eye wanted to fly out striking the others' faces. Being one of the eight clans of the demon dwellers, your wings race must follow the commands of the demon masters as long as you are still alive. Although you are not in the demon area, you still have to conduct yourselves decently and submit as soon as you receive the Demon Master's orders. Machi Ji was standing on the bone platform, growling and roaring. Hundreds of motionless skulls started moving. Each shining black light was shot out from the sockets of hundreds of those skulls, passing the distance, advancing towards the Snow Dragon Island through that big floating eye. You have just brought disgrace upon yourselves. Dishan's eyes were frigid his black wings suddenly stretched out, projecting a huge black wave. 
numerous shining lights showered downwards but were all swept up and was completely swallowed up by Dishan's black wave. Ma Chi-ji was growling and howling crazily on the bone platform, the devilish aura was skyscraping. However, he couldn't directly take action, the different kinds of his attacks from the eye were useless and were not even enough to scratch Dishan's itches. The demon masters will soon know of the appearance of the wings race. You wait and see. After howling angrily for a long while, Ma Chi Ji knew that he couldn't harm Di Shan, thus, he just stood on the bone platform and coldly intimidated Di Shan. The demonic sound clan, one of the four big branches of the Dark Dwellers, Avi Dark King will be soon informed about this as well. By that time, let's see you how you can deal with it. Ma Chi Ji shrieked out loud, slowly retreating his forces. The floating eye became smaller little by little. The black clouds that were covering the sky of the Snow Dragon Island started dispersing and dissolving gradually. The last investigating flow of the soul forces spread out from the eye, covering the entire surrounding area of Dishan and Yuro and then seemingly tried to remember the aura on each of their bodies. This investigating flow of soul forces did not have any violent, attacking powers. Instead, it was merely a sensing power. This flow of power coated the entire area, including Shi Yan. He immediately felt that his soul was being explored. His sea of consciousness surged up uncontrollably. His host soul inside the sea of consciousness lightly swayed while the soul stream from the host soul quietly emitted several beams of forces which then rolled into the sea of consciousness. The eye in the sky gradually faded away and eventually turned into a bundle of black lights, flying tens of thousands of miles away. On the bone platform, Ma Chi Ji stretched out his arms, soul lights which were like streams of black water pouring down into his palms from the sky. He started to sense these lights. What? Ma Chi Ji's eyebrows were tightly slammed together. He carefully sensed the exploring soul forces which had been retreated and then vaguely realized a flow of a familiar aura. This soul aura, I've met it before. Ma Chi Ji had a suspicious feeling mused in silence for a while but still couldn't figure out whom that soul aura belonged to. After a long moment, Ma Chi Ji shook his head and stopped investigating any further. Instead, he gradually leaped up from the bone platform and howled, Find Xia Yan for me. A multitude of the Dragonhorn clan's people excitedly growled in response. They eagerly followed Ma Chi Ji holding different kinds of sabers on which blood was still dripping down as if those sabers had been used to cut the chickens' heads off recently. On the Snow Dragon Island, Shi Yan stabilized his surging sea of consciousness, his face looked a little strange. He wondered if Ma Chi Ji had discovered his existence or not. Previously, he had almost captured Ma Chi Ji's soul by using the Soul Gathering Pearl. At that time, Ma Chi Ji had said that he would let him suffer all the demon area's tortures sooner or later and had sworn not to let go of this promise. Even the demon master Bo Sun seemed to have paid attention to him as well as remembering his soul. When Ma Chi Ji's true body had entered the endless sea this time, he was now an earth-shaking murderous evil and no longer a descended soul like before. Ma Chi Ji was now harder to handle hundreds of times than before. Although the Soul Gathering Pearl had returned to its normal status, Shi Yan couldn't use it to deal with Ma Chi Ji. That Ma Chi Ji entered this world, together with his forces, wasn't something that ordinary people could have resisted. Ma Chi Ji's exploring soul flow had swept over Shi Yan's body. If Ma Chi Ji could discover his origin through that flow of soul aura, Shi Yan was afraid that Ma Chi Ji would get crazy and go straight to the Snow Dragon Island to immediately kill him. Hard times are coming. Shi Yan knitted his eyebrows, his face then became grave. Chapter 292, Holy Spirit God While Shi Yan said nothing, Di Shan and Yu Ro, on the contrary, had displayed feelings of insecurity. They hadn't explicitly told Shi Yan about the age-long problem that was related to the Wings race, the demonic sound clan, the demon dwellers and the dark dwellers. Just after Ma Chi Ji had appeared from out of nowhere, he had already pointed out their relationships. That had made Di Shan, and Yu Ro feel a little bit embarrassed, they didn't know how to explain this to Shi Yan. 
Master, this is... Yu Ro hesitated for a while. She finally spoke up after receiving Di Shan's signal. We were a branch of the demon area from the ancient times. However, it has been a very long time since we have all seen the demon dwellers even once. We even thought that they already probably had forgotten about us. Shi Yan suddenly woke up from his meditation. He was startled as he saw the two of them being worried. He immediately understood why they were having such feelings of awkwardness, so he shook his head with a smile and said, No need to explain. Your past is from thousands of years ago. Some things should be forgotten after such a long time. No worries, the past relationships between you and the demon dwellers will not bother me even just little bit. Yu Ro and Dishan had exchanged with one another an astonished and unbelievable look. In fact, since we were still in the abandoned land, I had figured out that you were somehow related to the demon dwellers. Shi Yan said with a faint smile. When Yi Tian Mo and I had a discussion about the Endless Sea, we had somehow mentioned of the demon dwellers and the dark dwellers. By that time, as I had noticed that Yi Tian Mo's face became strange, I have already had some doubts. However, after having thought about it over and over, I felt that it was not a problem at all. If you unite with the demon dwellers and the dark dwellers, I have no way to prevent it except for leaving. In my opinion, it is the best if the Endless Seas situation can progress as for how I expect it to be. However, the reality is not so. At the most, I can only run away, which is not a big deal. Shi Yan didn't originally belong to the Endless Sea nor this world. He had never felt too attached to any places. He had come to the Endless Sea from the Merchant Union to borrow the Yan family's forces to increase his strength to the max, which had allowed him to enter the new realm with the fastest speed. For the Yangs, although he was favorably disposed towards them, it was not too much so that he would risk his life. Anyway, he was not the son of Yang Hai. He didn't even bother whether the Yang Tian Emperor had favored him or not. I didn't expect that you were that open-minded. Yu Ro was surprised. She felt that Shi Yan was much more mysterious because an ordinary person would not be able to be that much tolerant. Later on, I don't want to bother you with commands in how to treat the demon dwellers. I will respect your intents. Shi Yan contemplated for a while before speaking. But, when you make your decision, I hope you would let me know so that I can be well prepared. That is not too much to ask of you all. You have overthought, Di Shan slightly bent down while saying with a sincere voice, as I have vowed to make you my master, I will not betray nor be ungrateful to you. No matter how the future is, I will be on your side. Unless you die, I will never change. Yu Ro also seriously displayed her determination in being loyal to him. Shi Yan was in shock. He nodded quietly but didn't show any emotions. I understand. He forced a smile and spoke up after a while. Perhaps Ma Chi Ji will soon come here with rage and consider me as his main target. What? Di Shan and Yu Ro looked at him with doubts and didn't understand why he had said so. You will understand by that time. Shi Yan didn't explain more. Suddenly, Ka Ba arched his eyebrows. His tightly closed eyes were now opened, shooting out splendid heavenly lights. Explicit vibrating souls were quietly retrieved. Yi Tian Mo's and Ya Meng's faces slightly changed. They quickly withdrew their soul consciousness as well. All the soul forces which had been released were temporarily retrieved to their sea of consciousness. Boom 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 boom. Suddenly, a chain of explosive sounds came out from underneath the Snow Dragon Mountain. The snow layer which was covering the mountain started to shake violently. The sky and earth aura rolled out massively. The immense flushing white frost continued scattering outwards, spreading out the entire Snow Dragon Mountain just in a blink. The Snow Dragon Mountain originally didn't have too much of the sky and earth aura. However, the aura was excessively overwhelming right now. The entire island instantly became vital. Although it was freezing, everyone felt joyful and comfortable as though they were in the center of a sacred area, enjoying the benefits of a miraculously precious cultivating location of the endless sea. Hey, 
I think the density of the aura here has surpassed the one that we had in our evil wonderland. He Ching Man suddenly stood up by the window, inhaled the fresh air before speaking up with an agitated face. Pan Zhe's countenance had also changed in panic. He unbelievably watched the heavy sky and earth aura surrounding them. He instinctively compared it with the one in the Penglei Divine Land and realized that the aura here was not less than that of the Penglei Divine Island of the Penglei Divine Land. This discovery had made him dazed without being able to think of anything. He raised his head looking towards the Snow Dragon Mountain where the aura was diffused. The dense aura like the white frost erupted just in a blink. This is a marvelous miracle. Cao Zhilan's mesmerizing face was also excited. My anticipation is not wrong, indeed. This Xi Yan always has some unexpected deeds. I want to know what he has done after all to make this Snow Dragon Island have such earth-shaking transformations. After speaking, Cao Zhilan walked out of the house and then glided towards the Snow Dragon Mountain under the scattering snowflakes. While she was still on her way, Cao Zhilan's charming body suddenly shivered as her spirit god martial spirit seemed to have discovered something. She stopped in the middle of the air, closing her eyes, her weathering eyelashes slightly trembled. After a long moment, she opened her eyes which now glinted with splendid lights. She instantly dashed towards the mountain peak faster and faster. There, thousands of Zhang underneath, that fellow is dwelling inside a huge dragon crystal chunk. That dragon crystal belongs to the icy crystal bone dragon if I am not wrong. However, that fellow inside the dragon crystal chunk is not the icy crystal bone dragon. I have never experienced that fellow's aura before. It is exceptional. Ka Ba's breath gradually returned to normal. He had also retrieved all of his soul forces which had been launched earlier. As soon as it realized that we were approaching, it immediately took actions. It continually shot out countless icy soul arrows. Its shelter is extremely freezing. The souls of the three of us were greatly weakened when having arrived there. On the contrary, that fellow could not only absorb the sky and earth spiritual aura but could also condense and refine the soul arrows inside the sky and earth spiritual aura. That is very frightening. We can't do anything but retrieve our souls. Yi Tian Mo helplessly explained. Shi Yan was astonished, abruptly sent out a message to the ice-cold flame. Did you sense anything? Do you know who or what that fellow is after all? I don't know what it is. But it is definitely not human, the ice-cold flame responded after a while, according to the amount of the sky and earth spiritual aura which was erupting, it is obvious that this fellow not only can control the ice but he can also gather the sky and earth spiritual aura. That is not something that the heaven flames can do. What is it then? I don't know. Pop pop. The sound of the stomps on the snow came up from the underneath of the snow mountain. Yi Tian Mo knitted his eyebrows then spoke to Shi Yan, that is Cao Zhilan. When a big amount of the sky and earth aura had erupted from the inside of the earth, she was running here from the foot of the mountain. Shi Yan frowned. As Yi Tian Mo and the others didn't see Shi Yan taking any reactions, they didn't prompt anything and just waited in silence. Not long after that, under the blowing wind and snow, Cao Zhilan, in a very thick velvet coat, gently arrived in front of Shi Yan. What do you come here for? Shi Yan's face was calm while coldly looking at her. I have warned you that you are not allowed to come up to this mountain peak freely. Don't you remember? Yes, I do. Cao Zhilan revealed a smile and gently replied without fear. I have just discovered something, so I had to come to this mountain to inform you. Discovered something. Shi Yan's face was in shock. Cao Zhilan slowly walked over and stood between Yi Tian Mo and Di Shan with a daring manner. Do you feel strange as to why this mountain could have an eruption of such a big amount of the sky and earth aura? As I know that the demonic sound clan has an incredibly profound soul competency, you have certainly found out something underneath the snow dragon mountain. But, I bet that you don't know what it is. Do you know? Shi Yan was a little excited. Cao Zhilan nodded and said with a smile, I do know. In the endless sea, 
not that many people know of it. I am one of those people. What is it? If you agree to marry me, I will tell you. Di Shan's, Yu Ro's and Ye Meng's eyes all flared up strange lights and surprisingly looked at Cao Zhilan. Only Yi Tian Mo, who had seen Cao Zhilan's boldness, didn't show any changes after hearing of her request. Shi Yan frowned. It seems that you want to liquidate yourself that impatiently. You are that unsaleable. Of course not. Cao Zhilan revealed a big smile. You can check to see how many men in the Endless Sea want to marry me. Ha ha ha, saying this may be a little arrogant, but I think that even your Xiaozinian is not as popular as I am in the Endless Sea. Do you believe it? Can you not waste more time? Shi Yan's face became somber, he annoyedly said, If you don't want to say it, you'd better go back down there. I am not free to talk to you. I am just joking with you. You are too violent. You will bully me later for sure. Cao Zhilan's mesmerizing eyes glanced at Shi Yan. If I am not wrong, surely the fellow underneath the Snow Dragon Mountain is the former Holy Spirit God of the Holy Spirit sect. Holy Spirit God. Shi Yan didn't understand anything. He tightly knitted his eyebrows. Why do you say so? What is the Holy Spirit God? Why does it appear on the Snow Dragon Mountain? And one more thing, how do you know about this? Holy Spirit God is the God who is worshipped by the Holy Spirit sect. In fact, this God is not naturally genuine. Instead, the Holy Spirit sect has used some anomalous methods to create it. The Holy Spirit God has a miraculous power to be able to control the sky and earth spiritual aura. Wherever it is, it will constantly attract the sky and earth spiritual aura from the adjacent areas then condense and refine it. Cao Zhilan started to explain little by little. Chapter 293, Spiritual Qi Bullets On the Snow Mountain Peak The group of Dishan and Qi Yan was seriously and attentively listening to Cao Zhilan's explanation. Every hierarch of the Holy Spirit sect will choose a twins during his time of reign, one of them is appointed to be the next hierarch of the Holy Spirit sect, and the other one is nourished with a secret method. His spirit is then extracted out. By taking that spirit as a conductive object, together with the Holy Spirit sect's anomalous method, they will create the Holy Spirit. When the new hierarch takes up the appointment, he will make the Holy Spirit which has been created from his twin sibling the new Holy Spirit God of the Holy Spirit sect which receives the religious worships of all the disciples of the Holy Spirit sect. Time after time, that Holy Spirit will have gradually gained the consciousness and spirit power, growing together with the hierarch. The worshipping powers of the Holy Spirit sect's principles will be poured into the Holy Spirit God, helping it possess a special ability to control and continuously gather the sky and earth spiritual aura. Thus, the Holy Spirit Sex Headquarters is the place that has the heaviest sky and earth aura in the endless sea. The Holy Spirit God and the Hierarch are twins, so their spirits are correlated. Whenever the Hierarch fights with anyone, he is always able to connect with the Holy Spirit God. Sometimes, at the critical moment, even at a distance of billions of miles, the Hierarch of the Holy Spirit Sect can still summon the Holy Spirit God to support him in the battle. With the Holy Spirit God at his side, the hierarch of the Holy Spirit sect can release the power which is three times stronger than usual and freely control the sky and earth aura of the adjacent areas to disturb the enemy's sea of consciousness. It is very dangerous. That is also the time when the hierarch of the Holy Spirit sect is the most powerful. It can be said that the Holy Spirit God is the sharpest weapon of the Holy Spirit sect's hierarch. Besides, the Holy Spirit God has one special effect. In the legend, if the Hierarch reaches the peak third sky of the spirit realm, he can swallow up the Holy Spirit God, which allows him to enter the true God realm quickly. However, if he does so, the Holy Spirit God will disappear, its soul and spirit will both perish. Frankly saying, all of the former Holy Spirit Gods had been swallowed up like this. Its biggest value of existence is to help the hierarch of the Holy Spirit sect break through the wall of the true God realm. 
Every hierarch of the Holy Spirit sect has one related Holy Spirit God. The Holy Spirit God of the current regime is still in the Holy Spirit sect's headquarters. So, the Holy Spirit God underneath this snow dragon mountain should be of the former regime. Cao Zhilan's voice was very pleasant to one's ears. She legibly told Shi Yan and the others her knowledge of the Holy Spirit God. After having heard that information, Shi Yan was shaken with his mouth and eyes wide opened. That was the first time he heard about this peculiar creature of the Holy Spirit sect. Previously, he had only known that the Holy Spirit sect was very mystical and that the hierarch of the Holy Spirit sect had cultivated some special secret methods. However, he didn't expect that there were so many secrets inside the Holy Spirit sect. The former Holy Spirit God? Why had the hierarch of the previous regime not swallowed it yet? Yi Tian Mo asked with surprise. The previous hierarch of the Holy Spirit sect had encountered the cultivation insanity and died before he could reach the peak spirit realm. As soon as the hierarch was dead, the Holy Spirit God went missing and never again showed up in the endless sea. It has been unexpectedly hiding underneath this place. Cao Zhilan exclaimed nonstop. She said while looking at the sky and earth aura which was erupting from inside the earth. The endless sea is immense, why it has come to this snow dragon mountain. I don't understand the fact that it seems to have a compelling icy trait which is not the ability that a holy spirit god can possess. It has devoured the spirit of the icy crystal bone dragon. The dragon crystal of the icy dragon crystal is now its shelter. Yi Tian Mo said with a low voice. Cao Zhilan's beautiful face changed. Yi Tian Mo continued, the icy crystal bone dragon is the eighth level beast. In the legend, this icy crystal bone dragon stayed nearby the snow dragon island and was extremely aggressive. Even some of the endless seas god realm warriors couldn't conquer it when they had arrived here. It is unexpected that the holy spirit god not only devoured the icy crystal bone dragon's spirit but had also occupied the dragon crystal. It seems that that Holy Spirit God has gone through an incredible transformation. It is not sure if this Holy Spirit God should be considered as a Holy Spirit God anymore. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. The sky and earth aura violently erupted from inside the snow dragon mountain. Just after a short while, the snow dragon mountain had already been immersed in a great amount of the sky and earth aura. The sky and earth aura quickly diffused and turned the snow dragon island to a place that had an abundance of spiritual auras. If it was not because of the tremendous freezing aura on the mountain, the snow dragon island should already become a very suitable place for warriors to cultivate. Being covered by the immense white frost, the snow dragon mountain looked like it was drowning in the clouds, and thus the vision was also limited. Shi Yan was contemplating for a while didn't know how to handle the Holy Spirit God underneath the snow dragon mountain. He then subconsciously looked at Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie and Ya Meng and asked, did that fellow get out of there? No, it didn't, Ka Bie shook his head. As soon as it had realized our exploring soul, it immediately released its attacking power. However, when we had retreated out of that place, it didn't chase after us. It seems that it doesn't want to leave the earth. It is unknown why it has emitted so much of the sky and heaven aura. It is probably going to attack. Cao Zhilan's eyebrows slightly knitted as if she had figured out something. The Holy Spirit God can control the sky and earth aura, condense the sky and earth aura into the spiritual chi bullets. The spiritual chi bullets power is tremendous. The Holy Spirit God should need time to condense them. Thus, it is probably refining the spiritual chi bullets. Could be. Dishan raised his head up to the sky, his countenance became somber. Shi Yan also felt chilled inside his heart. He now realized that the aura in the sky was moving abnormally. He raised his head uncontrollably, looking up towards the sky with a changing countenance. The white frost in the sky was assembling into many clouds of frost, each of which then turned into a circle of white frost. The bitterly cold weather turned into the freezing icy powers absorbing into the white frost. Not long after that, chopping board-sized white circles appeared, which were like big snowballs being condensed in the air. Inside those snowballs, 
there was not only full of the extremely chaotic sky and earth aura but also the freezing icy powers. The vibrating powers were severely turbulent as if they could explode at any time. A big amount of the sky and earth aura erupting from inside the snow dragon mountain converged at those big snowballs. If looking further, it was easy to see many white full moons in the sky which were splendidly shining. However, they were also full of violent vibrating powers that scared people out of their wits. Tell everyone at the foot of the mountain to evacuate. Shi Yan suddenly commanded. Yi Tian Mo's figure flashed up then gently left leaving no traces just in a blink. Cao Zhilan's beautiful eyes flared up, attentively watching Yi Tian Mo's figure that had just left. She was now more certain that Shi Yan could command the demonic sound clan and the wings race. She couldn't help but be shocked. Here it comes. Di Shan shouted while the wings on his back instantly spread out. Streaks of black lightning were weaving with each other to create a net and then shot out up to the sky. The spiritual chi bullets in midair plunged down, bringing along the incomparable impetus. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. The entire snow dragon island started to explode. The spiritual chi bullets, which were as big as a chopping board and sparklingly luminous like a bright moon, were shot down from the sky. That made the snow dragon mountain start to roar, growl, and violently shake non-stop as if it could collapse at any time. The number of the spiritual chi bullets could be up to dozens. Each of the bullets contained an impetuous vibrating power. When one spiritual chi bullet was shot down, a manor at the foot of the mountain fell instantly. Many pagans of the demonic sound clan and the wings race screamed out and scattered everywhere. Because the temperature of the snow dragon island kept decreasing, many pagans with low cultivation base of the two tribes had soon withdrawn in advance. Therefore, the rest of them who were at the foot of the mountain right now had a high cultivation base and were not afraid of the icy aura of the snow dragon mountain. When the spiritual chi bullets shot down massively, their runaway speed was extremely fast. Most of them didn't get injured and quickly flee from the attacking range of the spiritual chi bullets. He Ching Man and Pan Zhe were also among those who were running away. The two of them, the young high-class warriors of the Evil Wonderland and the Penglei Divine Land also realized the situation. As soon as they saw the situation went wrong, they immediately escaped with the fastest speed and tried to avoid the spiritual Qi bullets attacks. The target of the spiritual Qi bullets was still Shi Yan and Di Shan's area. As Di Shan and Yu Ro saw dozens of the spiritual Qi bullets plunging down, they finally put all their efforts to withstand the spiritual Qi bullets attacks. Shi Yan and Cao Zhilan were standing next to them, so they both were protected and didn't get shot by the spiritual Qi bullets. However, from the lightning striking down from the sky and the explosive sounds constantly reverberating from the mountain, Shi Yan knew that those spiritual Qi bullets that had been created by the Holy Spirit God had tremendously mighty powers. Although this Holy Spirit God was refined from the human spirits, it doesn't have a body and thus cannot be considered as the humankind. Especially that it seemingly has devoured the spirit of the icy crystal bone dragon. It is unknown what kind of specific living creature this Holy Spirit God has become, or whether it has the intelligence or not. It is tough to have a solution for this. Cao Zhilan stood shoulder on shoulder with Shi Yan. Even though she was facing the splendid lightning striking down from the sky and the spiritual Qi bullets which would possibly demolish the entire mountain, she didn't show any fear. Instead, she still beamed out a smile from the corner of her mouth as usual. She told Shi Yan about the things related to the Holy Spirit God with a gentle voice. The ice-cold flame inside the blood vein ring suddenly emitted a bone-chilling icy power. This icy power flushed around Shi Yan, making his body instantly discharge the icy aura. Shi Yan's body felt cool right away. As soon as he wanted to send a message to the ice-cold flame, he immediately realized that there was another icy aura which was quietly ejected from inside the earth intruding his body through his feet. This aura started to fight with the ice-cold flame inside his body. At the same time, a marvelous flow of a vibrating spirit also spread out from his body. Thousands of soul senses seemed to appear and scatter everywhere inside his body. However, 
they couldn't converge right now and were still finding a way to do so. That fellow wants your body. The ice-cold flame quickly sent out a message. It needs a body. It intends to rely on a body to be revived. As your body used to tempered by my forces, it can receive its icy aura. It has the same thought with mine from that previous year. Shi Yan's face suddenly changed. Crack crack. The snow surface under Shi Yan's feet exploded and split open all of a sudden. It was easy to see a corridor opened up, running straight down inside the earth. It was like a bloody mouth that wanted to swallow up Shi Yan. Cao Zhilan, who was standing next to him, wanted to leap up to save him. However, she then realized that after that corridor had swallowed Shi Yan, it closed right away. Until she could land in that place, the corridor had been gone. Why does it want you? Cao Zhilan's beautiful eyes were full of astonishment. Her spirit god martial spirit could vaguely sense the holy spirit god's consciousness underneath. Does your body have something that attracts it? How many more of secrets that you are still hiding? Shi Yan, wait and see. I will dig each of them out. Chapter 294, Soul Confrontation In the middle of the firm, rough and long icy bones, which were like sharp swords, splendid lights were radiating. The sky and earth aura were as dense as gurgling streams. The icy bones were emitting peculiar halos which could blind people's eyes and daze people's minds. This was the dragon's body of the icy crystal bone dragon. The icy crystal bone dragon's body was 100 meters tall and 10 meters wide. The insides of the body were empty had no skin nor flesh left except for this enormous skeleton. At this moment, Shi Yan was standing inside this huge skeleton of the icy crystal bone dragon. Surrounding him were shiny solid bones like sparkling crystals. It was as if he was in a room which was made of coarse long bones. Lava rocks enshrouded the outsides of this bone room. The gurgling sky and earth aura flowed out from the icy bones. Staying inside this skeleton, Shi Yan didn't need to waste his strength to condense the profound qi. Instead, he could feel the aura which was like cool and fresh morning dew absorbing into his belly through his breath. The aura was then taken completely in before slowly pouring into the profound qi halo on his belly. That was the first time Shi Yan saw such dense sky and earth aura. Even inside the caves on the god mountain in the immortal island of the Yang family, the aura was much less than the one here. It seemed like he was being immersed in the ocean of spiritual aura. His pores kept absorbing the sky and earth aura of this place, which made his body very comfortable. He felt that he could forever immerse himself in this place and didn't want to leave any more. Be careful. That fellow is in the head of this dragon skeleton. The ice-cold flame inside the blood vein ring sent out a message. Shi Yan nodded quietly. He didn't hurry to release his soul consciousness, instead, he calmly observed everywhere for a while before raising his head looking up. From inside of the glittering white skeleton, he could only see thick icy lava layers, on which there were full of cold white frost and tremendous icy aura. An ordinary person could have been frozen if he had touched these frost layers. Although he wasn't afraid of the icy lava, he knew that it was not easy to get out of here. No need to be too worried. The ice-cold flame continued to send out another message after a while, the burning fires of the 10,000-year earth flame could melt down the entire icy lava around here. Even though that fellow knows how to use the icy aura, it won't be able to do anything under the heat of the 10,000-year earth flame. Together with my help, your body can adapt to the penetrating icy aura. You just need to pay attention to its soul attacks. Yet. Yeah. Shi Yan nodded dragged a cold half-smile out of his lips and replied, the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame inside the blood vein ring was originally a soul without an entity. If this fellow can sense the aura of the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame, it could be more frightened than I was. The Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame is its nemesis indeed. The ice-cold flame agreed with what Shi Yan said. But, are you able to control the Nine Serenity's soul-devouring flame? No. I am not. Shi Yan nodded. It was strictly confined by the blood vein ring. 
I can't communicate with it nor check its current status. However, the aura of the Nine Serenities' soul devouring flame is very special. Perhaps if that fellow penetrates, it will possibly sense it more or less. The ice cold flame mused for a while before speaking, still have to be careful. Shi Yan smiled but didn't reply. He immediately walked towards the dragon head. An oval shaped crystal, as big as a table, was floating around inside the skull. That crystal emitted cold icy white aura like a jade block. A peculiar liquid was moving and gently swaying inside the crystal like a human brain. That liquid projected a tremendous living vibration. Shi Yan started to condense his forces seriously. He was quietly taking precautions, moving step by step to the dragon head in which that crystal was floating around. From ten meters far away, looking at the motionless floating dragon crystal and the lurching liquid like a human brain, he coldly spoke up after contemplating for a while, what do you want to do? That liquid which looked like a human brain boiled up all of a sudden, many snow white bubbles came up. Those bubbles then exploded inside the dragon crystal, discharging faint white smokes which flew out of the dragon crystal and quickly dispersed everywhere. At the same time, a weird sound came out from the dragon crystal, I want your body. If you give me your body, together with another body to exchange, I can help you enhance your soul, make your host soul's forces stronger. I will also find another consigning body for you, and you can stay at my place to cultivate in condensing auras which will help quickly increase your cultivation speed. Shi Yan was amazed. He didn't expect that this Holy Spirit God of the Holy Spirit sect would proactively propose such strange suggestions like this instead of hastily using its powerful soul forces to occupy his body right away without saying a word. That was out of Shi Yan's expectations. Sorry, I don't agree with this deal. Shi Yan shook his head. He said when he was facing the dragon crystal, I am satisfied with this body and don't want to change to another one. Moreover, if I want to promote my soul, I will devotedly cultivate step by step. I don't need your help. It was ridiculous. His body possessed not only the immortal martial spirit but also the petrification martial spirit. His heart could absorb star spirits. The meridians of his entire body could ingest negative forces and condense them as well. There were many other marvelous secrets in his body. This entire body was a treasure. It was some sort of his protective charm that he relied on to survive. Sacrificing this body to promote the soul was not something a person with an undamaged brain would agree. Shi Yan refused determinately. You don't agree. The speed of the advancing bubbles was getting faster and faster inside the dragon crystal. I have given you a chance. If you decline, I will then forcefully seize what I want, which can make your soul and spirit perish. You should not force me to act that heartlessly. You can also go easy on me graciously. Shi Yan burst into laughter, shook his head and said, If you have the guts, come and take it. I want to see if you have this ability. Just right after finishing speaking, Shi Yan's face became frigid without waiting for the Holy Spirit God in the Dragon Crystal to have any actions. Boom! Shi Yan's palms launch a bunch of fiery heaven flames which then turned into a flock of burning fires with their scorching heat power, instantly dashing towards the Dragon Crystal. Swoosh swoosh swoosh! A cluster of heaven flames engulfed the dragon crystal which then transmitted a strange sound all of a sudden while a lot of white frost spread out from the inside of it. Two flows of extreme cold and extreme hot forces were fighting with each other, and the temperature inside the dragon skeleton kept changing constantly. Heaven flames! The Holy Spirit God inside the dragon crystal suddenly screamed out. As it obviously didn't expect that Shi Yan would have that move it couldn't help but launch a part of its spirit power to prevent the 10,000-year earth flame from penetrating the dragon crystal. The icy crystal bone dragon was the beast with the powerful icy trait and a bone-chilling icy skeleton. Inside the icy crystal bone dragon, the freezingly coldest one was the dragon crystal. The dragon crystal of the icy crystal bone dragon was frigidly icy and very solid, could be considered one of a few of the most unusual icy creatures in the world. 
burning fires of the 10,000-year earth flame covering the dragon crystal couldn't immediately burn it into ashes. Meanwhile, the Holy Spirit God continually gathered the icy auras to prevent the invasion of the 10,000-year earth flame from destroying its extreme heating power, and thus the 1,000-year earth flame couldn't severely harm the dragon crystal. As you have taken actions first, I won't continue putting up with you. The Holy Spirit God transmitted a cold-hearted sound from inside the dragon crystal. A violent and horrendous soul flow like a massive surging wave suddenly stormed straight towards Xi Yan. That was the bone-chilling, nebulous soul attack. Xi Yan was standing there, watching the massive volume of snow and ice all converge, interlace and collide with each other, and shoot out icy power which could tightly tie up all the souls. These two forces intertwined with each other covering the entire sky and earth, dashing straight to his sea of consciousness as if they wanted to crush his sea of consciousness at once. That was the fatal attack whose target was his sea of consciousness and host soul. The soul attack massively darted, wrapping everything up without allowing him to avoid. He instantly felt that his sea of consciousness seemed to have been locked up. Five Devils Attack the five devils in the sea of consciousness had soon stirred up, instantly flew out of the sea of consciousness, altogether plunging into the violent soul flow that was advancing. Although the five negative devils had different forms, they were all eccentric with full of brutal and terrifying auras. As soon as they entered the strong soul flow that had been launched by the Holy Spirit God, they immediately showed their claws and fangs impetuously tore that soul flow into broken pieces of the soul floating and drifting around. Devils! The Holy Spirit God cried. He was inside the dragon crystal showing the extreme fear, he then quickly condensed a new soul attack flow. Shi Yan's soul consciousness could realize those broken pieces of soul that had been torn down by the five devils instantly condensed and turned into many beams of frigid, icy light. Those icy lights rapidly extended and were on their way dashing towards Xi Yan, they gradually turned into small transparent icy crystal bone dragons. Each of the small icy crystal bone dragons was only one meter long and splendidly translucent. Its body was full of icy aura, lively and flexible. A bunch of them all opened their dragon mouths, from which icy aura kept circulating in and out. Dozens of the small icy crystal bone dragons, which had been formed by broken pieces of the soul assembling, had passed the five devils' blockage and attacked Shi Yan directly. Hum Shi Yan's face remained unchanged while his sea of consciousness slightly transformed. Countless soul consciousness suddenly emerged in his formerly restful sea of consciousness. Strong winds and high waves surged up there. Meanwhile, his host soul kept growing, turning into huge devil gods who were as big as high mountains. The host soul was firmly pulling out the negative feelings which the five devils had left in the sea of consciousness and then transformed them into black shining luminous ropes wrapping around those icy crystal bone dragons. The host soul inside the sea of consciousness also changed according to the transformations of the sea of consciousness. The host soul was moving everywhere uncertainly. After several movements, it left many illusionary figures that attracted the icy crystal bone dragons which had been created by the Holy Spirit God. After having waited until those icy crystal bone dragon came close, the host soul's hands then swung up. The black shining ropes, which had been condensed by negative feelings inside the sea of consciousness, suddenly shot out and accurately tied up those icy crystal bone dragons. The icy crystal bone dragons were strangled so tightly that they couldn't even wriggle and impossibly entered Shi Yan's sea of consciousness, let alone catch his host soul. It's impossible. Your understanding of the Upanishads cannot be that profound. The Holy Spirit God inside the dragon crystal screamed out. It didn't know how come that marvelous attack, which it had thoroughly thought and planned, was easily dissolved by Shi Yan. There are still many of impossible things. Shi Yan revealed a faint smile. His sea of consciousness transformed again. The black shining ropes that were wrapping around the icy crystal bone dragons, pulling each of them and binding them all together. At the same time, the five devils that had gotten out of the sea of consciousness were now returning eagerly, showing their claws and fangs as though they wanted to swallow up all of those icy crystal bone dragons that had the spiritual aura of the Holy Spirit God. Don't. 
the Holy Spirit God shouted loudly again. Chapter 295, It's Not Because of You From inside the dragon skeleton, the Holy Spirit God screamed out, continuously releasing soul forces with the hopes of changing the situation. Suddenly, the icy crystal bone dragons, which had been tied up by Shi Yan Si of consciousness, violently wriggled while their soul forces were gradually increasing. However, they still underestimated Shi Yan's soul competency. In the abandoned land, Shi Yan had continuously studied different magical spiritual Upanishads of the demonic sound clan. Moreover, he had also taken Pan Zhe and the other warriors to be his experimental human test subjects. Although his understanding of the souls was still not as well as that of Yi Tian Mo and the other leaders of the demonic sound clan, his perception of the spiritual Upanishads had been much more profound if compared with ordinary people or even some normal pagans of the demonic sound clan. Anyway, not all of the demonic sound clan's pagans had a chance to study the most marvelous miraculous secret scriptures of this clan. On the one hand, Shi Yan had a thorough perception of the spiritual Upanishads, learned by heart all kinds of soul techniques of the demonic sound clan. On the other hand, his five devils in the sea of mind from the blood vein ring were extremely mystical, possessed devilish powers that could even surprise and puzzle Yi Tian Mo, the demonic sound clan's leader as well as the expertise in the spiritual Upanishads. With all of the above reasons, if the Holy Spirit God still considered Shi Yan as an ordinary warrior, it would suffer a great loss. It's not because of you. Shi Yan shouted coldly. His eyes shot out frigid rays like the freezing aura in an ice cellar. Thin milk white frost massively spread out from the pores of his body. It was the icy cold power that the ice cold flame poured into his body. Thin smoke hovered around covering him, created a natural icy shield which quietly protected him from the imminent attacks of the Holy Spirit God. At the same time, the five devils, who had just returned with cruel and fierce appearances, suddenly dashed towards those small icy crystal bone dragons which were being tied up. As the icy crystal bone dragon saw the five devils penetrating into the sea of consciousness, they started to struggle constantly, trying to escape from the shackles inside the sea of consciousness. However, Shi Yan's host soul inside the sea of consciousness kept launching tenacious binding forces, filling the beams of lights which were fastening the icy crystal bone dragons. No matter how much those icy crystal bone dragons tried, they couldn't get out of this shackle. Don't. The Holy Spirit God ear-piercingly cried out. It wanted to fly out of the dragon crystal but was entangled by the burning fires of the 10,000-year earth flame. More horrendous soul attacks were discharged from the dragon crystal. Those soul forces alternatively turned to the ethereal figures of mighty beasts which were roaring and growling. They stormed towards Shi Yan's sea of consciousness one by one. Right at this moment, the soul auras of Yi Tian Mo, Ya Meng, and Ka Bia suddenly appeared inside the freezing dragon skeleton. When Shi Yan's sea of consciousness opened up, and the heaven eye brightened, he saw Yi Tian Mo, Ya Meng, and Ka Bia, who had used their soul state to appear here immediately prevent the ethereal beasts that had been released by the Holy Spirit God. Taking this chance, the host soul inside his sea of consciousness then put forth all of its strength to bind dozens of those transparent icy crystal bone dragons. Shi Yan understood that tens of these icy crystal bone dragons were the pure soul forces of the Holy Spirit God. These forces were tremendous enough to destroy his sea of consciousness completely. Moreover, these soul forces also contained some terrifying powers. The five devils would possibly swallow those mighty soul forces. When the five devils were showing their strong greed, Shi Yan immediately knew that these icy crystal bone dragons were certainly the miracle medicines for the five devils to make the transformation breakthrough. Swallowing up these icy crystal bone dragons obviously allowed the five devils to get stronger and their soul forces to soar. That was such a chance that was hard to have in a thousand year. The five devils growled and flew up catching their preys, rushing to tear down dozens of those icy crystal bone dragons. The five devils devoured them as if they were their real preys, joyfully enjoyed them so much that ice rebels from those icy crystal bone dragons were showered about everywhere. Inside the sea of consciousness, 
while the five devils were devouring those icy crystal bone dragons, their bodies gradually transformed. The formerly ambiguous ethereal bodies of the five devils now became clearer. Even the strange devilish patterns on their bodies could now be seen little by little. There was also a faint black light moving inside their eerie bodies, even their forms seemed to be a little bit mightier. The five devils dozens had completely devoured dozens of the icy crystal bone dragons within ten breaths. After having eaten all those icy crystal bone dragons, the five devils seemed not to be satisfied yet. They flew out of the sea of consciousness again, turned into furious ten-meter-tall devils flying around the Holy Spirit God to find a chance to take actions. Closing his eyes and using the soul consciousness to sense everywhere, Shi Yan saw the three people of Yi Tian Mo's group uniting with each other to deal with the Holy Spirit God's soul attacks. Being the leaders of the demonic sound clan, their soul competencies were exceptional indeed. Even though the Holy Spirit God, who was called God, had to show its helplessness when facing their soul defense. The 10,000-year earth flame was still constantly burning the dragon crystal making the Holy Spirit God unable to release all of its forces. Dozens of flows of pure soul forces that had turned to icy crystal bone dragons had been devoured and cleared out. The Holy Spirit God had lost a lot of its forces and was nearly unable to resist any more. The Holy Spirit God was screeching noisily, using its forces to cope with the soul defense of Yi Tian Mo, Ya Meng, and Ka Bie. At the same time, it also had to deal with the 10,000-year earth flame. The Holy Spirit God was powerful indeed. Regretfully, it was not a true God after all. Eventually, after constantly attacking it without receiving significant results, the 10,000-year earth flame condensed its forces again, using the forces of the sun refined spirit inside the earth flame to increase the burning fires to one level higher. The earth flame which was wrapping the dragon crystal released the scorching heat like the heat of the sun at noon instantly. The fusion of this blazing heat with the burning forces of the earth flame tripled the earth flame's burning fires. Crack crack crack! The dragon crystal produced strange echoes all of a sudden. The peculiar liquid inside it moved slower, bubbles boiled more and more. In fact, we can still negotiate more carefully. You will not want anything to happen to me. If I am not here, the sky and earth aura in this area will dissolve. I know the sky and earth aura is extremely crucial for your cultivations. Don't you want to see this island become a desert island? The Holy Spirit God moved inside the dragon crystal, transformed slowly, and gradually condensed into an ambiguous face. Five Devils Retreat Shi Yan used his spirit to withdraw the five devils. The host soul continually released soul fibers like soul tentacles to comfort the vibrations inside the sea of consciousness and calm the seething sea of consciousness. After the greedy five devils, which were flying around the dragon crystal, had received Shi Yan's call, they reluctantly came back from the dragon crystal, turning into beams of black lights and vanishing on top of Shi Yan's head. They then reappeared inside his sea of consciousness and gradually became restful again. Although the five devils had already returned, Shi Yan was still very cautious. His eyes coldly looked at the ambiguous face that the Holy Spirit God had created inside the dragon crystal and coldly said, Now what? Are you scared? Didn't you want to seize my body forcefully? Now I know that I can't be successful. The Holy Spirit God released a long sigh. The ambiguous face slightly shook as though it touched the pellucid walls of the dragon crystal. It hastily said, retrieve this damn heaven flame, otherwise if the dragon crystal's icy power is totally consumed, I will be openly exposed. I will be screwed by that time, and the thick sky and earth aura here will also disappear. You certainly don't want that. No, I don't care. Shi Yan shook his head and casually said, at most, I will relocate to another island. There are many islands with dense sky and earth aura. I don't mind moving to another place, but I do care more about destroying you. The Holy Spirit God trembled while contemplated without saying anything. Recently, dozens of the icy crystal bone dragons condensed from your pure soul forces are indeed the miracle nutritious medicines for souls. I will burn your dragon crystal shell, wait until your soul is completely exposed, 
perhaps I can both use the heaven flame to refine and absorb your soul. I feel that this is even worth than having a cultivating place with full of sky and earth aura. Shi Yan laughed coldly. He didn't care about the Holy Spirit God's life and death except for his benefits. The Holy Spirit God trembled even more. Keep burning. Burn that dragon crystal into ashes. Shi Yan's face was cruel while ordering the 10,000 year earth flame that was currently wrapping that dragon crystal. Receiving Shi Yan's order, the earth flame put forth more efforts, pouring more burning flame like molten steel onto the dragon crystal, gradually dissolving the icy partition wall outside of the dragon crystal. If the situation continued like this, the dragon crystal would melt down shortly. The three people of Yi Tian Mo's group also understood Shi Yan's intention. They coldly smiled while increasing their soul-protecting forces, establishing colorful layers after layers of protecting walls to prevent the Holy Spirit God from acting crazily and taking risks to release one strike that could break even jade or stones. Why are all of you pushing me? I only want to survive, become a living creature with blood and flesh, not some illusory god. I don't want to be taken advantage of nor just being a supplementing medicine for the others to consume and gain the abilities to break through, and then ending up heartlessly being swallowed eventually. I only want, to live. The Holy Spirit God screamed out like crazy. Flows of soul forces, which were as sharp as sabers, were shot out. He seemed to be uncontrollable soon. Shi Yan's face remained unchanged while he quietly released his soul consciousness to sense around, bringing his spirit close to the dragon crystal, quietly speculating the Holy Spirit God's actions from the dragon crystal's soul vibrations. Your soul wants to act recklessly. Shi Yan felt that his heart was freezing. He seemed to have figured out something, contemplated for a while before shouting, All right, we can talk. Don't continue like I will live and you must die. While talking, Shi Yan also released a beam of soul consciousness to send a message to Yi Tian Mo and the other two and gently instructed the earth flame at the same time, no need to increase the forces anymore. The extreme hot aura of the earth flame which had been covering the dragon crystal was instantly decreasing. The soul figures of Yi Tian Mo and the other two leaders also slowly moved backward behind Shi Yan. The soul fastening power that had been approaching the dragon crystal was also weakened little by little and turned into the defending forces. The feeling of anxiety and insecurity of the Holy Spirit God gradually calmed down and returned to normal after Shi Yan had made some concessions. What do you want? Don't you want to kill me? The Holy Spirit God stayed inside the dragon crystal observing Shi Yan, are you going to comfort my feelings and wait until I am neglectful? you will then take this chance to attack me stealthily and ultimately absorb my soul. Shi Yan's countenance didn't change, but he was astonished deep inside. The Holy Spirit God had accurately said what was in his mind. When the Holy Spirit God was not taking precautions, he would ask Yi Tian Mo and the Earth Flame to unite with each other to launch a full power strike, tightly binding the Holy Spirit God. Before its soul exploded, he would take everything of it control its soul so that the five devils could gradually absorb it. The soul explosion was so extremely violent that it could kill anything. It could create a soul black hole attracting all of the surrounding creatures' souls. When a soul exploded, its aura would vanish, nothing of the soul forces would remain, no one could take any benefits from that exploded soul. Once the Holy Spirit God's soul had exploded, Shi Yan wouldn't get any benefits, his soul could also be attracted by the soul black hole that the soul explosion had created, which possibly led to the unexpected fatal danger. That was not what he wanted. In fact, we can talk in peace. Your being alive is more useful for me. Shi Yan suddenly revealed a smile, pointed the blood vein ring towards the earth flame to call it back. The earth flame and he had a close spiritual interaction, thus, it naturally understood his intention. Right after he had moved his hand, the earth flame immediately turned to a beam of flames getting back into the blood vein ring. As soon as the earth flame had disappeared, the uncomfortable heating temperature inside the dragon crystal had completely gone. The freezing aura like an ice cellar flooded the entire dragon skeleton once again. The dragon crystal, 
which wasn't entangled by the earth flame anymore, became splendidly translucent. The freezing aura inside the dragon skeleton turned into glittering ice dots like snowflakes falling to the dragon crystal and being absorbed entirely by the dragon crystal, which made the dragon crystal more brightened, and the icy aura had become more tremendous. The Holy Spirit God didn't say anything more. It kept silent and observed every single move of Shi Yan's without daring to be neglectful. It seemed to have gone through many treacheries and experienced people's malicious hearts. Especially Shi Yan's cold hardiness had left a deep impression on it. It didn't expect that a cruel person like Shi Yan could even have a conscience. It even assumed that Shi Yan would sneakily attack it, so it was waiting and defending with all of its powers. You guys go up first. Shi Yan contemplated for a while before turning towards the ethereal body souls of Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie and Ya Meng and ordering them with a faint smile. Master. Yi Tian Mo transmitted his soul consciousness showing his disagreement. It's all right. Shi Yan's face was very calm. He waved his hand implicating that they should not be worried. I will be careful. There will be no problems. Leave us alone. The three people of Yi Tian Mo's group hesitated a little bit. As they saw that Shi Yan was very confident, they then slowly left. The three ethereal body souls faded out and finally turned into many light dots disappearing without leaving a trace. On top of the Snow Dragon Mountain. The bodies of Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie and Ya Meng shook violently. They opened their eyes simultaneously and took a deep breath. How was it? Yu Ro hastily asked. Di Shan also knitted his eyebrows. Cao Zhi Lan bit her lips, took one step closer to Yi Tian Mo's group with her beautiful, curious eyes, her elegant ears swayed mischievously. She was obviously very interested in Yi Tian Mo's response. Yi Tian Mo knitted his eyebrows while glancing at Cao Zhi Lan. Cao Zhi Lan revealed a smile, took a few steps backward but didn't show any fear. Instead, she burst into laughter and said, I have figured out your relations earlier. I know, there is some covenant between you and him. Unless this covenant is abolished, you respect him very much, even follow his orders. Di Shan suddenly squinted, a cold light from deep inside his pupils flared up and disappeared right away. Cao Zhilan's beautiful face changed slightly. She felt freezing inside, her charming body trembled. She hurriedly raised her hand and explained, I don't have any wicked intentions. I just want to be friendly with him. I am sure he knows about it. Cao Zhilan pointed towards Yi Tian Mo. Yi Tian Mo couldn't forget her bold proposal for Shi Yan. Under the scrutinizing looks of Di Shan and Yu Ro, he nodded with a strange face and said, This girl has proactively proposed to give herself in a marriage with Shi Yan. Her eyes are very sharp indeed, able to see his limitless potentials. Yu Ro's beautiful eyes suddenly lightened up. She started to evaluate Cao Zhilan seriously for the first time. She looked at Cao Zhilan and nodded at the same time then revealed a meaningful smile, that little girl's appearance is not just ordinary, looks like an interesting girl. Her daring is not small either, not bad. Hmm, but if you want him to be moved and agree, you should put more efforts. Please, instruct me. Cao Zhilan's face was serious with a sincere manner. Yu Ro shook her head and said with a faint smile, I have to see your performance later. Just tell us what has happened down there. When he comes up later, if he doesn't want this girl to know, you can always delete her memories. Di Shan seemed to be impatient, coldly said, For you guys, it is easy to do. Yi Tian Mo nodded and said without holding anything back anymore, we united with each other and almost destroyed the Holy Spirit God. However, that fellow realized that the situation had gone bad and wanted to have its soul exploded to die together with us. At that time, Moss. Shi Yan immediately stopped putting pressure on it. He told us to come up here first and leave him alone to settle things down there. He alone can deal with that fellow. Yu Ro was astonished and a little worried. Yi Tian Mo shook his head and said, I don't know. But, there are many strange things on his body. 
maybe, there will not be any big problems. Anyway, that Holy Spirit God had been beaten so much that he was scared out of its wits. After listening, Di Shan and Yu Ro didn't say anything more although they still felt a little worried. Boom boom boom. Not long after that, an earth-shaking explosive sound came up from underneath the Snow Dragon Mountain once again. The place where Shi Yan had fallen cracked open one more time, exposing a new connecting path, from which the dense lava ice and the heavy sky and earth aura spread out. Di Shan and the other people all had astonished faces. They attentively looked towards that connecting path which had just cracked open, watching the commotions deep down there while taking precautions in silence. A big figure slowly leaped up from deep down the connecting path as if it was pushed up by the lava ice under the feet, hence, didn't waste any of its strength to fly straight up. He is out. Yi Tian Mo shouted slightly with his suspicious eyes. With the support of the lava ice, Shi Yan quickly got out of the icy crystal bone dragon without using any strength. A smile beamed out from the corner of his mouth, his mood seemed quite good. How was it? Ka Bia couldn't help but immediately move closer and ask after waiting for Shi Yan to have gotten out. It's done. It has agreed to work for us, help us gather the sky and earth aura, rebuild the snow dragon island to become an abundant supplying resource for us. Ah, how come it has become that obedient? I have promised to make a suitable body for it. That's it. Chapter 296, Captives the dense adhesive sky and earth aura like faint morning dew hazily covered the foot of the snow dragon mountain. Streams of spiritual aura, which naked eyes could see, were still erupting from the crack on the snow dragon mountain, hovering around, expanding gradually, and overwhelming the 100-mile area surrounding the snow dragon mountain. The misty spiritual aura resembled a jade-like white silk ribbon under the sun and radiated faint rays sometimes. Many of the wings races and the demonic sound clans pagans were astonished looking around with joy, but they didn't understand why everything had become this miraculous and marvelous. The previous chilled to the bone icy aura had quietly disappeared. Although the snow dragon mountain's peak and flank were still freezing like before, there was no longer icy aura flying out from the crack or spreading down to the foot of the mountain. Therefore, those pagans who had temporarily evacuated from the foot of the mountain due to the freezing ice aura were returning here from other areas on the Snow Dragon Island. As soon as they arrived, they immediately recognized that this area had gone through an earth-shaking transformation. Not only was the sky and earth aura denser but the entire mountain chain also seemed to be full of vitality. Due to the tremendously dense aura, plants started to grow lushly and verdantly, among which there were even some precious herbal braids that even rare and unique to Cao Zhilan. Di Shan, Yu Ro, Yi Tian Mo and others hurriedly tried their best to create many kinds of special effect protective barriers and formation techniques. Many of the complicated barriers and formations required the sky and earth aura to be possibly created. With the help of the Holy Spirit God, this had become much easier. Not long after that, the entire Snow Dragon Mountain seemed to be entirely covered with varieties of defensive barriers and formations. Big and small formation techniques were as dense as stars in the sky. Shi Yan didn't know how their intimidation was, but he was already startled with the quantity of those formation techniques. The appointment in the headquarters of the Three Gods sect was coming closer. Today, Shi Yan went to find Yi Tian Mo to ask him to be his company bringing him to the headquarters of the Three Gods sect. Among the leaders of the Wings race and the Demonic Sound clan, Yi Tian Mo had the fastest speed. The Snow Dragon Island was in the range of the Three Gods sect's powers, so it was not too far from the Three Gods sect. If Yi Tian Mo could bring him, he would then possibly arrive at the Three Gods sect ahead of the others. However, when Shi Yan was about to depart, the Snow Dragon Island welcomed a visitor. Sun Ming, the messenger of the Penglei Divine Land. He had heard from Gu Xiao and Yu Qin and known that Pan Zhe was being confined on the Snow Dragon Island. He came to the island with a good intention and wanted to exchange ten islands in the Sky Sea for Pan Zhe's life. As soon as he had arrived at the Snow Dragon Island, he was then frightened by the dense sky and earth aura there. When he had gone to the foot of the Snow Dragon Mountain, 
looking at the heavy spiritual aura which was like slow gurgling water and the mist of aura that resembled a white ribbon hovering around, Sun Ming was indescribably terrified. Sun Ming had never been on the Snow Dragon Island before, but he had often been cultivating devotedly on the Penglei Island of the Penglei Divine Land. From what he saw, even the Penglei Island was not as suitable as this Snow Dragon Island for cultivation since the aura on the Penglei Island was not as dense as the one here. This discovery brought Sun Ming a big surprise. He transmitted the information about the scene that he had witnessed and the aura that he had felt to the Penglei Island. The Penglei Island didn't believe him when they had first received the information. However, after Sun Ming had told in detail about the fact here, they became very frightened. Thus, the Penglei Island sent back the response instructing Sun Ming to have more respectful manners, absolutely not to irritate the headmaster of the Snow Dragon Island. Also, they told him to bring Pan Zhe back alive not to create any conflicts with the headmaster of the Snow Dragon Island no matter what. Moreover, the two ordinary islands on the papers in Sun Ming's hands were also changed to be another two resourceful islands with plenty of special minerals. When Shi Yan met Sun Ming, Sun Ming bowed his head, bent down very low as if he was Shi Yan's grandchild, greeted Shi Yan with a gesture which was so friendly that it could be called flattery. With a broad smile that remained on his face, Sun Ming respectfully offered the papers for handing over the islands firstly before proposing to take Pan Zhe away. Shi Yan was astonished, watching Sun Ming with the attentive look. After he had made sure that Sun Ming didn't have any other intentions, Shi Yan nodded and shouted to call for Pan Zhe who was staying in the first story from afar. Someone has come to bail you out. Pan Zhe's face was dazed, the corner of his mouth slightly shivered for a while. He stood up submissively. See you later if we have a chance. Cao Zhilan dragged a half-smile out of the corner of her mouth. She was wearing a long snow-white velvet dress and a colorful plumy hat, leaning against the window and waving towards Pan Zhe. Remember to ask that guy to remove the formation technique inside you. Otherwise, if your great master sees it, he will blame you for being incapable. Pan Zhe's face became toneless he felt resentful and helpless. He looked at Shi Yan who was standing motionlessly and heartlessly in the distance but couldn't have any intentions of revenge. He knew that if he had any intentions of vengeance, Shi Yan would realize it right away. Perhaps, he would even do something harmful that he had to suffer helplessly. Having being tortured in the abandoned land was a scar that he would never forget for the rest of his life. Being the future leader of the Penglei Divine Land, since having been confronting Shi Yan, he had always suffered the disadvantages, been always intimidated, and never able to raise his head up. The wound that Shi Yan caused had already been deeply engraved on his soul, which was not able to heal in a short time. Pan Zhe's face was depressed. He bowed his head dolefully with full of helplessness while slowly walking downstairs. Sigh, a good guy like that has been destroyed in Shi Yan's hands. Cao Zhilan was pitiful for him, shook her head, released a sigh and said, Shi Yan has knocked down the arrogance deep inside his spirit, leaving a scar in his sea of mind. Perhaps, he would never be able to overcome this for the rest of his life. On the way of martial arts cultivation, the spirit which lacks confidence is the taboo. I am afraid that Pan Zhe is done. He Ching Man's face was in shock, her eyes squinted, forming a moon shape. She was bewilderedly looking at Pan Zhe leaving then suddenly said, How about Gu Ling Lung and Chu Yan Qing? Not the same. Cao Zhilan smiled beautifully, exposing her white teeth with shiny red lips. She said, That little rascal has despised those two girls. He has already touched all the places on their bodies which shouldn't have been violated. He has also messed with their minds and made them resent males for their entire lives. That bastard deserves thousands of slashes. He Ching Man was amazed, hesitated for a while before speaking with a strange face, it seems that he has never disgraced you. I feel like you are jealous and discontented. Are you blaming him for not having done anything to you? How come I have that feeling? Cao Zhilan's cheeks reddened, her beautiful eyes displayed embarrassment. She glanced at He Ching Man angrily and said, 
I have heard that you and Xiaozinian are good sisters. Have you ever thought that you two would scramble for a man, would it be shameless for one time doing so? What do you think? He Ching Man's charming body trembled slightly with her embarrassed eyes. As she realized that Cao Zhilan's words were very sharp, she instantly shut up. Are you letting me go that easily? Downstairs, although Pan Zhe was full of hatred, he still pretended to be calm, looked at Shi Yan and coldly asked. Shi Yan patted his forehead as if he just remembered something then said, I'm very sorry, I almost forgot. Verb. A small sound like a broken bubble suddenly came out from Pan Zhe's brain. Right after that, Pan Zhe immediately felt that his spirit was very comfortable as if the strong bind that had tied up his host's soul had just been lifted. He felt refreshed, and his eyes also brightened up a little bit. Your Pen Glay Divine Land indeed has good intentions. That's good, very good. Shi Yan's face was very joyful. He then contemplated for a while before asking Sun Ming, How is the entrance which links to the Chasm Battlefield? You have sent people to enter the Chasm Battlefield, so how is the current situation there? Does the Sky Demon Mountain Range nearby have anything unusual? Have you ever met Yang Mu's fellows in your sea? Sun Ming respectfully replied with a serious face, The Chasm Battlefield is still the same. There haven't been any transformations nor anyone coming out. We have never met the Yang family's members in the Sky Sea either. Many beasts have been troubling the Sky Demon mountain range nearby, there are also some mighty and dangerous beasts among them. That is the beast's territory, and we haven't dared to enter it, and thus we are not certain of the situation there. Shi Yan knitted his eyebrows then nodded after a long while, swung his hand and said, You guys can go. Sun Ming looked at Pan Zhe. Pan Zhe took a deep breath, stared at Shi Yan for a while before speaking, See you later. After talking, Pan Zhe nodded with Sun Ming. The two of them went towards the harbor of the Snow Dragon Island together and then disappeared shortly. He Ching Man, how about you? Will you stay here or return to the evil wonderland? Shi Yan held his head looking towards the house not far away after being silent for a while. He raised his voice shouting. He Ching Man's face was gloomy. Her charming face was full of bitterness. The evil wonderland has become the demon dweller's territory. What is it good for if I come back there? I just don't know how the fire cloud island is. Sigh, I hope that my relatives had escaped from the Kyra Sea. Are you going to stay on the snow dragon island temporarily? UMM. Shi Yan nodded contemplated for a while and then said, All right. I have to go to the Three Gods sect. You can comfortably stay here. Wait. Cao Zhilan slightly shouted. Her appealing body, as slinky as a water snake by the window, suddenly leaped up and landed in front of Shi Yan. She revealed a charming smile and said, Bring me along with you. You. Shi Yan was astonished then shook his head while speaking. The CAO family hasn't offered a reasonable price, you cannot go. All forces that want to deal with me have to learn from the Penglei Divine Land if they want to ransom their people. I like the attitudes of the people from the Penglei Divine Land. Wait until the CAO family sends out their people here to offer the price that satisfies me, I will then consider to let you go or not. The reason that the CAO family's people haven't come here yet was that I have prevented them. Cao Zhilan beamed out a smile. I want to continue staying here to interact with you more, carefully discuss the ability to cooperate with you. That's why I have sent them a message saying that they don't need to worry for me. Besides, I am entitled to decide for myself. My family will not have any ideas about my decision. Therefore, it isn't necessary to send people here. Shi Yan knitted his eyebrows. He knew that Cao Zhilan had a special transmitting treasure. He didn't have any intentions of confining Cao Zhilan. The fact that Cao Zhilan had contacted the Cao family was not beyond his expectations. The only thing that was strange was the Cao family's attitude. The Cao family really believed her that much. Are you authorized to represent the Cao family? 
Shi Yan thought for a while before speaking. Cao Zhilan nodded to confirm. Okay, that's good. You can go with me to the Three Gods' Sex Headquarters. Chapter 297, The Sun Island The Three Gods' Sect was one of the most ancient sects in the Endless Sea. Over the years, the Three Gods' Sect had been divided into the Three Gods of the Sun, the Moon, and the Star. They alternately possessed the Sun Martial Spirits, the Moon Martial Spirits, and the Star Martial Spirits. These three kinds of martial spirits were all sacred level martial spirits which had the miraculous abilities to absorb the power of the sun, the moon, and the star. However, thousands of years ago, when the three gods of the sun, the moon, and the star of the three gods sect fought with the dark dwellers in the sevenfold underworld, they had been beaten up by Avi Dark King and got seriously injured. Since then, the three gods of the sun, the moon, and the star had never met each other again. After that battle, the god of the moon and the god of the star had disappeared and had never shown up in the endless sea ever since. Only the god of the sun had returned to the three gods sect to rule over the three gods sect, but three hundred years later, he had passed away quietly. After that, gradually, the ability of the three gods sect had declined from the position of the first or the second strongest forces in the endless sea. Nevertheless, the Three Gods sect in the Hen Guo Sea had been still firmly intimidating the Dong Fang family and the Gu family. Until now, under the governance of the Sun God Tang Yuan Nan, the Three Gods sect's ability had started to recover, returning to the ranks of the most powerful forces in the Endless Sea again. They had become one of the strongest powers that others didn't dare to underrate. The headquarters of the Three Gods sect had been separated into three islands, including the Sun Island the Moon Island, and the Star Island alternately. These three islands formed a triangle and were only dozens of miles away from each other. The Sun Island, the Moon Island, and the Star Island were the three cultivation places of the three gods of the Sun, the Moon, and the Star. They had always been the divine land of the three gods sect, only the core disciples of the sect were qualified enough to cultivate devotedly there. However, as the moon god and the star god hadn't ever appeared for so long, the position of the moon island and the star island had gradually been declossade compared with the sun islands. Therefore, the heart of power recently located in the sun island. The moon island and the star island had become the restricted area, and unauthorized people were not allowed to enter. Until last year, the moon island became gradually vital again as the moonlight shone upon the entire island. A few of the followers of the Three Gods sect who possessed the Moon Martial Spirits were then permitted to go to the Moon Island. It always had a rumor saying that the predecessor of the Moon Branch in the Three Gods sect had returned to the Moon Island. This predecessor could have wrestled away the glorious title of the Moon God. Rumors were just rumors anyway. Even the followers of the Three Gods sect had never seen the return of that legendary predecessor. So the people of the other forces had no other's chances of knowing about it. Presently, the flame unicorn with full of torrential flames arrived and landed on the moon island all of a sudden. The moon was faint, and the wind was strong tonight, thus, the flames of the flame unicorn were prominently seen. A man in a glowing sun pattern blue blouse was riding the unicorn with a deliberate manner. He, together with the unicorn, slowly landed. The bright moon lake on the moon island. The ivory water lake had a dense aura which was like immense mist hovering around. There was a small jade village hall floating in the middle of the lake. The flame unicorn descended, the man in the blue blouse bent down with a respectful face and slightly called out, Moon Ancestor. The misty aura seemed to have its life gathering at the jade village hall. The mist was ambiguous, and the moonlight was shining splendidly brightening the gloomy scene around, making this entire area seem to be immersed in the fresh moonlight. There appeared a beautiful, elegant, slender figure which was fully covered in the ambiguous moonlight, wearing a long white dress which was not made of silk nor brocade but similar to the white clouds in the sky. Obscure sack mists accentuated that vague figure, making her look like a peri or a goddess, which brought people a feeling of being amazed and standing in awe of the genuine beauty. The jade-like moonlight was radiating from her cloud-like dress, resembling small light dots and crystal raindrops falling on the village hall, creating clangorous sounds. 
what do you come here for? Her pleasant yet frigid voice slowly rose up, it seemed to be a little annoyed as well. Didn't I tell you that if there is nothing special, don't come to see me? There is, the sun god Tang Yuan Nan of the three gods sect hesitated a little bit before saying, Masters of different forces in the Endless Sea have been gathering on the Sun Island to discuss a big plan to deal with the demon dwellers. The leaders of some forces have also heard about the return of the Moon Ancestor. They would also like to meet you. What do you think about this? I won't meet them, that woman replied unfamiliarly, I am at the critical point of the Peak Sky Realm, only one step away from the Spirit God Realm. Before the demon dwellers invade, I need to make use of the time to break through this gap. I don't have time to waste with those people. Moon Ancestor, when the Flame Unicorn has come back there, it said it had realized that the Star Martial Spirit's aura is on a little rascal of the Yang family. That little rascal will arrive at the Sun Island soon. Do you want? Tang Yuan Nan hesitated for a while before continuing, the Star Martial Spirits of Wu Yang Ji. The woman showed a little surprise. Her face was bewildered for a while before slowly nodding, when he arrives, and if you recognize the star martial spirits of the three gods sect inside his body, you will bring him to the moon island to see me. Besides that, I don't want to see anyone else. Yes. Tang Yuan Nan nodded. He then consulted her about the essence of some ancient secret techniques of the three gods sect before leaving. Many swaying figures appeared on the sun island of the three gods sect. Different kinds of glorious sun patterns, which were made of stone, were engraved on the high dark red castles. Many warriors with different costumes could be seen there, they obviously came from different forces. The sunlight on the sun island was always scorching for unknown reasons. It seemed that this island was closest to the sun compared to the other islands in the endless sea, hence, it was always oppressively hot on this island. This island was like a tropical forest. Varieties of verdant plants or trees were everywhere. Many warriors from different seas felt very uncomfortable when arriving here. Everyone took off their clothes, untied their belts, took off all of their thick clothes and hats to deal with the burning heat on the island. Many beautiful girls of the Yin Yang Wonderland even wore thin silk or left their arms, waists, and legs bare, exposing charming curves. Most of these girls cultivated the Yin Yang complementary technique. Their mesmerizing watery eyes were extremely appealing, making other male warriors on the island even hotter, burning flames also inflamed inside them. Although it was blazingly hot on the island, there were still some people wearing thick costumes. Under the scorching sunlight, they remained their somber faces which could freeze other people's hearts. The disciples of the corpse's god sect were this kind of person. The disciples of the corpse's god sect who controlled the corpses, temporarily resided in the south of the Sun Island, making that area gloomy. Not even coming close to this area yet, other warriors could already feel a flow of icy aura striking straight to their faces, and their bodies thus couldn't help but tremble. Inside a vivid red chamber, Yin Hai, the great elder of the corpse's god sect, with his deep blue eyes, was gently soothing the surface of a miasmatic cold wooden coffin with his skinny arm, his face was very attentive. Two similar wooden coffins were placed inside the chamber. These two wooden coffins were fully sealed, but still, the faint aura of the dead was flowing out from the insides. Yin Ha's skinny arms quickly attracted this dead aura into his sleeves without leaving out any of it. Shriek Shriek! Two separated sounds simultaneously came up from the two wooden coffins. Yin Hai suddenly shook while his face slightly changed. These two sky corpses belonged to him which he had captured at the burial plot number 93. After having been worshipped and refined, these two sky corpses seemed to have no abnormalities nor emotions and already returned to normal corpses which were able to follow the orders of his corpse controlling technique. However, he would never forget the resistance of these two sky corpses against the capture nor the difficulties that he had gone through after having attempted to arrest these two sky corpses five years earlier. Five years ago, these two sky corpses of his strangely ran away from out of their burial site all of a sudden. They followed the others' orders to slaughter all the corpse god sex disciples at the burial plot number 93. 
when he arrived that place, these two corpses didn't even excuse him, consistently struggled to escape from his control, releasing their soul powers to resist. If he hadn't had the anomalous secret technique of the corpse god sect nor placed the special corpse controlling seal into these two sky corpses' bodies, he wouldn't have been able to control them. However, after having been controlled and refined, these two sky corpses returned to be normal without any abnormal emotions. Five years ago, the incident happened to these two sky corpses was still a puzzle which hadn't been solved by anyone just yet. Only Yin Hai himself vaguely felt that perhaps under an unknown circumstance, these two sky corpses had quietly gained a little of intelligence and gradually evolved into king corpses. Regretfully, this evolution had suffered an early death as soon as it had just started. Everything happened five years ago. However, in the night before, after he had used the usual method to tamper these two sky corpses, he had sensed the vibrating feelings from them again. Until now, the vibrating feelings of these two sky corpses were clearer, and their resistant consciousness kept getting stronger and stronger. Shriek shriek. Another two peculiar sounds came out from the wooden coffins once again. Yin Ha's face changed dramatically. He held his chest taking a deep breath. He strongly constrained the sky corpses' resistance and gently mumbled with a somber face, What is happening after all? It has been only 2,355 years, which were not even enough time to transform into the king corpse. Why, why is it like this? Great Elder Right at this moment, a slight call came in from outside before a small, skinny young man shyly stepped in with his body bending low. Yin Hai knitted his eyebrows. His bony arms forcefully pounded the two Yin wooden coffins. Hundreds of flows of dead aura flowing out from inside of the coffins were attracted into his sleeves and then instantly poured back into these two coffins. The two yin wooden coffins, which had resounded the shrieking sounds, now became quiet. Did you figure it out? Yin Hai retracted his arms and then silently looked at that young man with a dark face. The young man shook his head, displaying his fear and then said, my great master has gone to ask the two protectors Li Zhuang and Sui Yu of the Yin Yang Wonderland. They also said that they didn't know where the little rascal of the burial plot number 93 came from in that year. However, they said that the girl who was with him seems to be the daughter of the Xia family, whose name is Xia Zinyan. The Xia family. Yin Hai mumbled to himself, his face changed constantly. He then spoke up after a long while, you can leave now. Don't tell anyone about this. Yes, I understand. That young man moved backward in fear. Chapter 298, Great Sun Holy Light Tian Mu. Shi Yan was standing on an all-purple crystal rickshaw, clasping his hands behind his back. The three leaders Yi Tian Mo, Ye Meng, and Ka Ba of the Demonic Sound Clan were sitting on the side, closing their eyes meditating. Cao Zhilan wore a purple silk dress with crystal adornments beaded at the corner of the dress. Her beautiful crystal clear eyes, together with Shi Yan's, looked out afar. Her silk dress fluttered, the crystal adornments at the dress's flap collided with each other creating ear-pleasant pure sounds. This transporting treasure was called the Amethyst Crystal Flying Carriage which was like a large carriage without a roof. It radiated wonderfully splendid purple rays under the sun. The amethyst crystal flying carriage was made of 300 refined amethyst crystal blocks which were full of rare auras and added seven kinds of pure quartz by the CAO family. There were total three amethyst crystal flying carriages which were all in the hands of the most influential persons of the CAO family. CAO Zhilan kept one of them. Before departing from the Snow Dragon Island, Shi Yan had wanted Yi Tian Mo to bring CAO Zhilan along. However, she had just beamed out a faint smile while her storage ring had unexpectedly flared up a purple light. She had then taken out the amethyst crystal flying carriage and gently sat on it. After having been started, the amethyst crystal flying carriage was flying with an incredible speed that had even gone beyond Shi Yan's imagination. Looking at the amethyst crystal flying carriage, even Yi Tian Mo had admitted that his speed was slower than that a little bit. Therefore, Shi Yan had immediately changed his plan. 
After having received Cao Zhilan's invitation, he had instantly gotten in the flying carriage. He had also brought Ka Bia and Ya Meng with him to the Sun Island of the Three Gods sect after having considered it for a while. Almost there. In the middle of the splendid purple rays radiating from Cao Zhilan's purple dress and the purple amethyst crystal flying carriage, she was like an illusory peri that brought out the glorious yet unreal beauty. Shi Yan quietly complimented her while glancing at her. He had to admit that this girl was the most outstanding beauty indeed, her manners and appearance were of the first rank and weren't inferior to Xia Zinyan's. Am I pretty? Cao Zhilan revealed a big smile. Her beautiful deep eyes seemed to expose the most beautiful scene of the endless sea, which made others want to be immersed in the sea and never wake up. Beautiful. Shi Yan curled up his lips exposing a broad smile and said, Among all of those beautiful girls that I have known, your appearance should be the best or the second. It leaves a deep impression just after a quick look, hardly ever able to be forgotten. So, marry me. Her bright eyes formed a moon shape, her smiling face easily mesmerized the other people. If you marry me, you will have not only a strong ally which is the CAO family but also a beautiful wife that everyone ever desires. You won't suffer any losses no matter what. Marriage and children are a big responsibility. Shi Yan's face looked like he severely hated this topic. He shook his head then suddenly smiled, but, I don't mind if you want to play around with me. On the contrary, I genuinely welcome it. You know that I like to be embraced and missed by beautiful women. If you want, in terms of some aspects, I will satisfy you. Shi Yan's burning and lustful eyes scanned all over her body. Every woman certainly understood the meaning in his eyes. Cao Zhilan was discouraged, stared at Shi Yan embarrassedly and then said with resentment, If you want to have my body, you have to marry me officially. Otherwise, don't think about it. Shi Yan just smiled and shook his head without saying anything further. He put all of his concentration on the three islands which just appeared in his sight. In the middle of the immense ocean, the three islands were round shape, moon shape and rhombus shape alternately, all of which formed a triangle. From above, the three islands were like emerald gemstones being engraved on the sea's surface. It was so beautiful that it caught all of the people's eyes. The round shape one is the sun island, the moon shape one is the moon island, and the rhombus shape one is the star island. Cao Zhilan introduced those three islands to Shi Yan as she saw him looking ahead attentively. The moon island and the star island are in the restricted state. Even the disciples of the three gods sect cannot freely enter them, not to mention the outsiders. The moon god and the star god haven't appeared for many of the three gods sect's generations, therefore, there has been no one ruling the Moon Island and the Star Island. However, it has been said that five years ago, the moonlight changed on the Moon Island. Someone seemed to appear there with the Moon Martial Spirits. Rumor is just a rumor. As the Three Gods sect hides this information very well, nobody knew if that information was true or not until now. That is true. Shi Yan knitted his eyebrows and said, That person, I have met. Cao Zhilan's beautiful eyes suddenly brightened with astonishment. How could you have met that person? Shi Yan just smiled but didn't explain. It's not fair. Cao Zhilan glanced at him angrily and said grudgingly, I have always answered your questions. But whatever I have asked you, you always hid them from me. What is this about? Don't forget, you are still my slave until now. I have used the demon's crystal pearls to exchange for you. I have sometimes answered you, which is already very good. What else is it that you want? Shi Yan said with an invisible smile. Bastard. Cao Zhilan clenched her teeth quietly. She was so angry that she wanted to vomit a mouthful blood. Many figures were moving on the sun island. Dark red clouds floated in the sky above the island. The sun power inside those clouds was extremely violent, consistently releasing the scorching auras. Sunlight was piercing down from the ether. Countless beams of light were like water pouring into the clouds. They seemed to be absorbed and transformed into strange energies inside those dark red clouds. 
those scattering clouds formed into a miraculous formation which was hardly able to be discovered. Before the amethyst crystal flying carriage came close to that area yet, 3,000 flows of burning sun power were emitted and then transformed into a sunlight net which slowly appeared inside a group of the cloud. Cao Zhilan's face remained unchanged. As soon as her long skinny jade-like fingers gently patted the flying carriage's handle, the amethyst crystal flying carriage slowly descended on the sun island which now appeared clearer and clearer. Swoosh swoosh swoosh! Hundred thousands of the sunlight inside the cloud flashed on and off, weaving into a compact light net which covered the entire sun island. That sunlight net had just flared up and vanished before retracting inside the cloud. However, the tremendous vibrating power from that group of cloud had shortly agitated the three people of Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie, and Ya Ming. They now just recovered from the meditating state with astonished faces. Such a violent power! Yi Tian Mo's face slightly changed, he said seriously, the vibrating power covering this island is even ten times stronger than that of the current sky and earth aura on the Snow Dragon Mountain. With this powerful defensive force, I am afraid that even the God Realm Masters can hardly break it. Five hundred years ago, three-thirds sky of the Spirit Realm Warriors put forth all of their powers to strike this great sun holy light Tian Mu for the whole seven consecutive days and nights but still couldn't break it. During thousands of years, the great sun holy light Tian Mu above the Sun Island has been broken only three times. Cao Zhilan said seriously. Has been broken three times even it is that strong? What kind of forces that could be powerful like that? Ka Bie asked with surprise. To be exact, it has been broken by three people. Cao Zhilan's eyebrows slammed slightly, and she suddenly beamed out a smile. She then shut up without disclosing anything further while her beautiful eyes glanced at Shi Yan. Shi Yan, who was listening attentively, frowned slightly as she suddenly mused. He then burst into laughter, shaking his head and didn't ask for more. Ka Bie harumphed coldly. His eyes sparked a fierce light. He glanced at her resentfully and kept silent as well. The amethyst crystal flying carriage descended slowly coming closer to the Sun Island while avoiding the red cloud that was floating around in the sky as if it knew the defensive range of that cloud. A big figure flew over from the Sun Island below then shortly appeared ten meters away in front of the flying carriage. It was a middle-aged warrior with the Sky Realm cultivation base, who was wearing the Three Gods sex tunic. This man was big and rough with a warm smile on his face. Splendid flames were hovering chaotically on his hands opening an invisible defensive formation in front of him. From a distance, he pointed to Cao Zhilan laughing out loud, Is it Miss Cao? Cao Zhilan nodded with a smile from a distance. Come in, please. This warrior slightly bent down conducting an inviting gesture with a serious face. Cao Zhilan revealed a smile but said nothing. Following that Sky Realm warrior's instruction, she quietly urged the amethyst crystal flying carriage to fly towards the Sun Island's airspace to the dark red castles in the southwest of the island. In the morning of the day after tomorrow, the meeting will officially start in the Great Sun Holy Light Hall. You are the first one of the CAO family to come. Does the CAO family send out someone else to come as well? This warrior guided CAO Zhilan to an elegant and quiet manner and decently pried. I haven't told my family that I would come here. Perhaps the CAO family will have someone else represent them. CAO Zhilan beamed out a faint smile while following that warrior to go straight to that quiet manor. Shi Yan nodded with Yi Tian Mo, Ya Ming, and Ka Bie then casually entered the manor. This Sky Realm warrior of the Three Gods sect hadn't noticed Shi Yan until Shi Yan turned around and entered the manor. His eyes suddenly brightened his face instantly shows some signs of strange. Waiting until Shi Yan and Cao Zhilan had entered the manor, this person held his chest, couldn't help but become extremely excited with a red face as if his heart was about to jump out. Impossible, how can this? After a very long while, he could stabilize his surging emotions, yet he still showed an unbelievable look. How can his body have the same martial spirits with mine but at a higher level? 
his martial spirits has led to my body's resonance which prevented me from being able to have any resistant intentions. He stood there while his face kept changing constantly. He finally left after a while. Half an hour later, he was allowed to enter a chamber which was guarded by the flame unicorn. After conducting the ceremony, he said respectfully, Hierarch, the person that you have told us to notice and receive has just arrived at the Sun Island. The spinning sunlight was swirling around Tang Yuan Nan's body. The sunlight circles consistently spread out behind his head, radiating 10,000 Zhang halos, which made him look like a sun god indeed. When being reported, Tang Yuan Nan's face didn't change except for the brightness on his face that was slowly fading. What did you feel? When facing him, my martial spirits has produced the resonance and also brought a strange and uncontrollable feeling of kneeling down and conducting the ceremony, which only appears when facing you. But, I am certain that I did have that feeling. Tang Yuan Nan suddenly opened his eyes, his pupils resembled the two suns with dazzling light, which were like needles piercing into the other's eyes. Chapter 299, Long Time No See In the southwest corner of the Sun Island, there was a quiet manor which was specially made of pink bricks. This manor originally belonged to a great elder who had encountered the cultivation insanity, and carelessly let his soul and spirit perish. Therefore, this place had become ownerless. The manor was 30 mu, 1 mu is equivalent to 3.600 square meters. There was a small lake with a bonsai, the art of making miniature landscapes, imitating the scenery of the islands, mountains, and surrounding environment as found in nature, in the yard as well as ten different kinds of storied houses. The maid who was living there year-round had been cleaning it up so carefully that this place was immune from dust. In the Three Gods sect, places that were used to host visitors would be arranged in accordance with their status and classified into different levels. This manor was one of the Three Gods sect's best accommodations for their guests. Only the leaders of powerful forces were welcomed and stayed here. Ordinary elderly protectors weren't qualified enough to be able to stay here. As Shi Yan and the other three leaders of Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie and Ye Meng arrived at this place, they were engrossed in looking at the wooden pillars with full of decorative carvings on the side, the delicate furnishings, and implements, as well as the abundant and diversified setup. They kept quietly giving compliments and were astonished by the luxuriousness of the Three Gods sect. The servants were all good-looking. The beautiful maids here were around 14 or 15 years old, wearing light clothes exposing their arms and bellies with healthily tanned skins. They were approaching Shi Yan and his fellows, holding the silver plates loaded with shining fresh fruits and then respectfully lifted up and offered to them. As soon as Shi Yan sat down in a spacious living room, Seven girls, who were still very young in age and very pretty, were all busy running back and forth, bringing them refreshments. This place is one of the noblest places to host guests of the Three Gods sect. Last time, when my uncle and I came to this island, we weren't qualified enough to stay here. That is the time when the Three Gods sect is receiving many distinguished guests, so I have thought that the treat this time would even have been worse than last time. Unexpectedly, that guy Li Fu has brought us straight to this place. It is unbelievable indeed. Cao Zhilan was sitting opposite of Shi Yan, her jade-like hand picked up a succulent grape, cocked her head, peeling the fruit. She didn't look at him but mumbled with a low voice. Li Fu should definitely have regards for your Cao family. Shi Yan neglectfully bit a sparkling grape in his hand and said, haven't you said that the CAO family's power is ranked in the top three of the Endless Sea? I haven't just been self-conceited. CAO Zhilan nodded. Her full red lips chewed the grape and swallowed it. She then smiled and raised her head up. Her beautiful eyes contained some meaningful implications. The headmaster of the CAO family comes, it is obvious that he should be received here. However, your status and my status are deficient so it is impossible to be qualified enough to stay here. Li Fu has seemed to pay attention to me on the way here, but he has fixed his eyes on someone else. The bright and clear eyes of the beautiful woman looked at Shi Yan attentively while revealing a big charming smile. I am just curious. 
He has never asked your identity but has treated you even more carefully and attentively than when treating a Sky Realm Master. He hasn't even dared to look straight into your eyes, instead, he has just stayed behind and sneakily looked at you. Why does he have to be so respectful? Shi Yan shrugged, pointed toward Yi Tian Mo, Yameng, Ka Bie, and said, perhaps he has recognized their real realm levels. The beautiful woman smiled and shook her head. When the God Realm warriors intentionally want to hide their auras, as long as they don't use their God Realm power, no one can realize it, including the warriors at the same realm. So, how could he have recognized it? Especially, our three men have profound understandings of the spiritual Upanishads, when they hide their identities on purpose, even the warriors at the higher levels couldn't realize their real cultivation base. Shi Yan was surprised shook his head with a forced smile but didn't explain more. Cao Zhilan angrily glared at him as he didn't answer her. She suddenly stood up and said, I am going to the Sacred Light Mountain. Do you want to go with me? Shi Yan shook his head. The Sun Island is round, hence, the guest houses are all on the edge of the island. However, the foot of the Sacred Light Mountain is the most interesting place of the island. There are the most famous sacred light hot spring and storied houses for exchanging cultivating materials, secret treasures, as well as the adjacent area's specialties. As Shi Yan didn't seem to be stirred up, Cao Zhilan felt discouraged and then told him in detail some interesting things of that place. Shi Yan still shook his head with a faint smile, swung his arm and urged, You go first. I might feel interested later and will find you there. You should remember that we have placed the formation technique inside your body. Before the CAO family pays us the ransom, you shouldn't do anything stupid. Don't have to warn me always. Okay. CAO Zhilan was resentful. I am afraid that when you are accustomed to the familiar environment there, you will forget that binding. Ha ha ha, I don't have any other intentions. You can go now. CAO Zhilan glanced at him. Her prominent body like a beautiful purple-blossomed flower deliberately glided away, dragging the colliding sounds of the crystal adornments on the flap of her dress. As soon as Cao Zhilan had left, Shi Yan's face became somber. He suddenly stood up from the chair. Without caring about the surprise of the other three people of Yi Tian Mo's group, he sat down straight on the floor, instantly released his soul consciousness to observe something in silence. The other three people were bewildered a little bit before condensing a proper defensive formation in the room to prevent strangers from penetrating. Many flows of miraculous soul vibrations spread out from Shi Yan's body. These flows were very peculiar, bringing different kinds of feelings which contained tiny consciousnesses. The three people of Yi Tian Mo's group were all great masters of souls. After having observed for a while, they realized that Shi Yan's flows of soul consciousness seemed to be receiving and also responding to some information. It was peculiar. Five minutes later, Shi Yan slowly opened his eyes. He quietly stood up with a confused face. He contemplated for a while before speaking, follow me to a place. Yes. The three people of Yi Tian Mo's group nodded simultaneously without saying anything further. I don't know why it is that when I came here, I have sensed that there are two fellows who kept calling me. Shi Yan knitted his eyebrows tightly and thought very carefully before saying. Those two fellows seem just to gain the spirit intelligence recently, their spirits are still very innocent. Their souls seem to lack different kinds of feelings of the high class lives. Although they are simple lives, they keep producing close affections with me. It is hard to understand. The three people of Yi Tian Mo's group glanced at him with a dazed look and seemed not to understand his feelings either. It seems that I have known them and met them from somewhere, but I can't remember even though I have tried to think a lot. Shi Yan shook his head with knitted eyebrows and a doleful face. The feeling is peculiar and abnormal. Maybe we should go there to see, otherwise, we wouldn't get anything if we just relied on our senses. The three people of Yi Tian Mo's group nodded again. Following Shi Yan's orders, the three of them retrieved their defensive formation, instructed the butler to look after the manor. Then, 
the four of them left the manor, going towards the west of the island. Shriek shriek! Shriek shriek! The yin aura was very dense inside the stone chamber. The two wooden coffins were making creepy sounds. The sky corpses seemed to use their long sharp nails to scratch on the coffin lids as if they wanted to lift up the lids and get out of the coffins. Yin Hai was presently not here. He had been summoned by the Hierarch of the Corpses God sect together with other great elders to receive the Hierarch's assignments. The Yin Aura and Dead Aura were hovering around inside the chamber. It was the dark, cold cellar, which was ten meters underneath the ground, the light was dim and gloomy. Currently, there was only one disciple of Yin Hai in this place, who was dozing, leaning against the wooden bed in the distance and was dreamingly wandering in the cloudy sky. The echoes from the coffins were getting louder and louder. The sounds then got too loud that he was unable to sleep deeply. He finally woke up. This young man's face changed in fear. He stared at the two coffins for five seconds before his face turned pale and hurriedly ran away to find Yi Hai supposedly. Crack crack! A long sharp white nail suddenly jutted out of the coffin, and then the coffin lid was broken and thrown away. The male sky corpse who had been dominated in the burial plot number 93 slowly sat up. Inside of the two empty sockets flared up many peculiar light dots. With a closer look, those light dots resembled the life seals of Shi Yan's life and death seal indeed. Those tiny sparkling life seals were getting clearer. A kind of indescribable forces seemed to be born, a miracle was happening. Crack crack! A female sky corpse in the other coffin also sat up. Deep inside of the empty eyes flared up strange lights as well. Its white, pale skin glowed shiningly. Its body seemed to have gained its vitality again. Luxuriant brushes and plants were dispersive everywhere in the Sun Island. There were uncluttered big blue stone paved roads on the island. Many warriors from different seas gathered into groups of three or five, wandering around. Most of them were heading towards the sacred light mountain, whisperingly talking and laughing. Shi Yan knitted his eyebrows. Under the burning sunlight, his body was still frigid. He had unintentionally absorbed a part of the icy power of the ice-cold flame, which was now running all over his body. On the scorching island, his entire body was as chilled as ice, quite similar to several dangerous disciples of the corpse's god sect which gave other people the feeling that he was too unfriendly and gloomy to get acquainted easily. As for the three people of Yi Tian Mo's group, they had cultivated the yin techniques, together with their different body structures compared to the humankind's as well as their pale faces, their bodies naturally emitted the cold and gloomy aura already. Therefore, the burning heat was automatically pushed away from their bodies while they were on their way. Even the blazing sunlight seemed impossible to shine on their bodies. Many warriors traveling on the same way suddenly trembled, feeling freezing inside when they approached more than 10 meters close to them. Those warriors instinctively stayed far away from them quickly with fear and hatred appearing on their faces. They assumed that the four of them were the high-class principles of the corpse's god sect. In the endless sea, only the disciples of the corpse's god sect cultivated that secret yin icy technique. Even in the summer, their bodies were all frigid and they wore thick tunics with the appearance that seemed to tell the others not to get any closer. The corpse's god sect was not the strongest force in the endless sea but the most mystical force that frightened many warriors. If it was not necessary, ordinary warriors never wanted to contact with the disciples of the corpse's god sect. It was the instinctual resistance. Everyone was subconsciously scared of the corpse's god sect, afraid that they would have been condensed and refined into a corpse. Two ambiguous flows of soul approached towards Shi Yan, quietly went into his sea of consciousness then floated around inside but weren't welcomed by his host's soul. These two flows of soul targeted only at Shi Yan himself without any wicked intentions nor attacking forces, only the joy, and excitement. As these hidden two souls were initially ambiguous and targeted at Shi Yan only, the three people of Yi Tian Mo's group could vaguely sense them a little bit just because they were standing next to him the others would be unable to realize them. Shi Yan used his host soul to control and sense the two flows which were moving inside his sea of consciousness. 
he wanted to know the opponent's identity through these two souls. However, these two souls were too ambiguous, which meant that the ones who had sent them out didn't know how to use their soul forces nor enhance the soul consciousness. Although Shi Yan had concentrated a lot to sense, he couldn't get any information just yet. The five devils in the sea of consciousness seemed to be very excited with these two souls. They were like evil monsters that wanted to pull and swallow the two souls but got intimidated and was prevented by his sea of consciousness, and thus, they didn't succeed. Who are they after all? Shi Yan felt suspicious with his knitted eyebrows. However, no matter how hard he thought, he still couldn't figure out. He suddenly ceased his steps. Shi Yan retrieved the suspicious thoughts in his mind, raised his head up looking ahead. His eyes slightly squinted, the corner of his mouth lightly formed an indifferent curve. Ahead of him was a group of males and females talking and laughing, walking towards him. They seemed to be in a very good mood. A flirty woman among them wore a thin red silk dress, the snow-white area beneath the thin silk was dazzling. That woman wore a charming, smiling face, her face was as pretty as cherry blossoms, her cheeks reddened and her sparkling eyes were lustful as if she was very satisfied after passionate lovemaking. A guy with an eager fat face, bean-sized eyes was next to her. The fat of his body shook while he was talking. There were varieties of precious colorful stone rings on his big fat fingers. Each of them was the storage ring used to store stuff, which was containing the unknown number of marvelous treasures. A middle-aged scholar in a blue blouse, who had a cold face and a cruel, wicked appearance, clasped his hands behind his back while walking and thinking of something. Seven females and males with different levels of cultivation space, who wore different kinds of clothes, were walking behind those three people with respectful faces. They were discussing something with each other and quietly observing the three people ahead as if they were afraid that their noises could be too loud and thus they would be scolded by the three people ahead. The three people leading the group were chatting and laughing, gradually coming close to Shi Yan's group from the opposite direction. The flirty woman unintentionally glanced at Shi Yan and then immediately turned around and continued talking with the fat guy next to her. However, after a few steps, she seemed to have remembered something, turned around again looking at Shi Yan then lifted her finger with the painted nail, pointing towards Shi Yan from a distance and said with surprise, You, you are that little rascal. Recently, Yin Hai kept sending his people to her place to ask for information. Shi Yan's image also came across her mind sometimes. As suddenly seeing Shi Yan on this sun island of the Three Gods sect, she instantly remembered. Protector Sui, long time no see. Shi Yan slightly laughed. The flirty woman was Sui Yuaryu of the Yin Yang Wonderland. When Shi Yan and Xia Xian Yan had gotten stranded on a desert island, they had got on an iron boat of the Yin Yang Wonderland and had made contact with Sui Yuaryu for a period. As he had refused to be the subordinate of this woman, he had been harmed by the unity of this bitch and Li Zhuang, almost becoming a corpse of the corpse's god sect. The fat guy next to her was the great elder Chen Duo of the spirit treasure Wonderland. The ferocious scholar in the blue blouse was Dong Fang He. On the Menluo Island, because of the ice-cold flame, Shi Yan had suffered a great loss in Chen Duo's and Don Fang He's hands. If he hadn't been lucky, he could have had been killed. Shi Yan's eyes were half closed. His face was strange and unpredictable. He revealed a smile. Chapter 300, You Can't Go Sui Yuaryu, Chen Duo, and Dong Fang He all knew Shi Yan. Among them, only Sui Yuaryu didn't know of his relations with the Yang family. After the incident on the Menluo Island, Chen Duo and Dong Feng He had suffered a great pressure, been blamed and punished by their masters. From that, they had also known Shi Yan's origin and identity. After being astonished by the encounter with Shi Yan, Sui Yurui suddenly remembered the important matter that Yin Hai had instructed her. After staring at Shi Yan for a while, she burst into laughter, then spoke to Chen Duo and Dong Feng He besides her. This little rascal and I used to be interrelated with each other that year. I didn't expect that five years later, he could now step on the Sun Island. It is very interesting. While smilingly talking, 
Sui Yurui quietly winked at Chen Duo and Don Feng He, signaling these guys to take actions to help her give Shi Yan a lesson. Little rascal, we meet again. The fat on Chen Duo's face shook as he put on a broad smile. Because of you, I have suffered many difficulties. I have paid not a small price for what happened on the Menluo Island. You have hidden really well though. Because of you, almost 100 of the Dong Fang family's members have all died. Seven islands have also been completely mopped up. I have been badly blamed for this as well. Dong Fang He's face became somber while speaking. Sui Yurui was surprised, covered her mouth subconsciously, exposing fear. She looked at Shi Yan, then swept her eyes to Chen Duo and Dong Fang He who were angrily gritting their teeth. She finally couldn't help but scream out, Oh, you guys all know him. Dong Fang He harumphed coldly and said, not only knowing but also being deeply impressed. Chen Duo didn't reply. Although the smile on his face was still friendly, he nodded toward the fellows behind him. The followers of the Spirit Treasure Wonderland understood what their leader meant. They dispersed out with a cold smile on their faces and then besieged Shi Yan in only three breaths. Are you Shi Yan? The layers of fat on Chen Duo's body shook violently, his bean-sized eyes shot out a cold light. If it were three years ago, I wouldn't have dared to do anything to you. Regretfully, now it is different from before. After Yang Tian Emperor has been confined, the Yang family remains just a name. Presently, if I want to do something to you, I am afraid that no one can help you. Shi Yan's look was frigid and emotionless. A faint smile beamed out from the corners of his mouth, his eyes coldly raked over the five people surrounding him, then said, These five people only don't seem enough to catch me. Not enough. As Chen Duo burst into laughter, the fat on his body shook violently. He said, All of them and you are ranked at the same earth realm. You alone can deal with five of them? Don't be so overconfident. Dong Feng He knitted his eyebrows, quietly took a few steps back. His eyes scanned over the three people of Yi Tian Mo's group but couldn't see through their real cultivation base, thus, he felt a little bit suspicious and didn't dare to act recklessly. Chen Duo and Sui Yurui also moved back silently and didn't take any actions by themselves. In fact, as they couldn't figure out the cultivation base of the three people of Yi Tian Mo's group, they wanted to use those five Earth Realm warriors to probe, hopefully to force Yi Tian Mo and the other two guys to take actions in order to know their exact cultivation base. Chen Duo and his group knew that a skinny camel was still bigger than a horse, the Yang family's potential was still very tremendous. Although they had confidently said that Yang Tian Emperor had been confined and that the Yang family was currently merely a name, they still felt frightened deeply inside. They assumed that Yi Tian Mo, Ka Bie and Ye Meng were the high-class warriors of the Yang family, hence, they didn't dare to take any actions yet. Do we have to kill them all? Yi Tian Mo slightly squinted, directly used his soul to ask for Shi Yan's opinion. Shi Yan shook his head, signaling the three people of Yi Tian Mo's group to step away. Until three of them were already around ten meters away, he suddenly stormed into one Earth Realm warrior of the Spirit Treasure Wonderland. A horrendous flow of aura was discharging from his body all of a sudden. The electric shift had been used. Shi Yan's figure was like electricity or Jiaolong, an aquatic dragon in Chinese mythology, jumping out of the sea. The blue stones underneath his feet were broken into small blocks. Fist-sized stone rebels were flung out everywhere, floating around in the air together with his sturdy body, then dashed all together towards those people ahead. The blue stones were crumbled as if they were tossed up by a big hand. Countless broken blue stones were dancing in the air. Together with the ear-splitting sound, all of the blue stone rebels plunged towards those five warriors. Crack crack. His sturdy body was like a big heavy club, striking the chest of one earth realm warrior of the spirit treasure wonderland. The sound of broken bones resounded, this warrior's body was like a sharp sword flying towards the opposite way. When this warrior was still in the air, seven holes on his face had already bled. He had been dead even before falling down on the ground. Without any resistance, 
the Earth Realm warrior of the Spirit Treasure Wonderland had been killed in such a short time. He hadn't even had time to take out his spiritual treasure. Chen Duo grimaced and was startled, his bean-sized eyes beamed out a terrified light. Dong Feng He's face changed, he became gloomier. Su Yurui was frightened at heart, unbelievably looking at Shi Yan. She backed off a few steps unconsciously, extending the distance with Shi Yan while her red lips were shivering. Swoosh swoosh! The rubbles in the sky like hundreds of powerful and tremendous iron fists, from Shi Yan in the center, shot out circularly. Hundreds of flows of violent purified power had been added to the blue stones, inside of which also had some streams of soul senses that were hardly detected. Countless rebels, which were like fists with eyes, flew around bringing the extremely outrageous aura that covering the rest of the four warriors of the spirit treasure wonderland. Against everyone's expectation, those flying blue stone blocks didn't fall down but revolved in the air. After every short amount of time being revolved, the blue stone block's aura became more tremendous. As their forces were mightier, the murderous power also increased naturally. Not far from here, some warriors, who saw the fight happening, were surprised as well as excited. They noisily came closer but kept a safe distance, observing from afar. Chen Duo's eyes flared up a murderous look. He revealed a snicker while his fat arm, which was like a pig's feet, had already jutted out of his sleeve. He seemed to be about to take actions. It was unknown when some beams of powerful red light suddenly shot out from the bush nearby. The beams of red light fell down exactly on Chen Duo's arms, which had just jutted out of his sleeve. The burning flame produced more fires on Chen Duo's arm. More than five thousands of true sun fires went through that arm of his, condensed in his palm but didn't launch any attacks. They seemed to warn him not to take actions. Chen Duo's fat face changed in fear. He felt freezing inside while looking at the nearby bush. Li Fu of the Three Gods sect was also as fat as Chen Duo with a broad smile on his face as well. He walked out of the bush embarrassedly, clasped his hands to respectfully greet Chen Duo while smilingly said, Sorry, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to target Chen Ji. However, According to our sex rule, warriors with the same level can battle on the island, but the predecessors with the higher realm are not allowed to get involved. This is the strictest rule. Chen Ji, please forgive and let it go. Chen Duo looked at Li Fu with a strange face. His eyes were full of suspicions. Chen Duo did know that the Three Gods sect had this rule, but it wasn't always rigid. There had been some people violating this rule sometimes but the Three Gods sect wouldn't have strongly interfered. On the previous day, he still had had some drinks with Li Fu, talking and laughing. They had even discussed some rare cultivating materials with each other. As being fat, people with the same Sky Realm, Li Fu, and he shared many things in common. As he actually had a good fellowship with Li Fu, although he had known that Li Fu had been nearby, he hadn't really bothered and had almost taken actions to humiliate Shi Yan. Unexpectedly, as soon as he was about to move, Li Fu appeared out of nowhere. This annoyed him very much as he didn't know why Li Fu covered up Shi Yan. Under Chen Duo's scrutinized look, Li Fu only forced a smile, shook his head, clasped his hands to greet, but didn't loosen his force which was oppressing Chen Duo. Boom 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 boom. At this time, low gloomy sounds reverberated constantly. The four warriors of the spirit treasure wonderland had been hit by countless blue stones, blood gushed out from their bodies. One after the other fell down on the ground and never stood up again. Among these four warriors, three of them had had their heads blossomed, the other one had been hit through his eyes piercing into his brain. They were all miserably dead. After the rebels had fallen down on the ground, Shi Yan was still standing coldly. He had actually never taken any actions. After the only hit that had killed the first warrior, the Blue Stone's power had been constantly increasing. The recent tremendous attack seemed not to be caused by him. However, everyone who looked at his frigid and emotionless eyes would have the feeling that those four warriors of the Spirit Treasure Wonderland had been dead in his hands. 
the flows of pure aura quietly flew out from those five warriors and then slowly went into the pores on his body, being completely absorbed by all the meridians. The whole occurrence was not easy to be detected by ordinary people. The corpses of the five dead warriors shriveled gradually as if they had completely lost all of the water and blood. Li Fu revealed a forced smile, then shouted, Clean it up quickly. Some warriors in the three gods' sex costumes appeared from several dark corners all of a sudden. They calmly carried the five dead bodies away after taking out the storage bags from the dead warriors and throwing them to Chen Duo. Not long after that, the five dead bodies disappeared. Even the broken blue stones were quickly paved with new blue stones. Shi Yan indifferently looked at Li Fu with a frigid face. Li Fu felt awkward under Shi Yan's scrutinized look. Sweat already beaded on his back. Let's go. Dong Feng he seemed to figure out something, signaling Chen Duo, who was extremely in rage. He said, it seems that the Three Gods sect wants to protect this little rascal. Don't mess around here anymore. We will see him later. Chen Duo harumphed coldly, flipped his sleeves, and left. Sui Yurui looked at Shi Yan bewilderedly. With full of surprise and suspicion, she then also left, following the other two people. You can't go. Shi Yan spoke up frigidly all of a sudden. The complexions of the three people Chen Duo, Dong Fang He, and Sui Yurui changed slightly. The three of them stopped, turning around with a sober countenance under the attentive looks of some warriors from afar. Little rascal, do you really want to die? Chen Duo coldly smiled the usual smiling look on his face had completely vanished. Make them more obedient. Shi Yan knitted his eyebrows, nodded his head to signal Yi Tian Mo. A violent tornado of souls like the angry surging sea, which was released by Yi Tian Mo, suddenly stormed outward and covered the sea of consciousness of Chen Duo, Dong Fang He, and Sui Yurui. Their faces changed dramatically, they couldn't help but scream out in pain. Their eyes were full of fear unbelievably looking at Yi Tian Mo. God Realm. The three of them shouted simultaneously. Now they finally knew Yi Tian Mo's real cultivation realm.